Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies. We have colouring daubers. We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. And a very good morning to you here on this lovely Friday morning. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, we're about to uh, get the morning started with a fabulous big saving and the gorgeous Julia Watts. Good morning, Julia. Hello. She's here. She's ready ready to go. We've got two shows with our lovely Julia. And uh, yeah, this is your last day before Christmas, isn't it? Yes. <gasps> oh, freedom. I know, I know. I'm going to just sit and read and crochet and watch the telly oh. for Sounds like heaven. So we're going to take advantage of you for today, if that's all right. Yes, what have you fine. got for me today? You've got some very, very popular items, haven't you? We've got the Indigo Blue goodie bag. Yay! I hope everybody's up bright and early to get this, Julia, because so. they fly we have, out. We have warned people. We have. They're always really popular. Yeah. Uh, whenever they come, they sell out. Yeah. Um, so I'll just tell you that goodie bags, basically, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, the, 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 when uh, Indigo Blue manufacture a stamp plate, sometimes there might be a bubble in the rubber or an imperfection. And so that stamp plate then can't be sold as a whole. And so what they do is obviously throw the faulty one away and then all the rest, they, they cut out and they pop in a bin. Uh, uh, actually, actually, as a, as a bin, not as a bin bin, but yeah, yeah, a uh, container, uh, a container, uh, and then uh, hence the goodie bags uh, come in uh, because and, and the prices are just based so that the uh, guys can get the money back for the rubber. Yes. Uh, so they're incredible bargains, and it is literally. Uh, potluck as to what you get uh, we've got samples here but you might not get any of the yeah. stamps that you see but what you will get is a lot of rubber you will yeah 380 grams to be precise which in some cases can equate to 15 over 30 stamps depending on which bundle you're going for as Julie said contents vary but 360 was it yeah, they're just covering the cost of the rubber, which means massive. I mean, Julia picked up one here earlier, and that was part of a bigger set. That was about twelve pounds. It had yeah. a sentiment. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah the, the the tulips that that we've got in our sample there yeah. is, is an eleven ninety nine uh, set with um, a, a sentiment with it as well. So, so you just know, goes to show you. Yeah, an absolute that, bargain. I mean, I've got bargain. I stamped out mine and feel show you, you the ones that I I received, and I was absolutely gobsmacked because it was amazing the qual the, the 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 variety that you've got in there you've got some christmas you've yep. got a whole load of sentiments you've got sometimes you've got a really Orders, big stamps yeah uh, you know you've got really really usable stamps they're <laughs> absolutely fantastic i mean look at the size of that one yes That's incredible. Is that venus the, um 
when she's coming out the uh, that's based on that painting isn't it the Venus, Venus to Mars it, I have which no idea the shell. I can't yeah, really see what it is from here but, oh, right, uh, so, so so obviously you can see there that it's a little bit grey um, the, the the stamp that the feet um, held up oh yeah that's just be it's just a little bit of dust yes, so, just, so dust. Ju just just clean them first yeah. sometimes you might find there's little kind of specks of rubber on there it's yeah. just it's just rubber dust so so it's just all, just give it a wipe and it's good to go sentiments borders flowers swirls images um small just ones just tremendous i mean you will some, sometimes you might find that if you do collect indigo blue stamps you might find that there's a stamp or two in there that you've yeah. already got yeah. but you know the value is just absolutely incredible oh, that's it and i think it's exciting isn't it stamping it is exciting see yeah. what it is stamp them all out yeah get, them open up, get a couple of pieces of card and stamp them all out and you know what you've got and it's quite it's quite an eye opener to see what the, some of the it's sentiments like, it's like as another well. christmas it it? Is, I, yeah. I love the excitement yeah. of not knowing. Yeah, it's a really good gift to yourself, actually. And Julia's brought us two bundles. So the first one is my large bundle. Uh, so that suggests it's a large bundle. Uh, three, four, six, 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 four, three, about 360 grams of the rubber. Uh, there's, there's at least 30 stamps there, but there's no guarantee on the map because you can see, for instance, here I've got a large whopper of rubber, but you, you know, you might end up with three. That's all. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You're going to get a load of stamps there for that amazing price saving. £55 out. It's going to be worth every single penny and have all the fun as Julia said of that stamping out and seeing what you've got three four six 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 four and our second bundle is a medium one so if you if you like if you're a bit of a risk taker but don't want to plunge too large too much into into the, the depths of the lucky dip then uh, look at this 12 pounds 50 I mean there's at least 15 there but again contents will vary but again Julia stamped out the 15 that she got these won't be the 15 necessarily that you got but you can see that quality Julia was talking about. I mean, look at the size of that flower stamp. It's just yeah. humongous. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, and a really big bee. Lots of really useful, I mean, the leaves are so useful. Lots of sentiments in there. Beautiful butterfly. Tremendous, Beautiful. you know. I mean, if it was me, I mean, I've watched these shows when Kay's done them. Like, she normally does them once a year. Yeah. And I've watched them, and even though I'm on the DT, <laughs> I've been very tempted to buy them. And I know members of the DT do actually do buy them, anyway. them because we know the quality, yes. and, and they're just such good value. Great value. Yeah. So roughly about 230 grams of rubber in this one. Twelve pounds fifty. Seven nine seven 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 two. You are shopping ahead. I should mention as well. Today is the launch of our. Um, Christmas credit event. Now this is going to run until the 22nd of December, 6 p.m. So if you spend and buy anything today on the show, you'll get a five pound credit to spend tomorrow on any item over 30 pounds. Now you can't, you can do that every single day up until the 22nd, but you can't collect and run over your five pounds. So for instance, spend your five pounds tomorrow and then gain another five pounds, spend that the following day. So you could end up with 20 consecutively five five pounds you know giving you 25 pounds worth of uh, credit but there'd be individual five pound credits if that makes sense so that starts today as well right julia people are shopping ahead Good, should, we, should we see the stamps in action and then or, or we'll or mention the papers first let's right, go, okay let's, let's, let's the papers. look at because there's two more goodie bags that you really need to have a look Great. at okay well. then we'll go yep yeah, smash yeah. in so what's got, in this one then so Jules? this is your 12 by 12 goodie bag yeah here, and uh, you're getting 25 sheets <gasps> and again Ooh. it's it's uh, Kay selects these uh, by hand um you've got some american companies in there i mean i've got some indigo blue papers in there and i never knew indigo blue actually did papers <laughs> um, excuse my uh, coffee i've there. got a tim holtz one in mine as well uh, the you know there's brands like Bo Bunny um, there's all sorts of different brands in there some Ooh. some are, um, are foiled some are glittered Ooh, some are double-sided some aren't um, but there's you know a lot of variety in there and, and again a ridiculously low price Wow I mean these are utterly utterly captivating it doesn't matter what I like you said some are double-sided this one's almost like literally a stitch Julia yeah, well, it looks I've like got, it's I've literally got, stitched. I've got one that's like um, oh, beautiful, uh, almost like a, a <gasps> crocodile see. skin. It is oh, obviously, my but yeah. Word. Gorgeous, 12 by 12 papers there, and uh, so, you know some of them like proper cardstock as well. As yeah. Judith said, foil. But they are they are um, again pot lockers to what you get. Yeah. So this, the, what Fee's showing you is just a representation of what oh, you might my get. Word. Some will be double-sided, as Judith said. Some will be single-sided. Judith said more vary, but again, 
they will be quality and they will be gorgeous. And look at that price point, $9.99. Yeah, great goodie bag there as well. Five one five zero nine five two. And don't forget, you could get that. You could get um, the, the the big goodie bag, you know, and you can create your own, you know, flexi order uh, as well. So if you're thinking of spreading the cost as well. Now, this is another great embellishment goodie bag. Yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah, an embellishment goodie bag. So again... Pot look as to what you might get. Uh, the, uh, the, you'll probably get some stamps in there and some uh, kind of um, Oops, uh, just drop me cameo cards there, sorry, and, and things. Uh, you get. Um, I've got some uh, sort of chipboard in in mine as well, like you've got there. But what you absolutely 100% will get is the brand new Kissing Frogs metallic paint. Um, so everybody definitely gets that, and uh, you can only buy that within this bundle. Uh, it's also an end of call item, so if you don't actually want the goodie bag uh, and you've bought another goodie bag or something else on the show, then you can get it at end of call, but those are the only two ways that you can buy that today. That brand new Kissing Frogs, yeah. So lots of different embellishments. You might have gems, you might have transfers, you might have stickers, you know, postcards, like you said, chipboard, um, jewel embellishment stamps, but it's going to be gorgeous and it's great to add to your stash at that price point, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Plus that lovely, yeah. you were guaranteed to get that lovely Kissing yeah. Frog metallic yeah. paint which i think is worth the 9.99 in itself julia absolutely half stock's already gone you are brilliant at shopping ahead thank you so much 560121 uh super super duper right julia we, we will have a look at everything else for yeah. the big savings but uh, let's look at these gorgeous stamps okay so what before they sell out so um i've got mine in in little containers look at look at all my rubber here this, wow. is, this is from my uh, big goodie bag very happy to get this. Um, some real gems of stamps in here. Uh, I even got uh, in here um, the seahorse, uh, for, which is from the Shears uh, stamps, which are you know very very happy with. So um, let's do a, a little bit of a, kind of a, a journal page. I think I've, I've done a bit of a dry run, and I think I know where I'm going. Um, and what I've done is I've taken one of the papers and again I didn't have my brain in and I wanted this side of my paper but I put my sticky on that side so I've got the opposite side of the paper. Not what I wanted but it's fine, it's absolutely fine. So, so that was my boo-boo already. And what I've done is I've cut a journal page um, using the Studio Lights uh, planner uh, dies. And on the other side I've just got a piece of the Pink Frog watercolour card. And this is one of my stamps from uh, my goodie bag. And I was very happy to get that because it's a very good uh, stamp to do your swatches on. So these, are for, so on this side, I've done my swatches of my paints that I'm going to be using on the other side. Because I've done a dry run, so I know where I'm at. So it's a really good stamp. Very happy to get that. That's but a great it, stamp, Julia. Yeah, yeah. But if you don't want that, you, uh, the, the goodie bag, you can actually buy it in an A5 uh, set that's also on the show. So you, you, you've got options. So I want to knock this back because it's, it's a little bit bright and I'm not going to see my stamping very well. So I'm going to use the white G So Good. I'm going to pop, I'm not going to use the paint mat. I'm going to pop a little bit on my craft sheet. And I'm going to water it down a little bit it's quite my, mine's quite thick water it down a little bit and just knock it back i don't want loads ready 70 percent gone of the large yeah, goodie bag for 24.99 we might I, I i probably won't be able to get any more because they yeah. are like a byproduct if you like yes. of the stamp manufacturing process so, you know, unless they create some yeah. from good stamp plates, which they're not going to do, you're well, not no, going to not get deliberately. them. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's just a bonus, isn't it? It's and we've a got bonus. the opportunity. Absolutely. And don't forget, you're getting your £5 Christmas credit as well. So uh, there's even greater value. 360 grams of that rubber there, but contents will vary. 346664. Right, so got a good old amount of gesso on there. So we mm. can still see our pattern underneath, but we've knocked it back. Okay. That'll do for that. My gesso is very crusty on the top. Just wipe that down a bit. Okay, so now we're going to do some stamping with some of our goodie bag before they sell out. <laughs> quickly, quickly. <laughs> now, I'm loving this one. I love numbers, absolutely adore numbers. So we're going to take our, um, we take our kissing frog, actually. Let's pick the right one. Here we go. Kissing frogs. 
Oh yeah, I'm dying to see this because this is an end of call purchase or you can get it. It's guaranteed to be in your embellishment bundle for 9 99 as well, yeah. So you're just going to pop some, don't need loads, onto Ooh. my paint mat. Mm. It's, it's a beautiful colour this. Isn't it? And it, and it will it will look lovely on uh, black card to, too as well. Has it got that metallic sheen, metallic. did you say? Yeah, yeah. it's metallic, yeah. Lovely. Yeah, so let's get a block. Oh, where's my Slim Jims? I'll put, my, put them somewhere. Hang on a sec. Oh, they're here. Oh, honestly, so much. We've got this, a, a, a starter kit on the show. Yeah, with the acrylics, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we've got these Slim Jims in it. And the Slim Jims are, uh, they're actually covered with um, the protective fi film still. Yeah. So you need to Just peel, peel off. both sides of this protective film off. Oh, I see, yeah. And then you will get your clear acrylic blocks. And we end up with actually one, two, you get all the different shapes in there, Julie, don't yeah, you? Three, different, four, different five, sizes, six. Yeah. And you, you do get the beautiful poppy stamp that you can see there. You do get your Versafine in the black and then 20 sheets of the super smooth stamping card. This is so smooth, you could just glide off. It's beautiful. That is £20.36, 9620.24. And is it just as it says, Julia, to get you started? Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's, it, it's a starter kit, but it's, I mean, the, the, obviously the, the um, stamp is lovely anyway. It's a good it's kit to have. It's beautiful, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I I've, I've, I've I, I love that kit. It's so, a great one in conjunction with the goodie bags because of those absolutely. acrylic blocks being all the different yes, sizes. Actually, if you're starting, actually, yeah. as a new stamper, mm -hmm. you need, I would get the starter kit and one of the goodie bags, the stamping goodie bags. So win -win. Absolutely. So this is very subtle. I'll give it a wiggle in a, li a little while so you can see it because obviously my background is quite dark still. So what I'm doing is dipping my stamp into the paint and giving it a good old stamp. You do one more up here. And then pop your stamp into some water so that the uh, acrylic paint doesn't stick. So if I give you that a wiggle to the camera. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can really see that now. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> it's nice to have the depth, you know, the layers. Yeah. So we do a little bit more. Fab. So we we'll pick another colour and we're going to go for our rose gold. Now, the large red rubber stamps, again, so poly my apologies, Julie, I'm just trying to give everybody stock That's updates. Fine. We are limited stock on the large red rubber, 360 grams of the red rubber. I mean, for instance, there's 30 stamps here, but I'm not guaranteeing you get 30, because look, you might end up with 35, because look at that whopper. You might end up with big whoppers and then smaller ones, but you are going to end up with quality. Everyone's a beauty. These are the ones that uh, Julie got on her mix. It, once they're gone, they're gone. So please, 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 we think, because uh, obviously these are... the as Julie was explaining, uh, when, when, when there's mishaps that have occurred, there's nothing wrong with the stamps themselves, but it's meant that the whole plate has not been able to be used, to be sold as such. So they make the goodie bags, which is why you get a £55 saving. Three, four, six, 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 four. And uh, I, I, the, we've got a second show with Julia at 11, but I, I, these are going to be gone. Yeah, they're, um, they're, they're and a smaller there. bag there, a the medium bag as well, with 230 grams of the, the red rubber. Is that 12 99 the smaller one? Twelve pounds and fifty, or fifty pence. I don't often get a fifty pence on the show. No. Oh, there you go. Twelve pounds and fifty pence. That's nice to say. Seven nine seven 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 two. Back to Julia. Right. So I've got my rose gold, and I've got like a feather stamp uh, in my uh, goodie bag, in my large one, and uh, just going to stamp some of those. So I give that a wiggle for you as well, so you can see the rose gold. Ooh, lovely. Okay. Again, we're just building up our stamp. So again, we're going to pop that into our water so we don't ruin it and these and are all the stamps they're already mounted aren't they they're Julie? already they're mounted already they're already cut, cut yeah. out for you you might sometimes uh like i did i actually got a, a few of my leaves from my medium set were um were joined so sometimes there's a little bit of trimming you might want to do okay. but um you know most majority of the time, yeah are trimmed they're already, already scrolled yeah well, that's, a, that's, a, that's an even bigger win-win for me then, because it's already done. Yeah. So uh, we're going for, this is Brass Monkey, uh, and all the metallic <laughs> paints are on the show. A little bit of that. Don't we'll get those on the that. screen, actually, because they, they, they work so lovely with your stamps there. You've got Brass Monkey, great names, Dragonfire, yeah. Merlin, and Rose Gold there. Do we get all of those for thirteen ninety nine? Brilliant. Yeah. 836301. Now, somewhere, if I can find it, I've got 
So there's Lovely. so many stamps. We might go for something different. I was going to go for the stars, but I think we'll go for the light, little light bulb instead, because I've found oh. that. The large one's sold out, Julia. 17 minutes into the show, the large bundle has sold out, but I've still got the medium, so all is not lost. Well done for acting so quickly. Please check out your baskets, because uh, I don't want you to miss out. Great value as well for the medium, obviously. Uh, so the large one has now sold out, but we still have got the medium, but we're approaching 50% of the stock gone. Again, contents will vary. It's just, uh, so, well, 230 grams of uh, the red rubber. So, if, for instance, here on the table, I've got at least 15 stamps there. But again, like I said, things, things will vary. Yeah, uh, of course, you... everything I've got in my uh, large could yeah. be in the medium. So, yeah. So let's give it another wiggle so you can see where my background's going. So we've got ah. our brass monkey on there now. Can you see the light bulb? Yeah. So we've got kind of varying shades of gold there going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's my background done, all finished. So now we're going to do a little bit of stamping onto our watercolour card, which I've put somewhere. Where did I put it? There it is. So th this is on the show as well. This is your pink frog watercolour card. And I'm going to do, be doing a bit of embossing, so we're going to dust with an antiseptic bag. Now remember, watercolour card's got a bit of a texture to it. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the card that's in the, uh, the Indigo Blue stamping card is a smooth texture. It just right. depends on what you, you, know, you want to do with it. But they still stamp, they both stamp beautifully, they don't they? They both stamp very well because the, um, the texture card doesn't actually um, have a lot of texture on it. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, a, a slightly less textured texture card, if that makes sense. And it's Pink Frog, which we know is super quality frog, there. Yeah. 100 sheets, 9 dollars 747203 But, you know, 50% off there. Again, all part of our big savings, which are running through till New Year's Eve. So on certain items... Uh, do watch out in the shows because like, like these beautiful bundles here, there's going to be big savings to take you through to New Year's Eve. I've put my smaller Slim Jims somewhere. I don't know where I've put, with, put them, so we, we have to go for a big block here, which is a bit <laughs> difficult with my small hands. But that, that, the we'll biggest, just go with it. The biggest Slim Jim for our smallest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, also in the starter kit, we've got an Onyx Black Versafine. And even if you've got Versafine or Versafine Claire, um, the little ones are quite handy to have. Mm -hmm. And also it's quite nice to get a new juicy uh, yeah. ink pad. Um, Especially trying out those stamps when yeah, you want to see what they yeah, are. Yeah, they, um, you know, they, it, work, it works just as well as the Versafine Claire. So we're just going to stamp that. Good old press. There we go. Oh, Look how wow. beautiful that stamp is. Fantastic. And then to em emboss it, we've got the uh, embossing glaze on the show uh, with the magic sparkles and the unicorn sparkles. Oh, yes. And you get a really good, uh, you get 60 mils, which is a big pot uh, of embossing powder. Uh, we call it embossing glaze, but it's, it's embossing powder, but it's super fine. Got that on the screen right now. You're with your unicorn sparkles, super fine embossing powder, and 25 millilitres of your luscious magic sparkles. They are fab. I've seen those on the show with Julia before, and a great price point for all three of those. 1399 yeah. 536 Right, so give, just give that a quick blast. Where's my heat tool there? It is. Get your heat tool working and then just give it a start in one place and then follow it around and, and the, the embossing glaze does give a beautiful um, shiny glaze to it it's just it's really really pretty I mean this stamp doesn't need colouring in if you don't want to Give that, you can see that at the camera. Lovely. Isn't it? Loads of detail, isn't it? It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's the same as the little one, but obviously a bigger version of it. So um, I've got some that I've already done here, which is just just fine. And we're going to just add a little bit of colour to them. Oh, there's something else I was going to put on my background, actually. Just forgotten. Right, mm -hmm. let's do that first. So I've got in here somewhere. Yeah, I've got this long one here and I've also got, it's, it's quite funny actually because in my big one mm. I had the this one which is a paintbrush yeah. 
And then in my medium one, I've got this one, which is the pencils. Ah. And they were, I think they were originally on the same, same set. set. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. I've still got my mediums. I've got one in my medium here, for instance, that is the whole uh, alphabet A to Z as a long border. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good, yeah. Just goes to show you that you're going to get quality no matter, you know, the contents vary, but... Uh, yeah, that fact, I love that. That's so funky. £12.50. You've still got the medium uh, remaining. 797, but over half stock's gone 772. That's 230 grams of the rubber stamps. You know, you could yeah. be ending up with at Don't least 15. Don't miss out. It really yeah. is so worth it. Great like, say, I, I, I watched the shows last, last year and was so, so tempted uh, to get them. But, you know, unfortunately, I don't get much time to craft for myself. Um, no, because you're demonstrating, aren't you? Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I have to be. Re I have to sit on my hands. That's what I have to do. <laughs> um, I was very lucky that Studio Light sent me the planners because uh, I wanted those as well. I'm a, I, I like my planner dies. Yeah. So we've got that across there with the Versafine. We'll clean that off in a minute, and then we'll add a paintbrush as well. That one in there. Obviously, you don't have to keep your medium and your large set separate. I don't know why I've kept them separate. I just, uh, I just have. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were just kind of just showing us how the contents vary. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, lo I, lo I love the artist uh, stamps. Yeah. Um, it it's like a win-win, you know, when, when you stamp them out and you think, Oh, I really like that one. I'm pleased that I've got that one, you know. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and my stag's head, he's, oh, he's gorgeous. Handsome, isn't he? and, yeah. and the Robin as well. So um, he's there, there he is. See, these could be some of the ones you're getting. I know yeah. that was from the big set, but there's... It doesn't Judy really was... matter. They could no, it be doesn't. Eaten. Exactly, yeah, yeah. there's the pencils in the corner there. Yeah. But then... There's no... They're all random. There's no yeah. kind of selection of process. Yeah. Although, um, I think Kay's quite je careful that you wouldn't just get a bundle of Christmas stamps. Yes, of something um, all the same. And she does make sure that, you know, there are some, you know, in, in all of them, Versatility really. there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so let's do a little bit of colouring in. So we get our like test tubes and your apothecary bottles. Yeah, there. I love those. yeah. So I thought these were quite fun. So um, another metallic paint is royal purple. Now I've got some big pots because I don't. Although I've got the little pots as well, I don't tend to open the little pots until I finish my. You know the pot I did have. Because um, right. uh, we used to do the big pots uh, and no little pots at all, um, and it was just so that people could have. Um, a bigger collection of more colours yeah. if uh, we gave you the option to buy lots of little ones rather than fewer big ones, if that makes sense. It does. So this is the Royal Purple. So we've got that on there, six in that set of the Mixed Media Paint set, £21, 533240. And because we've, I'd add just a tiny bit of water to it, they are highly pigmented. Uh, and because we've stamped and embossed, it means that we can paint over and still keep that detail because remember acrylic is is a plastic mm -hmm. so um, it will kind of obliterate your your, your um, detail unless you emboss right. it um, I mean it doesn't bounce off like it would uh, if you were using a water-based product uh, like as, as in a, a luscious powder yeah but um, it do, you do keep more of your detail if you stamp and emboss so that's your royal purple which is lovely Ooh, yeah, this one colours. is one of my favourites, Lime Sherbet. Oh, look at that. I absolutely adore this colour. Absolutely adore it. Beautiful, vibrant green. You don't really don't need much. I, I always put far too much of everything. <laughs> That's a great colour. It is. It's mm. absolutely beautiful. So we can go and just add a little bit in here. So the more water you add, can you see that's pulling off a little bit more? Yeah. That's because I've added more water. So again, you can fiddle around with your paints and figure out what sort of concentrate you want. And then another newish one is called Merlin. Again, Ooh. this is an absolutely stunning colour. Sleeping Beauty, Raven Black, Emerald City, Ruby Slippers, Kingfisher Blue. Loads, loads. Mer Have a little look on Merlin. Yeah. I think there's four sets now of okay. uh, metallics. Well, that's a nice blue. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kay loves her teals. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, absolutely beautiful. But you can see they're really nice to paint with. And the um, 
The Sentinel onto yours, Colour Me Happy uh, range that uh, I did last night and Phil's got today. Yeah. You can colour the letters in with these as well oh, because nice. uh, they, they just, um, yeah, really, yeah. really nice on those as well. So that's a little bit of colouring. Now, on my. Uh, um, I've got this uh, sentiment here and I want to do like a wash. So I'm going to use a uh, gold finger. We're all singing Shirley Bassey now. We can't help it. <laughs> it's all, as soon as you mentioned it, it's got to know doing, doing Shirley Bassey, actually, does he? Do Shirley Bassey? Does, does Scott do Shirley no. Bassey? No, does he not? I can no. imagine him doing a good Shirley no, Bassey. He, he loves a bit of Neil Diamond. Oh, does he? Yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> I should put it to him this Christmas. We'll just have a piano tune. We'll have a bit of a sing song around the old Joanna. So this is, see, I've watered this down a lot, okay? And so we can actually just do a wash over the top and that gets rid of the starkness of the watercolour card. But when it's dry, it's going to still give you a little bit of a shine, but not an intense shine like you would do uh, normally if you were using it in the raw. So let's do a little bit of uh, sticking because I've got some bits and pieces that I can stick down. So in my um, embellishment goodie bag, I've got Ooh. this pack here and um, it's, it's actually a Prima pack. Oh yeah. And they are metal embellishments. Oh. And um, if I can just open this. So this is from the goodie bag. Now again, yes. as, as Julia said, this will vary, but you will get your beautiful Kissing Frog um, fantastic metallic indigo blue paint. You're guaranteed to get that. But stamps, cards, chipboard, uh, transfers, jewel embellishments, it'll vary. Or, you, you know, your, your set differed to this set, didn't it, Julia? Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So, so in here, you've got your packaging. Look at these here. You've got these, like... Um, um, dictionary definitions that you can actually just cut up and use uh, in there as well. You could actually cut some of your doilies out from yeah. your packaging. But then I've got all these metallic frames and they're weighty. They're they really are. weighty because when I did my dry run of this, which is this one here, it's just the paper and it wasn't actually weighty enough to take this because it's very heavy. Yeah. Very heavy. Is it, is it metal? It looks yes, like metal. metal. Yeah, wow. Ah, yeah, oh, gosh, metal. right. Yeah. So, um, I, I mean, Great these value. probably would be about £15, I would think, 12 to £15. And you didn't pounds. just get that, did you? You got no, all the stuff in there as well. No, I got loads of stuff, yeah. loads of stuff. So, so what I've done is I've cut out my sentiments um, and, and used some um, hmm. uh, uh, super thick slap it on to add my sentiment on there. So that's going to go up here like that. So we'll, we'll actually get some slap it on out actually. So we can start sticking things down. This will probably be in the brand shop. It's not on the show, but it's Is it called the... Slap It Down? It's, it's sl Slap that's It On. Slap It On. Sorry, slap that's down. hilarious. <laughs> slap It Down. I've never heard of this product in my life. <laughs> that's a new one for you, Kay. Uh, slap It Down. A new one. <laughs> she needs to create slap it down. <laughs> oh, you're funny. So slap it on. Is this just a really it, strong... It, it's a texture paste. Oh, okay. But it, it's actually... Uh, 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 um, oh, yeah. Um, a texture paste, but you can use it as a uh, gel medium. Right. Yeah. So we've got my little apothecary bottles as well. And we can pop these perhaps down the bottom. A bit of slap it on on these as well. The goodie bag details are on the screen there 999 560 121. Again, another great one to add to your stash because you're guaranteed that lovely um, Kissing Frogs metallic paint set in there. Contents will vary, but they're all going to be gorgeous and well worth over what you pay. So uh, take advantage. Yeah, 560 one. And with, with the stamps that are in uh, in the um, embellishment pack, so actually the postage stamps as opposed to the rubber stamps, yeah, um, they've all been um, cut from um, just from envelopes. Yeah. So they've got the backing on there. Now, if you don't want the backing on there, yeah. all you need to do is pop them into some water, just okay. normal cold water will do. Yeah. And leave them for I don't know an hour or so, and the um, the adhesive on the stamp will lift 
Oh. Really? And you can peel away. Really? And it won't yeah. it can leave it in the cold it water? It won't damage the stamps. So, oh, wow. so you, you fe that. fetch your stamps out, yeah. pop them on some blotting paper to, to dry out, and then you can just use them just as stamps. That's amazing, Julie. I never knew that. That's such a good top tip. That's my uh, philately uh, background, because I used to collect stamps. You what, what was it called? The ph philately. 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 Is that, is that what you call a person who collects stamps? Yeah. Philately. Philatelist. Yeah. Philatelist. Well, yeah. I, lo I love getting out of an education day. Philatelists. <laughs> and uh, it's not called slap it down, slap it on. <laughs> Flatulist. This is the word of the day, everybody. A flatulist <laughs> is someone who collects stamps. And Julia was a flatulist. Yeah, I've still, I still got my stamp. I was going to say, why did you stop? I mean, you carry. I suppose you still I, are a I've flatulist. I still got. I still got my stamp collection. Yeah, I think my mum's still got my dad's collection. Now, in my embellishment pack as well, I've got some of these cards, uh, which are. You, I think that cool. I can never say. E ephemera that's the word isn't it so you've got some of those so i'm just going to yeah. edge that with a little bit of rusty hinge i've got um a bit of um twine here that was on a i don't know what it was on it was on something um, <laughs> probably on, on, on a piece of clothing or something so we're going to just pop that down here somewhere and we can put a thicker layer of slap it on on here. We've, we've also got some great A5 stamps on the show as well with great stamps. Yeah. So do we shop have, ahead. Yeah, yeah, Julie and I were in a right guffaw this morning about, uh, yeah, well, I'll show you them in a minute, but there's a, there's a brilliant, there's, they're all brilliant, but there's, they are, there's some there's, sentiments. There's, there's, that, Kay's got a fantastic yeah. sense of humour. She has. And um, some of the sayings she comes out with are just, and she's just, she's just put them onto stamps. and uh, Proper laughing yeah, out loud. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we can just pop our light bulb on there you could give some color in, in into the center there if you wanted to um, and I've got some hinges I can put on here um, but that that's pretty much where I was heading with that yeah it looks um, fantastic Julia really fantastic I love that, that looks so good doesn't it doesn't that course, look brilliant then I've got my note on the back of what colors ah. I've used as well so it, it, it's going to go in my art journal I oh, that's absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love that. Fantastic. Right. Quick as a recap, and I'll show you the stamps Julia and I were talking about. We've still got the goodie bag of the medium range, 230 grams of the red rubber, for instance, that could be tantamount to, you know, at least 15 stamps. Half the stock has gone, £12.50. You would be normally looking at £40. You're just merely paying for the red rubber itself. And if I just give you a clue as to, you know, it doesn't matter whether it was the big one or the little one, you're getting the quality. It's going to be a mixed bag. Um, but everyone's a corker and th that joy of the, the fun of stamping it out to see what you got on the day when it arrives. I just think it's like Christmas all over again. 797772. Now we've also got the car stock, the papers, the GSM will vary. They might be, have that lovely foiling within it or the glitter. Um, might be double sided. Um, just beautiful, beautiful samples here. I mean, at risk of uh, destroying the display, but you know, there's some fantastic, I mean, it's just fantastic. Again, it's about, building up your stash isn't it look at that with all the animals isn't that brilliant love this one reminds me of retro vinyls or sweets um beautiful oh hello vintagey christmasy one there but uh, it's all gonna be a mix really really gorgeous 9.99 uh beautiful beautiful cardstock and papers there i mean you, you're getting 25 wow what a great price point i know i'm i'm, I'm messing up the lovely display Kate, katie despairs well, she's, she doesn't have much to do, our Katie. She loves her job in the morning, our lovely Katie. <laughs> no, not really. She'll kill me later. 999-150-952. Now, the embellishment pack as well. This is, this is what Julia was referring to in terms of those stamps. A flatulist. Three quarters of the stock has gone. I love that top tip. Soak them in the cold water and it won't compromise your stamps, you know, because they've got the backing on there. But you might like that backing as well. Embellishments, transfers, stickers, cards, wood chip. Um, but you will be guaranteed the Kissing Frog metallic paint. Now, the only way you can get that is as a add-on, end of call, as it were, if you're purchasing today or in the embellishment pack there for 9 99 That's brand new colour there, 560121. The starter kit uh, Julia referred to as well. You are getting that beautiful, absolute absolutely stunning um, poppy stamp. Isn't that beautiful? You are getting your VersaFine um, ink pad as well. I'm just showing you some of these gorgeous samples here before we... Aren't they be I mean, look at that poppy stamp, just how it's been... Oh, that's absolutely stunning, isn't it? 
beautiful. So you're getting that lovely sizable stamp. You're getting your slim jims, all different sizes. Just peel off the backing there. So your acrylic slim jims, all different sizes there to accommodate your stamps. You get six of those. Uh, the Versafine ink powder and then the super smooth, 20 of the super smooth cardstock. Great accompaniment to your rubber stamps if you're starting out. £20, 36 pence, 962024. Now we mentioned the stamps, didn't we? We've got a lovely savings you know big save event here running now until new year's eve um they all all the options are there they're available on the web as well so have a little look instead of 19.99 we've got them i5 stamps for 15.99 so we've got sea turtles the dolphins seahorses you've got um what's the king hummingbird yes and the peony there uh, you've got the flower heads there which is a very popular one as well with the, with the blossoms there absolutely beautiful I know, just if we've got the samples here behind the counter that, well, I'll try and get through as many as I can in the next two shows. And then we come to, ah, yeah, is that, is he called Frank, oh, Frank the Fairy, yeah, there he is. Frank the Fairy, there he is. Let me show you him again. Where's he gone? Oh, he's gone the other side. That's okay, I was in the wrong place, was I? There he is. Uh, but yeah, I love this, this woman one. This is fantastic, yeah. Thank you for simply being you. Constant to friendship and failing in kindness. Just be yourself. Let people see the real imperfect, weird, flawed, quirky, magical and beautiful person that you are. And then let's stop there, Jimmy. Indulge me just for a second because these are hilarious. Sometimes I laugh so hard that tears run down my leg. Life is not a fairy tale. If you lose your shoe at midnight, you're drunk. Telling a woman to calm down works about as well as trying to baptise a cat. Some people manage stress with yoga, meditation and a long walk. I manage stress with gin, carbs and swearing. Uh, some things are better left unsaid, which I generally realise just after I've said them. Honestly, I was howling, howling this morning. 15.99.661.901. Right, Julia, let's go back to you. Probably got about, oh, just over 15 minutes. Okay, in. that's fine. So, um, in my uh, medium pack, I got uh, a set of leaves. So, all jo they were all joined together. And this little one here, so I, I, I had to cut them out, which is which is fine. I managed, um, but the leaves are obviously great to work with. Um, so I've gone ahead and uh, stamped and embossed. Uh, I've stamped with uh, Versamark, and I've embossed with some of the um, some of uh, Phil Martin's Pure Gold embossing powder. Now Indigo Blue do do a gold embossing powder, but I don't have it yet. So um, any super fine uh, embossing powder is going to give you a great result. So I thought we'd actually look at the luscious powders because we've got some luscious powders on the show and they are um, in a pick and mix, I believe. <coughs> and yesterday, uh, the day before Ooh. yesterday, I had a banging headache, so I sat very nice, very quietly and oh. just... Um, um, do some... swatches if you like. Yeah. Um, so uh, all you need to do is um, grab a little bit of your um, luscious. Let's grab this one, which is Dragon's Eye. And I know that my Dragon's Eye is in here. So um, if you're starting afresh, I mean, I keep mine, just like Kay, I keep mine upside down so I can see exactly what colours there are. Find a pointy. Ugh, why have I only got flat ones? So we've got them on a pick and mix. You pick any three for fourteen ninety seven five nine nine one seven eight. And is it water that you add into them, Julia? Yeah. There? So so oh. just pick up a bit of water. Yeah. Dip it into your luscious, and pop it into a palette. Right. And then add some more water, and give it a mix. And those ones you've already made, can you These, reactivate those? Yeah, exactly. As well? oh, yeah, I just I wanted really to like that idea. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to show you how to do this. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so just give it a mix. And you want, uh, Kay says, like a consistency of, of single cream. Mm. Um, I do actually like it a little bit runnier than that, um, but um, it's, it's entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. um, so, just to reactivate it, um, all you need to do is mix them with water. Right. So, just get your. Mr. Bottle, and you will reactivate them. Um, I do have another palette, which which is a little bit messy. Look at the state <laughs> of that. But that's a great one if you're on the go and you don't yeah, want to take all your powders with yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. You know I mean? Yes, definitely. But yeah. I can't remember what they all are. Oh, so, so the, the key the is label them on the front. Label them on the front. So this is just a, <laughs> this is just a, an alcohol marker that I've um, ah, good idea. I've used. Yeah. So that that is a really good idea. <laughs> um, 
So at some point I will empty the other one and start afresh because there's a lot of luscious powders and uh, there are going to be some more next year as Ooh, well. Nice. So, um, so yeah, so once you've got your paint, because we've stamped and embossed, we can actually uh, add a little bit of the powder, of the, you know, the luscious yeah. as a paint over. And because we've embossed, it bounces off of the line. Now there is a technique, and I think it's called uh, cloisonne or something like that. Oh, another big word for um, me. Uh, faux cloisonne, I think. Mm. Well, as in faux. But um, you can actually just take uh, one of your lush, some of your luscious powders and mm. some more water there. And um, what you do is is you kind of build up the colours rather than. Um, kind of um, oh, doing certain sections in different colours. You just kind of graduate and you move into different colours as you go. Oh. So um, that's what we're attempting here. Might not work, might not look very nice, but we'll see. Obviously, we'll give where, it a go. It's, where it's wet, uh, you're going to get a bit of a, a merge of colours, which mm -hmm. is quite nice. So that's the gold. And it's nice to have them on a pick and mix, I think. This one's Cherry Lips. I know, I know that one. Is it? Uh, is it? No, it's not. It's Vintage Rose. Yeah, Vintage Rose. I'm getting there. I've still got some of my medium goodie bag. I'm amazed I'm still talking about that, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, so £12.50, 797. Uh, we'll get those details up for you. So you're guaranteed at least 230 grams of the rubber stamps. Again, a lovely mix. Could be looking at at least 15 stamps in there. Um, we're at three quarters of stock gone. Please don't miss out because the no. large one went straight away. And this is just equally as good. It's just a smaller, smaller amount. Yeah. Uh, what's I mean, not like to I love? say, I, I would, I would, I would probably go for both. Um, yeah. Builds, builds up that collection. Yeah. Yeah. It is a really good buy, collection to get started with. You could Absolutely. buy two, couldn't you, Julie? Because they're both going to yeah. be different. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 For twenty-five yeah. quid. Uh, I mean, there might lots. be. There might. I'll say there might be different. There might be a duplicate. The old one that but, crosses you know, over. But you could. You, you, you could kind of, if you've got crafty friends, you could exactly. you get one of those. Do you want to swap? Yeah, the chances are probably yeah. it's slim, but there might be a tiny crossover. But it's a uh, fantastic Christmas present as well. Oh, if, yeah. you know, if you know, if you've got a crafter in the family. Yeah. So, so that's that's one leaf I've done there. Just wanted to show you that. That looks amazing with those powders, doesn't it? The, 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 the shine is beautiful. So it looks, looks quite nice, doesn't it? Graduated. Mm. So you could spend some mindful time kind of just uh, colouring all of those in. Obviously, we're not going to have time to that. We've got about 10 minutes, just so you know, Julia. You don't want to watch me colouring like that, do you? No, I, don't, I watch you doing anything for 10 minutes. I don't mind. Do you want just me to go through some of the other colours? What? Well, what do you want? Our oh, lovely Ross, I feel like I'm... Else? She always says, let's do something else, Let's Julia. do something else. All I'd do with that is I'd carry on colouring in, which is lovely, mindful um, exercise. And then I've got one of my sentiments that I got was uh, walk gently, breathe deeply. Yeah. And I'd probably uh, grab one of my colours. Uh, let's think. Uh, let's grab that lovely green. If I grab a little bit onto my flat brush. And then we could just edge. Try not to flick it down there with the um, powder as well. Or you could get a sponge, um, uh, you know, just a bit of kitchen sponge and just drag that around the edge. But it just, it's just going to set it off a little bit. So when you pop that on there, you've got a, a little bit of a border. So that's where I was going with that. Lovely. Okay. Lots of different colours in those luscious powders as well. Limited stock now on our lovely... Um, Embellishment set, limited stock now on the embellishment set, $9.99. Um, you are getting that Kissing Frog beautiful metallic new brand new paint there as well, $9.99. Contents will vary, but you know, you're going to get lots of fantastic goodies, stamps, embellishments, transfers. Um, yeah, I can't see that lasting towards the end of the show, so please check out your baskets, 560121. And I've still got some of my medium goodie bag on these fantastic rubber stamps. 80% of those have gone as well. So don't forget you're getting your £5 Christmas credit as well to spend tomorrow on anything over £30. You can buy anything this today, and uh, it's one credit to spend per day. Right, Julia. So, uh, a piece of the um, Pink Frog watercolour card, and we're going to make like a... a, a a shaggy piece of card, I suppose. So we're just going to t use a ruler and tear tear the card towards us, and we do the same on another side. Like this. And if you tear towards you, you've got the um, 
the kind of the core that you see yeah and then we can do the same thing on this side here don't worry about it if it goes all the awry like that and that's absolutely fine and then we'll just tear another one here like that so there we've got ourselves a shaggy piece of card <laughs> and then we're going to take some um, masking tape I'll find the end there we go and just mask off an area give ourselves a border and like that getting take limited your time on. and get it nice and square yeah getting limited on that medium bundle now for the stamps goodie bag stamps on the medium bundle getting limited now so please check out your baskets and uh, just remind everybody Julia is back with us at 11 o'clock um, but I don't think these will be so uh, please don't miss out limited on my medium bundle now so we take a little bit of our paint. Oh, is this the kissing frog this again? This is the kissing frog again. Lovely. Got that as an end of call or indeed with the embellishment set pack, if there's any of that left. Oh, it's gone now, Julia. What else? The embellishment, the embellishment pack okay. just sold out. That's fine. But you can get the kissing frog at the end of call, can't end you? End of call, yes, yeah. So I've just misted the, the watercolour card with some uh, water and we're just taking our kissing frog and just adding some here. So obviously it's going to be quite light and it's going to move around a little bit. Take a little bit more. Like that. I always go. I always forget that I need to not go over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> what oh. am I like? What am I like? It's early, Julia. I know. I don't do early. She doesn't do early, everybody. It's like torture for her. Can you, can you please Rebecca. tell the boss I don't do early? Do you know what you, you say it over and over again? But it's, it's almost, almost like they're like torturing you, darling. They are. Yeah. I'm too old to do this. <laughs> right, then, then this is your brass monkey again. Uh, you Briggs. must have done something wrong in a former life, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> probably. I'm probably a little bit wet here, actually. Probably didn't need quite so much water, but we'll, we'll just go with it. It will dry. Yeah, and it okay. dries that lovely shine, doesn't it? It dries that lovely shine, mm. so... And then we're bringing, just for a bit of contrast, let's go for... Um, let's see... Da, 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 da. Let's go for uh, ruby slippers. Bring in a little bit of that. Dirty hands, as always. This is a lovely red. We'll bring some of that in the middle. Ooh. Right, so it looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but don't worry. So what you do is you just leave it to dry. You can, you can leave the, the um, tape on if you want to. And when it's dry, you'll get, and I'll probably use slightly different colours, you'll get that, like that. Wow. So that's, that's, that's actually, that's the Kingfisher Blue, the Kissing Frogs, and the, um, uh, one of the others, I can't remember, Rose Gold on there. So, and I've also edged it with the um, Ooh, like that. Kingfisher as well. Yeah, that's so, lovely. So to... Just to grab a few uh, ideas for you, this is the um, new um, well, starter not new, set, the but poppy, the, in yeah. The, yeah, yeah, that one. Brain's not working. That's okay. Uh, then we've got a sentiment we could have: confidence, joy, and squishy hugs. That's what little girls are made of. Ah. That could be that could be a card like that. Uh, we could also bring in our. Oh yes, from our lovely stamp sets with five, four pounds off. Exactly, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we could have, uh, there is an ocean one here. There. there we go. Ocean stirs the heart, inspires the imagination and brings joy to the soul. Indeed it does. So if we pop that onto a bit of black card as well, it pops. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, so we could do that. We can also bring in our oh, wonderful like lady. Yeah. So she's set. really cool, and she's you could add hard. a little bit of colour to her um, neckerchief if you mm -hmm. wanted to. So we could just have a thank you for simply being you, constant in friendship and failing in kindness. That's that that could go there. Um, then we can also have um, this. This is a lovely Ooh, um, yes. stamp. That one. What's that? Is that the pop? What is it called? Poppy That's, heads. Uh, uh, 
Flower heads. It's just flower called flower heads, heads isn't it? You get that Sorry, I'm frame there. I'm struggling to remember all the names. There's yes. so many of them. Again, we can Comes bring those in blocks. that, that yeah. sentiment there. So lots and lots of mm. ideas with the same kind of background there. All the stamps are going to work. Um, we've also got this lovely you frame the here, heads, yeah. which probably wouldn't, not in that situation, no. it's just too big. Um, but, but ideal for your sentiments. Or so it's the, ideal yeah. for your sentiments or to use separately. We could colour that in as well and then bring in the sentiment here. So you can see you, you've got a lot of really simple cards but you just bring in your stamps and swap them. You could do a really good batch run, you know, yeah. do lots and lots of backgrounds, having all your stamps and all your fussy cutting and just really make loads. Yeah. And with the Indigo Blue, um, um, what's it called, Angel Policy, yeah. as long as you're stamping things and making things yourself, then you can sell as many as you like. You know, Fantastic. But, yeah. That's good to know. And we've got some great savings on those stamps, 15 and 99 You're saving £4. Um, they're at the end of the counter. Should we have a look at some samples? We've got about two minutes remaining. Um, just to let you know as well, the medium now has sold out. The medium uh, goodie bag bundle has sold out. So uh, well done to you. We knew they would. Julia predicted it first thing this morning. So she's with us again at 11 o'clock. I'll quickly show you some of these lovely samples that we've got behind the counter here, if that's all right. Here's our Frank the Gnome and uh, there's so many fantastic... Frank, Frank the Fairy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Which camera do you want this on, my darling? There we are. There we go. There's our Frank the Fairy. We've got our fish. We've got our, our, our lovely dolphin. Forgive me for not name checking everybody. That's Suze. We've got our lovely lady there. That one's by Rachel. Um, obviously, you've got the fantastic flowers. There's Kerry's. Um, so many fantastic. So do have a look at these stamp sets because they are absolutely brilliant. As Julia was, you know, you can you can you can batch make some great sentiments in there as well. We were laughing at the sentiments there. Just be yourself, let people see the real, imperfect, weird, flawed, quirky, magical and beautiful person that you are. Yeah, there's our lovely, um, is that the Kingfisher? Hummingbird. Why do I always think Kingfish? I don't know. Sorry, everybody. That's the lovely Hummingbird. Oh, I love this in the embossed. That's Jill's. Hummingbird. In Isn't that beautiful on the white? Yeah. See, because you just make your background and then stamp and emboss in white. Wow. That's so stylish, isn't yeah. that gorgeous? Julia, you're back with us at 11. I am, yes. I don't know what we're going to do with whatever we've got left, but we'll do it. Yeah, we're, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let her have a coffee and a break. It's far too early for our lovely Julia. Julia, thank you so much. Thank you, Phil. As always, lots of inspiration. Uh, do take advantage of these fantastic A5 stamps. The starter kit with your Slim Jims and your uh, beautiful Super Smooth card and that poppy stamp and that lovely verse finding. Um, and we've still got some of the lovely 12 by 12 cards up for 9 99 as well. Take advantage. Don't forget to check out your baskets and take advantage of the Christmas credit £5 as well. Right, I'm going to join the lovely Hayley now for the Fabric Freedom One Day Special. And yes, cool cats are in the building. We're going to have their big save event afterwards and then colour me happy sentiments with our film. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? 
For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. And a very good morning to you and welcome to the one day special which is some fabulous fabric with the gorgeous Hayley. Good morning Hayley. Hello. She's oh, we've here. got the unpicker out since it's going well this morning. She's unpicking. <laughs> we've had not gay. Oh it's all been kicking off this morning. Uh, right I've got an announcement to make in terms of our one day special the teal multi has now sold out that's sold out over overnight but we've still got some fantastic wonderful fabrics and the one day special is five half meter uh fabrics basically so but teal multi has sold out so i'm just going to pop that there <laughs> right okay so let's take you through with our lovely Haley. if you actually should we start with the, the other teal option that we have still got so oh, back to um, front let's do it yeah talk Why to me not? about these fabrics then okay Hayley. so these are uh, 160 centimeters wide so that's 63 inches so that's a um if you think about it in terms of your normal fabrics your normal uh, quilting cottons you'll get them at 45 inch width which is about 110 centimeters ish so what you're effectively getting with these is 50 percent extra oh. free on the end oh so you're getting uh, 160 centimeters wide rather than your normal 110 so yeah almost 50 percent extra on each piece that you're getting well, and the price on that i mean you're getting five pounds per half meter here now you'd be expecting to pay that for your normal 
Gosh. Well, you'd, uh, you'd be expecting to pay probably more than that for your normal quilting cotton, but this obviously you're getting that extra wide width, so you're getting even more. Gorgeous, absolutely, and the quality of the feel of them. Um, you're going to talk to us more about cutting your geometric shapes, but I'm just showing you the teal option because I think it's absolutely stunning and our other teal florals sold out. And Hayley did say, you know, if you want double this because you want an even wider cut, they can be cut to the larger. They can, and what I would definitely recommend, two. I know we're going to go through all of the one day special options, yeah. but I would definitely recommend having a look on the website because a lot of these fabrics are available as a just a solid two meter piece. Right. So then that could be the backing for your quilt. Right. You've got your five different colors there that can be chopped up and put together. That's the top of your quilt. So that's a, and a it's at the bottom there. So that's a full quilt for under 50 pounds. And that's a wow. big quilt as well. I love the yellow. I'm a big fan of the level, yellow. And you've got a beautiful fabric on your desk, which I know you're going to come to. Yeah, it's like a mustardy um, yeah. yellow colour. It's still quite a fashionable colour at the minute, this kind it of is. mustardy yellow. It's I just popping love it up in a lot of things. It's happy. It's goes a happy colour. Really well with those teals, goes really well with the blacks and the grey options that we've got as well. And you've got a lovely, I can't remember the name of it, but it's on your desk. You've got four colourways over there. It works beautifully with your little animal yes. one. Ah, we've got. I can't remember what it's called. Dakar, well, that's what it's called. It's called what? Dakar. Dakar. Yes. Anyway, we'll get to that. Okay. Remember that. Remember we'll the yellow because it looks stunning with it. The Dakar. Dakar. Uh, so that's like the yellow place, option. Dakar. Dakar. Uh, here's the black option now. I know Haley's working with this at the moment. So we'll talk more about cutting your geometrics. But your black and your, your sort of steely greys, really. Sort of. Uh, sort of charcoal grey. This paisley is beautiful, so, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, this is your black option. Yeah. Um, a lot of the backgrounds on them are black, but there's a couple that have kind of more of a grey paisley yeah. background to them. So that one's got like Those a dark grey in. Yeah. Um, really, really handy. And we're going to show you a bit more about working with some of these geometrics because uh, obviously you can just cut them out as the kind of fabric runs. But if you uh, are a little bit more careful with your cutting, you'll get much better, much more professional looking finished results out of it. Beautiful. And this is sort of like a silvery grey, isn't it? It's a very gentle yes, this sort one's of much, dove. Um, much lighter and I think much softer because obviously yeah. black and grey go with anything. Yeah. So it's a, a good stash build of the grey one if you're not sure which one uh, you want Colour to go where you're for. you're going. Because it will go with everything. Beautiful. The stars there, very pretty, very subtle. Um, and again, love these. This would be lovely with yellow. I'm obsessed with that yellow. Uh, and again, in the grey, this is like your black. And then there we go as well. Fantastic. So great value, as Hayley has explained. This is what we still have in terms of availability. You're getting all five of those, whichever colourway you decide to go, £24.48. Beautiful cotton now. Is it cotton 100%? Is it yes, all cotton? Yes, it's all 100% yeah. cotton. Um, yeah. Now, sometimes with these ones where you've got a single colour and quite a large covering of colour on a print. Initially it'll feel a little bit uh, stiff. Now that's that's great for sewing with because it holds its shape beautifully. Um, but if you do want to wash it first then to soften it up then yeah if you just wash it it'll it'll soften up beautifully. Beautiful. £24.48 111788. Shop ahead on the web as well because um, Hayley has given us loads of bargains as well. There's the lovely tapestry fabric, there's the tapestry panels there I know Hayley was working with, uh, the dogs and the cats. There's the two meters there you see that Hayley was talking about as well if you want the larger cuts. Love the Christmas cheers. It's not Christmassy themed. You've got uh, it's Christmas bison. prices. Yeah, <laughs> Christmassy happy prices. Oh, there's our lovely Dakar. Now they've got that comes in the yellow, the grey, yes, and there's like a, a moon grey, there's a uh, like a silvery um, bluey colour yeah. as well. I'll give you the proper colours when we get there. Gorgeous. Green, silver, grey, uh, sulphur, and ice. Ice flow is the grey blue flow. one. Fusible web there. Oh, some fantastic waffle weave uh, f sort of rolls there. Freedom roll and the Swiss roll there as well. Great savings. And uh, Hayley's going to be talking about lots of these as we go through the show together because a lot of them are with our Hayley. I've got some two, me two meter backing fabrics. So these go beautifully. Uh, with the one day special as well so because we've got a lovely mix of the colors there as well yeah there are some that are designed to go uh, that you yeah. actually see within the one day special bundles but then there are a few kind of extra ones in there as well lovely. so this is one of them. this one i think has a real kind of tattoo feel with, yeah. it, with the swallows and the anchors in there but quite sketchy so you could and remember these are extra all of these are extra wide width yeah. so if you're thinking of dressmaking 
these are a great place to start because those particular patterns don't have a right way up and a wrong way up. No, So you've true. got much easier pattern matching. So especially if it's maybe a first dressmaking pro uh, project or maybe somebody you know is getting um, a sewing machine for Christmas yes. and they're looking for a fabric or they may be looking for a fabric to start off some projects with, this is a great option to start out with because there's no right way, wrong way. You can literally just kind of go for it. You don't have to worry about your pattern matching so much on that one and that sort of a coral option and a fuchsia pink option. Then we have got uh, almost, almost not quite circular dots, but almost like fallen snow there. Uh, these are the bilbies, and you've got different colour options there. That Again, mint. because it's not that kind of yeah. really obvious spot in a, a no. really regular pattern, it's another really nice one to oh, be mango. able to use in place of a, a plain or maybe a little polka dot spot because it's got that little kind of teardrop effect in there. That's the gold flame, and then our last one. That'd be coral. Sort of a coral colour, oh, isn't it? I think, it might I be think it's coral. Some of them have name? got place names rather than. Right. Um, I see. Yeah, I would say website. Website is your best <laughs> option on that one. <laughs> and then I have another two here as well. Oh, I have copped out there quite a lot. <laughs> Mika. The, yeah, that's your Mika option, and if you have a look at the, especially that grey one against the. All of those colours on the back Ooh, there, the greys, yeah. the blacks and well, the yellows. Scott Fab. was doing it last night and he was on his knees holding it out across all of them. Yeah. And I said he, he looked like a mini matador. So then we were going to get one of those squeaky pigs that run across the floor and then flip to be his bull. <laughs> but there was a little bit of cross communication and he thought I was calling him a squeaky pig that runs across the floor and flips over. But he, see, he back is not to my favourite, the yellows. You can see That's how that will go with going on. any of them. Sorry. That yeah, will go does, with any of them. You've done it much more uh, gracefully than, than he did, I must say. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, have a look at those on the website there. £21.98. Great savings again. Beautiful, beautiful cotton there. Uh, all the different options there are on the website. So uh, £21.98. Fabulous, fabulous. Right then, let's go over to Hayley because she's got some more pig mixes, Christmas cheer and the tapestry. Okay. Um, They've just told me to go left, and I don't know which one left is, if it's my left or your left, so I'm going this way. <laughs> I'm not going to just go that with that. <laughs> so these are some more, these are your special Christmas price ones. So these are very exciting. Some of which you've seen before, some of which are brand new patterns as well. These are a poplar and weight cotton, and they're 158 centimetres wide. So um, one metre by 58.5. Yeah, that's just about 60 inches, so it's about 144-ish wide you're getting on these centimetres-wise. And there's four different patterns, so let me pull them out one at a time. So this one is your wild, is it wildflower? I can't just remember from last night. I'm sure this one's wildflower, oh, and then flower. you've got yeah. four different colour options within each of them. Oh, it's floral, floral garden. garden. I was wrong. <laughs> um, so you've got your pink background with your white and kind of li lilac-y pink flowers on there. So that is your first option. Now, all of these would work together, or you could work them separately, because what you'll find is when they're done as collections, there's a lot of similar colours running through all of them, so you could kind of mix and match them together. Yeah. So that is your uh, white option so it's always um the background color that comes first ah. so this is the white and lilac and this then you've got the brick, your brick teal. teal yeah now we have said brick teal on this brick obviously being that terracotta -y background color the teal in this i would say is more of a turquoisey blue yeah I would uh, agree, than yeah. the teal that we've got going on next to you over there sky, and this is the sky, sky background pink, yeah and you know we pick out one colour of the flower to go on the top but you can see if you can have a look in there there's loads of different colours there's yellows there's pinks there's peaches there's uh, greens in there so you can pick a lot of different colours out of that one and I think this one's quite a nice one for English paper piecing as well because you mm. could easily fussy cut those kind of coloured pieces out so there's colour in there but it's not too over the top yeah. on those ones so your next option oh, is why so sheepish, sheepish. I love these, Hayley. Which are super, super cute. There's two options on this. You've got the violet, which is the lilac, sorry, which is the purpley one, and the pink, which is a, a little bit of a kind of softer, dusky pink on that one. Great fun. No great fun. Next option is 
Oh, these are super cute. So these are your little animals. Oh. And you've got all sorts of animals within here. Badgers. The more you look, the more you see. Yeah. So um, there's badgers in there, there's mice, mice in there, there's foxes, owls, oh, there's yes. hares, rabbits. And they're all in these little kind of little... Uh, f almost little floral frames that yeah. they've got around them. So you could pick them out individually, especially again if you're looking at paper piecing. Perfect for that. And you've got four colour options in here. So this one here is the grey. And then the next one I've got is the sky, which is the lighter of the two blue options. The darker one is chambray. And your last one, it's either off-white or cream. I can't remember which one it's called. I think they're calling it it's cream. It's cream. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Cream it is then. <laughs> and then the last uh, set of patterns that I have are the bikes. These down are great, here. Hayley. These are and such fun. Yes, these are really, really cute. And Aww. lots and lots of fun on yeah. these. So you've got three different colour options again. You've got your blue, your dusky pink, and your off-white. I knew one of them was off-white and one of them was cream. I just couldn't remember which way around they were. <laughs> <laughs> I love the bikes. I think they're fabulous. So it's a pick and mix, that one, Hayley. Yes, yeah. yeah, you need to do my numbers. Oh, sorry, I, yes, sorry. I, I'm, I'm just I'm so entranced to listen to you. Uh, you can just pick any three. <laughs> numbers. I'm just having a nice time. Uh, 937512, pick any three of those. Fabulous. Get some great choices there. £19.97. And there they are all on the web there with all the names there as well as Hayley was describing to you there. So you just add them to your basket. You can pick three the same. You can pick three separate ones. It's really up to you. Add those to your basket. And don't forget, with our Christmas event as well, you'll get a £5 Christmas credit to spend tomorrow on any order over £30. Yeah. Fabulous. Right, we've got another pick and mix we now. Have. This, this is, a is the tapestry yeah. fabrics. Don't get I, to see I, this very I'm often. going to go back to front on this one because I, I went that way last night. I'm going to come this way. Okay. Come towards me today. So this is um, the first one, and this one is. Uh, it's, <laughs> we've got owls, and we've got um, the one that's lots of owls, which we discovered last night was a parliament. We got it mixed up with crows, which is a murder. <laughs> but um, it's all sorted now. It's a Parliament of Owls, and it's called Owls All Over the Place. <laughs> <laughs> so there's loads. And this is a different fabric now. This one is um, a, a tapestry. So by tapestry, what we mean is it's actually the design, rather than being printed on the top, is woven in ah. to the design of the fabric. So that is your first option there with your owls. The next one that we have, these are owls on branches so I'll perching owls oh, for this one cute. so you've got more startled. of a kind of solid background on these with just those little kind of feature leaves coming through and again if I show you the back you can see all of that detail is woven into the so fabric thick material, but isn't it? it's also nice seeing the back well it is because it's um it's mm. a, um, a tapestry and yeah. it's all woven in so it, it is going to be thicker because just by the virtue of the, the threads are thicker that you start off with and there are a lot more warp and weft threads and right. the heavier threads in the first instance. So it ha is quite a heavyweight fabric, this one. So this is something that I'd oh. be using for um, things like, oh, it's upside down. There we go, I'll hold it that way. So That's this is nice, your vintage cars. Stay there. Well, like that. That's very distinguished, isn't it? It is. Now, I, I said last night that they were perfume bottles. They're not. They're um, gas pumps. They're um, petrol pumps. But the old style ones with the um, uh, in the glass cylinders mm -hmm. on. So that is that one. And you've got all sorts of your kind of your motorbikes and your cars Petrol and your wheels, lots of things yeah. in that one. Now this one. Ooh, very rich. Ooh. Ooh. I know. And remember that these are all woven. So if you do yeah. prefer the back, there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't use it That's lovely, that, that way around yeah. instead. So this is Inca Tapestry, this one. Mm -hmm. And your next one, this one, again, when we were saying you can use them either side, because they are, um, as we've said many times, woven, you can have this one as either the positive or the negative That'd be option. a nice poncho, that. Well, that's it. Yeah. Maybe just those kind of throws that you have yeah. at the minute. Rugs, you could just bind the edges, put right. something non-slip on the back. Yeah. This one is um, tribal monochrome. Oh, I have like to that. keep remembering all these. Mm. It's a lot to remember. Um, but this one, I think, is one of my favourites from mm. this option because I think it's it's got the most versatility with it being so good as a completely reversible one. This is the one we were using uh, for demonstrations last night. So this is tribal geometric, and this is the mm. one that um, we had on 
I'm sure it was about a year ago, and Leonie oh. took a shine to it, and we made her some kind of cushions oh, or um, chair coverings for her house. Now, this is a pick and mix, and you're pick and mixing any three. So what you can do is if you want to do larger projects, so maybe you wanted to do a blind or a rug or something yeah. like that, then you get it as a continuous piece. So you put oh, three lovely. of the same in your basket, get one big continuous piece, Great. and then you've got slightly more options for it. So okay for upholstery as well, because it's quite strong, Absolutely, that's, strong, in, that's a kind of what this yeah. kind of fabric is intended for, because right. it's a little bit heavier. So if you're covering, so it's like your normal um, dining chair seat pad, yeah. you'd probably get... Um, I'm not guaranteeing it because I don't know exactly what size your seats are, <laughs> but you'll probably get three out of one of these half metre strips. Yeah. If your seat's slightly bigger, then obviously you're probably going to need a metre of it to be yeah. able to, to do that. So this one is the chevrons. Very striking. But look at the back though. Ooh, total change, yeah. Total change yeah. to the back. It's very, very, very uh, interesting stuff because you can get really interesting patterns of it. This is the Harlequin, oh, like Harlequin. and this one kind of gradually graduates one colour to another. It's not a really mm. kind of stark stop between them, so this one's quite quite interesting as well. Then, oh, let me get this one. Oh, lovely. Oh, they're, they're also beautiful, Hayley. Some corkers there. This is Peruvian tribal, apparently. You can kind of see that in the kind of South American yes. patterns within it, can't you? Yeah. And then the, we've got a few more. We've got yeah. three more. We're getting there. There's quite a lot, there. though. And I'm gradually disappearing off the end of the counter. You know where else to go. <laughs> so this one is the Aztec option. I'm going to try and come back in a bit because I'm literally running out of wall. Um, <laughs> we'll go this way. There you go. Oh, wow. So that is your uh, zigzag patchwork. <gasps> so you can see there's zigzag pieces in there, and mm. you've got two different patterns in there, and you've also got them going in different directions, which is quite a complicated weave on this one. To get those, right. to get zigzags going in one direction, Yeah. that's, you know, easy enough. You can, you can work that out. But then when you've got them going in this direction Gosh. and this direction and all over the place, that's quite a complicated weave in its own right that one you could cut those the bits out individually got, couldn't you is yeah. the zigzag so they will come to you this way on as well so remember Fabulous. you can pick and mix any three of those so if you want to pick ones that kind of coordinate together mm -hmm. especially these two which are exactly the same kind of color palette you can oh, get yeah. ones that work together or you can choose to get uh, choose your favorite and go for and go oops, for three meters three, uh, three the same three lots i should say yeah 19 pounds 97 so if you want there will be cut and one continuous line if you're looking for larger than the half meters you go for three of the same if you wanted that as Haley said brilliant price point 12 pounds 95 to totally upholster some stools or chairs or the bags all the thing bags ponchos blinds yeah so Gorgeous. if you went to a a fabric shop and you asked for Steel, that kind it? of weight of yeah. fabric you'd you'd be hard four, pushed four, to four get it half meter. Four, you'd be hard pushed to get half a meter for that yeah. price never mind a meter and a half and that vintage so distinguished because there's so many things you could do with that um beautiful really beautiful fantastic so please take advantage 366034 Right, okay, we'll give Hayley a minute there. So don't forget, this is the one-day special. We've already had a sellout overnight as well. I think there were sellouts yesterday as well with Hayley on the launch in terms of the dusky pink, I think, went, didn't it? Is that Fabric Freedom are away. So we know the That's two it. that we've lost, we can't get any more right. of. Um, so I know that we have got limited stocks on. Once on it's gone. Summer, on, we, we can't bring them back. Yeah. Because we can't get all the people to bring them back. <laughs> we just can't. They're not around. Uh, so once it's gone, it has gone. You've got your teal, you've got your yellow, you've got your blacks with the charcoal sort of pewter greys and the soft uh, silvery greys there as well. You get those five half meters there as well. well larger than a half meter actually as Haley was describing the size 563 by 160 centimeters there so you, it's almost like you get half again extra one 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 seven double eight right Haley, uh you're going to cut some geometrics for us you're going to talk yes, about that so yeah we've been, uh, looking at some of the geometrics and looking at uh, stitching them up together so I'm, what i'm doing is kind of preparing two blocks that are exactly the same but when I've cut the geometric fabrics up in the first instance, I've used slightly different techniques to do each of them. So with the first one that I've got, uh, this one here, this one I've been very careful with my cutting. And I've made sure that when I've cut them out, I've kind of followed pretty precise lines and I've got them all exactly straight. Because what will happen is sometimes when you come to cut the geometric stuff, let me just grab the two strips that I did last night. Um, and I'll move these out of the way so you can see a bit more clearly. Let's pop them up 
Wait. So, this one has been cut with scissors, and what I've done is I've followed the pattern rather than followed the kind of weave of the fabric. And you can see I've cut them all dead straight, following following the pattern, and just kind of hitting those cross points all the way along the top. The second one that I have here, this one has just been uh, torn straight. So this one follows the line of the fabric, but doesn't follow the line of the pattern, because you can see there, just slowly, it starts to drift out. And as you kind of come up here, you can start to see you've got those cross points showing. And the further you go along, the further it goes out. Um, so if, I mean, if you're happy enough with that, then fine. Do it like that, and mm -hmm. you can you can get it done quite quickly. But what I would advise is, if you take your time, you'll get a much better finish. So we're just now taking some of these pieces and stitching them together into a block. So I we're just doing a, a really simple nine patch block, just to illustrate how these go together. So that will go there. Uh, that one will go there. No, it won't. No, that one stays there. That one go there. We go. Fine. So that'll be our nine patch block. So the difference that we'll, you'll start to see is where we've got these edges, where we've cut these perfectly straight versus some of these ones here, which have just been cut that follow the line of the fabric. Can you see it kind of slightly, mm. it's almost like the pattern is slightly rotated. And we showed you last night how to actually repair that within the fabric okay. before you go ahead and cut it. So I'll go and grab, if I've can have a minute I'll grab yeah. the ironing board I'll mention these rolls we'll show that's you, all right yeah we'll show you how to straighten the, the fabric out because sometimes when you get fabric like a geometric one it, the print isn't dead straight and that's yeah. just it's just the way it manufactures it's very okay. difficult to get a geometric print dead straight with the grain of the fabric it just right. always is going to be that way so what you can do though is once you've got it home you can kind of help manipulate that fabric right. back a little bit so you can cut it dead straight so I will go and grab what I need Great, I'm going to mention these rolls. Do them. Yeah. 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 I think you'll enjoy the names of them. You know I love a challenge. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I think you'll enjoy that. I don't think it's going to be the most challenging option that you've had to do. <laughs> Could it be purple and pink? Uh, let's go for the bigger ones, first of all. So you get 40 pieces in each of these. They're two and a half inches wide and by 44. And uh, you can see here, we're going from about purples there to our rose reds to our plums to our pink to our baby pinks and then back around again uh, and again great for your patchwork great for your quilting uh, very delicate little yeah waffle weave fabric and um, so it's got a print on there that is like it's a much more textured fabric more like a, a hessian or a canvas yeah. it's got that kind of uh, yeah. element to it and that means that if you are trying to put something like a uh, a plane in but you can't get that really good match on the plane putting something like that in that's got a little bit of a pattern to it but yeah. not a proper pattern no you can use it kind of in place of a, a plane and it works really really well fantastic yeah what a great idea as well you're struggling to get that uh, plane because it's not too true it's not too in your face is it it's very subtle it so is. that is option a i'm liking this yeah do uh, you like the, the, the imaginative names is this option b by any chance yes it is there we go. See, I'm on a roll now. I think option B is my favourite. Lovely. I might, Lovely. I might just put them in the wrong order later. Yeah. Just, just to see if you've been paying just attention. Just to trick me. <laughs> just to, to love me. It's in written it. on the front, though, so I reckon you'll, you'll oh, manage to Oh, you get see. It. There we go. Fiona proof. <laughs> Fiona proof. Uh, light blue, beautiful greens. There's lovely dusky greys. Uh, beautiful, a uh, bright blue there as well. Lilac, sky blue. Uh, oh, I love those colours. I think they're so pretty there again with that very delicate waffle colour on there. £27.99. That's option B. So that leaves me with option C. Sherlock Fiona. Hey, that one fire this morning. <laughs> uh, lovely greens to the mustards, to the plums, to the pinks, to the creams there. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah, they're, they're good. They're handy rolls, those, aren't they? Yeah, you've got, you, your first two are kind of colour-coded, so they're all within a colour family. Yeah. And then your last one is more like a, a autumnal theme, so yeah. it's got all of those kind of rusty, um, wintry, autumnal colours. I like them. One. I like them a lot. Uh, 2799 That's the, the, um, the 40 piece ones, but we've got smaller ones as well. So what's the thinking with having the smaller ones, Hayley, and then you having the big ones? You just might not need as much. Yeah. There <laughs> we go. Yes, 
not really very Very helpful. simple. <laughs> you might not need as much. Not need as much. Uh, in the smaller rolls, you're getting five different colours and you're getting uh, four of each, I think. Is it five and four of each or four and five of each? Yes, five and four of each. Um, and then the bigger ones, you're getting eight ah. uh, different strips. So it's, it's exactly the same product, it's just more of it or less of it. Same width, yes. Yeah. And then the blues. And then your C, A, B and C, yeah, exactly. Uh, brilliant, fabulous. £16.99, 812.491. Okay. okay, are we good to come back? Yes, ladies? yes we are. So, um, what we've got is, we've got some of this black fabric which is within the one day mm. special bundle and it's the, the geometric one. So, what we're going to have a look at is, if I line the edge of this template up along here, so that that side is straight, then what you'll see is when you come to the, the top here, now, I'm not looking at the, where the fabric runs. I'm looking at where the pattern runs on this. So I've lined it up here. And then when I look across the bottom and across the top, I can see that my pattern's running out by almost a whole diamond when I get from this end to this end. Because this oh. end, the, the, that's the top of the diamond. And it's running out by almost a half a diamond by the time I get over to here. So to fix that, what I would do is just take my uh, fabric to the ironing board uh, and add a bit of steam. So I'll get a good bit of steam in there, and as I've got the steam in, I'm just pulling and stretching. Oh, somebody hasn't descaled that iron for a while. There we go. It's all right, I'll fix that. <laughs> and just giving it a little pull and a stretch, and then coming back to it with my template, and again lining up the side. I've pulled it in the wrong way, so I've got I've got actually made it worse, but it's fine because we've still got that little bit of warmth and a little bit of heat in there. Mm -hmm. We can just kind of manipulate that and see. There's a little bit of stretch in it, more so on the diagonal, because right. the the warp and the weft threads are going like that. So if you want to pull in the diagonal, they, you're kind of stretching them apart, and that's what you'll need to do to resolve this. Because you can see now it's starting to come back into line, and then I'll get a bit more heat in it. And then we'll give it another little pull in the stretch. Can you see how that's now come Lined back up. into line on the top? Yeah. So if you've got fabrics like this, then it is worth um, just giving them a little bit of a, an iron upon the stretch, yeah. and you'll be able to get that lined back up again. Don't pay attention necessarily to where, because this has been ripped, and you can see as it kind of comes along, it's st slowly, slowly starting to come out of line. Uh, yeah. Don't pay attention to that look at your pattern yeah. for this type of fabric rather than uh, the edge of your fabric. So you may kind of lose little strips as you go along yeah. just because you're lining things up, but your finished result will be much, much better. So that's your best way to straighten out wonky patterns. A wonky pattern. That's, that's really good to know, actually. Yeah, very <laughs> useful. I'm holding something here. You are. Do you want to know what you've got? Interfacing. Ah, interfacing. Is it? Or is that your polycotton sheeting? I can't I see don't, from I, here. I don't, I don't know. I've even handed it. I'm, I want to have the fusible web interfacing. I can't really see. Shall I just bring close? I'll just moth my hand I over there. I think that's your polycotton sheeting. Shall I just we'll show that, that then, instead. and then I'll get my fusible that's interfacing? Fine. That's okay. It can be okay. very confusing. So, this is a whopper. It is this a whopper. This is an absolute whopper. This is cool. five metres. Oh my, what? by um, oh 244 centimetres. So now, wow. it is poly mix, so don't be worried about that. When I think people see poly cotton, they panic and they think, oh, it's going to be really uh, stiff and it's going to be really scratchy. Yeah, beautiful. Not at all. Softer. It's really, really soft. And um, a lot of your kind of normal bed sheets will have, uh, and duvets and things like that, will mm. have a little bit of polyester in there. That's just for much uh, easier kind of care for the yeah. fabric because it will wash, wash and better wear. and it will wear better yeah and when you get a poly mix it isn't actually kind of one strand of polyester and one strand of cotton the fiber itself is mixed together first and then it's just woven like a, a normal fabric so it will wear nice and evenly it will wash brilliantly take a lot less ironing Oh, love that. Oh, gosh, yeah. That's just <laughs> win-win in my love book. That. Um, yeah, takes a lot less ironing just an awful lot less kind of pressure on, on everything and a lot easier to care for and because it's such a huge piece as well that's two two four wide so if you think about um, uh, a king size bed mm. that's big enough wow to do a king, king size so duvet. Are, you, are you thinking backing are you thinking what are you thinking with it um, literally with that you could kind of um, do both sides of a king size duvet gosh. 
God, if gosh. you wanted to. Oh, that's but a massive one. I would generally use this for backing. Yeah. Because um, I think that, you know, it's nice and soft, and having the poly Too cotton soft. on the underneath, you're not kind of spoiling anything. Because usually yeah. you want to use your good fabrics, like your um, your cottons for the, the mm, front, yeah. and you want with your nice patterns. So I would probably use this as, as backing fabric, if I'm honest. Um, but it's a huge, huge piece. That yes, it's weight. I can feel the weight Absolutely of it there. Yeah, a phenomenal value for money as That's well. That's amazing because value. You've got five meters. It's working out at four pounds a meter. Gosh, lovely that. quality. And the width, you've got two, two, four wide. So to put that into perspective, I can't It's it almost like having yeah. two meter, two meter pieces next to each other Gosh. of your normal forty-five inch width fabric. That, that's huge. So effectively. You're getting your kind of your five meters width, and then if you imagine it in a normal 45 inch width fabric, which I have some here, so that's your normal 45 inch width one that I've got here in the black. Oops, right, so it's this, and then when it runs out, it's that again. Wow. So if you kind of equate that to um, meterage, yeah, it's kind of it's double again. Gosh. Oh, what a bargain. I think there's different colours as well. Is that so, why they are as if by magic? So if uh, I was buying it in this kind of more gosh, familiar width that amazing. we know about, then it would end up being £2 a metre if I was buying it in this kind of width. So I think that Steel. sometimes helps to, to work it out in terms of value because I know that sometimes when we've got different widths, people... It's hard uh, to compute, to isn't it? Yeah. What, what's what? What are we talking? But I think yeah. if you always compare it back to that normal 44-inch width size, oh, then it's a little bit easier to compute where the value is in it. And you've got four oh. different colours in this one. Absolutely. I'm just thinking so, how much it is when you just buy a big sheet, Haley. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Do you <laughs> I know, well, if you, well, that's terms. it. If you were going to go to um, you know supermarket yeah. and just uh, buy a big sheet, a king size sheet, a big king size yeah. sheet to back a quilt, then you'd be paying. Yeah, more than this. Absolutely. And then you have to kind of take the seams anyway. off. You have to deconstruct it to put it yeah, yeah, back yeah. together. So you get um, more yeah. than that anyway. Perfect. Fantastic. I'm holding the ivory. We've got the white option, the black option, and obviously that lovely red option. Absolute steal, if you don't mind me saying so. Nineteen pounds ninety nine. Three four six eight three six. Interfacing is on the web as well. We'll we'll get to that. It's hanging around somewhere. Yeah, and um, things that you're not going to see. So things like your linings. But what I would definitely recommend, if you are mixing your fabric, so using a cotton and a poly cotton together, then wash everything before right. you start. Because sometimes I was thinking, you know, have you sometimes have a border with your yes, with your cotton fabric. Yeah. You may get a bit of shrinkage. Right. Poly cotton, it's less likely because the uh, polyester stabilizes mm. things a bit more. But what I would definitely recommend is wash everything. Not necessarily in the same load of washing. No. But, um, you know, Just put all your fabrics first. in and get everything washed and treat it all the same. So wash it, dry it. If you're going to tumble dry it when you've got your finished item, tumble dry everything yeah. as you kind of would normally process it. Process everything the same way. Yeah. So if you're, if it's something, I mean, we'd recommend. Do all that for assembly. We'd always recommend kind of 30 degrees yeah. and, and um, you know, all, all the rest of it. So yeah. I would do the same. I would do the same. If, if something you think you're going to wash a little bit higher, maybe 40 degrees, wash everything at 40 degrees first. Yeah. So you've prepped all of your fabric and it's all been washed the same. Because especially right. if it's something that's like high traffic. That's yeah. my phrase that I like, is high traffic. <laughs> so especially if it's something that's going to be used a lot, washed a lot, worn a lot, yeah. then it's definitely worth um, doing that. Fantastic. Treating everything the same before you start, and then you've not got any heartbreak where maybe your cotton pieces shrink by just a fraction. Yes, and it can be like yeah. one or two percent, mm. but then it just kind of Alters pulls everything. everything pulls everything out and it never sits quite right again. Mm, good so advice. Definitely good worth prepping. Advice. And fantastic to have the four different colours, because often we're just talking about the plain colours, aren't we? Uh, you know, in terms of your creams and your whites, but we've got the black there and we've got that fantastic red. So absolute steal. You're loving, you're loving these. I, I, I can't say I blame you because when I think about that sizing that Hayley was talking about to us, and honestly, um, no whatever like, it, it is beautiful and soft. Huh? Shall so I open it up? We love a challenge. Shall I go for a different colour? Let's go red. Let's go bold, everybody. Come on, then. I could be here a while. Let's have a look. Let's have a shufty. I'm very visual. I like to see it. Oh, let's do it. Honestly, I could, I could cover a theatre set with this. Seriously, this is just like it's huge. If you're thinking about, you know, kind of maybe not for this Pardon year, you? but for next year, yeah. doing kind of Christmas decorations oh and things like Ghosts. that with your red, Ghosts. you've got really kind of oh, huge amount of fabric and um, uh, right. A lot of <laughs> she's still going. I oh, know. Look, I've been, look, this is just you know the width we're talking about. Okay, okay. Let's go over here. Oh, 
I'm doing a bit of drapage. Bad drapage, admittedly, as you see the set fall apart. But it's like Princess Diana's trail, the trail of a dress, isn't it? Oh it's my massive. What? It's oh, absolutely I'm still going huge. I mean, uh, two four four wide. That's wider than your king size. <laughs> Oh, don't come oh, past your little screen. I'm, not, I'm the other side. I'm on the other <laughs> side. I haven't infiltrated. <laughs> there we go, folks. <laughs> that is a huge. Yeah, it's a ginormous piece of fabric. And, um, oh, it's fell off the thing. Fantastic. But it's okay. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. So if you know, like, like a big, nice reveal, maybe you get somebody a car for Christmas. There you go. You can cover it with that. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> That's big enough Boy, to do that. that would make a good tablecloth. <laughs> I don't yeah, care how you, big your banquet table is. If you were more is. than half a dozen people, then yeah, you've got a massive <laughs> tablecloth for that. <laughs> oh my word, that is great value. And it is super, super soft. Yeah, you but know. then people worry about polycottons yeah, a little don't. bit. And I think sometimes the don't. stiffness from polycottons comes when it's got a print on it. If it's just something like this, where it's a polycotton mix and it's a solid dyed colour, it feels just as soft as cotton. So I would definitely recommend that for your... <laughs> Amazing. She's just jammed in the corner like this. <laughs> just honestly, I could have gone into the studio too with this, the length of this. So black, red, the red's beautiful. Uh, black, red, the white and the cream, 1999. 346836. Uh, now, I was on about the beautiful yellow, uh, is it the cat, uh, well, anyway, the there's animals. Fabric. Yes, you've got it there. You've yes, got a lovely I have. yellow. I've got <gasps> all of the options Ooh. here, actually, so we can have a, a quick look at these. And these are your extra wide width fabrics as well. So you're getting a meter wide by 160. Um, now, I've made, uh, what was it? I made um, uh, pyjama trousers out of something very similar to this. And um, I think it was a meter that I had, maybe a metre and a half, and that was easily, for kids ones, a metre of this by 160 will easily be enough to do some kind of pyjama trousers and, or lightweight trousers or shorts and things in this. So this is a really cute print. You've got your black and white animals that have all got these little kind of rainbows on them. So if you've got fabric pens and things, this will be a really, really fun one to have a little bit of a play with because you can colour maybe just some of the animals in, you can colour all the animals in, you can have a real kind of fun time with this. You've got uh, four different colours. So this is the green. Now the silver grey is this one here. It's more of a beigey, taupey colour to my mind, but it's, it's down the silver grey. This one is your ice flow. And then the last one is Yay! the sulfur, which I know is your favourite. Yay! That looks so good with this yellow, Haley. Yeah, I mean, you, oh. can, you can have a lot of fun with this one, especially, I think, for, for clothing and things. And that's where the extra wide widths really come into their own. If you're using them for clothing and things, really handy for that. Because usually the maximum width you get in a fabric for clothing is about 150. So that, that extra 10 centimetres of wiggle room is really, really handy. Beautiful. That looks so good with the yellow. I love that material you've got there. I think that's gorgeous. Ten ninety nine. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Six seven two six four four. Um, the cats and dogs tapestry panels. Yes. Now I see okay. you've got uh, little Labrador pups there. Let me. At least I'm, they look just, like I'm just rearranging. I think. Do we and get? Do we get both I'm of these panels? Stretching there? over this or side. Mix. Yeah. Pick any two so, for 10 99 Yes, you can. So you oh. can either have uh, two sets of cats, you Aww. could have two sets of dogs. Let me just pop the cats down there. And there's the dog <laughs> panel. So this is how they will come to you as the uh, kind of pre-cut panels. So you can either have two dogs. Oh, the other handle. There you go. Two cats. You could Christmassy oh, buy them and give mix. them little red noses, couldn't you? Stick the one without the handles on, because that'll be easier. <laughs> <laughs> They're adorable. So that's, that's your options. You can either have two cats, two dogs, or a mixture of the oh, two. Fantastic. Ten ninety nine. And these are a tapestry as well. So the oh, same lovely. sorts as we're showing you on the back. So they're a completely woven panel. Gorgeous. 229303. Thank you, Hayley. Right, let's talk about that one day special very briefly because I've just been caressing the yellow. This is that lovely silvery moon grey. And, and again, this looks lovely with that material Hayley was just showing us there. That silvery grey is there. Uh, you've got the, the gorgeous, gorgeous boxes, the six cube box. You've got the it's almost like cross hatch. You've got the pretty, pretty, it's almost like star anise there. Uh, stars there as well. Very lovely and subtle. 
Um, and then the smaller version of the larger pattern there as well. Now you can get five half meters there, twenty-four pounds forty-eight. It's larger than that actually when you look at the size there on the on the screen. One 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 seven double eight in terms of the sizing. I'll we'll get to that because I can't remember off the top of my head. There we go, sixty-three by one hundred and sixty centimeters wide. So a lot more than just a, a mere half meter there. Then we've got it in the darks. Now this is what Haley was working with when she was showing us that uh, lovely nine block uh, pattern there as well. And again, it was almost like um, almost like those little makeup sponges, you know, the little tubular ones, uh, tulip ones. So not quite round. And then you've got two very pretty paisleys, very distinguished, lovely for lining, I think they would be as well. And then you've got that very bold in the black with the cube pattern as well. And then my favourite, the yellows, uh, got those in that gorgeous, gorgeous sort of star anise pattern. Um, again, in the cubes, I think this would be lovely if you were doing, you know, honey, selling honey and your little, oh, that honey, that honey show we had on the show with Janice just the top of your little jam jars or and again the Edinburgh honey yeah oh gosh it was amazing uh, again that, that it's not quite like round circles don't forget we've got the larger uh, two meters of this on on the website as well in certain colors and then you've got it in the larger pattern there as well so that is another option in the yellow and then the teal the other teal floral sold out fl floral mix I think it was Multi, sorry, but we've still got this beautiful teal, which I think is equally as beautiful. Um, I love this one. Isn't that gorgeous? Like Japanese fans. And then we've got the smaller version there as well. So we've still got this beautiful mix of the teal, the teal and the yellow or the teal and the grey. Gorgeous. £24.48, one 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 seven double eight, all 100% cotton. Right, let's go back and see our Hayley. OK, so I'm just busy constructing this and I'm doing the one that I've cut properly first um, and then we'll put the other one together so we've got a side by side comparison. So all I'm doing is taking those pieces and putting them into a nine square patch. But you can see already the where the ones that have been cut properly, it's things like this where you've got that piece along the edge Ooh. where that geometric ah. is dead straight in comparison to your seam. Yes. Now, this type of one, this is a flare pattern, and this is available as individuals um, on the kind of the one where you get the £21.98 bundle, where you get the two metres of one fabric. Okay. This flare pattern is an option there. Now, right. this one's a little bit more forgiving because if I uh, take this pattern and put it on the top, you can see that there are straight ish lines running mm. down the, the sides of here. But it's not so much that you would notice it it's not as if uniform, it ran it? out. So it's no. not so, so uniform. So yeah. if you're a, a beginner, then this is a great pattern to go for because it doesn't really matter if you're not completely straight. But you can see there where I've got the straight lines around the edge, the, the straight edge there and how much it's kind of... It's not running out by a lot, no, but it is running out slightly. a fraction. But you yeah. can't notice it as much with this forgiving. flare pattern. Yeah. What you will notice is... Let me just grab one of these... There, this one. Now, when I was um, uh, manipulating the fabric with the steam earlier, you can see this one kind of runs out a little bit. If you're going to cut your blocks, manipulate the fabric first and get it straight and then add the, ste the steam to it to manipulate it. If you do it the other way around, you cut it first, no matter how much you manipulate it, it's always oh. going to be a wonky pattern now. So if I straighten that out, I'm going to end up with a wonky piece of fabric. Yeah. So I would always manipulate your fabric first and then steam, uh, yeah, manipulate it with the steam first, then cut it out. Right. Because if I did that same block here and I just fold that as if it were a, um, a seam allowance, you see, it want. would kind of, yeah, yeah, it just runs out slightly. Mm. And especially when you're doing squares or things with straight lines, it will look off mm. a little bit and you'll get a much better quality result if you cut them dead straight first. So worth it's definitely effort. worth spending yeah. a little bit of time. So I would say maybe if you're a complete beginner, um, keep those ones back. Do yeah. some of the sewing, because in that uh, black bundle, you've got things like paisleys in there and you've got a couple of kind of florals. Mm. Uh, was it the bilby that's got the little dots and yes. things on? Yeah. Those, perfect. If you're, if you're brand new to sewing, go in for more. those three that Fiona's got yeah. there. Or even those four, actually, yes, with the, actually, the flare with pattern in flare, as well. Yeah. They're all perfect. But then when you're getting a little bit more advanced and you want to push your skills to that next level, then, then that's when you bring in that geometric one. Yeah. Because um, 
yes, by all means, you can just chop it and stick it in. But if you do spend that little bit of extra time with it and put a little bit of extra effort in, you'll get a far more professional looking result. And it's not something to be scared of, geometrics and stripes. You can yeah. actually be quite nice and easy to sew because they've got lines for you to follow within yeah, it. That's true. It's just a case of spending a little bit of time, a bit more in the prep. Yeah. to get it right before you put it together. So I'll finish putting this one together and I'll make sure I've taken away the one that's wonky. For about nine minutes, <laughs> Hayley, just so that you know. Before that ends up in a mess. <laughs> Take away the wonky one. So that one goes there. And then when I put my blocks together, what I always tend to do is fold to the left. I have a check there. <laughs> always fold to the left so I know that I'm sewing down this side. Or what I'll do is the side that I'm sewing, I'll just pop a big pin in if i'm you know, layering multiple ones up so i'll just pop one big pin in to let me know that that's the side i need to sew because it's very easy once they're folded together like that to just literally pick it up and then you don't realize you've turned it and then you pop it through so and um, if you're wanting to keep them all the way same way because obviously these ones are going in the same direction if i'm not careful it's very easy Ooh. Unless you want that. Unless you want that. Like it, yeah. Yeah. You, I mean, if I was going to do that, I probably would have done it in the, the kind of middle mm. one. Yeah. Uh, which I could still do, I think. I'm, I'm foxing mm. in now. Can I still do it? I think <laughs> I can still do Has it. Has it thrown it all out of kilter? No. There. Hey. There. So the one that went in my kind of middle row. Yes. I could, I could move around. Yeah. But that's a, de that's a design choice mm. and you need to be aware of that while you're doing it yeah. but if you are just kind of trying to put them together so that they look nice and you want the pattern all to go the same way just make sure you start out with it all flat and then when you're kind of i'm now ready to add that one onto there i'm going to flip that over pin the side to remind me that's the one i'm going to sew and if you have a look on this one i've now actually got a little kind of line down there if i just move that out the second way for a second you can see I've already got a little line running down there which is kind of in with the pattern so that's going to give me a really good guide to make sure that I'm, I'm keeping it straight so with this type of fabric I would always sew to the pattern rather than to the cut of the fabric right and what are you going to do with your wonky piece could we cut a I'm going to make a full, I'm going to make a full wonky block oh, yeah. and a full straight block so then you can see the the difference because it's all well and good having it as little pieces like this but once it's actually all sewn together I think it it does draw the eye off a little bit more when it's not dead straight so I'm going to finish sewing this one together between mm -hmm, this hour and the next one <laughs> which is at uh, 12 yeah, well, yeah that's yeah. fine have I got you again yeah. Double for you. I don't Boom. know. I'm saying yeah. <laughs> I volunteered myself. No, I think it's Paula. I don't have anybody. But I think well, I'm, with you. I'm with you at four, final call. Four, oh, okay. Yeah. We'll have an extra time before then. Exactly. I can drape myself in some more fabric. <laughs> uh, talking of which, the beautiful large poly cotton. You're going to do it again, aren't you? Well. <laughs> which colour are you going to have this time? Let's do it. Okay. It's this, sorry, I, know. I think Cake for like uh, Halloween steam. costumes and things. And the thing is, it's a poly cotton, right? And yeah. it's it's kind of a, um, a a poplin type weight, so it's a kind of a shirting type weight. Now this would make excellent shirts and, and blouses and things because the poly cotton just makes it so easy care. And I think that that polyester got a really bad name in the kind of 70s and 80s for the the massively static. I would I would never have survived with all the. <laughs> It would just be like out um, with static electricity. But it got a really bad rap in the 70s and 80s because some of the polyester fabrics were, let's just say, horrific. Um, <laughs> but these days, the technology is so much better. And the polyester that you're getting in here, this is about a 60-40 uh, mix. So it's 60% cotton, 40% polyester. And what you're getting in there is a, a mixed fibre to start off with. So you're not getting strands of each. It's a... <laughs> You want to see what's going on here? She's, she's trying to cover the whole set. Um, <laughs> we spent ages putting that up and she's just covered the lot. Uh, so you're getting a kind of combined thread to start off with. It's really easy to use, it's really easy to cut, it's really easy to sew. So... <laughs> see? See? I could cover Hayley, I could keep going, but we're not allowed to because of social distancing. But I, I mean... mean actually, the, the whole distance of the set, the width, the, you know, the two yeah. bits, you probably could do the full five metres in. And, you know, don't forget some of that width. I've just tied knots there as well. I so mean, this it's is a huge, just huge piece. amazing, isn't so, it? Um, if you're just thinking about it in terms of uh, your, your king size duvet, I think is 220 by 220. I might get Ross to just double check that on Tinternet. But a double uh, king size duvet, 220 by 220. So that is enough to do that. Yeah. Plus cut a little bit of strips off the side. And then you could back two 
230 by 2. I wasn't far off. 230 by 220. So you could do two back two king size quilts oh, with gosh. this. Wow. And the only thing I would recommend, I mean, it's lovely and soft, and Beautiful. all I would recommend is you wash everything first before you start, especially when you are combining the two different types of fabric. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, <laughs> Valley. I mean, it is. I've draped over. I'm running out of things I can drape. If, you know, if it's a toga party, you're well in there. <laughs> <laughs> that is huge. That's the black option. But the good news is, I mean, Have gosh, you wheeled over your fabric with I your I have heels? wheeled over my fabric. I know. Oh. Look, I could literally, I can literally just wrap myself into it. There's just loads. Just, there's just loads, everybody. So that's the black. Then we've got the red. Huff, get all hot now. Then we've got the red, and then we've got the ivory as well. Great, did, great value. Did you value. overcommit there? Hey? Have you overcommitted? I've overcommitted. <laughs> <laughs> I've stretched myself, folks. Uh, 19 and 99. I mean, absolute steel. The white, the white and your ivory, yeah. they're your kind of staples, staples. Because I think a lot of fabrics um, would, would use those. But if you're going for the one day special, then black is perfect to go with either the grey, the option, um, even with the blue, uh, not the blue option, there's no blue option, the yellow, mustardy option. I think the black would go really nicely with that one as well. Fantastic. Fantastic saving. Fantastic quality. Feels so beautiful. Uh, £19.99, I've been very busy on the tap tapestry fabric as well, because that's a pick and mix, and you can pick any two half metres, and some of them, like those top two there on the left, work beautifully together. I, I love those, because you've got like the mini version of it in that zigzag patchwork, in the larger zigzag. You've got the Peruvian, which is gorgeous, the Harlequin, and uh, Hayley was saying, you know, great for your upholstery, um, the thickness of it, just, it's tremendous. Yeah. To um, say I was going to test what the um, makeup of the fabric was uh, yesterday, but I have not had a chance to do that yet. So what I will do is in between this hour and the next hour, I will go ahead and test the type of fabric that that is because it doesn't actually say on our uh, information there. Um, but I'm not allowed to do it on air because it requires a lighter. Um, <laughs> and don't recommend you do this. Right. Um, but the, the whole reason that I would use a lighter is if it's a polyester, then it will kind of, um, it'll just melt. It won't burn. If it's a cotton fabric, because I'm not actually going to burn the fabric itself, I've got some spare fibres that have come off from it, and that's what I'm going to test. And if it's a cotton fabric, then you know, like a candle wick, kind of doesn't, you know, poof into flames, it just kind of slowly burns down. Okay. That's yeah. how you can tell the difference. Oh, okay. So I shall do that off air, and then Ooh. I shall come back and let you know what the um, makeup of the tapestry fabric is. So that's this is a that sample that we did last night. The fringing. Um, <laughs> that's lovely, that. Up or down, Jimmy? Up or down? overhead okay that's fine so what we did was that was the uh, front of the cushion yeah and then on the back we showed you a few different techniques for working with this because um, the type of fabric it is it wants to fray because it's quite a wide weave so we took the inside pieces and just did a blanket stitch over the edges that yeah. secures the edges and it helps kind of stop them falling apart on you and then another way to finish your edges which is a nice alternative like is that. actually to use the fact that it frays yeah and to create a, a fringe on it. So we put a little buttonhole in there. I haven't stitched my button on yet, but it is there, ready Lovely. to go. So we had a, a little, bit, little bit of fun with that, but there's lots of things you can do in terms of bits of trim with this. So we'll take some of those other pieces that I've cut off from this and we'll do some little embellishment pieces with them Gorgeous. in the next hour. Gorgeous at 12 o'clock. Thank you very much, Hayley. Lovely. Thank you so much. We'll Thank see you, Hayley. Thank you, Mrs. Fiona. Oh, you're welcome. See Hayley at 12. I'll see her again at 4 o'clock. Uh, enjoy, enjoy those beautiful fabrics. Don't forget to check out because we've already had some sellouts since the launch last night. And uh, yeah, please don't miss out on those massive, massive, uh, yeah, the, the beautiful ivories and the polymix. Yeah, gorgeous. Remember, it's the Christmas credit event as well. So if you are spending and buying anything in any of the hours today, you're going to get a £5 Christmas credit to spend tomorrow on any order over £30. And you can do that each day. You can't rack up all your five pounds just so you know you have to spend them each individual day but uh, you can get a five pound voucher every day up until 22nd of december 6 p.m right let's have a quick catch up on what else we've got today on her chanda <laughs> Ah, the lovely ladies are waiting, and we have got the cool cats craft big save. Then we've got the Columbia Happy Sentiment Stamp Hour, and then we'll be back with our Julia for the big save with Indigo Bloom. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. 
but now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We pride ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda.
Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, now, of course, we are running the Hotanda Christmas credit, which means that is even better shopping here at Hotanda because if you spend, uh, you make any purchases, you will get a five pound credit that you can spend the next day on purchases over uh, 30, 30 pounds or more. Right. That out of the way. Well, we have got an hour of cool cats cuts. Uh, so we have got well cool cats crafts with obviously cuts on, um, you know, a lot of boxes, a lot of beautiful projects to finish with albums. And of course, we have got two amazing crafters with us the girls, the cats, the cool cats <laughs> themselves. We have got Maggie, of course. <laughs> Hello, Hello everyone. Maggie. Morning. How are you? <laughs> And then, of course, we have got Kate Morning. as well. Morning. Uh, right. So we will be seeing both of them uh, demonstrating. So we will send Kate to put her feet up, and we will keep K uh, Maggie for uh, a little bit, and then, of course, we will do a switcheroo uh, in the demonstration area. So thank you, okay? Uh, now we are gonna start with the dies, uh, the Cool Cats uh, cuts, uh, the Victorian whiskers die set. A dies you are getting here now, Maggie. What are they for? Okay, right, so when we first started doing our dyes, these are one of our very first whisker set that we brought. They're called whiskers because obviously we're cool cats. They look like whiskers. These are Victorian because they're like Victorian um, Ooh, moustaches, yeah. but they're designed so you can cut decorative edges for your pockets, for your pages. More importantly, you can cut directly into the paper, the decorative okay. paper, without actually losing any of the background. So if the pages that you've got there, you can see a pocket, but then you can see the the, um, where the tag's sl sl slotted into. Yeah. If you lift the tag out from a page, Paula, okay, yes, you can't see a cut there. No. No, wa no wasted paper, so you've not lost your beautiful decorative image that and is And of there. course, this one as well, so you can create that yeah. perfect. So you can use the, the, like the pointy end coming out, or yeah. you can use the pointy end going in. Um, they're all different lengths, different sizes. They map beautifully. It just gives a really, really lovely effect. Different it is effect. absolutely uh, beautiful and so useful. I love, love, love that shape as well. Uh, now, uh, Maggie, I, uh, we have got also uh, the never-ending dies here as well. Yes. Uh, we are going to give you now. The, of course, the never-ending dies. What are they for? Okay, right. Again, they're for a similar concept for cutting directly into your paper for making decorative strips. But they're called never-ending. Again, they were our very very first never ending strips. Yeah. We have introduced more and I'm just saying there will be a few more appearing soon. Oops, sorry Kay, <laughs> I'm in trouble now. Um, but the idea is you can make them as long or as short as you want to. They've also got a debossed line so they have a really, really beautiful finish. Absolutely. Right, if you want to go for the never ending straight, they have got of course a different number. Uh, 692389 is your item number. Already 10% of the stock gone. £10.99 and that's saving of £4. And then f you have got the curved pocket dies in there as well. Now these ones are, I'm going to show you a sample and then we are going to head back to Maggie to explain it in more detail. But I love that you can use them either way. So facing down like you a smiley can use them face facing down um, you can use them facing up so like a smiley face that's like an ups upset face really yes, it could be frown <laughs> yeah that's the word frown I couldn't think of what it was um, and then if you look at the tags on the opposite page um, Kay's actually used the um, these eyes to continue the pattern so it matches the slot on the Absolutely. previous page so again they cut in they create beautiful um, slot ins for your And I for your love guys. that you have got those little uh, holes either side because then yeah. it kind of gives it a more. Do you depth. remember? We had um, straight slots, yeah. which unfortunately we've sold out of, but yeah. we are getting more in. Um, and you used to have to punch a hole one end, yeah. cut a line, punch yeah. another hole. That's why we did it because it's the same concept, but it's very precise, very Absolutely. accurate, right. beautiful finish. Di if you want to go for the curb papier's pocket die slot set, four dies, twelve pounds and ninety nine pence with a four pound saving, four three one nine two five. But of course, we want to see it more in detail. Maggie, could you okay. show us? Some? Yeah, right. Okay. So what I'll do first, I'll just show you. I know you showed a couple of um, curved pierced pocket slots. Here's another one here. Just talking about a smiley oh. face. So that, you know, think of your cards, Snowman. put wobbly eyes on, all sorts of things like that. Okay, so that's the curved one. Right, the Victorian whiskers. This one, we've actually got um, a tutorial on our yeah. YouTube channel. That's a Victorian whisker there. It didn't cut straight through the chipboard, but it did enough so I could then go around with a craft oh. knife. So then you work your way through. Yeah. You've got your different effects there. That is the waist yeah. cut off from there. So you continue through, you can see you've got beautiful decorative edges of your pages. Mm -hmm. Just keeps going through like that. 
it's such an easy concept because you don't have to worry about um, having to line everything up. They have alignment notches, they have centralising notches. So that's the Victorian whiskers. Now the never ending um, strips, they're actually six inches in length. This album cover is seven inches. Yeah. So you can see that already we've got a continuous line there. It is actually continuous under the moon. I've just realised that yeah. I think, oh, I might have cut it. No, I haven't. Yeah. Okay, and, the and that's important because if we want to do an 8 by 8 yeah. Or a tour by tour. Yeah. Well, obviously, if you have, or a, you know, like a strip of yes. six. Yes. However long your paper is, yeah. you can line it up to make Wrap, it as long as that. Wrapping, pr wrapping pr yeah. uh, papers. Well, yeah. uh, right. The never-ending doors. A third of the stock already gone. We are only five minutes in. Very busy already. Please do check out your baskets if you have made your mind up. Okay, so this is one of the other never-ending dies, and this is the scalloped oh, edge, and you can see it's got a beautiful debossed edge here. And what I've done here is I've actually put coloured cardstock behind, so it shows Absolutely. there. But if, you, if we go on to another page, this is the wavy one with the holes, and they're not just like little piercings, they're like yeah. proper hole sizes, so you can see. So here again, we've got it here, and this time we've um, shortened the length of the strips. Yeah. So we can show you how to do that as well. But we oh. do have um, demonstrations and videos on our YouTube channel showing how to use all these. So, you know, these, this particular set, well, the sets that you've got here today are perfect if you're just starting out on album making. Because it, it makes it very, very easy for it, you. It, what I love about them is that, yes, for a beginner, it, they are phenomenal. Yeah. But for me, it's like I have got thousands of dies, but I yeah. still kind of want them because they offer something that they is that versatility, that, yeah. you know, true. Um, and, and genuinely, this, no matter if you are a clean and simple um, crafter, makes me an artist yeah. or a vintage style or yeah. very pretty layered, they are going to fit in your style. You can use these. These will work beautifully with all your paper crafting projects, with your card making, album making, journaling. Decor decoration for your home decor, the little um, carousel that we've got there, Kay's used the top of it to um, create a decorative little, little yeah, border yeah. here, if I just show you. Of course. Okay. You can see now, so yeah. she's, she's done one join with that and she had to do that because her paper wasn't long enough to keep the continuous one. But yeah. again, that's a different effect as well. Now, now I need to tell everybody, please, uh, to check out your baskets because it, half the stock already gone. They are going incredibly quick. So please uh, do check out your baskets. Now, uh, magnets. Uh, I'm a massive <laughs> magnet fan. I like the attraction of the, you know, the, the magnetic attraction of the, the magnets. But it's your the, magnetic personality. Oh, power. yeah. I like a magnet. I like a magnetic. Yeah, that's charming. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, now, this is incredible because look at the strength. Yeah. Now you can actually, if you take, take all the, oh, like, yeah. take the whole lot off and yeah. just put one magnet each side. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I have got. Okay. They come out actually easier. Yeah. You than need I to cut. slide the top off. Right. Yeah. Now you'll be able to move that magnet up. Just, just put your, put your hand at the back and just move one magnet. That's it. So you can see, and that's through three millimeter MDF, which is <sighs> solid. Yeah. So these are our standard magnets that we use. Um, they're easy to use. Slide them off from the top. Be careful though because they, if you let them snap together they can um, shatter and obviously keep them out of the reach of young children and pets. They're not a toy. Yeah, absolutely. But they and, are perfect for and your And also what I, I want to say is because I, you know, I have met many magnets in my life uh, because I do like them. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, these ones are among the strongest yeah. but also among the thinnest. Yes. Yeah, so that's because they, they've got they've got to work for your albums. Absolutely. So they've so got to make sure that they're strong enough to hold two or three pockets down. They're not so fat that they then make it look look as though they're Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Whereas if you look through a lot of our um, albums, I don't think I've actually got one here with magnets. But if you look through and see, it's very hard to determine. You only know the magnet there because yeah. it clicks shut when you lift the flap and close it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. 9 .99 is at the price. Half the stock already gone. If you want yours, uh, do check out your baskets. 839-360 uh, is your item number. Saving three pounds. Now, of course, a new bundle that we have got uh, in front of us is the uh, grey board. Yeah, so uh, it's not a new bundle, but it's just a, a special price for special you today. Price. So it's oh. a, it's a selection of three album covers. Uh, okay. So you can make an 8x8 eight eight album. Yeah. You can make an 8x7 album, which is the size that fits in our memory box with the drawer. 
the eight by eight album will fit in the memory box without a drawer and then you've got a nine by eight and a half album cover and spine and I'm really sorry there's no samples there I know Meg asked I thought yeah. we bought them but we haven't but again you can see if you if you're in our Facebook group Cool Cats there's lots of sample examples Fabulous. there. 11.99 is the price you are saving five pounds which makes it an amazing deal 889-949 is your item number now I'm gonna go backwards and that's a recipe for disaster but okay <laughs> stop there that's, that's a happy hour because that kind of uh, really dangerous walk backwards uh, now we have got a happy hour so, yes yeah so the happy hour is for this hour only and you're yes. saving five pounds this is a really beautiful project because you can then decorate it and create something like this this is really gorgeous so it'll hold your eight by eight papers it'll hold various tools ribbons things like that the actual top is designed to be turned over and stand on top of that the inside of the lid yeah and that will hold 12 by 12 papers um, so it's all designed to work well together it's not a square box so when you try if you've made it and try and put it together and go it doesn't fit it's not square it's designed like that so to hold your 8 by 8 your 12 by 12s and the 12 by 12 pads that sometimes have a little bit extra so yes. they're a bit more of course that's um, why it's, yeah and then mm. at the bottom Kay designed this for me because I needed it underneath we've got um, little holes so if you need to poke things up that have got stuck inside trying to lift paper up because I yeah. have problems trying to lift things yeah. up so you see, that's it so you see it's perfect they just pop out for you absolutely and so, of course you have got that one as well and again we've got full um, assembly video tutorial absolutely uh, right of course if you want to go for it well we have got some uh, you know surprising news because we didn't know that we have got a freedom prize so you have got even a further discount if you're a freedom mm. member so that's a cheeky one and of course uh, you are saving seven pounds if you're a freedom member uh, 17 pounds and 99 pence is the price without uh, of course including P and P uh, 350059 is your item number Remember, that's a happy hour deal, which means that the price is that low for uh, this hour and, uh, and this hour only. And especially if you're a Freedom member, we didn't expect that. It's kind of something that has been thrown out. It's a Christmas, mm, Christmas treat that, you know, like I think Santa has been or, or Santa's elves have been at the, at the kind of computer. Anyway, moving on to the Cool Cats crowds. Oh, something that I always think is a phenomenal thing that you should have in your stash. Because you don't know when you are going to need it, but when you need it, you definitely definitely need a little bit of Architape. Now, can you tell us a little bit what it is? Okay, right. Architape is um, professional cloth, acid-free, self-adhesive book binding tape. It's not the same as um, duct tape. It's yeah. not the same as construction tape. It's strong. It won't tear. It won't rip unless, you know, you put a little tiny cut in it and then you tear it that way. So it's perfect for your archival projects, for your, your books, your albums, your journal making. It's perfect, works really well in conjunction. This is why we put it on the show. Yeah. Works really well in conjunction with the album covers that are on offer because there's enough tape there. You get two widths, 30 yeah. millimeters and 50 millimeters. We recommend you use the 50 millimeters for your actual hinges of your covers, okay. mm -hmm. the 30 millimeters to go around the edge. And there's enough there to do two 8x8 album cover sizes. Okay. And so, um, about one 12x12 12 12 plus a small project. Yeah. 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 Now, of course, uh, your colors are, we have got dark blue, uh, then we have got uh, gray, then we have got black, then we have got fuchsia. That's a new color today, Ooh, fuchsia here. Oh, so. that's, that's gorgeous. Uh, and, if you, uh, and then, of course, we have got the dark green here. And then we have got the white. And then we have got the red here, which is kind of a really deep it's, red. It's a dark red, yeah. yes. Yeah, so we've like had different Merlot. colors. And can I just say, Sylvia, your tape's on its way. Because uh -huh. somebody, somebody was doing a project and she's run out, so it's on yeah. its way. I have so. to tell you that the, bl the blue is limited stock. Remember that you are getting two meters meters of the 50 mil which is the wider one and three meters of the um, 30 mil now you are going to get that duo for 999 913-970 is your item number I uh, it's something that once that you start using it I yeah. always have something in a stock it's, like it. yeah it's quite interesting because I'm a traditional album maker so I like to make my covers with um, card and yeah. you know angle the corners yeah. and things like that I started I started using architect because it's particularly for samples it's very quick to use but you get such a beautiful finish. It did do indeed. Yeah. All right of course do check out your baskets we are busy for this item and when we have got a really lovely uh, project as well here uh, and of course this one is one of those ones that it has got so many different substrates. Yeah 
Yeah, so this is, you've, we, you've seen the MDF journal covers before, and we've brought them with cartridge paper and watercolour paper, which are included in this bundle. But what we've also added today is some Duralar matte, yep. which is an absolutely beautiful substrate to work with. You can use most um, products on it. Distress inks you can't because they don't dry. Distress oxides you can, you just need to leave them time to yep. dry. But you can stamp one image on the front and then stamp on the back because yep. it's translucent, you can see through. Um, Kay's the master of um, Duralar matte, but it also comes in the bundle. You get sheets of white opaque craft plastic which are perfect, which is what you're showing now, perfect for your alcohol inks, all sorts of other different mixed media techniques. So if you're thinking about, oh, I want to start in mixed media, but I really don't know where to go, and you don't want to buy hundreds of different pads and things, this is a fantastic taster pack because Absolutely. it's got everything in there that you need. And also they're having the MDF covers means that yeah. you can throw a lot of different mediums yeah. again. And you get assorted, um, there's assorted colours of the elastic cord. Oh, so good. if you actually look inside the journal, yeah. you can actually take the signatures out because they're held in place with the cord. Yeah. So you can just pull them out, put another sheet in. So you know, you don't have to keep the same pages. You can add to it, take away. Absolutely. So it's a really lovely bundle for your first step into mixed media, I Indeed think. Indeed it is. 16 pounds and 99 pence is the price with a six pound saving, 446, 418 for the Cool Cats Crafts, the MDF journals, and you're getting two of them with that different substrates. Then we have got a shrink film, which our Kay is gonna demonstrate because uh, she's the wizard of it. She so the is. first bundle we have got is, I think, the one that is, like, I adore it, because it's that <laughs> frosted kind of mad, uh, you yeah. know, look, which is phenomenal. Yeah. So, what can we do with a shrink flask? Uh, you can do all sorts with mm -hmm. it. So, I'm just looking at the. That is the right price, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just looking at the price. I think it's the right price. I'm just double checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just going to look. Yeah, yes, it is. It is. It is. Sorry, yeah. I just wanted yeah, to double it is. check. So, I yeah. like, okay. so, I've got new glasses. So, um, oh, all right, that's yeah. fine. I was wondering, are they not working? Yeah. Right, okay. So, with shrink, think about all your stamped images, your. Um, embellishments that you can die cut out and you think well they're too big for the project that I'm doing no problem use your shrink shrinks it down beautifully and the mat enables you to use all sorts of different coloring mediums on it absolutely Kay is a true wizard at this it and is. she is an expert you are getting 24 sheets and as you can see from this size you can see there or shall I put them like this so you can see it? And uh, that to that size. So it's about 40% of the size, around roughly. £12.99 is the price. You are saving £6.183571 is the item number. Now we have got the color shrink. And I love what Kay has done here <laughs> because not only you are, well, you are getting the gold, the black, and the silver, uh, but you also, you can see here. Now, this is a cold way of knowing how it's going to shrink. Kay, Kay's going to talk about this because Kay, as I say, she's the, she's the, the maestro in shrink. Um, she's the incredible shrinking Kay. Um, but she, she's got fabulous techniques and ideas for you so you know um, exactly how much the plastic is going to shrink by. Absolutely. So she's got lots of top tips. Fabulous. Now, if you want to go for this next pack, you are getting also 24 uh, sheets of 8.5 by 11 inches uh, on those three colours. So I would imagine that that's like eight sheets of it. It is. It's eight of each colour. this morning, yes. <laughs> uh, 12 pounds and 99 pence is uh, the price. You are saving six pounds. A zero two zero nine four two is your item number. Now, let's jump ahead to the website because we have got lots more in there. Of course, we have got our first sellout, which is the magnets. I'm not surprised. They are, uh, you know, going and a yeah, you have attracted them, they are on your way, and you are going in to have some magnet fun. Uh, they are phenomenal, they really are thin and strong, so well done who has got them. Uh, incredibly busy as well for the never ending guys. And um, we have got other MDFs as well, project words in there as well, and the happy hour. Do not forget that beautiful, perfect project box. And remember that saving is that saving is only here for this hour. You have got about 40 minutes to check out your baskets, but why not to check out your baskets right now? And remember, we are on the Christmas Hochenda credit, which means that if you buy anything today, you are going to get a five pound credit to spend tomorrow on any purchases above 30 pounds or more.
And with that, well, we had done a quick switcheroo and we have got Kay ready to demonstrate as well. And of course, she is going to be demonstrating one of the beautiful products here, which is, of course, the drink plastic. She's a wizard with it. Uh, she's a cool craft wizard with the drink plastic. So we are going to have a look at that. But don't forget to check out your baskets. We already had one sell out. We are busy for those never ending dies. So if you want them, please do check out your baskets. Do not miss out. Remember, they are savings across the board and you of course are gonna get any of course the uh, you know like that does those, those um, credits for tomorrow so that way you are getting five pounds oh the never-ending see I did tell you we were busy the never-ending dice they have now gone limited if you want them please do check out your baskets because otherwise you will miss out you're saving four pounds is a good deal so do check your baskets out right are you ready Kay? I'm ready. Yeah, let's go. perfect uh, <laughs> then take it away uh, okay um, good morning and then we'll do shrink plastic so what I tend to do with the shrink is I do my own ruler first so as you can see I've done a silver one and a matte one yeah and the difference so they will shrink ah, down different right it's the process of how they make the shrink plastic yeah. so what they do they it come it made into that state okay and then they use rollers and heat okay to stretch it Right. So when they stretch it, when you have a stretch, there, so each batch will be slightly different from another batch. Oh, that's very interesting. And also, it, it, it varies mm -hmm. along the because they're stretching it. It doesn't stretch it completely um, uniform all the way ah, through. So that's the reason why it tends to shrink and it doesn't go back exactly to like a square. If you've done okay. a square, that's the reason why. So, and there's two ways of shrinking. You can do it with the heat gun, which I will be doing here, or you can do it in the oven. Okay. So I'll go on to just to show you how I do a um, ruler. So basically, I've cut out a strip for my ruler, yeah. and I've got myself an inch and a centimetre one. So I'll just mark off inches. Yeah. So I'll do six and then, and then centimetres. Yeah. And then you can do halves as well if you want to. There's, there's no point doing much more than halves and centimetres. So just, just mark those down. So I'll just do four ones for the time being. So just make sure they're across. So that's 14, that's 15 there. So I will just mark out one, two, three, four, five, five. six. Yeah. OK? Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. And then the centimetres, yeah. Yeah. Let's make sure I get the right one. I do have missed one out, left mind at 12, 13. But you get the idea. Yeah. OK? So then you shrink that. So. So there's two ways of shrinking. So in the oven, what I would do is I have a mat. Okay. And then I have grease proof paper. Right. And I put my shapes uh -huh. on grease proof paper. Put that on like that. Cover it. Yeah. And then I'm not quite sure how necessary it is, but I always do this yeah. because it will, sh it will shrivel up. Right. So to stop it going back onto itself, yeah. I just put that on there. But you have got plenty of room for it. It needs to move, otherwise it won't shrink. Okay. But then it just comes out and back, it goes yeah. back down again. And you put it in the oven for about five, ten minutes. Okay. 160 for, uh, centigrade yeah. is works in my oven, so it might be 10 degrees up and down from yeah. that. So do you recommend the oven rather than a heat gun? Um, if you want it more uniform yeah i would reckon an uh, oven okay. if you've got small young children yeah it's quite magical because it goes in big and it comes out small uh, yeah so obviously with supervision of course. um uh, and it's less scary yeah so it's it's, it's, it's a lot less scary than, than the heat gun so anyway so you put that in the oven right. so with the magic of television yeah it comes out yeah. so it doesn't necessarily change color because that's what i have ah, but it goes yeah. out so i started off with that size and I've ended up with that size. Wow. So, and it also comes out, you can do a lot finer. Yeah. So to be honest, that with a heat gun, I will try it later with a heat gun. I don't expect it to work with a heat gun. Right. I, to be honest, it's, 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 it's going really, to curl, yeah. curl up. It's very, it's, very, it's very thin. Yeah. And it, it, it will break. So if I snap that, if I bend it, it will snap. Yeah. Because it is quite fine. So if you do it in the oven, you get a really nice shape. And then if, once it's hot, if you want to do, while it's still warm, you can just manipulate it to move it around if you want to. Awesome. So that's how I do that's the oven. That's a very bit. good way of doing it. Uh, also, I'm kind of thinking that, you know, it's a kind of a dangerous thing to do it with the, the heat gun because you have to go in and with the ha you know pan hold it in. So having that top tip of putting the grill, uh, you know, the grid over the top. Uh, yeah, and it just, yeah, it, it, it just, no, it, 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 it,
So do I'll you shrink ever, this. Do you ever use um, talcum powder or you know, no, over it? I haven't. Okay. Um, I don't think I would because if it gets when it gets really hot, it might go sink into Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So, but, but it know. might give you a nice texture. Yeah. You never so um, try it. The answer is no. I haven't tried that. Yeah. <laughs> but you are getting a, a, a 24 sheets in whichever option you're going for. So there's plenty to experiment if you wanted. To. Yes. Oh yeah. There's loads to. Yeah. Uh, there's a really good price actually. So for shrink plastic. So anyway. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a heat gun, and you can use use the best one is the hair dryer type. Uh huh. Or yep. this one is a two speed. So I'm going to use it on the lowest speed. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so, like the Ranger one is the hair. That's yeah, the, one yeah, you mean. Yeah. The hair dryer I like one. That yeah. one as well. Um, right, so you can use a couple of um, bamboo sticks or you can use an acrylic block, uh, a wooden block. If you use bamboo and wood, it doesn't actually stick. And if you do it on paper, it doesn't stick either okay. when you heat it up through. I tend to use the block because I prefer it because I get more control. So, I'll just turn my noise machine on. Yep. And what I tend to find is to control it. I start one end and then just move it across as it starts to heat up right. and shrink. So it will, there we go. Can you see it? It's just started to go? Yeah, we can see it, yeah. So I have got one of those blocks somewhere, so I just need so to, to have it with keep my Keep going. Yeah. Just keep shrinking. So if I was doing these rulers, I'll probably do these in the oven because you get a, a more uniform shrink. So you can see how it's moving? Yeah. Just take your time, but you can see how scary it can be. Yeah. Yeah. So it works out, uh, how many is it? 54 pence per sheet. How many, pro I mean, and it's, a, it's like kind of an American A4 size, a letter size. So yes, you are getting a lot of projects from one single sheet. Uh, uh, yeah, it will, it will last you a long time. You can, um, yeah. They make, I think, the best key rings. But you as, you know, can, as you can see, yeah. You just keep adding heat onto this, moving it around. Do you know what? I love dive TV. <laughs> yeah. uh, the clear mat is very, very, very popular. Details for that at the bottom of the screen, £12.99. Remember, you have got a save in there. If you want your please so just keep check going, keep faith with it. Uh, yeah. I remember every time that I do this, I'm thinking, oh, Oh. Yes, I know. I'm, 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 I'm getting that feeling at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the oven. It's like we should have it's, it. it. The oven is so much, yeah. particularly if you're doing a big piece like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. But it just, uh, that's it. Can you see it? It is moving it. Can you see Absolutely. it? It's just slightly yeah. moving it? Indeed, I can. Indeed, I can. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. There we go. So you just keep faith. Yeah. Yeah, keep the faith. Keep, keep the, the faith. faith. Right, because I've got a few more techniques to show. I'm, I'm getting a bit bored with this now, so I'm yeah. just going to... You can see how it's, like, it's now evening out. Yeah. And flatten that bit and just keep going on this piece. Okay. There we go. Uh, so basically, don't panic. And it's, it's a really nice uh, to see it. Like our director was commenting, it's like, it's magical how it goes back into shape. You know, you have to keep going. It's, a, it's like life. Sometimes it gets into a mess. And you just have to yeah. just keep going, and it straightens itself out. And you just, just turn that over. This and then I'll just if, you just... if you just put your block on top, and that will just flatten it slightly. And that. So that so that one's done in the oven, so you can see the yeah. finish is a lot better. It does. So, so but when still you, it's still, it, you know, it's, it's, it's important to see it both ways. Yes, so. it is. Yeah. So when you use, how to use the ruler is, so I have this piece yeah. and it is roughly six, in, six inches long. So yeah, yeah. come to my ruler, so I know six inches is going to be uh, there. So when I shrunk it, it's going to be about that size. Ah, of course. So you have got now the perfect yeah. measuring So if tool. I wanted that size, yeah. I would measure it with this. Yeah. So then I would know I have to cut out something that size. Perfect. That's, that's why you would use a ruler. Apart from that, they do look quite cute and you can put them on your, they do, on your projects. They do. Uh, <laughs> would you punch a hole in one? Like you do have got a hole in punch in one um, yes. top. Yes. So do you do that before you shrink it? Yeah, or? Um, yes, I would. I would do that. Yes, you could do it with the drill afterwards, but it is a lot easier. But you can have if you do little circles, you can make little buttons. Okay. So you can have a little button. Yeah. So, so we we'll just do a little quick little button, and then what you can do 
is put it through an embossing folder when it's hot. Oh, I see. So you, you get a shape as well. So this time wow. I'll use my bamboo stick. Yeah. And then I... And I'll shrink this. Wait, I have one more question. Could you use something like a silicone uh, baking tray, the smaller one, like a muffin one, to heat it so it doesn't go away? So it kind of contains it into... Yeah, you could. Do, uh, um, if you do that, it probably, it, it, it'll probably blow away, actually. Okay. Because it'd be non-stick, won't it? Okay, yeah. So it, it might do, but it is quite light stuff. So I'll right. some, yeah, it might work. It might not. Okay. Again, I haven't tried that. But again, if you did it on that, okay. what you could do is um, push it down, and you'd have a, a dip. So you'd have like oh, a, a you'd have like a cap. So you have got your embossing folder. Yeah. Okay. I would probably put a little bit of Versafine on it just to protect it a bit. Ooh, yeah. I just realised I've got to stamp a lot. <laughs> So it's not my, it's not my stuff. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so keep that here. So it's nice and mold, so it's mm. soft. Yeah. As soon as you're happy with it, just move it across. Mm. And then you've got a little pattern in it. So just press it down to its... Okay. And then just get a ah, little pattern on it. Look at that. Like that. I love that. As you see, I really, really love that. Thank you, Kay, for that a great demonstration. Now, if you want to experience the joy of a shrinking plastic, you can do that. And we have got two different options, but with different item numbers. The first one, and really, really, really popular, of course, is the clear matte one. It's a frosted look, and here you can see it's a translucent look. 60% of the stock has gone, and you're getting 24 sheets. They are the letter size, American letter size, which is is roughly a, very similar to an A4 size. So you have got so much potential into these. Now, £12.99 is the price. You are saving £6. And think about all your sums, making little embellishments, maybe charm pa charm uh, elements for your mobile or your uh, or your uh, handbag. They are really cool to use. And also, it's a good thing to do with the children because, of course, you can put them in the oven like he has demonstrated. So. No, not, the, not the children. You don't put the children in the oven. I mean, I'm not Hansel and Gretel, you know, the, I don't belong to that fairy, fairy story. Anyway, moving on from that slight diversion. A 183571 uh, is your item number. <sighs> Right, anyway, moving on, uh, we are going to the metallics, and of course the metallics, you are getting the silver, the black, and the gold. Now, £12.99 is the price. You are saving £6, and here you are getting, again, 24 sheets. You are getting eight of each color, £12.99, as I said, £6 saving, 020942 is your item number. Now, that gives you a lot of different possibilities as well, because remember, you can then take something like this and then transform it in something like this. Of course, that means that it's a perfect charm. It could be keys for the house. It could be maybe a little earrings if you wanted, maybe a medallion. Like that would be really cool as, or earrings. I mean, if you want to have a stack in as earrings, I mean, I think they're not going to show, but they kind of, uh, yeah, they were. There they have. Yep, yep. Yeah, I think so. But also, as a, a kind of, you can see the brooch here. That would be a really lovely brooch, wouldn't it? That would be absolutely stunning. Right, if you want to go for this one, 020942 is your item number. Then we have got our memory box here. Well, our cool cat's crafts uh, memory box. Now, I'm going to, you have got uh, the option. Um, of course, they put it, well, no, you don't get them both. Uh, with the box with the drawer, and you can see it here. Isn't that cool? I love that. I, I think this would be a lovely, let me open the top up, a lovely uh, jewelry box uh, to have next to your uh, bedside table or something like this. You have got memorabilia as well. Maybe you have got memories from a trip and they are kind of little bits and pieces and you can keep them here as well. And then you have got... Of course, the one without the drawer. Imagine that with the Zuri molds in here, maybe, or something like a look at the stencils in here. Look how beautiful they are. And also, one of the things I love is, can you see the, the lid? So the lid has got a hole in through there, so it means that it's an easy to put like this tassel or you could put a knob in here and it's easy to pull. And of course, you have got the beautiful decoration inside that you can decorate it with whatever colors you want. So if you wanted £21.98, saving £5, and of course, the item number 879 
four is your is, is the item number four both of them and of course look at that you have got even the the buttons in here as well look at that and then the cute uh, perfect embellishments for that you know like the pull drawer as well as the knobs at the top right if you want to move on to oh this when I saw this I was very excited because look how big it is now this is the scrapbook album kit it has got the covers the spine the ring binder itself which is a three ring binder which is quite unusual to find but is phenomenal because it gives it a little bit, bit more stability than uh, of course a two one now perfect for your 12 by 12 it has got the mechanism of remember and of course you have got in here the archetype uh, as well so to do the proper system you have got the brads as well for the spine and of course you have got the instructions on how to put it all together just 9.99 have the stock on and this is the first time we had a look at it you have got a seven pound saving make the most of it remember even if you go for this we are at the hotanda christmas credit which means that even if you just buy this you will get a, a five pound credit for tomorrow to spend on purchases over 30 pounds or more uh shop by brand of course but uh, and you can see everything but for cool cats crafts that we have got and of course we have got the happy hour uh and we have got also the words in here so the words are really cool and we are going to have a look at them in a second right if you look at all the elements all the dies all the different projects that you have have got and of course including those uh, of course beautiful uh, woodland intrigue mdf kits they are absolutely stunning and oh the ocean intrigue that's gorgeous right and we are going to have a look at the mdf words let me put this in here so we can have a proper look at the mdf words now we are getting the journal words, the Christmas words in here, and I'm going to be very naughty. And, you know, you can see in here, if you can see there, that line, it means that it's one single word. It's not all those letters that you have to pull out and, you know, be very careful. It's one element and they are all here. And then, of course, we have got the words in here with goal, event, gap year. So how about this for the albums, the memory boxes, and of course also decoration for Christmas. I love that. And then the candy cane as well. Now you are getting all three of them. You can see. Oh, oh, four. Oh, I forgot. Thank you, Maggie. It's like, she's like, it's four. It's four. I didn't see it. I'm so sure I couldn't see through it. Like genuinely, this is kind of all right, so four of them for twelve pounds and ninety-eight pence, and you are saving eleven pounds. So it's almost half price. Make the most of it. Get it today. Six seven one nine zero one, and then the happy hour. Well, it is phenomenal. This is what you can create. I'm going to turn it over so you can see, because can you see those gaps in here? Those ones you have got one for each section, and this is what allows you to pull up every single item in here. And of course, you have got eight by eights. It will fit the 12 by 12s. It is beautifully uh, finished. So then you can choose whichever papers you want. So for instance, graphic 45, of course, you can go for, you know, watch Chao Bella, whichever papers. You are getting instructions on how to put it all together. 19 pounds and 99 pence, but that five pound saving, well, it's a happy hour. That five pound saving, it will disappear at the end of this hour. 350059 is your item number. Now, we have had another switcheroo and we have got Maggie to demonstrate for the next uh, project. So take it away, Maggie. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Um, Kayla, I just wanted to say something. If you're not in our Facebook group and you'd like to join, do join. We've got an amazing... Absolutely. On, but there's so much inspiration on there, lots of ideas for decorating your albums using the dies. Um, and we're going to be doing a 12 days of Christmas thing as well. Right, okay. So I'm going to demonstrate the pierced circle okay sorry we have got a technical issue with maggie's uh, mic so sorry so it's gonna sound kind of that so let's uh, let's kind of and give you a reminder uh, now we have got at uh, the website just jump ahead to the website because we have got elements remember the magnets have sold out i believe the never ending strips uh, dies are really busy as well so there are limited stock so if you want to please do check out your baskets Archetype, the clear matte film also is very busy. Remember that you can go for the Zinky Inky, which even if you are not, we are not previewing here them in life. We do have them as well. So there's a lot, uh, a lot of different possibilities. Right, while we are sorting the technical issues, we are going to give you a reminder of the, uh, the Victorian whiskers. Now, the Victorian whiskers uh, that we have got here. Now, 
This is the uh, AR here. Those ones are the there ones. Yeah, I cannot see. It. I'm so short. I wish I was taller so I could see exactly where I'm putting my hand to. It's just like sometimes it's just. And the left and right, I always get confused. Right, so the Victorian whiskers, we have got a set of eight dice. So from the smallest one to the largest one, gives you that ability to create exactly the right bracket style edge. That means that you can make tags, you can make pockets, you can make so many different elements into it. It's a versatile, versatile set. Half the stock has already gone. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. You are saving five pounds. Five three nine zero four three is your item number. And then we have got, uh, still have got a handful of the never-ending single figures. Now, if you want it, uh, please do check out your baskets. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. You are saving four pounds, but it is limited stock, as I mentioned. So please do check out your basket. Six nine two three eight nine is your item number. And then we have got the curved pocket. Uh, also, half the stock has already gone, so you can see it here. So twelve ninety-nine is your price. Uh, you are saving four pounds. Four three one nine two five. Right. I think Maggie is uh, all sorted. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> Take okay. it away then. Right, okay, so we're going to use the curved pierced pocket slots, okay? I, I, we showed how to use them like for tuckins and things. They're really good if you've got a really busy patterned page and you're not you're a bit daunted by it, you're a bit scared, you think, Oh, I don't really know what to do. I'm not quite ready to take the step of cutting in and matching up the papers Absolutely. and stuff. So this is a really easy way to create tuck-ins to pop your, pop your tags in. And you'll notice with our dies, you get a set of four in, in this. So I'm just going to turn them over this way. We have a little, uh, let's find here, we have a little alignment notches in the centre there. Yeah. So that you can see for lining up. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a very simple page layout here. I'm going to take my larger one. Yeah. I'm going to pop that. Right. There, make sure it's straight. Okay. Just gonna run that under there. And you measure it. I'm properly. just lining up so the line's straight along there. Okay. And it's straight, but I'm doing it roughly by, but just so I know it's not gonna be too wonky when I perfect cut it out. Okay, it's just really for demo purposes so, and our dies are workhorses so you can see that they're, they're slightly uh, yeah. thicker so they're really strong mm -hmm. they will cut through a piece of um, Pink Frog's beautiful true black card oh, and yeah. a piece of graphic 45 at the same time brilliant um, and that's important because you yeah. know position needs to be perfect so if it you does do oh I was gonna put that one through but actually so that's that's yeah. one you could do like that but drop it down so let's drop this one down by eye here Okay. We've got a wobbly board here, haven't we, Kay? Sometimes it happens with a so, wobbly board. Pop, okay. Then we'll pop that one there. Okay. okay, and then we'll pop that one there. Okay, and at the same time, this is going to be a page here. And at the same time, I've got another page that's going to be here, and I'm going to have a pocket here. So I'm going to take this one and that's going to go that way, okay. like that. Okay, so I'm going to line it up. I can see that's crooked. Look at them. Go to four, go to 12, uh, just between. So we'll pop that one there. By the way, we have got some news about the never-ending dies. They are now technical sellout. If you have them in your baskets, please oh. do check out your baskets. Uh, remember that that's the ones that they have sold, that sold out. But it's a technical sellout, so if you have it in your baskets, if you check out now, you will get them. Also, limited stock uh, for this scrapbook album. Uh, the 12 by the, well, larger than 12 by 12 with the ring binder element in here, 9.99. And now it's limited stock. If you want yours, please do check out your baskets. It's you know that amazing saving of seven pounds eight nine five three seven eight six eight is your item number that's about sorry about that Maggie but no it's, it's fine I'm just my OCD's kicked in so <laughs> I'm, I'm just playing about with the dies now just getting them how I how I'd like yeah. them to be okay and I'm going to drop that one down a bit more of so that's the whole point because they're also easy to see because we've yeah. got them in a nice distinctive color right okay so we're going to pop these through we'll put this one through first and with your dies because it's like long like that you're better this is going through um, 
a platinum machine, so oh, yeah. like a slightly a A4 yeah, that, size machine. Yeah. But you're better, any dies like that way, you're better going through long yeah. ways. Yeah. You can do it that way, but it'll be a bit of It will be more clunky. It'll be very yeah. clunky, yes. Oh, by the way, you know the album has now technically sold oh, out. Gosh. So if you want it, please do check out your baskets. You will still get it if you have it right now in your baskets. Otherwise, the basket will refresh itself in 10 minutes time and you will miss out because somebody might take it away. Sorry, Maggie, it's just that's we okay. have been a very busy show. No, that's so. all right. I'm glad everybody's enjoying it. So yeah. we'll just take those out and then I'm just going to go back and pop the other one through. So don't don't get rid of your waist because as we said they're perfect little smiley faces I see, yeah. or decorative features. So that's that there. So then we're going to take this one off first. Okay. And you can see how easily the waist pops yes, out as well. Yeah, it's and because these are coated, these are coated for easy release as well. So they so, come up really well. Yeah. Okay, so that's your first page that's going to go there. Okay, so we're going to stick that down. And Maggie, sorry to interrupt again. You sold out. No, well, no. they are uh, the pockets now are limited stock. Oh, so it, it, the bottom ones, so these ones are the curved ones, the smiley ones. Uh, okay. No, the ones that Maggie is using, they are now limited okay. stock. If Let's you want just... them, please do check out your baskets. Remember, yeah, I'm doing, doing my best. <laughs> no pressure. So don't rush, don't rush. You are okay. starting to them right. you get so to finish you're, it. So you're sticking, you're sticking this one on. Now you need to think about when you're sticking it down because that one's going to be, this is a pocket here, so you just want glue. Oh, uh, now they have, they have now sold out. If you have technical sellout, if you have it in your baskets, please check out. Otherwise, as I mentioned, the basket will auto refresh itself, so somebody else might get them instead of Am you. Am I allowed to say I've started, so I've finished? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Okay, right, so that's that one on there. Okay. I just don't want anybody to miss out if they have it in so, their baskets, that's all. Right, yeah. so that's stuck there, that's stuck there, that's stuck there. And then, so you can pop your little, little tags in there, little tags in there. And then this page, we'll just pop our decorative. Yeah. A very busy show, very busy show. So it's Thank like... you, everybody. <laughs> We, like, the voices in my ears like, oh, this is, uh, this is very, you know, I was like, okay. okay I think we're going to be busy on Monday, yeah. okay? <laughs> that's a good... But you please, know. any of these dyes, if you struggle with them, you shouldn't do. Yeah. Um, but please get in touch with us. Watch our YouTube channels. Join our Facebook group. There's such an amazing yeah. um, community on Absolutely. there. Right, that wants to be that way round. So the reason that's going to be that way round, okay. I'm going to stick that there. Two reasons is that way around. Okay. A, because the paper's th that way right. up, otherwise yeah. they'd be upside down. But I actually wanted it like that because this is going to become a pocket. And you can see how quickly it is. Now, and it's non threatening doing this. Absolutely. Could you do this uh, for your, you know, the, the album that you have got here the, with the different substrates? Could yes. you do pockets in this one? Yes, you could do. You could. What you'd need to do is fold your. Um, you need to fold a page back, yeah, um, or just stick two pages together, and you can do pockets and everything. Yeah. yeah. So oh, that's that there. So then you've got two pages done really, really quickly. That's yeah. Very effectively. Lots of areas to hold your hold your photos, your memorabilia, that's your gorgeous. ephemera. Got that one, Fabulous. and then you've got that one. But I would have inked the edges if we had time. Well, I would have inked well, the we edges. We have got about five minutes so left. So I have to apologise because I've been in trouble with Marianne otherwise. <laughs> so, so that's it. Okay. That's so uh, how long have we got? We have got five minutes. Five minutes. Under show. Yeah. Okay. Oh gosh. Right. Let's just do a quick. Okay. Okay. Let's take that one off. I think we've got time. Uh, are you going to use the Victorian whisk? I am. I'm going to use the Victorian whiskers. Okay, because those ones are the only ones that are left. Okay. That is boys. Let's just see. So this is going to be a flap here. A bit of tape. Okay. 
and there we have got the Victorian uh, whiskers I said you're getting eight dice in total a five pound saving which means a quarter of Take the price is uh, you, what you are saving 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price five three nine zero five four three but if I was you and I want them well you need to check out your baskets because uh, three quarters of the stock has already gone out uh, two, two thirds of the stock of the Victorians oh gosh okay yeah. right so I've got eight by eight page I've got my whiskers in the middle and a piece of graphic 45 paper so is that going to fit through that yes it is okay so we'll pop that there yeah. uh, okay so. and then you've run it through and again do you recommend to have an A4 die cutting machine if so you're you going to if you're going to be doing larger album pages yes, yes. Yeah, yeah but you'll be fine. Eight, yeah. You know, you don't you don't have to. These will work through your smaller die machines. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. So that's cut there. I'm just going to take my paper trimmer. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to find where the edge of my whiskers are, yeah. as it were. Oh, I see. I'm going to cut it up Ooh. to there. Yeah. And I'm going to cut it down to there. Okay, so hopefully, yep, that's yeah. worked. Oh, I've got magnets everywhere. <laughs> Right, yeah, okay, that, that, so just, sometimes I kind of think, why is this so, you know, this is like not pulling away or this is not working yeah. and this is magnets attached to the bag. I've actually been shopping with magnets stuck, sticking out the side <laughs> of my glasses because they got stuck oh, there. To me it's the scissors, the scissors, that's what I was trying to think what it was that I couldn't, what didn't work well and it was the scissors. Yes, so yeah. we're taking this end off here, yeah. taking this piece off here, we'll take this off here, yeah. take that off there, take that off there. I'm just going to trim a little smidge off the edge of this one. Okay. Okay. So that mm. is going to go onto my there. flap. Yep. Like that. Okay. Yep. And then this one, because I've cut it, and everybody right. knows I'm a yep. bit of a. I do like my paper to match. Yes, of course okay. you do. Okay. So we're going to take this bit off ah, here. I see what you're doing. Yeah. So your perfect edge. Yeah. So we're taking this off here. Yeah. Um, so I don't want to rush it. Yeah, we have got. So don't worry. Don't don't rush. We have got. A, We've got a couple time. Of minutes. Okay, that's fine. We've got a couple of minutes. That's fine. I'm just going to slow down then. Minutes, yeah. So sometimes that. Yeah, I know. Time is sometimes so relative. Relative. Ah! Yeah. So we'll just cut that yeah. up there. Okay. Take that bit off there. Right. So we're going to line this up. Mm -hmm. And we're going to drop that down so we've got a little border Perfect. like that. But you can see yes. I haven't got a border there and there. Yep. Now I could either trim it or I could use a black archival pen okay. and go along yep. afterwards. So what we'll do is we'll just put a little mark there. Yeah. Okay. We'll trim this. Okay. Okay. So okay. that is going to. That's going to stick on there for my pocket, okay. and I'm going to do the um, black pen technique afterwards. So I've got a black border Fabulous. like that. So that's stuck on there. Yeah. This one is going to be stuck on here. Okay. And I'm using um, book binding glue. So it's archival and everything else. And again, I'll probably I'll trim that one down yeah. afterwards. So I'll just whiz through and trim that. And then I'll do my black pen bit, but I can okay, do that. Okay, we afterwards. have got about a minute. Uh, okay, minutes. we'll be done. Well, but I can remind everybody to check out their baskets. The whiskers are now limited stock. So if you want them, please do check out your baskets, otherwise we'll miss out on them. We already had two sellouts of okay. the other two sets of dolls. So that's going to go there, that's going to go there. We'll cut that one there. So your page is going to start out being like this. Ah, I see. So that's going to be your pocket there. The paper Absolutely. perfectly matches. Perfect. That will go on there like that. You've got that there. You want to do your dark pen along there and there, and that will lift up. And then Absolutely you need to cut another one out beautiful. there. 
to yeah. go in there. Thank you so much. So, and well oh, done, Margaret. You did it. Oh. You did it. And it was perfect. Thank you so much, Margaret. Thank you so much, Kay. Uh, now Thank you, you, everybody. You, you both Thank are going to be back at 1 p.m. Of course. Yeah. So yes. do you yeah. check out your baskets, though, because we are limited stock. And when they are, they are gone, they are gone. So please do check out those baskets to not miss out. Remember, of course, the ladies will be, the cool cats uh, will be back at 1 o'clock with Fiona, I believe. So, But, of course, there are other items that you need to check out your baskets, including that happy hour, including, of course, the archetype, those essentials that you can mix and match with other projects that you have got. Thank you, ladies. It's been a pleasure, as always. We'll see you. Happy Christmas. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Very happy Christmas to you as well. After the break, stay tuned. It's a special one. Well, the special one is Phil Martin, who is in the building. Color Me Happy Sentiments stamps are next with Leone as well. Then we have got the big save with Indigo Blue with Julia. And then at 12, Fabric Freedom. Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. 
We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanja viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Julie Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hello and welcome. Well, it's marvellous to have your company. We've got a, a lot of stuff to talk about and there's a lot of deals. So head over to the website because obviously you'll be able to see all those deals. But obviously, oh yeah, and we've got our Christmas, what are we calling it? A cr credit, not cracker. Christmas credit, got a cracker in corner. But I need to tell you about the credit because if you're spending today, um, then you'll get your five pound credit that goes into your account and then when you're spending tomorrow if you're spending is it over 25 over 30 pounds tomorrow then you'll be able to take that five pounds off so i had to get that out straight away and then i didn't forget editorial but obviously we have got a lovely guest in the building it is of course our lovely phil martin hello good, my good gorgeous morning, darling good morning everybody good morning i'm glad i can see you through the I screen know it's nice actually it's not nice but it's better <laughs> it's better than oh. you being like 20 feet away absolutely so at least absolutely you're, at least you're close. yeah you're close. I, we were saying i was just telling phil that bev walked into it the other day <laughs> Just it's not still, obvious. You might still see an imprint of a face <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> Bless. Bless you, Bev. Oh, yeah, I know. If I'd have had my phone, you'd have seen that on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but sadly, I did. If you're watching, Bev, that's giving us a good giggle. <laughs> Um, Phil, obviously, we've got loads of really good yeah. prices on today's yeah, shows. Have, yeah. yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because I didn't get to, to short, but I think our Julie had the stamps, and I love these stamps. Thank you. They, they are quite special. When, when you come to me and we start demoing, I'm going to go through yeah. them all with you. So when I was putting these stamps together, the thing that I had in my mind is, obviously, I wanted focal point sentiments, yeah. but I didn't just want to do the regular happy birthday blah 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 yes. i wanted the decoration around it so what that does is that gives you at home it gives us as crafters complete flexibility on how we use these stamps so i've put them together yeah yeah you can see all the little flourishes and swirls and crowns and everything around them so they work for guys they work for girls they, they're not too much one way or the other yeah. they're going to work for everybody they're completely individual how you color them in or yeah. don't color them in at all it's entirely up to you i've designed them with that in mind yeah yeah, yeah. but i like their look literally I the only that. bit that's been colored in on there is the actual letters yeah. i really like that they're gorgeous aren't they yeah. and more importantly they're never going to go out of fashion no. you're going to be using these year in year yeah. out i love them I labor do. of love i'll tell you and i tell you what I, when you get these home it's only when you look right in you see the detail yeah, in your tiny twiddles. detail even just silly things like little little crowns yes. little flourish on the top of the L there or the little skull on the top of the eye yeah it's and a bit cool is, so, so, um, so when I was putting them together one thing I had in mind is if you're rubbish at colouring because you know, all of us can colour absolutely it doesn't matter yeah it really doesn't matter because there are no there are no rigid lines that you oh I've got to colour in that I've got to colour in that it yeah. will work whether you go out the lines or not because they're designed to be like that. Yeah. And then I, obviously, I mean, look at that. That's yeah, that's really cool. Mixed media, grungy style. It works for that. But the card yeah. before it is really pretty. Yeah. So that sh that shows me that it's a really good value set of stamps when you can do so much with it. Absolutely. And they're really nice sizes. They, yeah. They so make I tried to impact. make them. Again, they are they are smaller than A6. So if you're somebody who likes to do A6 cards. These will absolutely make your card for you. Yeah. If you want to do big cards like I do, they're again going to work for that because you can embellish yeah. around it. So they're not too big that you can't use them on a small dinky A6 card. Yes, yes. Um, and they're not too small that you can't 
you was the one big ones. Yeah, no, I think the lovely, as we are talking about the stamps, I might as well shift it over. I, I started talking about the stamps first, because obviously, oh, yes. me and I <laughs> feel like an aura. We've complete, completely gone off piece, haven't we, I know, darling? completely, I like breaking rules out <laughs> Well, because, like, we did the pens, we launched the pens, we were dead excited, but because I hadn't done these yeah. with you, yeah. I, it's like I wanted to hear why, you know, yeah. what was behind what, the. Yeah, the reasoning behind it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And obviously, because I just think when I saw these, they really did catch my eye because yeah. I thought, yeah, they are absolutely they're gorgeous. They're modern, they're different, they're never going to go out of fashion. Yeah. There's a sentiment in there for everything. And the one there that we've just scrolled past, that with very best wishes, I've actually, well, demo this afternoon is just using best wishes. Yeah. So you can, you can mask off and create your own sentiments from these as well. Yeah. yeah. I so think just that's use fabulous. best wishes or very best wishes or with best wishes. It's entirely up to you. Yeah, and that's it. If I spin that one round, you can see how they are um, separate. So yeah, you've got so much choice. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, the you know, look at that. The really decent size stamps, and of course, very very good quality as ever. So all that beautiful detail, like on that one, the H, there's a fabulous little eye, and it looks like the sun coming off yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and and again, colour them in. Don't colour them in they look amazing just stamped in ink and maybe just well i'm going to glitter them so i'm of course you are <laughs> of course I'm you're going to glitter, glitter mine so <laughs> you've got complete flexibility yeah. you need these in your stash everybody seriously i mean obviously i'm not going to bring them back yeah. so once they've gone they've gone they are a kind of a collector's thing yeah uh, but just think about the flexibility when you get these home so you've got there have a fabulous day that can go on the inside of your card yeah and you can have the very best wishes on the front so yeah. so many different ways to use them and absolutely and have a fabulous day that doesn't need it again because i like all my other stuff doesn't need to be card making now i did say you've got some good deals today you've got 12 stamps in total here seven eight pounds and of course you have got your flexi so you don't have to buy and um, pay for it all in once and you've even got your freedom so that means freedom members um you are saving an extra 11 pounds and 95 pence two payments um 37 pounds and 50 pence that is absolutely fantastic obviously freedom members you're not paying postage either 420 one six two now there is a pick and mix with these as well so i love that because maybe if you've just got one year one or two that you want specifically then you can actually do that and it just gives you again even more possibilities uh, you're picking any three and it's uh, sat at the bottom of your screen picking any three <clears throat> Sorry, my throat went funny then. For forty-three pounds and um, no, I'm lying. Yeah, I'm not lying. Forty-three pounds and forty-seven pence <laughs> is your item. Um, is your price? Um, obviously, if you're going for the bigger, your first flexi is a freedom member. What's your first flexi? Have your freedom member for bigger? Oh, there you go. You see, so this month you'd be paying less. And then the next month you'd be paying less and you've got all the collections. Whereas if you were going for your three, you'd be paying more. Definitely better to go for the big one and get um, be part of freedom. That makes much more sense. 420162 is your item number. We will obviously be going back to the pens in a little while, but <laughs> I've sent us off on a weird tangent because <laughs> that's what I do. I know, right? What do I do? Um, now, your backgrounds. Now, these obviously, for me, cracking. You know, backgrounds, you can't have too many backgrounds in life, no, are absolutely. Phil? So these are different. This is Textural Temptations 2. So there was Oof. a Textural Temptations original what? set, yeah. <laughs> yes. So what, the reason I've, do, I've done these small, really, for... Well, because of Julia, really, because you know, like we like to do. <laughs> Julia. You know, like we sometimes you want to pick a stamp up and just do random patterns, create yes. your backgrounds. It's difficult to do that with a full A6 stamp. So I thought, you know what, let's do smaller versions. Yeah. And there's there's nine stamps in that. Yeah. So you've got nine different textural uh, stamps in there. Yeah. For and that you're price. You're going to use them for, forever in a day, aren't yeah. you? Because they're just, they're just essentials. Absolutely. And you don't need, when you're doing textures, you don't actually need a big stamp. No. Because you're, you're doing it random anyway, yes. yeah. it means you're going to get that coverage. Yeah. And that yeah. looks well nice. It I love does, that. It? And that's just stamped randomly again and embossed. So, yeah. so really, these are easy enough to, you can use them on a block if you want. Yeah. But the, 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 the idea behind them was that you can just pick them up with your fingers and just go for it. Yeah. And are they even stamped on the little flowers? Yes, they are. Yeah. Uh, Who made that? Does it say on the bike? Jennifer. 
Oh, well done, Jennifer. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Mm. I love the colours as well. Yeah, I do. I think that's really pretty. She's stamped over. I wonder if that's paper she's actually made to stamp. Anyway, it's beautiful. It that, is Jennifer. one of my... You can't get that paper yours? pack anymore, but it ah, is one of... Because that looks really yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, 14 49 for that stamp set. Really good price. And obviously, something that you'll use time and time and time again. 032-432 is your item number. Now, if you love the sentiments, then you definitely need to get hold of the alpha. A bit. Or, of course, if you just want to create your own um, sentiments, these are fab. Look at that. So you've got, look at the, all the detail. I really like these. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And again, now you really see the detail. Absolutely. So these are, obviously, this is an A4. It's the first A4 set I've done as well. Uh, and I've done that because I'm... If you look at the, some of the letters, have got more flourishes above and below, so it needed to be an A4. Yeah. These are a little bit bigger than the sentiments, so you know it's going to work perfectly with them. Amazing for doing names. Yeah. So you, any name, once you've got these home, you can do any name and completely personalise what you, the card that you're making with them. Uh -huh. You can also use them in conjunction with the sentiments as well, so you could have somebody's name on the front yeah. and then have the very happy birthday on the inside. Absolutely. And it just looks amazingly only. These look gorgeous when they're stamped and embossed. Oh, yeah. I really like them. Um, my favourite is the, the cue because it's waving. Yeah. It's got your little yeah. ant on it. <laughs> That's really cute. I quite like the hashtag as well. So I've, you've got numbers as well in this, don't forget. So it's a it's a uppercase alphabet with the numbers, so 0 to 9. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I'm waiting for my hashtag. Where's the hashtag? I think it might be in the small set. Oh, is in it? In the lowercase, yeah. Oh, OK. But I'll you're getting both anyway. Amazing for that price. Oh, yeah, these oh, are they, cool. Do you know what? You can, I can see these working for anybody. Yeah, me too. And I know Trudy used them in her journals. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because you can do that. You can actually yeah. use the, just the alphabet and the uh, the uppercase and the lowercase in, yeah. your, in, in your journals and do January or what have Definitely. you. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, um, that's it. You know, anybody who's even, you know, oh, yeah, the hashtag, yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. That is very cool. Clever. Uh, Took yeah. some doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you know when there's one that's just... Not behaving. Yeah, man. That was the one. Yeah, that the the <laughs> one that's pushing all the the wrong buttons. <laughs> Naughty hashtag. Um, I love them. Yeah, because that's it. I mean, obviously, planners and stuff and journals are really yeah. taking well, off. For me, as a card maker, the fact that I can do tags, I can do mm. names. I can personalise everything, and it's real. I mean, look at that. That's that's really funky and modern. Yeah, that's, that's what very Karen cool. made. My sister. Oh, she's even got ah. the fifty at the bottom. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so Car Carl is my brother, who's younger than me. I'm the one that's fifty first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I guess Phil wouldn't have fit because I've got two L's. <laughs> so she's just added that. a few years onto Carl yeah. instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but do you see what I mean about <laughs> completely personalising it? I, mean, yeah. I, do, I love these tags. I think Lozzie did these. That's really cute there's no name oh yeah there is you can see how much did. you're going to use these just looking at them yeah and yeah they're not too big so they're the perfect size yeah absolutely and that's it i mean for for christmas for any any celebration and there you go you've got obviously you can do your sentiments as well yeah absolutely yeah absolutely <laughs> if i was to tell you to go for anything it would be the alphabets yeah 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 because i you, think that's you need them, cracking you, and i can tell you already oh, that yeah, i know five. that the alphabet set is the one that's going to sell out first yeah because it's the one that we've got the least of yes so you've got more chance of collecting the sentiments beginning part of next year than you have the alphabet excellent so if you so want your alphabet you know what to do yeah. um yeah. forewarned folks 40 pounds 48 pence you've got your flexi on that as well uh, two payments 20 pounds and 24 pence uh please check your baskets out on these um uh, we are going to mention those wonderful wonderful pens i mean you have got an immense variety of of colours, of possibilities with these. Um, obviously, the first time you've done your alcohol pens, and it, it, they've just, I love it because first time you've done and you've done the lot. We've done the lot, yeah. So when we uh, when we originally released these, they were the monthly mega deal. They sold out, we bought you some more. Uh, the monthly mega deal has since finished, but I'm now still keeping them here because they are a staple, staple product, yeah. and I didn't want people to feel that you'd got to get the whole set in one go because it is a considered purchase. 
So we've got sets one to seven available individually. So if you're going to start collecting these, just get one. Yeah. Next month, get two, next, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to discontinue these anytime soon. Good, good. I won't keep reordering. Yeah, yeah. But I will give you all time to collect the whole collection. Cool. So we've put this together as a complete, oops, as a complete <laughs> set. Was that me? That were you, Was love. it? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh. So, <laughs> it could be so, fun. <laughs> so I'm not this putting these as back in the, the box set. as if this goes. So you know that, don't you? <laughs> They've just spent In the order. <laughs> yeah, poor Kirsty's been doing all the stacking. <laughs> uh, so obviously it's designed as a completely cohesive set, a complete set, because you know what it's like years ago when we all started collecting? Yeah. And then they'd bring another 15 colours yeah, on, and yeah. then another 12. Yeah. And I thought, you know what, me and Trudy have gone through this, we've put this together as a complete set, uh, but each set will work on its own as well. Good. So if you are only going for one, I mean, I always, I always say, just start with the colours you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So the start ones you with need. the colours you like, and then just collect the sets. And, and once, once they've gone, they've gone. Yeah, um, I just think it's so nice, and it's, it is one of them. Like you say, with when they bring new colours out and stuff, and you don't know if you're you duplicating, you don't know if you've already gone, you don't know if you need them. When yeah. you've got the whole set, the nice thing is as well, you can put them all in order. I've started yeah. doing it. Yeah. I haven't finished yet, but I've started order, doing yeah. it. Yeah. So you put in a main colour order, yes, I'm putting all the blues together, all the pinks together, etc, yeah. etc. Et and then I want to do my, all my blues and then do my colour swatches for that tub, but honestly, uh, one of these days, you know. I've, I've done the same, so I've, yeah. luckily I've got two sets, so this is my TV set. Yeah. So I've kept these in the sets that they belong. So when I'm when I'm here demoing, I can tell you which set they're from. Yeah. But the ones I've got on my desk at home are in blues, pinks, yes. red, browns, greens, and so on and so forth. Yeah. It makes it easier, yeah, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Um, it does. They're just lovely and obviously fantastic quality. Of course, Phil's gonna. I'm not gonna touch any of these pens <laughs> because Christy has spent all that time making them lovely, and I know what I'm like. I am the master of destruction. <laughs> I'll show you. So when you come yeah, to Phil me. will show you. Phil will show you at Thens when you get us over there. Um, now, two payments, £20, that's all. Um, now, that is, obviously, if you're going for these, so that's £24 with this storage. Now, you're choosing from set one, two, three, four, blah, 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 blah. So it is up to you which you're going for. Um, that is up to set seven. If you want any advice, just ask. You yeah. know, just email in. If you want to know where to start, email in. Studio at achanda.com. But just two payments of £20. Pounds. Uh, now, please check the website out. Like I said, there's tons of goodies. Um, we've got papers, we've got Phil's lovely dies. I love Phil's dies. They're so cool. And you've got bargains on them as well. The double Ds, I love them. Um, but yeah, we've got, we, oh, I love them. I love them, Phil. Um, the beautiful papers, we've got the embossing powders, the glitters. So please uh, have a good, um, a little uh, nosy around, a good peruse. While we're uh, on the papers, did you, I don't know whether you noticed the price as you were going there. You're getting one free. Are you? So it's a pick and mix. Yeah, yeah, because I'm, oh. I need it, which is absolutely the best deal you're ever going to get from Aye. me. <laughs> because I need the space. So, so yeah. you can choose three and you're only paying for two. Amazing. So the, take advantage of that is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, stock up on the papers. Um, and yeah, they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, our Phil. You're right. ready. Look at you all organised there. I know, I know. It took me all day yesterday, but I am <laughs> organised. I've got all my flowers and everything here. I've got the overhead. Yeah, we are. Yeah. So I've got all my flowers here. I've got all my matting and layering oh, done. And I love that colour that you've picked, that so green. This, the cardstock is on the website as well. Lovely. I can't remember how many colours we've got now. I know it's over 30. Uh, but this is the olive olive grove. Yeah, I like that. So what I've got here is some of the pure white. You can see I've used the classic flourish embossing folder there on the show as well in duos, I believe. That embossing folder is lovely. It's gorgeous, isn't it? You can see how deep it is. Now that I normally bring the embossing folders as a trio. So if you found that the trios were a little bit too expensive, the fact that we've got them as duos now um, is a good way for you to get them, and you're only paying for two. Yeah. yeah, the owner's on that. I'm so on can it. you see also I've used the inverted corner squares on here as well. Yeah, I so love I've them. Got, obviously I've covered this in absolutely 
Loads and throw your glitter. <laughs> Can't well, even you see the, your double D's you've got now. You've double D box. Uh, yeah. Inverted corner, the squares and the rectangles are on the show. Now, I need to tell you, if you haven't got them yet, yeah. now is the time to be getting them because we've nearly we've nearly. Have they nearly gone? gone. Yeah. I and need I'm not them. I really them. like them. I, yeah, I'm I not restocking them because there's, new, adore there's them. new ones coming next year. But <laughs> right. uh, I don't want you to miss out on the inverted ones. The, the yeah. rectangles and the squares are on the show and they're both essentials. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah definitely. And they feel such good quality. Um, the embossing folders now. A deal with your embossing folders. This is the one Phil has used. Obviously, that's your your other one that it comes with. And you've got all those little dots. It's funny, isn't it? Embossing folders are one of them. They make a difference. Oh yeah. It's funny how the the everything in craft it has its it has its peaks and its troughs, doesn't yeah, it? And people yeah. seem to have forgot about embossing folders. I love me? embossing folders. And I love them. Because it's one of the quickest and easiest ways to add texture to your projects. Yeah. yeah. And I remember when I first launched these, I was showing you how deep they are. They're not average embossing folders. These. Yeah. In fact, if truth be known, you know I'm like I sent them back and said they're not thick enough. They're not thick enough. Yeah. I want them thicker. We got there in the end because it's yeah. easier to just let me have my own way. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're such a pain. But I want yeah, that result are. for you at home, you see. This is yeah. why I'm so fussy. Yeah. Uh, and I know that, it, well, you can see, it, it works amazing on, yeah. on our card stock. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is two, lovely. 270 GSM, now. Yeah, and it's just a perfect result. Yeah. Gorgeous. So you've got the first two, which I showed you. The second two, I really, I mean, I really like both of them, but that one's my favourite. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Quintessentially um, quilted. Oh, yeah, that yeah. one, love. I just got that one. Quintessentially quilted. <laughs> Quintessentially quilted. Seventy pounds and ninety-eight pence is your price. Zero two two five five zero is your item number. Phil. Right, so we're over to me. So first things first, I'm going to up stamp and emboss, but I'm just going to go through the stamps with you because it's. I'll do it quickly, and I'll just do the six main sentiments. So you can see that this is a cohesive set as well because this is what I wanted. I wanted you to be able to do front and back of your card and I wanted you to be able to mix and match them. Yes. Yeah. So you see how we've got the happy... I'm going to turn it over. So we've got the happy birthday to you today. We're going to use this one, and I'm, but I'm only going to do happy birthday. Yeah? Okay. So that means already I've got, from, from this set of stamps, I've got one, two, three, four. I can see six different ways I can use this yeah. stamp. Yeah. So yeah. we've got the happy birthday on its own if I take that away. Yeah. But, and then you've got a. Um, You've got a top and a bottom happy birthday, but remember, you can actually mask that off, just do the happy, yeah. and then do birthday next to it. So if you like DL cards, you're onto a winner. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to keep that one out because we're going to use that. I bet. So we've Ooh. got the You Are Amazing because you are fabulous, because these are really good generic uplifting yeah. sentiments. Yeah. And sometimes uh, when you're sending a card, you're not saying happy birthday or anything. You just want to tell somebody that they're fabulous. Yes, yeah, yeah? absolutely. So you can send me that one if anybody's <laughs> bought them. <laughs> it's really I am. Yeah. I suppose if I, you've I, got. I, I can do it from the alphabet. I am fabulous. <laughs> I am fabulous. Imagine sending a card like that. <laughs> Send me some. I am fabulous. Card. Are uh, you looking to receive a card from so me? So to someone special, obviously you can just use someone special. You can have happy yeah. birthday, have a brilliant time, just have a brilliant time, brilliant time. Someone and so brilliant. On and so forth. So many different ways you can use these. I love yeah. this one. Yeah, I do. And Loz is made. I don't know where it is because there are cards everywhere. But Loz is made a card from my design team with the live life in full color yeah and it's so bright and bold and vibrant it's absolutely gorgeous and it's basically what we all need Isn't this time one? of year no but that'll do because that's pretty as well that'll do <laughs> bear with <laughs> bear with i'll show it's up. all right oh, then we've got oh, the birthday. oh oh i'll start that birthday out in a minute wishes. birthday yeah go on then Go on then. Isn't that gorgeous though? Yeah, that's lovely. That's, ju that's just two colours of alcohol pen, yeah. the texture stamps on the flowers, quite a bit of bling on that. But that's I'll, beautiful. I'll, I'll, gorgeous, isn't that? Yeah, there's just an A yeah. in the corner, so I'm not sure who's made that. A, Alison. Uh, that's Alison. That's that Alison. A. God, a is that's Alison, a. Yeah. That is lovely. <laughs> it is, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the point. See what I mean? That is not a massive card. No. But all these stamps are designed to fit within all my dies. Yeah. So you know that they're going to work. Yeah, that's really effective. Yeah, then we've got the birthday like the wishes for you. So that can just be birthday wishes, that can just be for you if you're doing a time. Then you've got have fun on your birthday, so you can just have the have fun, you can just have that on your birthday. So do you see what I mean? Although it says six stamps, then you've got very with very best wishes on your special day. Although it says six stamps, 
the permutations of what you can actually do are just never ending. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the quality is lovely. I mean, when you stamp them out, you really see all the twiddly de yeah, detail, absolutely. don't you? So this is a new one because um, obviously Julia got to launch these so I've only used about three of these so remember I'm just gonna see if you can see that can you see how thick these stamps are yeah now you know I always go on and on there you go oh, I yeah. always go on and on about how thick and de detailed my stamps are but look at that for a polymer stamp yeah 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 that's it's the best good... quality you can get and quite to be honest it needs to be because yeah. of the amount of detail yeah so when you're taking these off don't just yank them off give them time this is a brand new stamp look yeah so yeah just Peeling one corner and then we're good to go. Yeah. Am Someone said just a top happy... tip was top tip. Um, a top tip. Yeah. Top tip, top love. Tip. Um, to warm them first, and I think they said like putting them on a hot water bottle or something. Oh, right. That'd be nice. Wouldn't you have you got a hot water, water bottle on your knee, put your stamp on, and it'll oh, peel off it. Oh, it's yeah. nice. I quite like peeling them though. Yeah, yeah you get <laughs> that satisfaction. Right. So I've, I've, this is another piece of olive green cardstock. I've, un I've un covered it with my anti-static bag. Beautiful. You tell me I had my earpiece in. It's falling down my ear. My <laughs> it's wiggling already. And it's wiggling already. Oh, and I, I go, although this fits perfectly. I just want happy birthday because I'm going to use my texture stamps to do two corners on this. Lovely. So I'm going to pop that where I want for happy birthday. I'm ignoring the f to you because right. I just want happy birthday. Perfect. So that looks about right to me. Marvellous. So I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to cover then the to you up. Yeah. So one thing I'll say to you is... Um, I don't know where it is, but on one of the cards I've made, you see where some of the little details overlap? That's really good for you to see that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's no getting in. Look at that, go. Phil. Um, some of the little details overlap. Yeah. And I've done that on purpose, because originally, if I'd have made them completely separate, you would have then had trouble trying to line them up and everything. Yes. So yeah, I've yeah, done yeah. that, so it doesn't matter if you, if you lose a bit. Yeah. So I'm going to cover that up. This is, it is only going to be one demo, everybody, but it's a two-parter. <laughs> it's, it's so a two just, just yeah, it's a in case, <laughs> limit their expectations, Phil. <laughs> yeah, <though. laughs> yeah, it's one, but it's a uh, cracker. Control damage, is that the word? So I've covered, I've now covered up the two of you, and we're going to do this with white embossing powder. Now, the embossing powders are on the show. Yes, they are. And you've got, oh, 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 this is a bit of a bouncer, isn't it? <laughs> we thought we'd give you a little wobbler yeah, and then put all the pens me. there as well so they all shake really scarily. <laughs> it's okay, they look quite solid. Well, we'll, we'll find out in a minute. It's more like a, a it's like the, the going, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, applauding, <laughs> applauding. <laughs> Right, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I've got enough on there, and remember you need to take off your... Oh yeah, your tip, otherwise you just yeah. get a big slop of... Um... Yeah, boss it by the way, you don't want <laughs> yeah. it. So let's just pop that on there. Hopefully I've done enough. Marvellous. So I'm just going to press that in. <laughs> so what we've done now is we've, we've changed this stamp to say happy birthday to you to just happy birthday. Lovely. Which is, for me... Easy to do as well. When you, can, when you can make a stamp do more than one thing. Yeah. Let's just make sure I've. Oh, oh yeah, you can see no, that. Missed a bit. Is there a bit messy? It's a bit messing, but I can't go back in now unless I cover everything up. And I... You're not doing that. I'm kid. not doing that. So let's just hope that that's enough. It looks so <laughs> Do you know what? It does help when you use your antistatic, doesn't it? Because you can see it. Because yeah. I never know where I've put my antistatic bag. Obviously, I never use it. And obviously, I never know if I've got enough. <laughs> You'd have thought after all these years I'd have learnt a few of these lessons, <laughs> wouldn't you? I haven't learnt any lessons. I oh, need to find oh. my anti-static bag. Look at this. So, and I bet, I bet I've got about five somewhere. Well, anti-static bags? Yeah. I've, I've probably had about six off me. I probably... No, I haven't, <laughs> you cheeky monkey. I know where I've put my me, uh, me, uh, tweezers and things. I don't think I have, anyway. Have you found your pens yet? Or should I have not mentioned that? No. Your watercolours? No, I haven't. And that isn't it. Yeah, I've got... I've, it's, it's not something that's lying easy with me either. No, I know it's not, because <laughs> yeah. I've seen you a few times. I know, I've mentioned it a lot. I've mentioned it every time I have my aunt's hair level. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is... I've got issues. So, <laughs> so what we've got now, look, is we've oh, now yeah, just got the nice. happy bird. I mean, that looks amazing before it I does. even heat emboss the uh, embossing powder. Yeah. yeah. So, have they? <laughs> who's done it? Who's I've just heard in my ear that the embossing powders have got a freedom price I on them. You can tell I've not planned all these shows. <laughs> I'll sure them while you heat embossing. Yeah. Oh, I'm while not you're on. doing the magic. 
Oh yeah, well you're plugging yourself in. You tell everybody about uh, that. Excellent. So see, we did it on purpose. We didn't plug you in so I could give her. We didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> um, okay, so first of all, this is the one with the white in that our Phil's using. Now, you have got really good sized pots here. So you've got your gold, your silver, you've got the black, you've got the clear. This is essential. They are super fine. Um, it's actually always worth having a couple of these, truth be known. Um, really, really good sets. And look, your freedom price, $7.49. So that's your super fine, your, your, your must haves. The next set that we've got for you, let me hold these up for you. Oh, look at these colours. So this is your, your beautiful premium ones here. And again, stunning. So you've got, I love the green in there. These are going to match with the cardstock as well uh, that Phil brings us. That gorgeous mustard, the grey, that beautiful purple, then the blue. And then the one at the bottom, that's kind of like um, a, like a, a minky colour almost. It's lovely, absolutely gorgeous. So twenty four ninety four for those. That is three nine six six um three eight. And then look at these beauties. Look gorgeous. They're so bright and fabulous. Um and am I right in thinking our fill, the bright ones, are these um more translucent? They are translucent. So on on white or light coloured cards you get that gorgeous colour that you see there. Yeah. If you do it on darker cards, so for example I did the turquoise on this green card, what you'll get is a glassy finish, but you yeah. get a hint of the colour that's in the embossing powder. Beautiful. But they are gorgeous. Yeah, they are. And I remember on the colours. website I've got cardstock that matches all of those. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, saving five pounds there. Twenty-four ninety-four three zero one four five eight is your item number. Check out the website if you do want to have a look at the card stock that matches good quality card stock as well. Back to you, Alfie. Right, back to me. So, but I've, I just thought, no, I'll, I'll do one bit at a time. One bit just, at a time, sweet gonna, Jesus. Be Larry, but I'm not. We'll do it, we'll do it properly. <laughs> so I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do this from underneath. We do. Because I want you to see all that lovely white embossing powder. Okay. And then we're going to do, because I've, I've already done my flowers, I could have done them a little bit lower, but it'll be fine. It'll be it'll fine. Be right. It'll be right. It'll be right. It'll be right. So I'm just starting at the top of the Y on, there you go. Lovely. Do you know I had to switch the socket on myself? It's absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to show you this because if Poor this Christy is... Christy won't be able to come near you, would you? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> if, um, if this is how good these stamps perform with an yeah. embossing powder with the detail, yeah, you imagine really what they're nice. going to be like with your versifying clairs and everything. They're going to be yeah. absolutely spot on. Yeah, and it is... It's funny, isn't it? It doesn't matter how much, how many times you've heat embossed. It does always still look good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it I mean, is. The white, the white on the coloured card yeah. stuff always looks fab as well. What we're going to do is we're going to colour in, I'll do that next and then I'll let you recap. Okay. So I'm going to colour in and make the inner part of these letters darker. Yeah, yeah. So in my pen set, I'm just, oops, I've just stuck my thumb in that while it was still warm. Oh, I do that gorgeous? all the time. Rookie error, love. Now that's beautiful. We're above, look. Yeah. How fab is that? Yeah, it looks oh, really oh, oh, pretty. Yeah, now we're in focus, it's even better. <laughs> <laughs> so about you know that soft focus? <laughs> I mean, Boom. that's for soft focus. <laughs> Careful what you've asked for, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to use the alcohol pens. So this card is not designed specifically for the alcohol pens. You need to be treating yourself to the proper one that's on the website. Yes. But I know that I'll get away with colouring in the letters on this, and yeah. I want them to be a slightly darker green. So I know, um, you've got my colour chart, but I know... Yes, I have. ...that the, um, yeah, I, you'll get you'll get one of them for every set as well that Leon is showing you. Uh, obviously, I've filled all mine in, so it's a really good reference for you to look at yeah. once you've filled it in, of, of what, what you, where your colours are. Yeah, that is, and yeah, because the thing is, when, uh, when you get pens, the colour on the lid is never, never. you can't do it that because it's, it's plastic. plastic. So you're never going to yeah, get that. Yeah, but that is a proper colour swatch. Yeah, and then, you can isn't pick it, it up and you can see that because I've, I've actually printed that onto the uh, the uh, alcohol card, so I know it's a true representation yes. of the colour. Yeah. And anybody can email me or Julia, and we'll send you that as well if you want to print it yourself. Perfect. Perfect. Um, but now it means that I can look at that. Like I know, look, if you look at number forty-two, which is the colour I've got here. I know that that's going to match really, really there. well. It's next to 41, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Can't we, so Phil? I... <laughs> 
So I know, I know that that colour is going to is going to tone nicely with this yeah. cardstock. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going Beautiful. to the pens just in case anybody hasn't seen them. Oops, where are we? There we go. So you've got the flex. It's a flexible brush. I can't yes. actually. Um, I ain't got no card here to show you. Oh, I have. So it's actually a flexible brush look. I mean, it's proper yeah, flexible. Yeah, so it's a proper, it's a proper um, brush. And then you've got the medium chisel on the other side. And the thing that was important for me when we were doing these was the actual brush. Now, I know Julie has mentioned a few times because some of the nibs are out, some of the nibs are in. And when I went back to the people who have made them for me, it's the same people who make my watercolour pens. Yeah. Pens are their business. It's not like it's just some shoddy backstreet person I've gone yeah. to. Well, yeah. you know I wouldn't do that anyway. Yeah. And when I moaned at them about some of the nibs being out, <laughs> some of them being in, and I did, you know what I'm like. And they were trying to explain to me that the machine that puts the nibs in does something like 26,000 a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. Say, they were saying, like, if, if, if you, the barrel is a little bit off, so that's that's the only reason. But you yeah. can push them in or pull them out as much as you want. Yeah, yeah, you can, can't you? Yeah, I've absolutely. Done that you won't damage it. I am going to bring you replacement nibs next year as well in a little pack Amazing. of 20 or something. Yeah, that would be good because you can, well, yeah, Well, the thing with brushes, brushes are better because you've got, you've got lots of control and lot yes. you can do is soft edges and everything but brushes do wear out quicker than a bullet yeah so yeah. they're not they won't be overly expensive enough to get me to the Caribbean I think <laughs> <but>. <laughs> right so I'm just literally I'm not going to color anything else in I'm just going to literally color in and make the inside of that darker oh yeah that looks nice so what I'm going to glitter over it as well in a minute doesn't it look rich, that? And, and it's, it just makes it pop, doesn't it? Yeah, it really yeah. does. And because I've got that lovely soft nib, I can go through there. I'm not. You don't actually need to worry about it because the stamps are designed to be forgiving. Uh, That's really nice. Oops. Right. So I'm just going to do the rest if you want to tell them anything while I'm just doing this. Okay, cool. Okay, love. Um, what I will um, tell you, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to remind you about the um, the dies because I didn't actually mention the dies. Well, folks, just colouring in um, because we did mention the dies. Um, yeah, I really like these, and uh, it's one of those that I, I like the quality. Like that is such a good thick die um, because sometimes when you have just you you know your your sort of nesting dies. They can feel a little bit sort of flimsy, but they're such good quality dies. And that double deboss is lovely. It gives you such a gorgeous, gorgeous finish. These are your inverted squares, remember? Um, and that is fantastic. You are saving five pounds. You do get your ma uh, magnetic sheets as well there. And you have got um, your, your, um, a4, sorry, your 13 dies there, 30 pounds and 99 pence. Now that's the inverted square, bear with, let me just make sure. I've got, I've got the inverted triangle, um, rectangle, <laughs> that's not a triangle, Leona. Um, the inverted rectangle there as well. Eee, me and shapes. Um, so yeah, definitely get hold of these if you haven't already. You've probably been collecting them, uh, but absolutely beautiful. Saving five pounds there, 572412 is your item number. Uh, please check your baskets out on there. Um, are you ready for us to come back with you, our lovely Phil? I'm going to do one little bit, and then you can. You better tell everybody about them. We will, because I know it's. I know that's nearly gone as well. Uh, right, so I've just taken one of the little. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> one of the little texture stamps. Now, if you look at them, you've got a couple that are like wood grain. But they're all very different. You've got a brick wall, you've got a crackle, you've got a scratchy, grungy one, you've got a tiny, tiny herringbone, and then you've got two that look like bubble wrap. One is a positive and one is a negative. So I'm taking this one because I know it's a softer, it's a softer finish. And I'm just going to literally do a little bit because I know my flowers are going to be top left, bottom right on this topper. Yeah. So I'm just going to do a little bit of extra detail. Oh, I love that. You've actually planned where they're going, as opposed to just randomly sticking them on like I would. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to do the other corner as well. Lovely. And then because it's meant to be grungy and shabby, it's going to look perfect when it's been embossed. So I'm, I'm, that's all I'm going to do now. I'm just going to emboss this white. 
Perfect. If you want to do that while I'm doing this. Um, obviously, if you do want them stamps, check your baskets out, 14.49. And really quickly, while our Phil's doing that, I'm really, really quickly going to talk to you about the box kit because I know um, this, I bet you haven't got much of this left, to be yeah, fair. In fact, I didn't think we'd got any left, so Karen yeah. must have found some somewhere. <laughs> Has she been tired? Well, I hope she did. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a brilliant magazine. There's so many ideas, there's so much inspiration here. The papers as well. Now, the papers in here, these are really nice papers. They're not magazine paper, they're the crafting paper quality. So it's proper paper. Do you know what I mean? And really, really beautiful papers. Um, and you can see how many you're getting. I mean, there's some stunning, stunning designs in there. Look at the price. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this look is, at this that. This is obviously because I'm trying to clear space because I wouldn't normally give you ten quid saving on those. Yeah. So the the exclusive paper pack that you're getting is the the watercolour shawl one. Yeah. Um, yeah, because that's not here, is it? I don't know why that's not there. Is it not in the box? Don't um, know. Well, no, I've just the given that a shake. The pack on its own would retail at eleven ninety nine. Yeah. And that paper pack is beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. There you go. We've got, I it, we've got images of it. those papers. Uh, you get in the papers. You get the stamps. You get the um, beautiful stencil. Um, our Christie's having a rummage now, so we might be able to show you the papers. But yeah, those alone are absolutely worth fourteen ninety eight. But then have a look at this. So you're getting that gorgeous stencil. You're getting all these stamps. I mean, look at this. Fourteen ninety eight. Look how many stamps you get. I mean, it's a massive kit. That's just the sentiment stamps. When we look over here, you've got the massive, look at all these stamps. Sorry, I'm going to take down now. I'm going to take our what's it down on now if I'm not careful. Bear with. Let me move my pod. Um, look at all these. See, fourteen ninety eight. You would absolutely pay fourteen ninety eight for easily, for an A four set of stamps. Although they're acrylic and not photopolymer, you'd still be you'd still be yeah. paying twenty quid for an A four set yeah. easily. And they're lovely. I yeah, love they that are sketchy. the gorgeous. And although they are nautical theme, don't think you can only do seaside cars because you can't. Yeah. Think about your mixed media. Think about that sailing boat there with the netting in the yeah. background. Yeah, Some absolutely. Card. You, you've got so many different ways to use these. Yeah. I, I really like them, really like them. And obviously the magazine, the magazine itself has got so many ideas, so much inspiration in there. It's such a good gift idea as well. And that purchase, that price, it's such a good price. I mean, seriously, it's just got so many uh, it, different, um, different kind of of ideas for yeah, you. Yeah, projects. There's lots of mixed media things in there as well. So even if you've already got this, it's worth paying that to get the extra papers, the extra yeah. dies, and the obviously the paper the pack because they're paper pack you can't buy anywhere else. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's beautiful. Fourteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Please check your baskets out on that one. Um, obviously, once that has gone, um, as long as you know, <laughs> Karen, I can't find any more. I don't know stuff. where she's found them. <laughs> Bob, I've not been at work, so obviously I don't yeah. know what she's found. Oh gosh, yeah, I dread to think what I you're going to see. I've got some. My tip is to get it in your basket now because we might find when we get packing on Monday. <laughs> Check your baskets out, or else. Uh, two one one four five three is your item number. With that, uh, fourteen pounds and ninety eight pence is your price. All right, back to you, right, Phil. So I'm literally just going to heat this up now, and then what we're going to do is we're going to use the numbers. Beautiful. So, oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, just texture. Just yeah. texture, and because I mean it looks a little bit shabby the way it is now. But my flowers are going to be covering most of that up, so it's, it is literally going to be background texture. I, I really like that that, that shabby I look. I think it looks fabulous. And look at it over your over your double D's, love. It looks really nice over the um, embossing, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, when you do the embossing, you get that lovely glossy. Yeah. You get that lovely sheen from it as well. Yeah, look, that looks nice. I do like them stamps. So this is the negative of the bubble wrap. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pop that to one side, and what we're going to do now is I've got two little squares. These are not the smallest square, believe it or not, from the inverted corner square dies. Okay. So this is the third or fourth one up. And we're going to create a little 50 embellishment from this to match. So uh, I know that the five and the zero will fit in there. They won't go that way unless yeah. you lose some of the top and bottom. Okay. But they will if I do it diagonal. I love how many 50 cards are always. It's because, like, this year is, well, next year it's, like, the big five. Oh, isn't it? Oh, stop For both it. of us, kids. It is, yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah? Oh, Phil. It is. Oh, Phil. 
we, neither of us look it, darling. No, so, we don't. So we'll, we'll have that. I mean, I don't know about feeling it currently. Yeah. But maybe. <laughs> I definitely feel it. But no, we don't look it. We, we don't, don't look a don't day look. over 49. Worth every penny about us. <laughs> 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 right, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna do the same again, but this time instead of embossing in white, obviously I'm on white, we're gonna use the olive that's in the premium set oh, one. Lovely. Because I know it's a it's a lovely deep shade of green. And that'll match with the cardstock beautifully, it will, won't it? It will. So I've got this diagonal, excuse my head. We can't see your head, you're doing good. I'm just gonna stamp that on. So I'm just holding it for a second because there is a little bit of detail in that that we need to pick up. Amazing. And then we'll do the same with the zero. See, that's when your tweezers are really handy, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Can't, I can't manage without them. Yeah. And then we've got the zero, so I'm literally just lining up the embellishment in the middle. Perfect. And then we've got the tweezers, and we're going to do this in the olive. And the olive is one of my favourite colours. It's just so classy and elegant. Well, you're digging your olive out. Can I show these? Because yeah, these embossing can. powders are really nice. I mean, that olive is lovely. You've got the olive. I really like that blue as well in that set. That is gorgeous. And the mustard. I love the mustard. Just gorgeous colours. Uh, that purple and the grey. Yeah, really nice. £24, £94. The good size embossing powders. Are, and these are good quality embossing powders. They'll give you a beautiful <laughs> finish. Um, 393-638 is your item number if you'd like to get hold of those. Are you, are you, oh, you've got I've it. I've found it. I've found, found it. your olive. I, I keep, everybody keeps telling me to turn them upside down so I can see what yes. the colour is, but yeah. I'm a bit OCD, as you know. Yeah, why won't you turn them upside down? I don't down, know, because I like, I don't know, I just like them to <laughs> be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I just want them to be pretty. I want them to be pretty, even though it takes me ten minutes to find my colour. <laughs> yeah, pretty not practical. Who cares yeah. about practical? I just want it to look pretty. <laughs> look at that look. Yeah, that's really nice. So I'm just going to heat these up quickly, and then we're going to fill these with glitter. Gorgeous. Uh, so on the show, we have the Diamond Dazzle as a trio. The Diamond Dazzle, the Crystal Aurora, and the Rainbow Crystals. These are, yeah, these I've are my essential must-have, must-have, must-haves. Yeah. Um, and the ones that you come to all the time. So you've got two that are iridescent, one that's yes. super fine, and the Diamond Dazzle in the middle is the one that's clear, which is the one I use all the I time. I like that a yeah. lot. Because it just yeah, goes with everything. It just looks like, um, oh, it's just, look, it's quite indescribable. It's got that glitter, but not yeah, real it's not glittery. OTT, yeah, it's even even the Crystal Aurora, because and people that know me mm. know that they're generally the main ones that I use. Yeah, um, but even the Crystal Aurora that's got the iridescence is not OTT. It's just enough sparkle. Yeah, yeah. And the Rainbow Crystals, which is the one I'm going to use in a second, is a super fine one. Right. Okay. And yeah, because these are a bit chunkier, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. And then the Rainbow Crystals is the one you can use with your quickie glue pen. See. So they're little discs. Yeah. yeah. Look how it shimmers and shines. Yeah. And then the super fine one. Stick my finger in can that I as well. Can I emboss while she's sticking her finger in that? Of course you can, love. Oh, they work good together because I've got both on there. I'm running out of time. Hey, they look really lovely on uh, together, don't they? I've yeah. got both on my finger. Well, funny you say that because oh, next oh. year yeah. we've got some special oh. new news coming. Oh, really? Limited editions, but oh. they are. Oh, next year, all the plans. And all I can tell you is I'm glad it's not me that's mixing them. <laughs> There's a lot to do, but they are beautiful. <clears throat> um, so. If you do want those uh, gorgeous um, cri uh, crystals and your glitters and your loveliness, um, 19 pence and 99 pence is your price. Uh, 514985. Yeah, they look gorgeous. Okay, so right, I'm just going to start layering all this up. Beautiful. And then we're going to fill it with glitter. So hopefully I've got some foam tape somewhere. Because I don't use a lot, as you know. <laughs> only three no, you left. hardly ever use foam tape. How many rolls do you get through, do you reckon, in oh, a year? Loads. In a year? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't even like to think. <laughs> well, generally, when I do a one-day special, I use about eight to ten. Good grief. On a one-day on on one special, Do you not yeah. get the jumbo size? <laughs> <laughs> and then when I do, obviously, when I do samples... Do you know what it is, Leonie? You know, you know sometimes when you... Oh, I'm going to say this without it. Um, I like... <laughs> I like my samples to be the same as if I was making them properly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't skimp on my samples, so which is so why I use a lot. So you put all the foam tape that you yeah. normally would. Whereas so, I'd put like one pit and note for <laughs> at best. 
<laughs> you put you can put your fifty. Yeah, look. <laughs> mine, mine'd have a bit of top, bit of top bottom and a bit in the middle, that'd be it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I like I like to do it the same way as if I was doing it. Yeah. Do you do a front and back card or do you just do it front? It, just front. Yeah. So unless I'm doing verses and then I'll do the inside to yes. show you the inside. Yeah, as well. I only did front. So I'm just gonna pop that in here before I glitter it. So that's going straight in the middle. Oh, that's pretty. And um, then we're going to glitter talk, both of these. Of course, please check the website out because we have got, and it's lovely, it's such good quality. <laughs> Obviously, Phil made sure he got really nice stuff. And it's there's such a gorgeous variety of colours. Um, you can see the green that Phil's using. That is just gorgeous. That olive green is lovely. Don't miss out on that. Stunning, stunning. A lot, yeah, there's so many colours and they are just adorable. I mean, that pink and that pink gold. The yellow, that's I'd be going for that. And actually, I love that. Um, oh, let's go for some summer citrine. I love that. The yellow. I love a bit summer of yellow citrine. in life. That's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, and in those packs, obviously, top quality cardstock. Uh, it's all the way through, dyed all the way through, got a coloured core. Uh, you're getting 20 sheets in each pack, and you're choosing three packs, £16 and £49 is your price very good quality oh and as if by magic you time that perfectly so Boom. literally so the reason i colored in the inside of the happy birthday obviously you can see that that stands out more because of the yes. pen but then when i put the glitter on it'll stand out more from the card yes so i've got the i can tell you which one that is look because <laughs> my little pots are laid you're all, of course they are uh, of course they are of course, of course they are and i've just gone through with a quickie glue pen yeah so we've now taken this stamp, we've changed the stamp from saying happy birthday to you to just happy birthday. We've coloured in the middle. Yeah. And then we've glittered the middle of the letters. So can you see, we still see that dark green from the pen? Yes, yeah. But oh, then we've got the, the, we've got the glitter shining on top. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, and I'm just going to do the same with the other two little, the 50. Okay, cool, okay. Oh yeah, now you can see it. Look at the, that. That's it. You, you just can't buy things like that, can you? No, you, that's you so can't. pretty. So we'll put the foam tape on the back of this, because I know what's going to happen. You're going to say, yeah. Five and I, I knew minutes. that's what you were going to say. That's Emily, what we're going to yeah. say. Look at you, <laughs> speed crafting now, Phil. <laughs> so luckily all the flowers are done, because can you imagine if I'd got to shape all my flowers? Well, There's not yeah. many, there's only eight. We wouldn't be, <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be finishing today. That would be for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we've now done it. Obviously, I, I could go to town and do the rest of the embellishments around there, but I'm oh, surprised because normally, wouldn't you be doing like uh, you'd be doing the edges of the card, wouldn't oh, you? Yeah, you'd be doing I your would. double D's. Of course I would. Of course, like you. I have on now. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course <laughs> you would. So we'll get the, we'll get the flowers on there. I'll just put that there. Beautiful. So the flowers are going top left, which is, if you remember, which is why I've put the there. So that actually now looks like it's underneath. Stunning. Underneath that. I'm using glue job because my flowers weigh a ton. <laughs> and incidentally, look, can you see I've used the embossing folder on the flowers? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. So I've used Amazing. the same, this is the same card, Olive Grove and Pure yeah. White. This is the Elegance Flower, which is one of my favourites because of the shape of the petals. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So with that, you'll die cut the flowers first and then yeah. embossed. Yes, yeah, so if you do it all the way about, you'll flatten folder. your embossing, won't you? On the demo I'm doing this afternoon, I've used the striped elegance embossing folder. Yeah. But I've only used the stripes. Ah, no. Nice. So the striped elegance is the one that's got two, um, it's got a stripey bottom and little dotty things on the top. I bet that looks really pretty on flowers. Yeah, four minutes. Four you minutes, me love. Oh, you've done well, haven't you? I have. <laughs> Almost I done get, a card. I might not get all my leaves on, but. We'll get this card done. That's really pretty, though. And again, I love how all the colours coordinate uh -huh. and the, you know, the flowers coordinate. They just look well, beautiful. Well, you know me, it has to match. And so this is the one the you're using currently in sentiments on elegance flower. So fifty is going uh, down here. So oh, I'm five at the top. Super. Just to balance the card a bit. Ah, I don't yeah. know why I'm using fingers because I've got no nails. <laughs> And just I've got three sets of tweezers sitting next to me. Cheeky extra challenge. Yeah, just to make my life harder. <laughs> so we've got that there, and I just put the other flower on, and then I've cut some of the leaves in Olive Grove 
and pure white as well. So you're getting both sets of leaves. Now I need to tell you again, if you haven't collected the leaves yet, yeah. I've nearly they've nearly all gone. Right. Yeah? Okay. And I'm not restocking these two leaves. So the right. leafy fronds and the delicate uh, delicate fronds and lush leaves, I'm not restocking. So um, right now, um, I'll show you flowers first because that's what I've got in my hand. So these are the flowers that our Phil's using. Now with the flowers you have got um, all the dyes and you can see, look at the sizes. I love that you've got all these because you're cutting them all at once. Yeah. And you've got your stamps and the stamps, the really nice little detail on that. So you're putting detail on some of them, some of them are plain so you can just put that outline. Honestly, I love the fact that you get all of them because it means you're making your flowers up a lot quicker than having to cut them independently. Yeah. 31, 48, saving five pounds, one zero one six nine five. We have got more flowers, so obviously check them on the website. Those leaves will bring the details of the leaves zooming in really quickly. Um, because, yeah, Phil, once they've gone, they've gone. So please make sure you're getting a hold of these. They're just dead handy. I mean, you can't have too many foliage dyes. 509149. Oh, well, and you see, it makes such a difference, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. It's finishing touches. The flowers. Um, the flowers have got new ones coming next year. Amazing. That work with the current ones. Perfect. So remember, you need the current ones. To go in next year. Yeah, yeah, that's and all I'm saying. And I love that because it makes you dig out all your old stuff rather than put it away and forget you've well, this, even this got it. This is the reason I've done it because we invest in dyes. Dyes yeah. are not the cheapest product. Yeah. So we invest in dyes, so I want to make sure that they work Lo longer than just a couple of years while they're in Absolutely. fashion. Absolutely. Oh, well, there you go. I, I love finished that the film. card. I can't quite yeah, believe it. You did it. How about that? Boom. Can I well love done, my texture love. Texture underneath as well. Thank you. No, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Tell love. Yay! Thank right, you. those stamps, um, they're stunning, absolutely stunning. I will remind you, um, because I know we haven't got long left, um, you've got your freedom price with this, it had, brings it down to 74 99 Obviously, you've then got your Flexit as well. Um, I love the detail, I love the size of these stamps, and obviously it's what you can do. Let me show you some of these cards, because they're lovely. Obviously, now I don't know what I've shown you and what I haven't, so... Well, so I'm not sure... Not sure whether the delivery will arrive before Christmas, but it certainly arrive uh, in between Christmas and the New Year. So you'll get these yeah. home, I think, in time to play over the Christmas Ooh, festive good. season. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, because good. obviously you want to you want to get these and start experimenting. Yeah, we'll when I say we're packing on Monday, <laughs> <laughs> it's a royal way in it, love. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not doing that. Not no, doing I'll go that. Help them. Um, no, me and I feel about what time are we back two. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Uh, please make sure you tune in. Thank you, love. Thank you, my darling. Boom. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Did it. Boom, tick. Thank you. Check your out. <laughs> Coming up next, we have got our lovely Julia in the beauty of... I love that corner that our Julia's been putting. No one puts Julia in the corner, but it's a nice corner. Then Fabric Freedom, then Cool Cats Craft. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away.
Welcome to Hachanda's Christmas Credit Event. From Friday the 18th of December at 7am to Wednesday the 22nd of December at 6pm, we will be offering you the opportunity to earn Hachanda Christmas credits. If you are still struggling for last minute gift ideas or just need extra inspiration to help complete your Christmas crafty projects, then please join us and start accumulating your credits. Order any product from our live shows and you will automatically be given a £5 credit to spend against any purchase of £30 or more the following day. And you can do this every day. This means everyone who purchases could save up to a total of £25 each over the course of the event. So, get Christmas 2020 all wrapped up by tuning in to our Christmas credit event from the 18th of December at 7am. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me, they're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her Chanda. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope we've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Very good morning to you and you join us for the second of two shows this morning with our lovely Julia. Good morning my darling. Good morning. Here she is again. No, we, had a, we had a cracking morning didn't we? We did but this is more of a human hour this. <laughs> we haven't got much left. We haven't so well no. done if you know that saying the early bird catches the worm. You were there getting your goodie bags with the lovely stamps yeah. for Indigo Blue. Yeah and the embellishment bag has gone yeah, as well. Yeah sold out, so. three sellouts mm. but we've still got some goodies for you. Do not fear. Uh, we have got our paper pack. Don't forget this is all part of the Christmas event as well. So uh, anything you're buying on any of the shows will uh, allow you to have a £5 credit to spend tomorrow on any order over £30. And that's going to run until the 22nd of December. You can't roll over your fivers, but you can get a £5 credit each day uh, and, and certainly spend it the next day. Now, uh, this is a cracking uh, collection, isn't it? Now, it's going to be variable, isn't it, Julia? Yes. yes. So, so um, what you're seeing on the counter there is a representation of what you could get. Yeah. Uh, Kay has handpicked lots and lots of 12 by 12 papers. Yeah. Um, there will be, there might be some double sided. Indeed. There might be some single sided. Yeah, there might absolutely. be some foiled. There might mm -hmm. be some glittered. There might even be some kind of um, 
Make It kind of packs, which I'll show you with the, the one Ooh. that I got uh, yes. in a moment when we come back to me. Um, so the, there is a variant, but um, lots of American companies. Uh, so I've got some Tim, Tim Holtz in mine. I've got some Indigo Blue in mine, and I never uh -huh. knew that Indigo Blue did papers no. uh, a while ago. So um, yeah, there is a really good mix, and it's all very usable, all really, very good quality. Yes, very much so. Very much so. And like you said, a real mix of GSMs as well and thicknesses yes. in terms of cards, papers, mm -hmm. yeah. some with the sort of the glitter embossing in there. This one at the end, I mean, for instance, it looks to me like it's sti is it, is it physically stitched or is that just a very clever punching hole? I don't know, hole? I can't see from oh, here. Oh, sorry, Julia. Because I'm not right That's, next to you. There we go. So it looks like it is, yeah. It's, it? it looks, it's probably handmade paper. That's amazing. Yeah. A couple in there like that so it's going to be variable mm -hmm. but you're going to get 25 of the 12 by 12 so it's, it's, it's a lovely sort of little jamboree for you to open up and explore and enjoy still got this at great price of 9.99 so that's two-thirds off the price there but all part of the big save 150952 so please don't miss out now you also brought with you a fantastic starter kit Julia yeah so Kay's very keen to go back to basics as well um, uh, obviously we get new viewers all of the time and um, it's quite nice to, to know where to start. Yeah. Uh, I mean, when I started stamping years ago, didn't know what I was doing and I went out and bought substandard stamps and ink pads. But oh. within this kit you've got uh, the Slim Jims, which these uh, holding up. Different and they've, they've got the covering on them, so you need yes. to peel back the covering and then you'll get yourself yeah. a clear acrylic block. And there's lots yeah. and lots of different sizes and there. Shapes, yeah. And you do need lots and lots of different sizes. You do. You've got an indigo blue uh, dinky stamp there. That's mm -hmm. the uh, pe uh, poppy, is it? Or that's peony? The poppy, yeah. Poppy. Um, uh, so that's a really good size to start with. Not too big, not too small. Beautiful. You've got the, um, yeah, lovely uh, sample there from the DT. And they've got the uh, Versafine Onyx Black. Versafine is uh, recognised in the industry as being a very good um, stamping um, ink pad. It uh, has a, a decent open time, which means that you can put your embossing pad on it yeah. it's also good to use with watercolors um, so if you want to do any watercoloring techniques um, that's really good for uh, that too we've also got the indigo blue um, mm. stamping card here Beautiful. and uh, there's 20 sheets of that and that's a really nice smooth card you can also use that for kind of distress techniques yeah. and, and um, I have used it with alcohol markers as well and it works fine with those too that's a really thick GSM as well yeah, isn't it it's got a bit I'm of not sure that. what the GSM is Three fifth, three fifth. 350? 350. Yeah. It? Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, you can, you yeah, can feel that quality. It's very good card. Mm, beautiful. So, yeah, a great starter kit or indeed something to add to your kits yes. as well. Yes. And £20, 36.962024. Now, you probably need some more stamps with it. And Indigo Blue stamps are fabulous. So, we've got a great selection here for you, plus some fabulous sentiments. So, these have got a saving on them as well, haven't they, Julia? Yes. So, you've got. Uh, I think it's 20%, isn't it? Because you've got yeah. four pounds off. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, indigo blue. We know the quality of indigo blue. Um, some of these sets are from this year. Some are a little bit older. There's um, um, some of the Janine Gerard Shaw um, uh, sets. There's a set from Asa, I think, or Asia, her name is. Uh, another, new, another new designer. Uh, lots and lots of sentiments, funny quirky sentiments from Kay. So yeah. there's a lot of choice there. And again, Gorgeous. if you're getting the starter kit, if you're new to stamping, then you can't go wrong with, with adding one of these into your basket. Beautiful. And I'll show you some of the fantastic samples. And these are all mounted rubber stamp. Yeah, they're all mounted red yeah. rubber. They're made in the UK by Indigo Blue themselves. They're hand cut by Indigo Blue themselves too. Um, they're, they're ready to go onto your Slim Jims or into your stamp press, uh, whichever you prefer. Um, yeah. Super quality, yeah, yeah, super quality. Because they're rubber, you can use them with uh, oodles of techniques. You can use them in your mixed media. You can use them with your ultra thick embossing powders, with your paints, all sorts of things. Gorgeous, really gorgeous. Art is opening up your soul to let your imagination fly out. There's some great sentiments on this one at the end as well. Sometimes I laugh so hard, tears run down my leg. Let's take you through the ball and I'll show you some fantastic samples from the team. So this first one, we've got, uh, you are like a dolphin, playful, graceful, loyal, intelligent, powerful, and compassionate. This is Sue Jacobs. Yeah, but they've also got your lovely little fishies on there as well. So yeah. that one's done uh, by 
Jill, yeah, there's some fantastic. Oh, these upside down. These there are upside some, down. Um, the design team have, have made us um, uh, within the, the, the kits. They've made some um, simpler um, cards uh, just to show you that you don't have to go overboard. No. And again, it, to make it a little bit less scary for those um, new <laughs> to to the um, stamping world. Indeed. Um, it, it, they're very achievable. Uh, and then, of course, you can go further and do whatever you want to with them. Really. Absolutely. Absolutely. So there's our lovely dolphins. Then next up, we've got my seahorse and uh, the turtle now. Don't give me turtles and my seahorses. Here we go. Some fantastic samples here. So, so these are all options under the same number. So this one is Jill's there. Oh, there's our lovely. The greatest danger to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. Oh, yes. Very, Deep. very, um, um, what's the word? Deep. I was thinking... Pertinent to now. Yeah, oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Something yes, but deep definitely. is right, you're right. Yes, yes. This is Suze. <laughs> I love the seahorse. Yeah, he's oh. really kind of um, quite quirky, isn't he? Yeah. I, I, see, Good I can character. see him uh, if you've got any um, like die cut or um, chipboard um, uh, cogs and things that you could add to him. He's, 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 he's almost a little bit steampunky because he's got yes. the, um, the coral and whatever are growing out yeah. of him. And, yeah, he's really, he? he's very cool. Very he's a rocker. Cool. He is yeah. definitely a rocker. So there's our lovely seahorse. I think we saw Frank the Fairy there, but we'll come back to him. Uh, <laughs> moving along, we've got our beautiful, beautiful um, hummingbird. So I always want to call something else. But this is Caroline's, Caroline, sorry. So our beautiful hummingbird there as well. And you've got loads of pe peonies on that set yeah. too. Yeah, that's a beautiful card, Caroline's again. Gorgeous. I love this one now that she's popped it in front of a sort of an ordnance survey map. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Just shows you how different they can all be, isn't it? And yeah. you know this one's one of my favourites as well. We were looking at it this morning, Jill's yeah. just white the embossing. White embossing, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? And then next up we have got the flower heads, yeah. Now this is uh, beautiful because you've got that frame in this one as well, yes. haven't you? Yes, and you've also got the little square frame in there yes. as well. And uh, the little square frame is really useful for doing your colour swatches. Um, there's lots of open areas. You can change um, the actual flower heads themselves. If you turn them around, you can make um, into like an umbrella or yeah. or hanging uh, foliage. You know, you can do all sorts of things. You can. With them. Lots of versatility there. That frame is is is, is a brilliant one, isn't there? So yeah, they really are your is, yeah. beautiful, beautiful flower heads. And moving along there. So are we going to where do you want to go? I'll follow Jojo. Do you want to go to the sentiments down to the bottom here? Some fantastic sentiments here. So um, what have we got? Just be yourself. Let people see the real and perfect, weird, flawed, quirky, magical and beautiful person you are. I think that's in the next one. But anyway, sometimes I laugh so hard that tears run down my legs. Uh, there's some cracking ones here. The job of a parent is to raise a child properly. The job of a grandparent is to do all the hard work. <laughs> Telling a woman to calm down works about as well as trying to baptise a cat. Uh, some things are better left unsaid. Which, which I generally realise just after I've said them. And then some people manage stress with yoga, meditation and a long walk. I manage stress with gin, carbs and swearing. Kay is amazing. She's got a great sense of humour there. I love yeah, those. Really fact, does, they literally yeah. made me howl out loud this morning when I was uh, looking at them, talking to Julia. Then we've got this fantastic letter. Uh, here's to strong women. May we know them. May we be them. May we raise them. Hurrah! Yes, indeed. Sometimes the smallest things take the most room in your heart. Confidence, joy, and squishy hugs. That's one you used this morning, isn't it? That's what little girls are made of. That's tasteless, inappropriate, and totally hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, some brilliant cards here again by Carolyn. Just be yourself. Yeah, beautiful. Lovely. I love, love this lady. She's yeah, fab, isn't she? Yeah, she's... She, she looks quite stern, doesn't she? She does, she's, but look um... at this. Look at this one here as well, the uh, Lorna's. How different. Yes, yeah, How very interpretations. different. Yeah. yeah. And then just on the craft card, the simplicity of it. The simple... Yeah, yeah, that's tremendous. Isn't I love that, that one. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Just so, so utterly exquisite. Uh, and then we'll move along then to our next one. Who have we got now? Uh, our dragonfly and our sunflower. Do you know what? I don't think I've got any samples of my sunflower and my dragonflies. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, no, is the answer to that one. Not that I can see. Uh, I do apologise. OK, so that's equally beautiful. Very, very pretty indeed. I'll probably find it as soon as I've finished. Do you know what I mean? It'll be one of them ones. And then moving along, we have... Oh, the flowers are, are absolutely gorgeous. Lots of flowers. These are very versatile, aren't they? The botanist, Julia. Yes, yes. Loads yes. of these behind me. 
Look at these. So you've got lots, lots of different ones here. There's Kerry's. So this is it. Just in the, you, you were talking about the simplest form there, Julia, as well. Yeah, yeah. Just Valerian. A lot of these, um, like the hummingbird and the images from the botanists. Uh, are available on fabric panels. Oh, wow. Um, but having said that, everything that we've got, all the stamps, can be stamped onto fabric. All you need to do is use the right ink, which is right. your Versacraft. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Isn't that? This is Sue's. This is beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Love that. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So there's our lovely flowers there. And uh, moving on then, and then last but not least then, Oh, we've got, uh, is it Frank? Frank. Yes, Frank the fairy. <laughs> He's a bit of a fairy, isn't he? Look at him. Um, I wrongly introduced him earlier as the gnome. I love that because you've got um, guidance there, how to colour if you want to as yes, well, just to get yes. started. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, Indigo Blue have started doing that. I hope they continue actually because it is quite nice to see that. And, and sometimes um, it's easier to see the different areas on a stamp when they're actually coloured in rather than if they're black and white. And look at him here. Look, he's got a whole land to himself there, toadstools and all sorts he's got. Yeah, yeah. He's fantastic, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Anyway, the choice is yours. Oh, she says knocking it all over. Fifteen ninety nine, four pounds saving. They are exquisite, beautiful, beautiful stamps and uh, well worth that huge saving there. Six six one nine zero one. Uh, I've got some Christmas trees waiting for me. We will get to Julia, I promise. Uh, yeah, I haven't got lots of these, but uh, they're fantastic. Now, they just slot together. You can see lots of samples on the counter here. 924523, 9.99. Uh, you can make three... Oh, what are you getting exactly? You're getting MDF Christmas tree with three metallic plaints, emerald, snow white, and the gold finger. Oh, back to the gold finger again. So you make one tree, but you've got three paints in there. I think one of my favourites is just the tree with the, the black tree, the black gesso with the white writing on. I think that's lovely, that. Yeah. Anyway, let's go see our Julia. OK, so um, I thought we'd start just by looking at what I got in my paper goodie bag, um, because mine is obviously totally different and yours will be totally different too. And I think it's quite nice to see the alternatives. And it's the only goodie bag that we've got left. So I did, in mine, I actually got uh, this paper uh, which uh, had uh, everything kind of um, die cut and it had instructions on it as well um, and so it makes uh, a little um, kind of envelope and a little um, kind of journal as well uh, with a little pocket and um, so that, in the uh, theory, this, obviously I haven't stuck it together, that's going to sit inside the envelope, which you could actually, you know, tie with a ribbon and give as a gift. But also in it are lots and lots and lots of embellishments. This, again, is on the same paper, and they are double-sided embellishments, so you can actually use whichever colourway you want to, uh, which is quite cool. Obviously, you can ink them if you want to as well. Um, but I thought that was a trick. I mean, even, even if you're not using them all on on this you can use them on something else um, and color them and tint them if you want to but that there's quite a lot in there and that's just one of my papers so put that to one side then obviously i had the one that i used earlier which i haven't got much uh, left of which which is that one i've also got this one you can see i've used that one as well which is a single sided so that's seven gypsies which is a really well known uh, one i've got this lovely shaped one and that's, uh, I don't know who's done that one, uh, Creative Imaginations. Uh, this is like a purple version of the one that I was using, and that's double-sided. It's got purple on the other side. I've got these wow. sticker letters too. Oh, they're great. Now, I remember these, and look yes. at this. This has a price on it, £2.75. For the sheet? For one sheet. And oh, this is, my word. This is basic grey, so anybody that knows scrapbooking will know basic grey. Right. Um, so, uh, yeah, these are tremendous. They're these, great. Yeah, £2.75. You get a sheet worth. of that in your pack. Mm -hmm. Fab. You might do. You might you might do. not, but you might do. Oh, I like this one, Julia. Yeah, oh, love this one. That's I've fab. got a couple of maps. A couple of maps. These are single-sided, because why would you want to use the other side when you've got something as beautiful as that? <laughs> Quite right. And so. these, are, they, these are kind of, are like, almost coated on, uh, you know, if you wanted to add paint to them, you should be all right with paint. You can always add a layer of gesso uh, lightly as well if you wanted to ink. Here's a couple of indigo blue papers. Oh, there's one here, anyway. Um, 
Like I say, I didn't know that Indigo Blue did them in 2016. There we go. That might be a collector's piece. <laughs> Obviously, that one's a little, it's a bright one and with a paler one on the back. Um, this one's glittered. Mm. There's another Indigo Blue. Lovely. Oh, a bit uh, of TypeScript. Yep. Typewriter. So obviously you could use this as, 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 you, as it is, or you could cut the individual pieces out if you want to. Like that. And uh, then we've got Ooh. this one. This is the Paper Company, which Lovely. is a, rather nice. And that's double-sided. This one is the one that's a little bit like snake skin. Oh, okay. So it's very textured. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Touchy-feely. Mm. Uh, and, it, and it's double-sided as well. But why would you want to use the other side when you've got that? Oh, it looks like vinyl from where yeah, I'm standing. Yeah, it feels like vinyl, yeah, actually. It, does it? Yeah. it feels like vinyl. Another glittered one. Love this one. Oh, Look at this a one. Some sheet, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Look. Absolutely love that one. And that is a Tim Holtz. Oh, Holtz there one. we go. So that's worth a pound or two, yeah. I would say. <laughs> we get 25, so yeah. it's a yeah. billy get bargain. Prima. A couple of oh, Prima ones. Yeah, lovely. Oh, these fab. Honestly, Fantastic. the value is just tremendous. And you know At what's fun? I'm just enjoying you showing me them. I know, you know I know, but I thought them. it was worth it. This yeah. one feels a bit textured, but it isn't. So it's easy to stamp on if you want to. I quite like that one. Um, that's a single-sided one. Ooh. Cosmo Cricket. Now, Cosmo Cricket were a very, very big scrapbooking company years ago as well. Oh, okay. This one's got 75p written on it. But I imagine it would be worth more, more than that. <laughs> uh, this one's got 60p written on it. Uh, this is by Basic Grey. Lovely. Single sided. Lovely. It's oh. double sided. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. damask. Isn't that beautiful? And, and then finally this one. Nearly half the stock of these is gone, just to warn everybody. They're definitely yeah. for nine ninety nine for twenty five twelve by twelves. They are so so worth it. That is well if you're, worth it. If you're a card maker, a twelve by twelve will give you uh, four six by six pieces. Yeah. So you got you got four cards there. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, or if value. you want to go smaller cards, you've even got more. So exactly. Or you're doing your journaling scrapbooking. Definitely, definitely work it. And okay. it's fun. Uh, we were saying this morning, a bit like the embellishment, but it's fun getting them and then finding out what did you get. What you yeah, know, yeah. Just something that's chosen almost randomly for you, and uh, you just think, oh, what a surprise! Lovely. Use them in your planners. You yes. know, die cut them for your planners. Yeah. Um, if you even if you've got a happy planner, if you've got the punch, you can pop them in there as well. Make pages, so, yeah. Exactly. So you can do lots and lots with them. They're definitely uh, worth the investment right so uh, as we've not got any of the stamping goodie bags um, I thought we'd look at the uh, starter kit lovely and uh, this is a piece of the um, card that you get in the starter kit it's the indigo smooth, blue yeah, yeah it is lovely and smooth and um, we're going to just lay some paint down I think Making this up as I'm going along because everything's changed. <laughs> well, you, you just sold out everything this morning. We that's did, why, Julia. We? How rude! How rude! <laughs> we should mention our lovely kissing frog end of call yes. as well. Yes, I'm going to use kissing frog. Are you, darling? Because yeah, that am. is something you can add onto your order. It's a brand new colour and uh, it was available in the embellishment pack that sold out. But you can get it as an end of call add onto your order. No extra postage or packaging, and it's that gorgeous green gold when it dries. So that is an add-on at the end of call and Julie's going to be using that and you were using it this morning with the stamps I was beautiful yeah. yeah it's got a lovely kind of uh, gold tinge to it mm. so I'm just going to put some onto my craft sheet just a little bit and we do, we're just going to do a like a mop-up background kind of thing mm -hmm. based on something that I think Lorna did so we're going to give it a mist with water and just While you're just spritzing, yeah. Julia, if I show everybody where it had to get it on the website. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's fine. So basically when we say end of call, end of call, you've got your order. See their free delivery add-on, so it's not charging extra delivery. You're just adding that onto your, onto your order. And, uh, and whilst you're there, you could get paint mats. You, you could get the, uh, the poppy stamp if you've not got that in your uh, brilliant starter pack. Always, always options there to have a look at, and they change, so... Mm. Thank you, Julia. Okay, that's fine. So I've just added a little bit more water, just move it around a little bit more. So all I'm going to do is just dip my card into it, okay? Mm -hmm. So here you can see that the Kissing Frog has got a little bit of gold in it and a little bit of green in it. It's like a duo tone, which is lovely. So that's all we're going to do with that. I'm not going to waste that, though, so I'm going to pick that up onto some rice paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to just give that a blast because I want to put another colour on as well. 
Aye. It's a thick GSM, that uh, super smooth, as we were finding out, 350, so you can chuck a lot at it, can't you? Without it going all funny and warpy, and it's lovely. It's so smooth as well. Yeah, I can't, I, I can never hear you. When, when you're over there, it's different if you were here. Oh, that's okay. But when you're over there, I can't hear what you're saying when I've got heat still going. <laughs> that's okay. I was talking about super smooth. Sorry. It is, it is really nice card. That's that. So then we're going to take a bright colour. Let's take the uh, ruby slippers. I could, I could have said anything about Julia then, couldn't I? You could have done. Known. You could do anyway. I don't mind. <laughs> Never. I don't mind. So again, we're going to pop a little bit of that out. Let's try not to be... I, I always put too much out. <laughs> These little parts are mighty because mm. the, the paints are highly pigmented. Mm -hmm. Again, give it a little paint. We want a really kind of watered down effect. Which colour was that again? Because you used that this, this morning. This is ruby slippers. Ru yeah. Ruby clippers. Yeah. Ruby slippers. Ruby slippers, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I've got some on the back now. I'm, I, I I'm going to put my hand down my clean apron, I know I am. <laughs> You've done well so far. That's right. been clean all morning. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. Right, so we just have that. So not quite as, 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 as controlled as the lovely one that Lorna did, but uh, I am kind of winging it. We've got two of those options with the media paint set. So the Ruby Slippers comes with, as it should do, the Emerald City. So two different sets of six there in terms of the metallics. So your first option is this one, Emerald City Raven Black Sleeping Beauty, Ruby Slippers, Kingfisher Blue, which um, we used this morning as well, and the Vodka Martini. And then our second option as well has Cinderella, Goldfinger, Royal Purple, Lime Sherbet, which is a favourite of our Julia's, Snow White, and Miss Moneypenny. A real mix of uh, stories and fairy tales there and films. And... Anyway, 533240, they do pack a powerful punch, and then you can always get that add on of the lovely Kingfisher Green as well when you check out. Right, so rather than wait for all that, I'm just going to block that. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that's dry enough. Then we're going to dust that with an anti-static bag because we're going to stamp and emboss. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to go down for this area here, hopefully, because that's less wet than the one at the top. And we're going to take our poppy stamp, our dinky poppy stamp, wherever I put it. There it is. That's in the starter kit. It's in the starter kit. Yeah. yeah. So you can have it as an add-on and a call as well. And we're using our Slim Jims, mm -hmm. and I'll just show you again with one that I haven't opened. So obviously you're going to get loads of different sizes. So you can see that that one's clear, but it's a Slim Jim, and that one isn't, it's white. So all you need to do is just go to the corner and start it off and peel that away. And then peel the other piece away, then throw that. You don't, don't, don't keep them, just throw them away. Uh, we've okay. got some gyms on their own. People are buying them on their own as well, Julia. Nine ninety nine eight three seven three seven zero. They're handy because they are all those different sizes, so they can yeah, accommodate. Yeah, they are they? very handy. You can never have enough acrylic blocks. No. Uh, really then sure we're using the Versafine uh, on its black that's in the starter kit as well, and it is nice to have uh, when you're starting stamping. It's nice. It's, it's good to have the right ink, and it's good to have a new ink pad. It's it's all very well having a lovely friend who says to you. I'll give you some ink pads to start you off, yeah. but if they're older ink pads and, and they're, they're not juicy and you're brand new to stamping, it's not going to give you really a good start. It's a lovely gesture, yeah. but not going to give you the best start always. So let's have it, let's see if we point it up this way like that. I should mention as well, the MDF Christmas trees, literally single figures now. Uh, just a couple of those, oh, this is my favourite, it's just this black one with the white writing on. So you get the MDF Christmas tree, you're getting uh, the metallics paints as well, three of those, Emerald City, Snow White and Goldfinger as well. So it makes one of these lovely trees, lovely for your table piece there. 924523, only literally a hand, handful left, single figures. Okay, so we've done that and we're going to just add some of the embossing glaze, which is clear embossing powder. Hope is that that super fine embossing super powder again? Super fine one, yeah. Oh, we absolutely. have that this morning with the unicorn flakes and magic um, sparkles and unicorn sparkles. So magic, magic sparkles is, is a is a luscious powder. Yeah. And the unicorn sparkles, I've actually got it here. Oh. I'll show you a little bit on my oh, finger. Yeah. 
Hopefully you can oh, see. Oh, look at those. Look at those. So that's, that's, no, no, that's uni no unicorns were, were harmed during the harvesting <laughs> of these. Thirteen ninety nine. That's a big pot as well, Julia, big isn't it? Big pot, yeah. It's another yeah. sixty mil pot. You get sixty mil pot of the embossing glaze, the sixty mil of the unicorn sparkle, yeah. and then you get the twenty five uh, mil of, of the, the magic sparkle, which, which does. Add, I will show you that it does add more magic to your existing luscious. It's um, very, very lovely. Thank you, Julia. Thirteen ninety nine five three six nine five eight uh, for the super fine embossing powder that Julia's using. Luscious magic sparkles and your unicorn sparkles. Great, great price point for all three of those. So uh, yeah, don't miss out. So now yeah. we're just heat setting. Yeah. So uh, we've, we've used the uh, Onyx Black Versafine that's in the kit, and we've added the super fine embossing powder, and we're just following the embossing powder round with our heat tool. Don't use a hairdryer, you need a heat tool until everything's nice and shiny and glossy. So we can see there, it's lovely and glossy. Beautiful, lovely stamp. Yeah, lovely stamp. Really good starter stamp, that. Now, if we wanted to colour it in, we can use the paints again, or we can actually go to our Luscious. So let's go to our Luscious, because we're using lots of things that are on the show. The Christmas trees have sold out, just to quickly say oh, that. Oh, well done, everybody. Yeah. Christmas trees are now gone. Well done if you've got those. What colour should we go for? Let's Ooh. see. Vintage rose, do we think? Or should we go for cherry lips or blue fuchsia? Oh, or blue fuchsia. Blue fuchsia. Which one's that? That's that one. Fuchsia below that one. So I've got some of the luscious powders in my palette, and I'm just recharging them with some water. Mm-hmm. And because we've embossed, the luscious powders won't sit on the embossed line. So we, this is easy colouring in, in then, then. So we can just go over and it pops off that embossed line. There might be, I might have a bit of embossing. But if it doesn't paint, uh, or, or um, if it won't paint, then it could be that... Uh, you've you've got embossing powder where you don't want it. Oh, I see. Um, that could be where the paint is a bit wet, but that's 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 absolutely fine. So you can see that it's very easy to paint with the luscious powders. So just showing you some of the colours of the luscious um, pigments there at the bottom of the screen because a few have sold out. They're a pick and mix. You can pick three. But uh, the ones we've still got remaining are just scrolling across the bottom of the screen there. They're great, they are, because you, you, we were saying how you just put your, your handy tip was to name them if you put some in a palette and yeah. then add in uh, yeah, sprit water and then exactly. letting that dry and then, you know, reactivating again. You, name can, them. you can actually mix them as well and make your yeah. own mixes, but again, la I should label that as well. <laughs> That's um, the trick, isn't it? Yeah, la yeah, labeling is a key. I'm not very good at... The thing is that it's like um, when I get, um, you know, like uh, invoices and things in, I kind of file them and then it's like three months later when I think, right, I need to do my accounts. You, you need to do it straight away. That's the thing. <laughs> and it's the same with the craft, you know. Label things straight away, otherwise you make a, a big job for yourself. So Let's you can see this is quite quick. Pardon? There speaks a woman who knows. Oh, gosh. She's if I actually practised what I'd preach, I'd be really <laughs> well organised, but I don't. Um, uh. So you can go on with a second layer if you want to. I'm, I'm actually, I've got mine quite uh, thin. Um, I know Kay, Kay says, uh, mix it to like uh, the consistency of uh, single cream. Single cream, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you do get more of a, a glint if you do that. So uh -huh. there's our poppy. Beautiful. Uh, drying. And then I think we do the centre in um, the buttercup, which is this lovely yellow. It's one of my favourites, the buttercup. Yeah. What was the colour of that limey, yon, limey green, yellowy this green? This one. The one you used this morning. That one? Yeah. That one's ol olive grove. Uh, no, it wasn't that. It was the bright, bright yellow and green you used it this morning. Oh, uh, you coloured one of your apothecary jars with it. Oh, that's the lime sherbet uh, <sighs> paint. Oh. That's paint, not oh, that's luscious. paint, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I was a bit obsessed with the colour. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. So, so you can see here, that, that's, that's kind of popping off. Mm -hmm. uh, that's because I've, I've mixed it quite thinly and it's popping off the, um, the paint, which is uh, the embossing, which is lovely. Okay, so there's my centre, all done. Mm -hmm. And then we could just add uh, a sentiment. So 
um, we could add any sentiment really, but let's go for a fun one. Oh yeah. Well, maybe not a fun one. Uh, that's what we have this one. Uh, here's to strong women. Yes. We may know them, we may be them, we may raise them. That's a good one, isn't that's it? That's a great Should one. Should we have that one? Yes. Even though it's not got a woman on it. Don't matter. Okay. All right, we'll have that one then. <laughs> we just like the sentiment. <laughs> Let's open it up the right way. Oh, I love so it. all of the stamps come on a laminate sheet. Yeah. And um, because the um, uh, the, um, the 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 stamps are on cling, it does mean that they cling to the laminate, which is really nice. Oh, got the wrong one. Uh, if you find that they're not clinging, then mm -hmm. then just w uh, wipe the back. Uh, it could be that you've got embossing powder that's clinging to it, mm -hmm. or uh, it could be that you've got um, a bit of mica powder or luscious powder or something, glitter, anything. Right. Just, just give it a wash. And if, if at the end of the day it still won't, you can um, paint a thin layer of the flitter glue on. Uh, wait for it to dry and then it just goes tacky um, and then that's another way to get the stamps to cling and that's important to say if any of your stamps that you get in got in your goodie bag if you manage to get those then um, that's going to sort those out as well but they should be fine right so we're going to put this up the top hopefully I'm going to do it straight Oh, no, I didn't do it straight, because I can't do anything straight, but that's <laughs> fine. I can always trim the card down. Yeah. And then we'll add, again, our embossing glaze, because we make it look the same yeah. as, our, um, as our image. And we'll heat set that. Lovely. It shouldn't take long. Do you mind if I quick recap, Julia? Is that That's okay? fine. Thank you very much. Um, so with the stamps that Julia is using are um, four pounds off. A fantastic indigo blue stamps. You know, sizable A5 stamps here. If I just turn that around, uh, you can see just how big. Really deep edge. Uh, already mounted as well. Cling mounted there, so you're ready to go. So let's take you through those individual ones. We'll go and then we'll go straight back to Julia. So there's our, our lovely, lovely dolphins there as well and uh, you've got the fish there as well and that fantastic sentiment a beautiful turtle and our punky uh, seahorse there and again with the sentiments they really really fill these stamps as well then our beautiful uh, lovely hummingbird yeah and I was looking at those flowers I'm just going to be cheeky and do that because look the flowers on themselves isn't that pretty just really in themselves can make a card then we've got the poppy heads there as well Really beautiful. Again, that framing there is gorgeous, isn't it? But this one earlier, you see that little one down there? Julia did a kind of like a swatch card and she used that in a journal page this morning. If you missed it at seven, it turned out beautiful. So, so that framed all the swatches. Looked amazing is all I can say. Uh, then if we go down, laugh so hard, yeah. You are, oh, these are just, uh, can, can I see that swirl? Let me just show you this card as well. You see how, how beautiful that is? Yeah, sometimes the smallest things take the most room in your heart. Uh, what's this one down there say? Once you realise we are all mad, life begins to make sense. Prosecco is the answer. Sorry, uh, I don't remember the question. The more candles on your cake, the hotter you are. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic, isn't it? Um, so that's a gorgeous, gorgeous set of sentiments there to make everybody laugh. And then we've got the fantastic strong woman one there that Julia is using with our lady. Fant oh, sorry, everybody. Just bring that into shot there so you can see our fantastic stamp. So you can, re you know, make a few of those there. Uh, moving across, I still can't find it in the sunflower, but there you go. I have, I have rummaged everybody, I promise. And then we have got our flower heads. Now, I just wanted to very briefly show you, Julia mentioned about them stamping on material. So I found two samples here from the team, Jill's. Um, they are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. That's on the material as well. Fabulous. 15.99. You've got a four pound saving. Six six one nine zero one. Thank you, Julia. Back to you. Okay. So all I've done. Well, I started to do this, and I thought I'd leave the last one. I've just popped a little bit of the ruby slippers onto my um, craft sheet and picked it up just onto a piece of kitchen sponge, and I'm just just dragging the sponge over the edge of the card, and then that kind of sets it off. So then, if you um, you pop it onto a black card, then that's going to be that's going to pop, okay? Oh, the wrong way up. There we go. Just like that. Lovely. Okay. So that's a very simple card that you can do um, with the poppy. They berated me because I forgot Frank. 
Oh, no, you do Frank now, then. I'll do Frank. There we go. There he is. I'm getting berated by everybody. How could I forget Frank? I don't know. Just, he's just <laughs> hanging on the end there. I'm so sorry, everybody. Poor Frank. <laughs> What's he ever done to you, Fiona? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. The poor, the poor we. What is he? An elf. Uh, uh, fairy. Is Frank a fa the fairy. I think he's, he's. I don't know if he's a wizard or a goblin no, or a fairy. <laughs> it's cool. Frank the fairy. <laughs> the clues in the title. <laughs> I think he could be in any things you see, though. Do you know what I mean? He I can think... be whatever you want him to exactly. be. Exactly. Thank you. But if exactly. you want to take him literally, he's, he's a fairy. A fairy. <laughs> <laughs> are there any Franks in your life that are a bit of a fairy? Well, this is the fantastic stamp for you. <laughs> Frank the fairy, there he is. How can we... We'll never forget him again. He's very busy. I love the toadstools as well. I love that cover because it gives you some idea of colour. Fifteen ninety nine for all those beautiful stamps. Shop ahead, have a little look. Uh, get a couple in there while you've got the savings. Six six one nine zero one. Okay, you, so um, I've got another little technique for you. Um, I've stamped. There's a little uh, in the uh, hummingbird and peony set. I've only done this because it's repetitive stamping and it takes a while to do. So this peony that's in the set, I've just stamped it. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Can you see? Oh, that's fast. Uh, I've stunning. stamped it onto the pink frog watercolour card. This is black watercolour <gasps> card. Mm. And this is tremendous card. Mm. I think it's something like 350 GSM. Oh, nice. Um, but it's black and it's watercolour. So Ooh. it's going to take lots and lots of yeah. Um, moisture. Yeah, which is fantastic. brilliant. I love this card. Absolutely adore it. So I've stamped it with Versamark and I've embossed it with uh, the clear embossing gla glaze. So it's going to act as a resist. Now we're going to bring in my paint mat and we're going to bring in some luscious. I've got one that's drying at the moment with some of my um, stamps from um, my goodie bag. So I'll show you that in a minute, but I'll just show you the technique. And I'll do the same colours as I did on my goodie bag, if I can remember the colours. Uh, so it was silver, lavender and, oh yeah, the olive grove. So these three. If you keep them upside down like we do, just make sure you give them a good old tap before yeah. you um, open them because otherwise it'll go and you'll, you'll be wasting some. So <laughs> I want to put some onto my mat again. It's, it's again one of these very watery techniques. So we're going to pick up some water onto my uh, brush and I'm going to use a wide brush and we're going to pop some onto my craft sheet and then mix more water in it. So we are going more watery than normal. And then we're going to do the same thing with the uh, olive grove and the silver. I love olive grove. It's such a beautiful, rich green. Mm. So it, this is the duo tone. So it's, oh. so it's um, uh, gold on um, black card, as you'll see in a moment. Mm. So again, we're going to mix, mix some of that on my mat. Give it a good old mixing. Maybe a little bit more. And then we're going to have some silver. Do put your tops on in between, just in case you knock them. Yeah, that's you know? true. There's a lot of powder in there, isn't there? There's a lot of powder in here, mm. and you don't want to waste them. No. I mean, the, the thing is that these pots are so big that you can do techniques like this, and even though you're using more, and um, you know, you don't have to worry because sometimes if you've got tiny pots and you want a technique where you want to use a bit more, yeah. you're a little bit precious about them. Yeah. And that's true. Um, there's enough for you to really play and experiment in these pots. And you can do this with the paint as well. So we're going to just, I don't know how to hold it, Rick. Can I just leave it on the overhead? Is that okay? Um, so we're going to add loads of water to this because I want it to move. Like I say, this 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 is going to add act as a resist. Okay, so now we're going to just add our uh, luscious powder. You can Lush. actually add it so it drips as well if you want to. It's like ultraviolet that one, Julia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So th that's your lavender. Oh, so wow. that again is a duo tone, and then we can add some of the green. Obviously, you'll get the merging and mixing together. And we can add some of the silver, which I've mixed a bit thicker. Mm. You can keep on going and adding 
however many colours you want. I mean, I'd normally add about five or six colours to this technique, but obviously you'll be watching me for ages mixing them and getting them ready. I'll show everybody a few of those colours, if that's all right, Julie, yeah, just while fine. you're mixing. Yeah, uh, In terms of what's remaining. So the £14.97, you pick any three, you see, for that price point. Uh, teal, gold, silver that Julie's using there, the lavender, the buttercup she used earlier, ballet slippers, mermaid tresses, cherry lips, penny dreadful, dragon's eye, the olive grove, which Julie is using, Blue fuchsia, oh, that's, that's gorgeous that is. And then the vintage year rose. So, uh, yeah, pick any three. Thank you, Julia. Okay, so you can see that the cards bowed, which is absolutely fine. It's not going to be a problem. Um, you can you can move it around even more if you want to by giving it another mist, and it will move. And then you put it somewhere to dry. And I have one here. Let's see if I can. Bring this one in. This isn't quite 100% dry oh, yet. Oh wow! But and I've missed. I can see I've missed a little bit there, so I need to put a little bit in there as well. But <laughs> <laughs> so you can see. Incredible. So this is one of my um, goodie bag stamps. Yeah. So this could be what I've just done anyway. But you've got that lovely iridescence from the um, the mica from the the um, luscious powders which yeah. are a mix of mica powder pigment powder and they've got a binder in them as well so as soon as you add water or texture paste or slap it on or anything like that then that binds it but that's a lovely background then to pop something on so we could actually if we go back to the overhead if that's okay so you did all the embossing stamping first I did you? you do all the stamping and yeah. embossing first and then you add your medium on top so then on to this what we could do is we could bring in our uh, frame from our flower um, heads that one flower yeah. heads yeah yeah obviously think think about coloring these in but obviously i haven't got them colored in and we could add that oh that lovely. would look rather nice i do quite like the pop actually the what the, the pop of color ah yeah, yeah. Uh, and then i've got this sentiment here that says think of the happiest things it's the same as having wings by peter pan i don't know what that's from um, I've got also got no kindness is ever too small. It may change someone's day. It may change someone's life. That I think it, those might be from the goodie bags, but we could come back to uh, sentiments that we do. I know we do have uh, that thank you one from the lady. We could have that one in there because it's to do with love and thank you. Think about obviously you're going to colour them in, but we could even bring in the lady here, mm. and she could be there. Yeah, you she know? looks great. She looks great on she there, does. doesn't she? she really and you does. could pick out one of the colours that you've used in the background and colour in her neckerchief and maybe her stockings. Mm. He would be lovely on here too as well, oh. but maybe you could change the colours and have them more green and blue rather than having them as the, the pretty colours. Um, Obviously, Frank the Fairy you could bring in as Frank. well. Don't forget um, Frank. And we can also bring in our Poppy. I think the Poppy would look absolutely beautiful there from that our starter beautiful. set. Yeah, that is beautiful. So that's just a, a few ideas of how you can treat that particular page. Okay? Yeah, lovely. So you can give me just a couple of seconds I and will, then I'll I do will, something so, else. Sorry, I get engrossed in what you're doing, Julian. <laughs> forget to do what I'm here for. <laughs> uh, so we are looking at the stamps there, the flower heads there Julia was referring to. Frank is down here, he's there, he is there, holding the fort. We've got the beautiful flowers, we've got the dragonfly, we've got a lovely lady with fantastic sentiments. Those hilarious sentiments there from Kay. Love this one with the two frames there, the flower heads. You've got your hummingbird there and those beautiful flowers. You've got your sea turtle and the funky seahorse and you've got uh, the dolphin and the fish there. So uh, big, again, let me just twiddle that around so you can see the size of these stamps. Big A five stamps there really really gorgeous very very striking so if you want to look at our how different for instance the flower heads can look these are both Sue's but again changing up the colorway again really really different also same same set of stamps there but all so so very different even even to sort of you know add in a bit of your your sparkles there absolutely beautiful then our lovely funky seahorse there as well he's, he's absolutely beautiful isn't he could be, could, well, they're, they're, they're both, aren't they? Male and female. Uh, then we've got our lovely lady. And there she is, and I think the one Julie and I both love is just the simpleness of that vintage, um, gorgeous sepia there on the craft card. And then our pretty, pretty hummingbird there as well. Can be so, so simple. Yeah, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then the beautiful flowers, and again, fabulous on fabric. I mean, look at this one on the fabric there that uh, has been done. Isn't that beautiful? That's gorgeous, that card. And again, on these, you, keep, you know, the way in which you do the colourway, 
Just so different. And then our lovely dolphins. We have got the sunflower one there as well. I'm sorry I haven't got a sample there, but our beautiful, beautiful dolphins. And don't forget, it's got those gorgeous little fishies on there as well. And then Frank the fairy. There he is. Yeah, not to be forgotten, our lovely Frank. There he is. Lovely Frank. So, uh, yeah, fabulous £4 saving on all of those. 15 661901 All I can say is gorgeous, gorgeous quality when you're talking indigo blue. Uh, deeply etched, great detail. Everyone's a winner. And I just know they're going to make your, your artworks or your journals or your stamping on your card absolutely beautiful. 661901 We've still got some of the bundle as well of that fantastic 25... Uh, card and the stampers card start kit yeah with the slim gyms you've got your versifying ink you've got your 20 super smooth 350 gsm card and you've got that really beautiful poppy stamp we were admiring earlier as well in the kit um beautiful and absolute stunning stamp i'm sure you agree so that's your starter kit with a fantastic five pounds ten reduction twenty pounds thirty six nine six two zero two four and then our card stock, yeah, pick and mix there, nine ninety nine, absolutely amazing. And then, you know, add to your order that brand new colour of the metallic kissing frog. Yeah, when you, uh, you know, do, you, do your end of call, check out, because that is a brand new colour today, and that is available only as an end of call now. But you... I've got 25 of these, could be cards, could be papers, have the glitter within them, woven, handmade, uh, double-sided, different GSMs, 70% gone. They really are a joy. I mean, we're looking at one there with Julia. That was over £2, 25 pence, wasn't it? Julia was telling us about all the different names and brands. It's just a great, great collection that she said don't miss out on. 150952. Right, back to Julia. Okay, so uh, again, we're, we're kind of winging it. <laughs> we love a bit of winging it, Winging it, winging it, winging it. <laughs> right, okay, so uh, we've got some Kingfisher Blue um, paint, which is just absolutely mm, beautiful. It's one of my favourite, favourite paints. Um, so we're going to just do a few splatters, which I might regret, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, so pick up a little bit onto my brush and see if we can get some splatters going on. I don't want them to go everywhere. I only want a few. That'll do. Okay. So also taking, we might as well use the same paint while we're at it. We're going to grab our stencil. So it could be any stencil. I've just got some indigo blue stencils and I uh, probably should have done the paint second, but hey ho. I did think about it and I thought, well, do I want to splatter on top of this? I don't know. Anyway, so I've got some Slap It On, which uh, should be available on the website. Oh, yes, we had a big conversation about the slap it on. Yeah, isn't it? Just slap it this down. is just super thick slap it down, isn't it? <laughs> Fee's renamed it. I Please have. don't search for what slap it down. What was that slap it down you were looking for? No, slap it on. Slap it slap on. Slap it on. You said it's like a heavy medium gel, is that it's right? It's like a heavy body gel. Heavy body it's gel, a bit, yeah. it's a it, Like a lot of heavy body gels, it's a texture paste as well. So, But we can add, we can add our... Um, texture paste, uh, mm. our, our paint to it to colour it. If you're adding a liquid to texture paste, don't add too much because it will change the dynamics of it. It will ch make it runnier. But I only had a little bit left on my mat, yeah. so that's fine. It could be luscious powder. You can also add luscious powder to it. Oh. So we only want a little bit of texture. So we're just going to go here. Got about five minutes, Julia. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So just a little bit of texture. Okay, just to add a little bit of interest put that in there for now everything goes in there okay so we've got that that's wet still what we can do at this stage is we can add some unicorn sparkles to it oh yes and the unicorn sparkles will sit on top of our texture paste oh look at those they're lovely Got those with the super fine embossing powder. Look at that. And your really luscious magic luscious. sparkles. They're amazing. Yeah, aren't they? they are absolutely beautiful. Um, I really like those. You can also mix them because the um, heavy body, not heavy body gel, the super thick slap it on dries clear. So you can actually mix your uh, unicorn sparkles in Straight. with it and oh. you can still see the sparkles because it dries clear. Oh, wow. Obviously, if you're going to add anything matte to it, so if you're going to add your paints to it or your luscious powders to it, you won't see it quite so much if you mix it in. Sometimes it's better to put it on top. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So, so what we could put there is we could bring in our lady and she could come in here and we could get, give her a sentiment and hair like that. But we, we'll colour her in to match that a little bit, mm -hmm. I think. But what we'll do is we'll bring in our kingfisher again so it's the same um, kind of colour family. Mm -hmm. So many paintbrushes. And they're not all round. I've got all flat ones. Goodness knows why. <laughs> there we go. And Who's stolen around brushes? <laughs> I might as well go for here. I don't need very much. Tiny, tiny bits. And I could be using my paint mat, but it's over there. Um, and what we'll do is we'll actually mix in some of the magic sparkles with it. Do you remember Ooh. I said to you this is yeah. super, super stuff? Yeah. It's like uh, a, a luscious powder, but it's got kind of glitter in it as well. Mm. So if you were to add it to your regular luscious powders, none of them are regular, it would make them even more sparkly. Is so that it's physically like, possible? It's, it, yeah, I know. It's a super, super, super add-on. And so this lady has been stamped, stamped and embossed. So if we went in here and just painted in her neckerchief, um, it, she will, when it dries, it will dry sparkly and blue Lovely. to match my background. And I thought it was brilliant when Jill did her sample, just just of a little bit of colour on yeah. there. Yeah, so picking it um, out. All we do is uh, I've got a black piece of card here still. So if you pop it on black, obviously not everything's not dry. Probably be about an hour or so, I should think, for that to dry. In fact, I did it on the wrong side. I should have done it on that side. But hey ho, we would never have known. Never have known. So that would go there, and then she would go up there and then she's got quite a cool card there also what we could do here we are we're still thinking still thinking gets another bit of um just to finish it off another bit of, of um kitchen sponge because that outside edge is a little bit too stark mm -hmm. and we can grab our mix of luscious powder and paint and just go around the edges obviously if i'd use the other side the edges would look nicer Ba, 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 but it's hard to think on your feet when you've been up since five o'clock just saying <laughs> that's fine we're down to the, about the last minute and a half there we go so just, see that that just makes a, 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 a difference doesn't yeah. it just just finishing it off like that there we go amazing gorgeous and that's that's it for our julia today uh, well, it's it be kind of. New, well, New, <laughs> yeah. New Year's Eve. You're, New Year's, did you say New Year's, uh, back no. New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve. I believe you might see me on Christmas Day. You might. You might. We'll say no more. Huh? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Get your mince pies out. Have your sherry ready. Be ready to party with our Julia on Christmas Day. Uh, but we'll look forward to seeing you on New Year's Eve. Thank you so Thank much, Julia. You. As always, lovely. Really inspirational. I really enjoy your demonstrations. Gorgeous. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your papers and uh, cards. Don't forget, 9 99 uh, over two thirds of stock has gone. So please don't miss out. Great value. And it's just as exciting when you open up that parcel. It's like another little Christmas present, isn't it? Because you're just all excited about what am I going to get? What's going to be in there? Uh, great, great discovery, to, a little journey to go on there. 25 of those 12 by 12 papers, different GSMs, different sort of types, some are double-sided, different brands, d d you know, just gorgeous. Everyone's, everyone's going to be a winner there. 150952. And don't forget as well, you'll be getting your £5 Christmas credit to spend tomorrow on any order over £30. And you can do that each day uh, until the 22nd of December, but you can't uh, roll over your five pound credits if that makes sense and this is all part as well great value like this part of our big save event which is about bringing you big savings on certain items in different shows right up until new year's eve um do have a look at those stamps with the four pound saving and of course that gorgeous starter kit we'll look forward to seeing julia christmas day let's see what else we've got coming up here on her channel <laughs> Well, we're going to join Paola and Hayley for the Fabric Freedom One Day Special. And then I'll be with the lovely ladies for Cool Cats Craft, Big Save. And then we are returning to Colour Me Happy Sentiment Stamp Show. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company 
launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have coloring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, get inspired on Hachanda. Get our 
afternoon. How are you doing? Well, we are here at Hochanda celebrating Christmas with a Hochanda Christmas credit. And what it means is any purchase that you make today, well, that means that you will have five pounds credited to your account to spend tomorrow on purchases over 30 pounds or more. Right. And of course, that means that if you, for instance, you go for the one day special, which this hour is all about, that means that you will also get that credit for tomorrow to spend. So it's fabulous, isn't it? Fabulous news. Now, the one day special is fabric freedom. It is beautiful fabric and, of course, beautiful options of colors. There we, we have got Haley, but she's under. Yeah, there she is. Haley, <laughs> hello. Hiding both on the floor. You were hiding away <laughs> from me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, there's no more space. So yeah. iron balls on the floor. That's fine. Now, so, now I of course, just go back and do some ironing while you. Well, you know, talk about the one day special. Yeah, I can chip in. I can iron on the floor and chat. Okay, perfect. You are a woman, so you can multi, because multi, can. you know, multitask. All right. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the one day special and their options. Now, the one day special is, of course, for fabric freedom. Is the wonderful white with uh, fabrics. Now, you are getting a bundle of five half meter pieces, but that is not a, like a traditional half meter piece because of course that extra width though I think it's one meter and 65 centimeters that you are getting in width wise the traditional is about 1.4 or 1.42 or something like around there so you're getting 20 extra centimeters because X wider yeah normal 45 inch width is yeah. 112 centimeters oh, 100, that's true it's for you're getting mixed yeah. up 45 inches Absolutely. 44 inches 110 112 centimeters thank you so much no See, problem it, so, not only she can multitask, but she also can focus on the maths because, I mean, unlike me, Haley is amazing with maths. Anyway, no numbers. So remember, 63 inches or 1.6 uh, meters uh, in width. Right, 24 pounds and 48 pence is the price. Right, let's talk about the options. We have got the gray option. Now, I ca you can see, I, th I love these ones because they are very much on trend with the Pantone colors of the years. Why? Because we have got the, uh, the kind of ultimate grey. It's a pure grey in the sense that you can, I wouldn't say it's a warm grey, I wouldn't say it's a cold grey. Which means that even if you have got warmer tones, yellows and oranges and reds and pinks, it's going to look amazing. But of course, if you have got cooler colors like purples and those teals and those greens and those blues, they also are going to look amazing. Five different patterns with geometrics, with little stars, with kind of a texture with print in here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Quilting cotton, of course, it is an amazing, beautiful with uh, uh, it feels so nice. And of course, there we have got all five of them. Now, this one is the great option. Then we are moving into blacks. Now, Haley, can you tell us more about the, the weight of the fabric and yeah, the so, fabric quality um, of the fabric? This is a quilting cotton weight. So that means it's a little bit heavier and a little bit kind of stiffer than you would be used to with your kind of shirt and cottons and your poplins. Uh, but it's really, really easy to sew with. The advantage of it is it kind of, it is that little bit stiffer, so it holds its shape yeah. really well when you actually Absolutely. come to cut it. Now, um, we've been talking about these geometrics today, and um, I think sometimes people get a little bit scared about yeah. geometrics because you have to be a little bit more precise with your cutting. So we've been showing you some different tips and things you can do to help you with Absolutely. that as well. Great. And now, if this is the black options, of course, the middle ones are a little bit more gray in turn, but this is the blacks. Then we are moving on to the yellows, which is also one of the Pantone colors of the year for 2021. Uh, this is more of a, has a hint it's of mustard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I would say this is very illuminating, very fresh, very light, very kind of happy color. And it is proven, apparently, their scientists have said that yellow brightens and makes happy people smile wow. more than any there other you color. Go. Yeah, so it's one of the, and it's an energetic color as well. So use it, of course, in combination with other colors, and it brightens them up. So this might not be your obvious choice, but if you want to brighten other colors, whether it's the grays, the blacks, or the next one we are going to have, which is the teals, then, of course, that kind of brings in again. So let's move to the other side, because then we, we can see there, there we have. Uh, right, uh, now that seamless move. <laughs> then we have got here the like teal. Oh, you like Do it? Two, twelve, other two. Uh, yeah, yeah, I should have done that. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have got the teal. Like a here. robot twirl. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> my batteries are kind of finishing. You, you can't anyway. run out batteries now. I'm not doing it on my own. <laughs> No. Right, of course, and then we have got the uh, the teal option here, which is one of the more, our favorite colors, isn't it? Because the teal is a beautiful, refreshing, serene color. A mix of blue and green in it. Absolutely. It will go with match with a lot of things. It goes really well with your pinks. It Absolutely. goes really well I mean, with the yellow with the that's purples next to it. as well, the gray. Yeah. It's, it's kind of... Blue is a cooler color, but of course by tea, having a little bit of yellow in it, which or green on it, it makes it a little bit yeah, warmer. Yeah, because it's that kind of tertiary level color. Absolutely. It, you'll find it will match in with a lot of things more easily. And it's just, it's always, I find it very serene because blues always have got that peaceful nature to them. Right, I remember you are getting all five of them. And this one has got a little bit hints of coral and a little bit of, of course, that burgundy and tiny bit of mustard. So, for instance, if you wanted to go for two one-day specials, what if you mix them up, they really look amazingly beautifully. Uh, because I would put maybe probably that one like this. So you see kind of more contrast bringing up those colors right that is the, uh, the four options that we have got left because of course the teal multi did sell out early on as is the pinks the pinks are very popular so if you want yours uh, well just you have to just choose your color remember 24 pounds and 48 pounds is a price that 13 pounds saving is there and remember that when anything that you buy today you are going to get five pounds credited to your account to spend tomorrow here at Hochanda for orders above 30 pounds or more. Uh, 111788 is the item number for the one day special. Jump ahead to the website though because there is a lot more options and you can have a preview of what we are going to be seeing. And here we have got of course the Dust Fabric Freedom Waffle Weave uh, rolls which I absolutely adore because that's perfect for binding and you need to do a little bit of binding. But we do have got five quarter bundles as well as of course beautiful um well we're going to say poly cotton sheeting that is amazingly big so we are going to have a look at those ones right i'm going to show that the options be so the, yeah. the, they're the options now any of the it's worth having a look on the website because the bits that you get in the one day special a lot of those are repeated within those two meter options as well so if you want to do the um the you know, one day special as a quilt then you've got that as an option to back it as well but this is another excellent option for backing quilts that paula has got because this is the uh, poly cotton sheeting it's five meters by yeah. 2.44 meters wow. wide so we were trying to kind of explain how big this is right and if you think about a king size duvet yeah apparently that is 230 centimeters right by um 220 centimeters i mean so you could essentially make front and back of a king size duvet cover and still have some left over okay it's just so trying to get it kind of in your mind of how yeah. big it is well just to have an idea this is one two three four five six seven eight this is folded into a yes uh, so, so you have eight times this amount but it's perfect for backing um quilts and things especially those larger ones where you maybe have to piece things or join things in the middle to get the back of the quilt completed this will do the whole thing in one piece so it's a it's an excellent option you have four different colors you've got the ivory which is yes. the bottom then the white then the black and then the red which Paula had out uh, just a yeah. second ago. Ivory is in the lid and I'm not surprised because it's it's a very soft ivory. It's not a strong kind of, but it has got more warmth than the white. And then of course you have got uh, the black option and the red that I just unfolded. I mean, I do like these options. Yeah, these, <laughs> these feel really, really soft. They feel like a good quality cotton yeah, sheet. But the advantage that you've got is there's a little bit of polyester in there. And that's going to do several things for you. One, it's going to make it a lot easier to care for because that little tiny bit of polyester in there just helps stop the creasing. It's a 60-40 mix, so it does feel like cotton. And you must remember that it isn't kind of one strand of polyester and one strand of cotton. It's a mixed fiber to start off with, so it's a completely kind of flat, consistent uh, weave to the fabric. It's um, absolutely, it's really easy to use, and it's really kind of a really cheap and um, cost-effective option for backing a quilt as well, because Indeed. you've got a huge amount there. It's working out at five pound, four pounds a meter. Wow! And you've four got that super wide width as well. Yeah. So if you factor that into your kind of normal width fabric, yeah. it's almost like having. Um, 10 meters 
of your normal 45 inch width fabric. I've, wow. And of course, uh, you have got those choices of, of uh, you know, colors. Uh, if you want to go for this amazing bundle, uh, 346836 is your item number. Also, I mean, I was just saying, but for moving houses, this is very good to wrap around <laughs> your event. <laughs> just saying, just saying. Because that's what you're thinking about right it's now. It's like what I'm thinking about. It. Anyway, uh, 19 pounds <laughs> or 99 pence is the price. You're saving five pounds. Well, you know, multi-use, multi-purpose is always, you exactly. never know. Uh, and then, of course, you can put it in the wash and then use it for your... Yeah, your well, that's the advantage is when polycotton comes out of the wash it doesn't crease as much so you can literally flick an iron over it and it's it's perfect so mm -hmm. um, what I would recommend though is if you are going to back a quilt with these and your uh, quilt topper is going to be 100% cotton then wash all of your cotton before you start at the same setting so same temperature same um, cycle that you're going to use uh, wash all of your cottons at the same cycle as you're going to wash the polycotton because then the polycot is very unlikely to shrink because the polyester is kind of fixing the, the, the dimensions of those strands and nothing's going to happen. But with cotton being a 100% natural fibre, this sometimes can be uh, like a 5 or a uh, two, between 2 and 5% shrinkage yeah. on a cotton. Um, so it's worth washing everything before you start and then you're guaranteed that once you sew it together there are not going to be any upsetting times when you wash it. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, right, we have got another bundle as well here that we want to preview before we go to demo. Uh, is the, look at these ones. Uh, they are tiny prints in here and I love that they are multi-directional. Uh, this one is the wonderful wide with backing as well. You're getting a two meter piece uh, by six or 160 centimeters or 63 inches. 21 pounds and 98 pence. Now, this we have got a different options this one is taylor i think this one is the coral yeah, or that's orange the because coral the navy option. the navy that's pink the is navy this one pink option that would so be the brick and the black yeah these are fantastic for um dressmaking as well because you've got that extra wide width most of your dressmaking patterns will um kind of give you measurements for a 54 inch width fabric this is giving you um an extra few centimeters on that so that means that when you sew your bits and pieces together you've got that little bit more wiggle room for cutting patterns and I don't know that many patterns that take much more than two meters for like a basic dress or top or skirt. What sort of uh, you're weight? Folding's terrible today. I hope you're not folding like this if you're today, moving house. Today, today, every single day, my <laughs> folding and my mats are terrible. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm I, shocking. I don't want to see the state when you've moved house if that's the folding. <laughs> I mean, I. You, you're gonna have but, a lot of ironing to do. You, I don't do irony. Neither do I. I, I mean, just get, clearly. I get, put things in the tumble dryer and then get them out when they're warm and flatten them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, anyway, we have this got... This is the only time I iron when I'm here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I only iron when, when I'm quilting or, or exactly. sewing. That's it. Uh, but here we have got um, the uh, Taylor navy pink. And then we are going to go for... Uh, we're going to show the teal... Right. Oh, the little spots. That's the bilby one. Okay. Um, and these oh. are super cute because they're not... Um, a dead circular spot and they're mm -hmm. not because a lot of polka dots you'll get that are kind of in a set yeah direction so you can see if you kind of sew off to the right or the left a little bit and you're not dead precise but these are a really good option in place of maybe a plane to just add a little bit of interest and break it up a little bit but without having to uh, worry too much about getting 100% accuracy. Uh, what sort of fabric is this? Is, is this it is all cotton as well. It's cotton, all quilting so cotton. quilting, quilting weight yeah. as well, yeah. And then of course we have got yellow with mango. I hear you can see it. Then we have got the same print, gold flame. Then we have got the bilby. Uh, that's uh, is this uh, mango? Oh, that has sold out. Okay, All right. we'll, we'll hide that one then. We'll hide it. <laughs> well, we'll put it here at the bottom. And that, oh, I like this. Yeah, this is the Mika or Mika, whichever way around you want to say it. Um, and these are just a, a quite nice small, it reminds me of kind of terrazzo style yeah. bits where you kind of chop off all the little bits and then put it together. Are you going to put it together with the one that's gone? Oh, yeah. Um, oh. Actually, that mango that, one might not be one. far off. Or this one. Oh, no, no, the other one I meant. That one. Oh, that's the flame, gold flame. flame. Yeah. And then, of course, finally, we have got, I think this is my favorite, the gray yellow. I mean, this is really nice. If you go for this two, you could go for this two. Well, and that one goes really well with one day special as well. So Ooh. you could put that with the gray option, yeah, you can see the black option, or the yellow option, Ooh. and it would go with all of them. 
really nice. I love this one. All right, £21.98 is your price. Uh, you're saving £8.037231 is your item number. Uh, you can see the. Um, That's not every single one. I would definitely head to the website because there's lots on the website. Perfect. Um, things like that. The flare pattern is very, very useful because it's, again, it's one of those where you don't have to cut it dead straight. You can get away with a little bit more wiggle room on this. And um, it's a really good one in use of, instead of a plane, it's got like a, almost like a stitched pattern, yep. almost like a hessian weave pattern Absolutely. over the top. So this one's a, a really good one to, to be able to use. And mm. remember, these are all two meters by 160 wide. So you've got um, a nice big chunk mm -hmm. of fabric to play with there. Absolutely. Fabulous. If you want to go for them, well, head to the website to see all the options that are available. £21.98. Remember that you have got these options there that you can choose, pick and choose. But uh, remember that saving that you have got in there, two meters by 63 inches or 1.6 meters. Uh, and it's, of course, the extra wide. Now, of course, we do have got we are going to head back to Haley for a demonstration shortly so please do check out your baskets if you want anything from the show so not miss out because sometimes you know what happens we get lost in demos and we miss out on things because we, they we sell get out. distracted don't we we do I, I, oh it's shiny <laughs> <laughs> who gets there exactly something nice something that's exactly shiny. what happens <laughs> oh, it's <Indeed>. <laughs> uh, okay so this well last night and this morning we did a, a couple of quick demonstrations about uh, working with the geometric fabrics. So I think sometimes geometrics can um, be a little bit scary because you need to spend a little bit more time with the, the prep of them. So what I've got here is I've got two bits, which I'll just see if I can pull forward onto this mat here. Um, and these are kind of half sewn together as just the same, exactly the same nine patch block. So this is the one where I've been very careful with my cutting and I've been very careful ma like kind of matching up all my lines. This one, I've cut uh, based on the fabric. So um, I've kind of gone for the most economical way to cut it out of the fabric. So what you can see is these ones kind of gradually run out a little bit. Yeah. And to get that kind of perfect, perfect look with the geometrics, you do need to pay a little bit more attention and right. cut based on the pattern on the fabric, not based on the weave of the fabric. And what you can find is sometimes, let me just shuffle these out of the way a little bit, and I'll get my ironing board up, because sometimes the um, weave on the fabric cannot match up with the pattern ah, on the fabric. So let me grab this corner here. Yep. There you go. And I'll grab one of these from the, um, so, oh, oh, oh. the pins nearly went there. Yep. <laughs> the pins nearly went. Um, so what you'll find is if I put, pop this on here and then I line it up, with uh, the top edge of that pattern along mm. there. That's all well and good. But then when I start coming down the side, can you see this one starts running off? Yes. Just a little bit, just to there. Yep. And you can see it kind of starts to, to slide off a little bit. So you can recover it to an extent, Okay. but you need to do this before you cut your pieces out. Yep. So you take a steam iron and just add a bit of steam on it to warm it up. And then at that point, you just want ah, to right. pull and stretch a little bit. Yeah. Because if I pop that back on now, can you see how now both this side, all of those line up with the yeah. edge of the template, and along the top, everything lines up with the template. See, so I, I, I would have it, never thought about that. That's let such it a cool good down idea. properly, yeah. then cut them out. Because what will happen is, if you cut your pieces out um, and they're not quite cool, then it has got a little bit of a chance to to shift back, but it's definitely worth um, just spending a little bit of time, if you're going to work with the geometrics, to get them cut out properly. Do you know what, I yep. might just use the five and a half square because uh, that's still got the white plastic cover on it. And I By think the you way, just I don't know, I might have tried to, to add see. those ones on the show, I'm not sure if they are. Yep. Can, you, can you see there now, that's, it's a bit easier to see that that's dead straight along yep. there and that's dead straight along Perfect. that side as well. So um, much, much easier if you just pop a bit of steam on. Now, I, w I will say that you will not get your um, pieces dead straight uh, because, in, in, in terms of the weave of the fabric, because if I just grab, get this out of the way, and then grab the two strips that I did, yeah. just to illustrate this point, when you cut them, because to get the fabric straight with the weave, the, the best way to do that is to, to tear it. But then when you're working with geometrics, like this, you can see, as I've torn this along here, 
yeah. the weave of the fabric is just slightly out and you can see that those little kind of crossover points so you can just start, start to see them appearing down here whereas we've got none of them here and you can see it's just traveling out a little bit so what I would do is rather than rip them or cut them with a, a rotary cutter I would actually be tempted to do these manually by hand okay. because you can see the difference that you yeah. get when you just spend a little bit more time prepping once you've done that you're away and it will sew together just as easily as any other project but it is definitely worth spending a little bit more time with your geometrics to get that proper cut Absolutely. because what will happen is just your end product will be look so much better because mm -hmm. you spent that little bit of time on it phenomenal that's great thank you for sharing us that Haley. those ideas are great and of course we do i think i believe we have got the silly uh, the craft yourself silly super squirrel uh, tool set which i was like this is good. Uh, £49.96 pounds you are the world price. You are saving £10. Pounds. I believe you, you can flexify it, of course you can, and you can see all the different sizes. Yes, yeah, so with this, what you're getting is, you. Uh, we, we kind of thought about this and thought, well, why haven't we just made squares? Yeah. Because it makes just so much sense. So what we've done is we've done um, one inch thick yeah. per specs, and we've done them, I've just stuck them, I've got this one stuck yeah. together and they are all stuck together so we've got the um, option to have them as a full set now they, when they do come to you uh, Steve will very kindly stick them together yeah so they you know stay nice and flat mm -hmm. in the post so that you just need to take that little bit of masking yeah. tape off and then what you've got is you have your um, four different sizes this one's upside down four different sizes in each of them and you can get your individuals or you can get them as a full set yeah. as well the, can so, i interrupt sorry yeah, if you come. want to go for the individual sizes left hand side of the screen 14 pounds and 99 pence that's the price but of course the 10 pound saving is when you go for the tools one which is all of them together for 49 pounds and 96 pence bottom of the screen for that one sorry Haley, okay that's no problem so what we've done is we've done um 10 inch, 8 inch, 6 inch, 4 inch. Mm. And then we've done the same, we've done um, 9735. Mm. And then on top of that, we've done the half inch sizes for all okay. of them as well. Because if you are working, say you're working with the, these ones here. So these ones were done with a 5 inch charm square size block. But then by the time you take quarter inch off either side and quarter inch off top and bottom, then you're down to a 4.5 inch block. But if you wanted to maybe work with your half inch triangle, um, half square triangles then you need to go up a size by a half an inch oh, because you're going to lose your seam allowances yep. so to make the ones for that I would take this five five and a half inch block right and then I would cut my pieces from here of and course. then when I half square triangle them oh, I've lost those half inch seam allowances bosh I'm back to my finished five inch oh. square size and then what you've got as well as that is you've got the ability to, to trim down if you're working in smaller blocks well up to ten and a half because that's the biggest one that we have within this particular collection that we've got once you've finished your blocks and um, you just go and grab a block from oh yeah. that's sticky I need to go over there and get a block can you do a number of Yes, something? of course I can do a number. Okay. Uh, if you want to go for the silly uh, super square tool, if you want to go for individual bundles, uh, you have got the details on the left-hand side of the screen. You can choose between the 2 and 0.5 uh, and 0.5, basically, or the super squares 9753, or then, of course, you have got the other sizes as there. If you want to go for the full bundle, you have got a £10 discount, so it's worth maybe considering that. Now, of course, we have got the, the uh, you can see there, the full bundle, the details, £49 and 96 pounds but you have got that 10 pound saving and the flexi buy option which means that you open a flexi basket which means that you can put the one day special as well and you can just pay half of it today and half of it next month interest free now if you want to go for the one day special well it's behind me behind me you have got the different options so we have got amazing beautiful white with fabrics now it's bundled into colors so you have got for instance the first option is the grays now it's a quilting, uh, quilting weight of uh, hand cotton, and you are getting five half meter pieces, but it's 63 inches wide. Not the 44 inches, not the 42 inches, but the 63 width uh, of fabrics. Now those five tonal variations of grey, they are all within the same family in the sense that they all mix and match, but also you can bring 
cool colors and uh, of course those warm tones as well that's the gray option uh, you can see that uh, then we're moving on to the blacks now they work together if you wanted to go for two one day specials or three or even four you can because they all blend beautifully you have got tiny kind of weave pattern printed into those leaves I uh, does those, those leaves are uh, kind of teardrop effects the paisley and of course you have got this floral kind of beautiful tiny print and then the geometric and of course remember that Haley's instructions on how to use geometrics was really it's worth re-watching that again that's your black option then of course we do have got the options for the yellow very good twill. Oh, it's you like that? Yeah, it was I, did. Off I really enjoyed that. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm just gonna do the twirls now. And that's all. You know, <laughs> that's all we are here for the twirls. Uh, now, of course, you have a yellow one day special option, uh, Byron. And like Haley was saying as well, that mustardy tone to it, it adds some depth and also a depth that kind of blends in with uh, also beautifully with the gray. I adore this pattern, very Japanese inspired. Also, I was thinking that this would make a lovely if you wanted to do a cushion and you wanted to add some beading in some uh, certain areas that would work very well that's the yellow version and then finally we have got the teal option here which is an absolutely a be a spanner of piece now of course because it has got that soft tones in here the, it works really well with the, uh, the mustard but also the grays and of course if you have got the pinks as well that they had sold out earlier then of course will mix and much 24 pounds and 48 pounds remember you are getting five half meter pieces but they are not your standard half meter pieces oh no they are bigger because they are extra width that 63 inches weight in width means that you get a lot more for in each of those half meters also of course you the one day special you have got that 13 pound savings so it's worth you know checking out your baskets right now one 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 788 eight is your item number but we also have got some tapestry fabrics that are behind favorite fa um, behind Haley <laughs> Well, I, you know, <laughs> in my just... mind, Haley and fabric are synonymous. <laughs> so that's what happens in my brain. So take it away, I'm Haley. Just one thing, am I? <laughs> am I just one thing? Fabric, fabric, and fabric Haley. and ducks. Okay. <laughs> so these are the tapestry fabrics. These are a bit heavier. Now I had did test these, and these uh, do feel like they're a cotton. All um, right. So uh, fantastic to be able to have a cotton weight in the tapestry. These are much heavier weight fabric great for your um, kind of more interior deco stuff okay. so your, yep. your cushions great for blinds because they are so heavyweight that you obviously you don't get much light penetration Absolutely. through them as well so and um, this one is your zigzag option yep. and then coordinating this one we've got zigzag patchwork which oh. is very very similar colors but that's yep. actually quite a difficult weave to do when you've got them going side to side here and then up and down in the next patch along so it's actually quite a difficult weave to do and because That's they are it. woven you can see that pattern coming through onto the back as yeah. well um, and so. the next one we've got I believe is Aztec oh, oh, oh that's good to see it and uh, who, who was it was it Haley saying about rugs last night I'm sure she was saying about possibility of making rugs out of these absolutely last night. I have got so very similar rugs at home what I would do with, to do that is um, a fabric freedom have had some non-slip backing oh, on yes, before yes, or I know, even a yes. hessian or something that's mm. going to give it a little bit of grip depending on what surface you're putting it on if it's going on a hard surface then I would definitely go for the non-slip yeah. if I was going on to a carpet then I'd probably go for the hessian just yeah. to give it a little bit of a, a something bit. to yeah. allow it to grip um, and then I would just bind the edges as simple as that just mm. um, maybe not as thin as a bias binding uh, you know kind of the one inch kind of bias bindings you can get I'd probably go a bit chunkier than that just so you've got a good coverage on either side mm -hmm. and we'll go through some kind of technical tips to working with this as well because it is different to working with the quilting cottons and there's a couple of bits it's worth remembering so that one's your Aztec this one is your uh, Peruvian tribal and then the next one I've got is the Harlequin and that's Matt Harlequin no Matt Harlequin and then we've got the chevrons ah that's the wrong way around it should be this way around. Oh, I like that. But that is the beauty of a woven fabric. If you, if you decide you oh, prefer that that's side, different. yeah, then there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't use that side if you wanted to. Mm. Then this one is the geometric stripe, and I'm sure this is the one that Neo, um, Naomi, dear me, Leonie's got 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, sure I'm very jealous. A show with this. Yes. And I'm sure she's got to tell. She's going to have another matching one now because I've got a spare one. Oh, <laughs> what? You know that, um, you know, we, we everything this, that Leone has, I have to have or vice versa. So, it's my favourite, yeah. favourite. Yeah, actually, yeah. Because mm -hmm. you could have it either way round. Yes. I think I think this one, you could absolutely have it whichever way round you want. You know uh, what so I would like it. to do with this one? To do like a, a lesser sure. kimono kimono oh it's brilliant for jackets and things yeah. because again it's got that weight so you're not needing to add things like interfacing to create the weight to line it if we bought two of them yes. would it be a continuous piece yes it will be well actually mm. it comes as a pick and mix so you can pick any three exactly that so matter. um you can uh, put you know however many in your basket and have it as a continuous piece and i do think that if you put two of them in your basket you'll get like a three meter piece if you want to do it that way oh so okay. you know, yeah. if you get two and you put three Half no, no, it's two. Each. It's pick and make of two. Oh, is it two? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was three. Sorry. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> and I say two. Uh, it's just two. Uh, so it's two. So this is your vintage one. So it's got the cars, the motorbikes, the petrol pumps yeah. and things on there. Perfect. And then you've got two lots of owls. Oh, have yeah. I missed one? Oh, I've missed Inca. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah, <gasps> that's really cool. So that's kind of quite a classic kind of tapestry yeah. look, that one. And I quite like the back of this one as well. Ah, oh, I see. I think yeah. it adds just a completely different look to it with more it of those does, pink tones coming through. It does. Um, and then back to my owls. Okay, so these ones are the perching owls because they're on the yeah. little twigs. Absolutely, yeah. We and then the last that. one is, um, is terrible puns. I did not create this name. Uh, okay. Owl over the place. Ah, all over the place. Is that for it, what it says? Yeah. Mm. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. They had all those eyes looking at you. I know. It's a bit spooky, isn't it? It is. They yeah, are, oh, absolutely. Yeah. But yes, absolutely. If you went for a full meter of these, then, you know, jackets yeah. and things, especially the ones like these where you can kind of have it without having a lining and just yeah. do a single kind of um, uh, skin of a jacket, then absolutely, they're nice weight. So cardigans, that kind of thing, you could absolutely dress make for them if you wanted to, but it needs to be those projects that need that slightly heavier weight fabric. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, three six six zero three four. If you are thinking of rechallenge, change it, rechanging your living room, this could be the fabric for you. Twelve pounds and ninety five pence for that pick a mix of two fabrics, which is a really affordable price. Yeah, for well, that. a meter of yeah. that should do um, about six dining chairs. Just the seats, you know, like the seat pads of just dining chairs. You should be able to get about six. Okay. Are you hungry, right. Paula? I am very hungry. I don't know how that's wrong. Yeah, I do something. Yeah, if you hear some like a plane, is my stomach rumbling for food. <laughs> right, uh, then you have got a uh, pick and mix. This is pick this and mix. This is three. a free pick yeah. and mix. Oh, I knew one of them was. Yeah. So, um, there was one. That was pick and mix. <laughs> this one is the floral garden option. And you've got four. I'm trying to pull them out as kind of collections because you get sets of four uh, or sets of three. And I've tried to kind of pick them all together. So um, we can look at all the ones with the same pattern. So this one is your pink lilac. And yeah. then you've got white lilac. So you're looking at the background colour first. That's the kind of first element of it. And brick teal, but we will say that's more of a b turquoise blue than a teal okay. in this one. Yeah. And then sky pink on this last option here. And that's a floral garden. Yep. And the next one is why so sheepish. Oh, why so sheepish. A uh, pink or lilac options? And there we have got the pink on. The, it's more of a corally pink. Or it's like a dusky pink. It's got a yeah. kind of a bit of a grey yeah. tone to it. So, um, yeah. yeah, really, really nice. And I think fantastic, again, in that extra wide width. These are all a poplin weight fabric. So mm. these are great for things like your kind of lighter weight pajamas you could make out of these. You could do shirts out of these. Uh, all perfect for, for those kind of things. Absolutely. More floaty dressmaking things. Or you still could absolutely quilt with them if you wanted to. Uh -huh. And then we so have got the floral animals. You have, so that's these three here. Yeah. Four. That was a <gasps> lie. Oh, I like that. So you've got um, so the grey option. Yeah. And the next to that, we've got the sky. Because there's two different blues in here. So the lighter one is mm. your sky. Yeah. Then you've got your chambray, which is more like a kind of denim y colour yeah, at the back of there. And then the last one is the cream one. Okay. Uh, now, can we see it? Look at the uh, animals because yes, uh, the more you look, the, the kind of more you see. I'm going to pick. I'm going to do it on the light blue one, I think. Yeah, I like I that think one. So. I like that one. <gasps> so, <laughs> you've got uh, foxes in there. You've got mice in there. You've got hares and rabbits. You've got badgers, 
uh, did I say foxes already? Yeah. Don't know. Uh, you've got owls. Is there a, a, the more you kind of look, the more you yeah. see in there. And I think brilliant for English paper piecing this one because you could kind of fussy cut those into individual elements if you wished. Indeed, you can. I love the badgers and the owl in there as well. Right. Yeah, of course, uh, these ones are some of the options. Remember, yes, there is more, more options. options. And then we have final three options, which are the bicycles. So on here we've got the blue option, the dusky pink, and the. Uh, I would say there's an like off whitey cream that one Aww. but I think we've got it down as off white that is lovely now of course 19 pounds and 97 pence is a price you are saving 25 it is an amazing saving 937512 is the item number remember you choose whichever three are your favorite and it could be three of the same one if you wanted to this one is 58.5 wide so it's still a little bit wider than regular uh, cotton but of course you have got the poplin weight to it which is a it's just nice and lightweight as well uh, you are getting a meter of them. Now, we are going to head back to Haley because, as of course, she has got plenty of demos to show us and inspire us. So, so Haley, very quickly, um, we were still working on the super square template, and this is one of the 10 inch options. And this is brilliant for kind of once you've finished your block and you just want to do that little bit of trimming down to finish it off, then you can line up your block so it's absolutely kind of perfect. That one probably needs to go that way just a smidge and there and then you'll be able to cut that off but each of these um blocks because you're getting kind of four templates in each of them so you're getting your 10 inch with uh, eight six and four and then you can get the same with an extra half an inch on all of those even numbers and then you get your nine seven five and three and then you get your extra half inch on all of the other ones so you've got full sets but what you get with them which we put in as a little bonus tool now i've left the perspex um covering on these and that's just so you can see them against the the mats and things because when they're clear uh, yes, against you just can't see anything yeah but what I, one good top tip that i will give you is when you peel off the plastic i tend to leave my plastic if i just pop that over there i tend to leave my plastic on my number yeah that makes because then sense. i can see it a Absolutely. lot more clearly or go back over it with a permanent marker Indeed. because what will happen is the permanent marker will go into uh, where we've etched it and it will kind of keep the the yeah. colour on it yeah. so you can see which one's which. It makes um, so much sense. But what we did put with these as kind of bonus tools is mm. we put you a, quil a quilter's quarter yeah. so that will add your kind of quarter inch strip onto the edges of all your pieces. We did a three eighths inch one okay. and now that's really handy if you're doing half square triangles and you're just cutting. If you're just cutting the quarter inch and then you try and run it through your machine what you're going to find is you will um, inevitably snag it up on the corner. But if you um, try it with a 3 8 inch, it's just that little bit bigger and you're going to struggle less. So, I mean, lots of people could do them together and then cut them apart. But if you're having to do them as two individuals, then that's a, a really good size for that. You've got your half inch. Now, again, half inch if you're doing half square triangles and you're doing the two pieces of fabric back to back together like that then you can draw your center line and then use that to get your quarter inch either side as your guide and then your five eighths inch this is the one we're going to use with the um, tapestry fabrics because okay. I would recommend you use a bit of a chunkier seam allowance with these and five eighths is standard for dressmaking so we've put each of those with and um, they come with an individual template so if you're buying them on their own you'll get one of those four Apart from the 10 inch goes with the quarter, I've mixed them up and I don't know which one goes with which. Oh. But <laughs> you do get one of them with each of them if you go for them individually. But if you do go for them as a bundle, you get all of them anyway, so you don't need to worry about that. So this is one we were working on last night. Um, and this is the geometric tribal. Uh, I think uh, we are kind of double checking. I don't uh, know. So um, what we did was we put the um, little buttonhole in, yeah, and a button because this was going to be the back yeah. of the um, cushion. But we thought it was actually quite nice. We I might like it to be lovely. the front. Yeah, it's geometric stripes. Geometric you want this stripes. option. Yeah. So what we did was we laid everything out. I'm going to flip it inside out because then I can th think you can see a lot more of the workings, and then we'll go through kind of uh, a couple of tips on how to work with this. So, um, 
first thing that you need to do when you're working with this type of fabric is once you've cut your sizes, I would advise that you immediately use either a blanket stitch or a, a three-stage zigzag. Um, and that will help you to secure your edges of your fabrics. Because on, on here you can see I've got little kind of blue stitching all the way mm -hmm. around all of these and that's holding everything in place. So that edge is really solid now and it means I don't have to put the double rolled hem on it because obviously this is quite a chunky fabric and if I add a double rolled hem to that it's going to be quite bulky. Yeah. So uh, because it's behind and you're not going to see mm -hmm. it, I've just done that little. Um, it's almost like as if you've got a, an overlocker and you're yeah. just doing that kind of overcast, mm. over edge stitch on the edge. And um, there's another way that you can finish things off. So that's one of your options. You could, of course, bind it. So you could use just a piece of uh, binding on there yeah. if you wanted to. And again, that's going to reduce your bulk. If you are going to bind it, I would probably do it with a, something thinner, like yeah. a cotton or something like that, just to secure that edge. But what we did on the other side right. was we used uh, the fact that the fabric does fray to kind of create an effect in its own right, which is what that fringed effect is, which I know um, everybody has commented on that they actually quite like. So yeah, what we'll do fun, yeah. <laughs> is we'll do a little bit more on kind of how to create that effect again if, in case you missed it last right. night. Yep. So let me get my bits that I've got left over. So these are the two bits that I've got left over from making the original cushion. So I'm going to get rid of this out of the way so we can see what we're doing. By the way, and we are very busy on the phone uh, lines. If you want to give us, uh, you know, if, if you're getting the access to the internet, uh, that would be the fastest and easiest way to order. Uh, there are two minute queues. We will get to you as soon as we can, but we are busy. So to add the fringing, uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is, obviously, it's just, there's bits starting to come off here as it is. And this line originally was, was nice and straight. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. But what I am going to do is, because I only want my fringing to be kind of so wide, yeah. I'm just going to run a, a line of stitching in between these two pieces here. Because what I want it to do is I want it to, I don't want it to keep fraying. I need it to stop. Yeah. So I'm just going to quickly run a, a line of okay. stitching in between there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to take it quite slow because I don't really want to catch either of those okay. lighter coloured pieces either side. Yeah. And um, what I would recommend you do is just make sure you've got a, a quite a small stitch length because this is quite a wide weave fabric. You want to kind of secure as many of those uh, warp threads as you can. So smaller stitch length which I've done halfway through, but that's fine. Uh, See, now it's going to take a lot longer because it's securing a lot more of those uh, warp threads. And actually, when we pull them off, you'll be able to see the, the difference and the benefit that you get from that. This is going to take me a second or two, Paula, because it's okay. going as fast as Do you want me to can. give numbers then? Yeah. I'll give numbers. And now, if you the woven a tapestry, the details were there in the screen, but let's have a look at the uh, five meter sheet sheeting here because it is phenomenal. You have got four different options. And why it's phenomenal is because it's a poly cotton mix that may, that you have it at an amazingly, incredibly price, uh, low price, 19 pounds and 99 pence. You are saving five pounds, five meters by 2.44 four centimeter uh, meters. That is a phenomenally large uh, piece of uh, fabric. The perfect backing of quilts. The perfect. Also, I'm going to say it. If you want to make a nice, you know, cheap you know, affordable bedding for your home and you just don't want to spend too much time, but you want to have the duvet covers, you want to have the front with beautiful patchwork, but the, insi the inside you want it something that is soft, but it's going to be reliable and durable. This is it. This is poly sheeting. This is why it has got, you know, it's used for sheeting as well. Also, it's easy, ar like, it's easy iron. It doesn't, it doesn't crease as much as 100% cotton. You still have got the breathability, the breathability of a cotton, but of course you have got the strength by having the fibers intertwined and woven, not as two fibers interwoven, but woven into a fiber, if it, if, if it makes any sense. You have got the right option, of course, very drawn to that one. I'm sorry about the folding. Uh, then we have got the black one. Uh, you can see, I mean, if I open it, shall I open this one? Uh, now I'm going to open a black hole into TV and you can see it. I mean, that's going to be disappearing everything. Oof. Also, I've got to say, it's so big. It's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> I'm like, oh. 
equivalent to just over 10 meters, you know, if you I've... went and got a bolt of fabric. Yeah. That's a fair weight in that. It's <laughs> just legs poking out the bottom. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, shall I go? Yeah, shall I go? Let's, oh, I could yeah, this up here and, and get a new outfit or a new accent. That's what I would like. Anyway, uh, you're going to man manage and magic a new accent. Under accent, the yeah. What's wrong with yours? Oh, well, it's a, it's a bit weird. But, but, uh, anyway, <laughs> so you're it's imagine, exotic. It's a bomb. exotic. That's what it is. Tiny bit. Anyway, so you, <laughs> when I show you this, this is actually, you are getting like eight slots eight layers this is folded into eight so imagine that oh, it's so heavy because there's so much fabric in there imagine well 10 meter uh, uh it would be the equivalent of 10 meter piece uh right of course you have got the black the red the, uh, the white and the iron i uh, the iron the ivory uh my folding skills up they have been just being criticized by a floor manager but i'm um, to apologize you know <laughs> yeah, everybody says that, but you know, ninety pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. Uh, you're, sa uh, you're saving five pounds. Three four six eight three six is your item number. Yeah, well, there are certain things that you should never show that you can do well, so you are not asked to do. Like washing up. <laughs> like or iron, <laughs> you know, or doing, you know, that, that's that's yeah. the thing. Okay. Anyway, uh, right. So we're so, back to you. What we've done, or well, what I've done, is I've just sewn. You can hardly see it because that the although I've stitched it in blue, I've stitched it in between each of these lines. So that means that when we start to take the pieces out to create the fraying effect, then um, you won't see them because it's hidden in between those lines. I'm just trying to see where these bits are coming from. Oh, it's just me stitching oh, random bits of thread to the back. I was wondering why they weren't coming out. Let me just get rid of them. Yeah, problem solved. All right. So when you are pulling these out, if you start at one end, yes, and pull kind of in like at a, a 45 degree right, yes. angle, because then they'll come out really, really easily. If you get them and you start kind of trying to yank them back on themselves. So if you've got one okay. at a time, you'll be fine. But if you've got a little bunch, you get a little yeah. bunch of these so we can do a few at a time. Yeah. Let's get the white ones in as well. There we go. See, now, if I'm trying to pull these back on each yeah. other, because I've got quite a few, it's going to get stuck. But if I take them at that kind of 33 ah, yeah. degree angle, you'll see they'll actually pull out really nicely. So I'm going to do that on both sides, and I'm going to come up to that middle stripe on there and then it won't go any mm. further because I've already secured it with those couple of little rows of stitching. Excellent. So you just pull all these out. And you can see I've got a few uh, more still right. on the back because yeah. because of the way it works there's always got to be it's like two layers of fabric uh, yes. kind of woven together because you've got what's on the back which is all of these cream threads and then you've yeah. got what's on the front which is mainly the black threads yeah. and so you've got to you've got to take a little bit of time and when you're pulling these out and just get them all out because if you pull from the middle I find uh, it's I don't find it's the easiest because yes if you've got a good grip on them you can probably get them to go but they tend to to pull and stick a little bit but that 30 degree angle is uh, 30, 30 to 45 is perfect for getting yeah. those out. So now I will repeat that on the top half, and then you could add this on. Maybe you were using a, a calico or a heavy canvas, or even this one actually, which is the jacquard. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful, this one. Uh, we do have it on the show, so we details are And I think up for it's, it's quite understated because um, jacquard fabrics can sometimes be quite over the top and, and flamboyant. But this one, it's got that kind of nice, kind of traditional swirly leaf flower pattern. But you've got, um, it's all, both kind of calico-y colours. So you've got the kind of really soft seeded calico. And then because you've got these slightly shinier threads running in the other direction, you get two completely different looks from it, but quite understated with this absolutely. one. I think this is an absolutely beautiful fabric. Yeah. And um, you're getting twice what you can see here. I've got half a metre of it. You're actually getting a whole metre of it. And again, and it's 58 uh, inches wide. It is. And that usual price is cheap yeah. for this fabric. So with the extra saving on, even better. Uh, even did. Uh, 12 pounds and 99 pence for a metre by 58 uh, inches wide. Uh, 976400 is the item number. We have got about five minutes left, Hayley. Have we got any happy hours on this one, do you know? Ooh, I don't know. Because I didn't, I, I'm, I thought we had one or two. Ooh. Oh, we have oh. forgot the cotton blunders. Okay, but... just because I know we'd run, because 
because oh. we because we'd run out of um, a couple of options in the one-day special, I know they were kind of quite frantically chasing around yeah. to get us a few uh, happy hours in. I believe they have, uh, yeah, they have added one a happy hour, so there it is. Uh, and so we have got it, but it's actually a pick and mix of model effect quilting cotton, and you can pick and choose any three half so meter fabrics you are going to receive. These model effect ones are great as an alternative to a plain. So if you're struggling to get a really good match on a plain fabric, using something like these model blenders is a really nice option because it takes the pressure off being able to um, you know add those and I'm sorry we've only mentioned them like 10 minutes before the end yeah um, but um, <laughs> they are a real good bargain so it's definitely they worth having a look at some of those oh look at those beautiful reds oh, my. oh if, the also beautiful if you're indigo. Quilting, actually I've got oh no that's the I've got the watercolor one I was oh. say, I've got the watercolor one with me here not the modeled effect one because well, we we you did you did the street with us didn't you You moved into our street oh yes of course i'm scott. number 19 i think i was wasn't okay I? yes yeah, you 19. moved in with uh, with the scott and um, yes i was people, the one of the people scott I, I think i was like third <laughs> third person to move in i think you were yeah. you were quite you were quite quick in there oh, so I was. Um, what we, this is actually one of the bottled blenders or the oh, i think it's the watercolor blender that's here and we we made him be a nosy neighbor so oh, you that's <laughs> Scott. That's so it's good. Pee -pee Scott. Oh, that's a little bit. Yeah. You know, I'm not sure. Fiona's in today, so we need to tell her about about <laughs> Scott. Kind of, yeah. um. But anyway, that's very similar to the model blenders that are on the Happy Hour. So that's, that was why we were showing that. And um, but. This is a really nice option. So if you've got little bits left of the tapestry fabric, by fraying those edges, obviously they're secured because I've stitched into them, so they're not going to, once they've hit that stitching, yep. they're not going to fray any further. So that's fine and that's all good. Mm -hmm. But you can create things like little borders or edges to go Absolutely. onto other projects. Mm -hmm. So that may be just on the back of a cushion using a, a calico or something like that. Then you've got that really nice, soft, frayed edge to it as well. Indeed. Now, and of course, it is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you, Hayley, for showing us uh, those, all these ideas. And now, with the one-day special today is, of course, the uh, uh, one-day special from Fabric Freedom. Those beautiful, wonderful, wide uh, width of fabrics bundles. We have got five meter five pieces of, of half meter but it's not just a traditional half meter uh, it is of course extra wide so it means that you are getting much more actual fabric in each of those colors think about this in terms of your 45 inch width which is yeah. what we've been talking about so your 45 inch width is about two-thirds of that fabric so yeah. essentially if you bought your 45 inch width fabric you're getting 50 percent extra Absolutely. free yeah. Absolutely, that's a very good way of putting uh, putting it. And right, remember that you are getting five uh, beautiful fabrics. Now, this one is the great option, incredibly uh, beautiful and sophisticated. And of course, it can blend in with different colors as well. Then we have got the black option. Now, I love how you are in whatever option you're going, you're getting geometrics, you're getting tiny prints, you are getting uh, that kind of weave pattern remember, into it. remember, with that extra width on yeah. it, um, even if you're just going to use these as maybe borders or edgings or sashings, you've got that extra 50%. So that's 50% less joining. Absolutely. 50% <laughs> less, you know, uh, well, having to I mean, there was a very talented um, a demonstrator, so is, that did actually the cover for a quilt, a uh, king size quilt, in one hour <laughs> using the extra wide ones. So you could do that. That's, that's the extra nature of it, the extra wide. And by the way, of course, her name was Haley and her surname was Smith. And it was Paula's fault. <laughs> it was totally my fault. And you you almost cursed me on life on air. So let's just say, why are you going? Well, anyway. Sometimes when, when we've run out of the, sometimes we sell the fabrics that we have demos for and we have to go right okay uh, what would you like me to make Paula and she was like do cover and you're like <laughs> and you did and I hailey did it so and it's on your bed yeah I, did. I have it I ha it's on my bed well it's not my bed in my guest bed because it looks nicer there okay that's fine right Play and off. of course we have got uh, the yellows as well the option and then I'm gonna do the, the oh that was nice I liked it there's oh. a hop with that one. <laughs> 
I should have done the, the, the robot. They're getting more elaborate as we go yeah. along. <laughs> like oh, it. I have got a full plan for the next you? time. Well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to bring dancers and everything. Oh, backing dancers. <laughs> Joking. And of course, then You're we have got the teal option as well. Of course, we have got a teal option here. Now, we have got all these four options because two of them already sell out. Please do check out your baskets because they are amazing, beautiful fabrics and so useful. Don't forget the happy hour. That price will go up at the end of the hour. So why not check out your baskets? Haley, a pleasure and a fun hour Thank as you, always. Thank you, Mrs. Paula. See you later. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> I do check out your baskets and stay tuned here at Her Chanda for more inspiration after. craft a big safe continuous uh, then color me happy sentiment sounds with our fellow and leone and then quilters trading post big safe hi i'm emma and i'm pam and we're from quilters trading post We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom Members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today. I am Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a Chandu because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a Chandu. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda.
Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hello and a very good afternoon to you. This is officially afternoon. Uh, I'm here with two fabulous ladies from Cool Cats Crafts. We've got the gorgeous Maggie to my right and I'm flanked Hello. on the left there <laughs> at a safe distance by the lovely Kay. Uh, there she is. I'm going to get a wave in. Can, can we see her? Oh, she's a voice from beyond. She's standing at a distance. There we go. She's going to bob off. And um, <laughs> because we don't like her, uh, but she is going to bob off because uh, Kay's going to do a different demonstration with a happy hour deal. Yes. Yes. And what's it called again? The Wizzy? It's called the Dinky Whiz. The Dinky Whiz. The so Dinky Whiz. Head. It can accommodate all of your uh, little ink pads, uh, teardrop pads, eye zinc, oh, you name it. All, just all the little mini ones there. So Kay's going to be assembling that for us later in the show. But that's a happy hour deal. £19.99 just for this hour until 2 o'clock. So do shop ahead. 412-223. So you can join in the assembly of that and... Uh, watch closely what needs to be done when Kay comes to us. But I've got the lovely Maggie in the meantime. Well, you didn't leave me much, did you? Sell out success this morning. It was a bit crazy this it was morning. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Well, it is always crazy because yeah. your, your products are so fantastic. But we Thank still you. have some gorgeous goodies do. for we you, do. don't we? So let's talk about this first bundle uh, for making our gorgeous journals. So what are we getting in this pack then, our Maggie? Okay, right. So you've seen the MDF journal covers before with the spine. Yeah. They come with hinge tape. They come with, you'll get an assortment of colours of elastic cords so you can make your holders to hold your um, signature pages in place but within the kit you also get 10 sheets of pre-scored watercolour card Ooh. you get 10 sheets of cartridge paper and then you get five sheets of an American A4 size Duralar mat, which is an absolutely fantastic substrate yeah. to work on. Which is this, which I've not, I've not seen before. Yeah, it, it feels it's really lovely as well, doesn't it? It's isn't really it? Yeah. tactile. Can't wait to see um, this in action. So you can put all sorts of mediums onto there. And that rose one that you're looking there, Kay, yeah. stamped on the front, but then she's also stamped on the back. And it's so it's come through, it looks like it's there. So there's no need to cut masks out for stamping your pictures. No need wow. to use a mirror in, and image that's stamp. pencils, Kay said. Kay's coming yeah. back with pencils. Pencils. So. Kind yeah. Of, you know, really beautiful colour. effect. It's beautiful. But we're also getting another fantastic and then you're medium. We're also getting five 12 by 12 sheets of the opaque white craft plastic. Wow. Now, if you love using your alcohol inks, gosh, this is a perfect medium for it. It's quite a are slightly thicker than some of the other products that are available. And in our opinion, we think this is probably the best best one we've found to Look work at that. with. That's using, Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So Kay's going to be demonstrating some of these techniques. So no pressure, Kay. No, I know. <laughs> I just think that's but this is such a, stunning. It's such a lovely little kit because if you're just starting out and you think, I really want to try, I've heard of Dural Art, I've heard of opa Opaque Craft Plastic, yeah. but I don't want to, you know, some of them are quite expensive, aren't yeah. they? And you don't want yeah. to put, put out, say, 30 sheets and you try two or three and you think, oh, that's not my cup of tea. Yeah. This way you get a chance to try everything out. And it's also, I know it's a bit too late now, but it's a perfect <laughs> little gift for somebody. So I'm <laughs> getting cartridge card, as you said in there, and also a watercolour yes. card. Yeah. So a lovely mix of mediums. A real mix. Yeah. Mix, so mix of substrates, which means you can virtually, I would think there's probably any medium you've got in your house, in your craft stash, you should be able to use on one of those. And probably... It will probably encourage you to try different things because you think, oh, I wonder if it will hold yeah. this. Try this. So yeah. it's a perfect thing to really get experimenting with. Fabulous. And I love the elastic binding that you get as well. And yeah. you do get that hinge tape as well. Yes. So it's super, super strong as well um, because that allows you to take out insert different it pages, does. doesn't it? It does. And there's um, an assembly video on our YouTube channel. Great. Yep. So that will show you how to put it all together as well. Fantastic. So. Great value pack, that one. We're going to see a lot of those mediums in action as well. Oh, and that's just a card with the um with the plastic uh, uh, as well there so it stamps beautifully doesn't it yeah. feels gorgeous it, it's so tactile gorgeous, isn't yeah it? What a great price point as well, £16.99. You can see with the cards as well, or artworks, uh, beautiful to use them if you don't want to use them within all of the journal. 
01484018. Don't forget as well, anything you're buying today will uh, allow you to acquire the £5 Christmas credit to spend on any order tomorrow over £30. And that's going to run every single day until the 22nd of December. You can't roll over your £5 credits, but you can apply for one every single day. OK, now we have another journal making kit, the grey board, as it were. And this can make three different sizes of journal, yes, can't it? Yes, it can. So this is your traditional album cover and spine sets. So you've got an 8x8, 8x7 and 9x8.5. So the album that you're holding there, Fiona, is yeah. an 8x8 cover size with yeah. the spine. So spine that's what there. you'll get, the grey board to make that up. Those three pieces and, there. And um, you've got a choice of other ones as well. Beautiful. I don't know if anybody's quick enough to get those lovely dyes. I don't know if we've got any left. Did, was was any they, they did go a bit quick Did they? Did they, there those lovely dyes? There might be a couple left. left. I'm not sure. Those lovely scalloped edge dyes. Have yeah. a look Victorian on. whiskers, I think it was. I think there's, one, I think there's have... one left. It's almost like, oh, yeah. this is almost like, look, look what you could have had. I think there's one left. Next person to get those lovely scalloped edge dyes there, bottom of the screen. Literally, we weren't going to spend too long because I think there's one left, but uh, they're beautiful for your journals as well. So we can make the 8x8, eight eight, there's 8x7, and 9x8.5. And and beautiful. So that's your outer cover, so outer then covers. obviously you need to make your pages to fit inside that. Fantastic. Limpans 99 889 949. Now, something when you are making your journals mm -hmm. is your archetype. Now, when we've had this on with Maggie and Kay before, seriously, it's on, it's gone. And already we've had two sellouts as well. But this time we're getting two different sizes. Now, what's the yeah, purpose behind this? You're getting two this? different sizes. You're getting, we've started doing it with our album kits now. You're getting a 30 millimeter width, which is designed to go around the edges of the covers yeah. and the edge of the spines. Yeah. And then you're getting a 50 millimeter width, which is designed to work for your actual hinges between your cover and your spine. Gotcha. So it gives you a bit more flexibility. We noticed ah. in the days when we were able to do workshops and things, we noticed that, that was, it was easier to teach people because I had a bit more give to play with. So that's what we've started doing routinely. So in this kit, you get a choice of dark blue, dark red, dark green, no, dark, you've got dark green, haven't you? I think yes, got, yes, fuchsia, they're dark green. Fuchsia, pearl grey, pearl grey, white, white, and dark red. And dark red. You can. Um, it's self adhesive. It's acid free self adhesive. It's cloth. Yeah. Book binding tape, so it won't tear. It won't rip. You can emboss it. You can heat emboss it. Oh wow! You can colour it with alcohol markers. I'll just stick um, it down again. What else just... can you do with it? It just um, peels off the back there. It's, yeah, perfect, it's perfect for home decor projects as well, um, yeah. and we love it. Yeah, that's it I mean, gives such a professional finish. I though. can't believe you can do all those things with it, Maggie. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't yeah. it? Or you can die cut Very, it as well. I knew wow. I'd forgotten something. Yeah, you can Gosh, die cut it as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, sorry, the black sold out, but I was just to show you the, the sort of the appealing nature and the ease of which you know you can adhere that to your projects. Nine ninety nine. So you are getting the thirty and the fifty. The dark green is three quarters of the stock gone. I, I love and that. There should though. be enough there to do two two albums. Two album albums. Covers. Fantastic. Yeah. So we get our yeah. album making kit there with our, our you've got outside your of our. You should be able yeah. to do two of them. Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. Nine one three nine seven zero. Nice to see those different colours because often we don't yeah, have that really choice. Yeah, it's really nice to have a little pop of colour. The yeah. fuchsia. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get that in the future. Oh, I love the fuchsia. That's my favourite. Um, and it's one of our favourites, yeah. but we may not be able to get that. Oh well, so, let's grab that fuchsia while we can. Uh, Definitely. It's just such a... And against black. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. It really that is. pops. Yeah, it? really yeah. pops. Now, I know this morning uh, you were talking about the, the, the lovely uh, shrink uh, mat. Well, do we call it? What do we call it? The yeah, it's, it's shrink, shrink film. Shrink film. Shil shrink and film. This is a matte version, so you can colour with crayons, all sorts of things. Again, Kay's the maestro with this. She did fabulous demonstrations this morning. Uh, this is perfect for adding different embellishments to your projects. As you look at the B there that's cut out initially, yeah, and you think, oh, that's too far too big to stick on a card. So then you stamp the B onto that, and then you colour it and shrink it down, and yeah. now you've got the perfect size B for your project. I know, whether it's a little brooch, whether it's a little yeah. embellishment, yeah. Um, with but, a key ring, yeah. oh, what fun. But the mat is really nice because it's yeah. really lovely to put, put your mediums onto, get really lovely effect. It's not too, obviously because it's matte, it's not too shiny yeah. in your face. But you could then go in if you wanted to, put glossy accents on top, Ooh, things after. like that. So, so would you say stamp and colour first? Stamp and colour first. And, then and your colour is always a bit more, once it's heated up, yeah. your colour will always be a bit more intense. Right. And then heat it. Kay did a fab demonstration this morning showing how to make a ruler. So Ooh, you know how yeah. to cut your shrink plastic accordingly how much it's going to shrink down to i've got these gold ones but just um, to show you so that's it shrunk down that's it in the I'll hold it the right way up fiona there we go so that is the how it started the 15 inch ruler 
Well, f sorry, 15 cent. Well, how many centimetres we've got on there, Fiona? Stop making it up. Uh, uh, 18, is it roughly? Is that right, Kate? No, 20? That would be more than 19. 20. 20 centimetres at least. 20 21. Uh, and then down to the, and then that's how much it shrinks down to. So that gives you that gives you a sense that of proportion and proportion size and ratio. As much as you can with them yeah. shrink. That's and a great idea. recommends um, for really fine detailed die cuts, you cook it in the oven. Oh. So um you, it doesn't um, curl up as much with the ferocity of a heat gun, yeah. so you have a bit more control that way. Fantastic. And but it keeps she's done some detail. amazing demos. Again, on our YouTube channel, she's done this morning on the show. So there's lots of information there for you. And what's the what's the name of the YouTube channel? In case anybody cool doesn't know. Cats Craft. And it's got fabulous music at the beginning that Has everybody it? loves. Ah, <laughs> fantastic. Don't, don't go dashing to watch it now. You need to watch don't the watch show. It later. Just so you know. <laughs> fantastic. So you get 24 sheets there of that lovely matte shrink film. 70% has gone 12 99 I'm not surprised. A lot of fun can be had with that. A lot of fun because yeah. also it's not just for you. Think about your children, your grandchildren. Yes. This is something you can really have fun together. With. Yes, and just imagine they cut the out a big, they cut out a shape, colour it Dying in, it's it big, whatever, yeah. pop it in the oven, and when it's it like, comes out, it's like, <gasps> oh, it's like you're in Lilliput. Yeah, everything yeah. shrinks. Magic. Fantastic. Yeah. I love yeah. it. One eight three five seven one proven very popular. As is our next set of shrink film as well. Now these are in our three colours. We're getting eight sheets of each. Yes, you are. And again, it's the same principle. It's our shrink film. It comes from graphics, so it's really top quality. This is um, beautiful. And you get gold, you get silver, and you get the black. Lovely. And this is beautiful for really stunning effects. <gasps> I can't believe really, that. Really, really. And you can see the difference in the sizes. Yeah. Kay will have, I think Kay probably cooked that one in the oven, did you? Yeah. Because that's a more and delicate one. Yeah, but the density of it, it yeah. how stronger it is once it shrinks. Yeah. yeah. yeah it will still, they are, it is still quite, obviously, once it's shrunk. Oh, yeah. It's plastic, so yes, you need of course. to be careful. Yeah. But, um, so there'll be a brittleness there, yes. but at the same yeah. time. It's just the thickness and what have you. Isn't that amazing? So again, there's a sense of proportion. Yeah. The elegance is beautiful, isn't it? And it's very different. It's striking. It's a raised 3D element for your projects. It just adds a different um, different finish. It really does. Absolutely gorgeous. £12.99. You're getting all... We're getting all of those. Oh, gosh, I thought it was just an eight. Uh, no, you're getting all 24. What a bargain. 020942, 12 Half the stock's gone. Please, I've not seen that in the different colours before, so that that's really pleases me. Now, we have got some memory boxes, and we can make two, can't we? You can, yeah. Um, our memory boxes Oops. have been so popular with everybody that um, what we've done is combined both of them together. So you've got our original memory box. With the drawer. Which is, oh, that's the one with the drawer. That's the one with the drawer. Yeah. Oh, sorry, this is and the one And that will hold, the top compartment will hold an album with the cover size of about eight by oh. seven and a half. Oh, okay. oh Fiona. Don't worry, I'm so tall. sorry, darling. No, it's my fault. I should have told you the lid lifts up. I have seen this before, so I don't know why you I'm have. being such a, such a donkey. Sorry, uh, everybody. It fun. lifts off. So, so I remember the lid, we did... The lid lifts off. <laughs> we did okay. all these lovely papers, didn't we, in the cardstock? Yes, we did. I'm so yeah. sorry, everybody. It was a lovely Chow Bella collection. There we go. And then the drawer opens out, so you and can put lots in there. That's right. And, and then, then we've got the, the original. box underneath. This one is a little bit battered because it has travelled quite a lot. So this is our original memory box, <laughs> yes. which is 10 by 10, depth is 4 inches. Yeah. And Kay's decorated it with lovely moulds. Beautiful. Pretty papers inside. Love the button underneath. on the top as well. So, Gorgeous. Yeah. So they're, they're both there. So they're... They're really easy to put together. Again, we've got Lovely. assembly tutorials for you. Um, top quality. It's Medi MDF, which is the only MDF that we use. So it's low oh, amount right. of hide, sourced Gosh. in the UK. All of our MDF is is the same. It's um, it's Medite. Fabulous. So the great value there that we're able to make two of these, and I love that with the embellishments and uh, you know your, your texture paste on there and what have you. Yeah. It's just fantastic. So again, think about all Beautiful. your mediums you've got, all your yes. stencils you've got, all your stamps. You can really go to town. Your rice paper, some you shrink plastic on there, yeah, a bit of shrink. Yep. Yeah, beautiful, fantastic. Twenty-one pounds ninety-eight to make both of those boxes. Eight seven nine seven five four. Now I just wanted to lay this out because these are the words and these are fantastic. I've seen you use these in your journals. Yes, we have. Beautiful, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So we're getting a kind of a Christmas theme, but then we've also got a very we'll generic, a one, as generic well. one as well. So we've actually put all the words together for you. Um, but again, they're cut, they're laser, precision laser cut. They're from our Medi MDF. If you turn turn one round, Fiona, and just show the back, yeah, you will see that um, all the words are fixed in place, and there's little tiny tabs, just probably two in a place that you just cut through with a knife, yeah, and then you can. Um, pop the word out is to protect them during transit so that they don't you know snap don't come apart they're not loose in a in a, ba in a bag which is so, fantastic so they'll come they should come to you like that yeah just turn them over 
there'll be you'll see a little line that's not been completely cut through just pop through that ah. with your craft knife and then the words will pop out lovely fantastic because that, that is the pitfall isn't it sometimes with yeah. that everything just sort of drops yeah. out on no, you it should should be like that flat packed so it should arrive in pristine condition so some great generic ones there celebration yeah. anniversary destination girl event pretty travel new baby we've got our two christmas themed ones obviously new year's day boxing day mistletoe holly and ivy uh but then like we said just for all senses of occasions there yes. um, and your memories yeah. there maybe that memory box precious moments gorgeous yeah so great work. everything's designed set. to work to work well yeah. together, like the journal covers the journals the album covers the memory boxes all designed to work together fantastic that's a that's a great set that is and that is 12 pounds 98 look at that saving almost 50 percent off 671901 please don't miss out let's have a look on the website and uh, talk about some hidden extras got with maggie and Kay. um now please be careful i just want to say some things have sold out so uh, when you're having a little look just be aware of that uh, for instance those lovely dyes so uh, do shop ahead don't delay if there's something that's really caught your eye because very very busy today and uh, yeah if there's any extras there you want underneath the brand of cool cats then have a little look um something else i want to mention as well just before we go and join Kay. The Fuchsia, well, was my favourite. I've only just looked at it. Uh, the Fuchsia has now sold out, so I'm going to take that from the table. The dark green is limited. Still got the beautiful silver grey, which I think is, is a, a fantastic one for all occasions. Um, got that beautiful white and that deep, deep red, which is sumptuous. They're all gorgeous, but great to have the 50 mil and the 30 mil. Three metres on each. Uh, well, two on metres on the 50 and three metres on the 30. That's a lot of fantastic um binding there the pearl gray are we now limited so please check out your baskets 913970 uh just cannot impress that upon you enough and i haven't seen that kind of color range on the tapes before uh, or at least for a while anyway right let's look at the happy hour deal so i'm going to put together the um dinky inky whiz and inky whiz all our inky whizzes put exactly the same so this is a small one obviously the bigger ones are just bigger that's the only difference. Yeah. <clears throat> and it is a little while since I've done one of these. So I've already done the um, Lazy Susan base. So we have tutorials on our YouTube channel how to put these together. So they just just, just for, um, eight screws to put that together. Yeah. So then we're doing the two, what we call the toast rack method. So we get two of our outside supports. And the dinky, uh, the dinky has one solid shelf and then four... Um, ones with holes in so we put the solid one at the bot bottom and you just literally slot it in like that and like that and as you can see it looks like a toast rack and then we just fill it in I'm going to, have to face it towards me because that's how I do it but then I'm going to fill it in as we go through so we've got second shaft going on and we get the instructions as well don't you get we? full instructions I've left them yeah. by the side just in case I've forgotten how to do it <laughs> I've done them for ages. And how many can we hold? I can't remember. How so many can you hold? In this one, it's 36. Oh. Um, in the mini, is 66. In um, a standard Inky Whiz, it's 36 standard um, right. ink pads. And in the large one, it's um, 66, isn't it? 66. Wow, my gosh. So. The 36 right. for our Dinky. So, like that. Beautiful. Okay. Right. This the, the, the third one is the most trickiest one out of the lot, and you just put that in at the top here, and it just slots in, and just make sure it's in place. And this, this if it's going to be a tricky one, it's usually this one. Just to align it, isn't it? Just yeah, to, just align yeah. it. Once it's in, once you've got this one in, everything else is quite easy. And you just slot it in. Oh, so that it's too fresh. tricky. I know. Oh, no, you made that look quite easy, actually. Okay. See. <laughs> it's, it's not difficult. I, I thought I, I, I'll preempt it because it's live TV. <laughs> you manage those <laughs> expectations for us, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> Okay, and then you just follow it around. So you just move it across, and then you do. And at this point, I haven't used any glue. You don't need glue for this pit, this yeah. piece. Okay. So it just slots in. Just move it around again. So. So most people find, don't find, have a problem with these at all. You shouldn't do. And it's a it's a precision fit, and it's a really strong structure once it's once it's all fitted together. So slot those together. We did work on 
how to get it together as easy as possible, to make it as simple as possible. Yes. So it's basically yeah. putting the lazy su the screws in the lazy susan is probably the most difficult part. Okay, and that is your base, is your, is your shelves. How quick was that? So that wasn't difficult, that wasn't particularly difficult to do. So then you have the um, uprights which lock everything together. Oh, so nice. they just slot in. They really do. Like that. So sometimes they just... There's a little wiggle. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So you just put those in. So it depends on the inky whiz. This particular one has them straight, but sometimes you have a little fork on here. And if you have two forks, it's opposite each other. If you have six forks, it's all the way around. So it, it will depend on the inky whiz. But the instructions are, are, are in the, the full instructions are in. So you get to that point, and you just turn this over. Okay, like that. So, so the solid one is at the bottom, and the whole one's at the top. Right. And then this is where you put your, your glue on. So, because Maggie and I have got the brains of SIDS, we've only got book binding glue. What kind of glue do we need? I know we ask a question, but sometimes uh, ideally, people watch them for ideally, the first time. I use a sticky PVA glue, but yeah. book binding glue is just as strong and it's fine. Um, I prefer a sticky one because it, it sticks immediately. It's it's quite sticky and it, and it holds it, everything in in place. But um, or or you could use a wood glue. So yeah. just put a little bit on size just to hold it in place. Okay, and then this piece here is now you're going to turn this to the side. And then what I tend to do then is I push two out, just push those back in, yeah. and then you're going to line it up, and these are going to fit into here. Right. Okay, so I'll just do that one, and then turn it over, and it'll fit down, like wow. that. Wow, wow! Okay. Just goes to show you the quality <laughs> and precision cutting of that MDF that you're telling me about. Because um, let's face it, some... So, can be very difficult, <laughs> and you're uh, trying to jam it in, and it's really not working for you. And you well, just I mean, think, oh. I, I had, um, Jo Broad had a word of it. She said, "She said you're ever so brave putting MDF together on on live TV." And I said, "Well, why wouldn't I?" Well, I said, "It's it just simple." Of quality, it's, yes, that you've got, you know, made here in the UK. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I was telling you it's simple to do, Megan's and then us. showing you it's simple to do. Well, that's you, it. Uh, I mean, it. Live TV just putting <laughs> your money where your mouth is, isn't it? Really? Is it? Yeah. So then I just put a little bit of glue. Whoops, wrong side. Or on this side. On each round, it takes longer to put the glue on it. does actually to put it together, and then I think this is the longest bit, isn't it? Really, it's hardly taxing. And that one just fits on top. Wow! Like that. Oh my word! And that is your inky whiz. Uh, done in a whizzy time as well. Yeah, a, 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 a simple, I've ever seen. And then what I'll probably do is put a weight on it, a tin of beans or something like that. Yeah. And just leave it overnight, and then to to paint it, um, we found because it's quite a complicated shape, a spray paint. I'll spray paint. Yeah, and, and, um, and pannies. I've, I've got my exciting spray booth, and I, there's a YouTube, a YouTube video to show you how to do it. Spray it's basically booth. It's, it's, a, it's a fabric, it's a fabric um, wardrobe that oh, I have in my shed. Oh, that's <laughs> but amazing! Anyway, but there's a YouTube chat to show you how, to, how, how I do it anyway, and that's, and that's it. And that's that is uh, how the happy good hour is too. that? And for all your little uh, ink pads there, your little uh, versifying that I was using earlier, or the teardrop ones, we were talking about clarity yes. ones. Yes, uh, actually, actually, I might actually have a small ink pad, ink pad somewhere. A, yeah. If I can find it. The dinky do ones. Yeah, I've I got yeah. one. I've got one, one ink pad. There you Fantastic. go. Fantastic, perfect. And you put the, the Look at that, there. perfect fit. Okay. And we can fit 36 on there. Yeah. That's brilliant. Amazing. So, 19 And of course, that, you've got, that's, that's for oh, your bits yes, and pieces. That, that's for your bits and pieces, Thanks for your for rulers and other Brushes bits and pieces or whatever, as well. Or glue or, yeah. And uh, that price will go back up to the original price of twenty four ninety nine at the end of the hour, two o'clock. So please don't miss out. Four one two 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 three. Right, we're going to get uh, RK ready for the next demonstration. But there's all the component parts. I'm sure you agree. Absolutely fantastic little dinky do thing, and it just can so so space saving. And I love the fact that you can rotate it so you can see all the colour pads and quickly see. Oh, I need the pinks, or you colour coordinate each column into your greys, your reds, your oranges. So uh, yeah, fantastic piece of equipment there. Four one two 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 three for your dinky inky whiz system there. Beautiful. Right then, let's go back and see our K because we're going to talk about some of the elements in the journal. Is that yes. right, K? Some of the substrates. So. Yeah. Um, a, mat, a, a board that I did for the Duralarm mat ages ago now, but I've done it now. So it just shows you what you can do with the Duralarm mat. Um, Duralarm mat. Duralarm so mat, yeah. that is it. And you can see it is translucent, so you can see things through it. 
and it's um, like an opaque translucency. It yeah. feels gorgeous. It feels amazing. It's, it's, I don't want people you to can't confuse explain it with things it, like yeah, Unfortunately, it's like TV, you yeah, can't explain how it feels. Yeah, it confused with Bellum because it feels completely different, isn't no, it's it? No, it's a soft, it's a think... soft, cool feel, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. much thicker as well. And, and, yeah, um, so, yeah. yeah, so I'll just go through what, we, what things I have done with it. Mm. So you can put it through an embossing folder. So you can put, so you, can, you get some texture on it through that. You can use pencils with it. Oh, they look beautiful. So colouring pencils. So unlike acid, because it's um, artificial, like um, plastic, like acetate or something that was a smooth surface, you can't do that, but you can with Duralar. So you can see so you've got a white pencil on there yeah, and you've got a of colour on there. Love and the white you, pencil and yeah, grey. Yeah, it works beautifully. Isn't that it's beautiful? lovely. And you can have chalk pastels. <gasps> Okay, on oh, another technique I've fantastic, which I like doing, oh. which I might do in a minute, is a, is this one, is um, sponge on some um, alcohol ink, yeah. then stamp it on one side, and stamp it again on the other side, and it looks like you've got depth. Oh yes, yeah, the shadows and the yeah, distance. Yeah, and it looks like yeah. So you got you get yeah. a bit of persp perspective with it. Like a misty morning, that one. Oh, fine. Whoops, whoops, fine texture paste. Lovely. Put on there. So I haven't had done this for ages. Oh, my favourite one is it's got stuck, stuck on there is um that is a um pumice paste oh, oh i think i think talents did it well anyway pumice okay, paste and then i colored it in with um pens and it's lovely it's got a lovely um sandy finish to it Ooh, lovely so you get a really nice texture with that one uh and you've got bead ba bead paste Ooh, goes on to okay, that yeah, so you can color that in if you wanted to or not again you've got a lovely texture with that as well Fantastic. So, and then if we go through and then we've got Luckily, uh, indigo blue had been on it earlier on, and we use a flitter glue. Mm -hmm. So you can do flitter glue with the mega flakes. So you've got that. So, you, so that's stamped with that. So you can stamp that on there and use a And then that's using transfer foil with the flitter glue. And that's with um, just plain glitter. It's Gorgeous, plain glitter. yeah. So you, get, so you get lots of effects with it. And then you use, use and everything you do with this one, you can also do with your white craft plastic which you get uh, yeah. five sheets of in there as yeah. well okay. yeah and then you've got then that's um um prima color that's a print not prima it's um prisma prisma yeah oh, okay. pebio on there again that's another pebio fantasy one. Oh, nice takes okay. that well doesn't it right, this one Ooh. is white gesso with distress oxides on it oh, my God. so i uh, so i gave it a coating of white gesso and then i used distress oxides wow. on it you can use distress oxides. it takes a long time to dry you yeah. can use it and it will work, but it does take an awful long time to dry because it's non-porous. Obviously, you can sew through it. Gosh, so you can sew through it. are endless, isn't it? I know, it's absolutely brilliant. You can use gel pens with it. So those were, that, that, they were coloured uh -huh. in with gel pens. Yeah. Okay. And then this is an iridescent medium you can get from the art shop with um, distress inks. And because you've got the iridescent medium, it will stick on there. Distress inks on their own won't stay on there. But right. With the medium, it does. Ah, so you, you need that, that you, almost yeah. to coat the surface. Yes, and then... yeah, to, to keep it. So, yeah. so you, the amount of surfaces you can use is unbelievable. It's loads. Brilliant. You've got mediums you can use. So a lot of the mediums you have in your stash, you could probably use. Yeah. And then on this one, this is a journal. I've just decorated it. That's, that's, some, that's some of the waste of um, a jelly, jelly plate printing I did. And then I did a little tiny swatch with this, and I've used a jelly plate, and I took some prints off. So that's with the um, cartridge paper. This is with the Duralar, so you can use acrylic paint with it. And of course, you've got that look, but you've also got that look as well because is that you can see it you, on the back. Is that what you've done with this one here yeah. in this journal? Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's not jelly plate. That's just so a, that's, lovely. Yeah. Oh, that was that's a jelly jelly plate. Bit jelly paint, and then, and then acrylic on the back. Of, yeah, just a piece of um, uh, the paint on the back of that. Yeah. And then you have it's something in. Oh, I see. I'm, I think I'm holding two pages yeah, there. Yeah. So you so can see through it. Yeah. And then acrylic. That looks. It doesn't look amazing. Yeah. And then this is on the it's jelly plate. Yeah. It, that's like it's already printed. Yeah. I can't so, go over that. And, and, and the stack is saying for the white, uh, the, the craft plastic, I've used jelly plate as well. So you just want the jelly plate print, yeah. and I've done all three surfaces. So to, to see what it, what it looked like. Love the jelly so, plate. Ooh. Yeah, so you can do lots Amazing. of techniques on here as well. Um, I've done some inking, which I'll just do in a minute, which this is just um, with alcohol ink. So I've, this is resist. So the alcohol resist. So that's Duralar. So it's taking some out, you get lots of surfaces on here, and that's some of the leftover. So you can get lots of inks. So you get lots of effects on here. Mm. 
Fantastic. So, so, so I shall show you how to do some, have a little, little play. Lovely. And we've got the kit on the screen right now. So you're getting uh, five of the white plastic. You're getting five of the Duralar. You are getting your cartridge paper and you're getting your watercolour card. Uh, ten of each of those. And I should mention, as Maggie mentioned to me as well, mm. the watercolour card is already pre-scored as well. Your elastic binding that. there and your... Um, the, 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 what was that called again? The uh, hinge tape. The hinge tape. The hinge yeah, tape, hinge tape well. yeah. Plus, obviously, the covers there to make your journal. Yeah, sixteen ninety nine to make two MDF journals. Four four six four one eight. Right, take it away. Claire. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of sponging on the top with alcohol ink. So you've got. Let's see. So I've got some alcohol inks here that I've used, and you usually apply them with a felt applicator. And what you tend to do is you end up with lots of bits of felt like that. Don't throw these away, because this has got vast amounts of ink on it. Oh. So you don't want to... So if you just re-wet it with alcohol... Oh. <laughs> not that you drink. <laughs> and then it just reactivates. Oh, and wow. You, so, you don't, you, so you can just... So you never think it's done. Yeah. Yeah. I believe okay, that. So, so you're going to go on like that. So I'll leave that to dry and I'll stamp on top of that in a minute. Like that. Okay, so it's a, as simple as that. And you can just, another technique you can do with this, it's brilliant, is I've did it with the flowers on here. Yes, those beautiful so blue, I've got blue flowers. Yeah. yeah. So this is a bit hit and miss, Gorgeous. to be honest. So, but, 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 but we'll give it a go. <laughs> Was that just freehand or had you stamped? Or? No, no, it's, it's freehand. So I've put a little wow. bit of um, alcohol Gosh. on, some ink. And the blow. You can do this with a straw. I'm not doing it in the studio with a straw, but I'm just going to do it with a puffer. And then you just what build. Fun. So you just build it up. That looks so good. It's, it's, it's brilliant fun. So just put a drop of this, and then I'll do exactly the same on the um, Duralar. So, and then you just basically build it up. So when it's dried, just add a bit more yeah. ink. So you can have a different colour. So we'll put a bit of this one on. So a bit of purple and see what happens. So that spreads through. You see it mixes. If you haven't got a puffer... You can use a straw. Oh, I used to say that, Yeah, sorry. go with a straw, yeah. Um, I'm mathematic, so I'm not like to cast my last I was going down day. the route of a balloon <laughs> pump or something, I don't know. I, on top of, on top of which, <laughs> to be honest, in the studio, blowing things around in, with, with well, in, co yeah. <laughs> in the pandemic is probably not recommended. So, in the privacy of your own craft room, it's fine. <laughs> and then this stuff uh, is um, a mixative. So this is, um, I brought this from a show a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and it's um, Tim Holtz one, but you just put that on there, and then you get a lovely effect. So you get oh, some... Wow. A bit of silver on there. So basically, you just what you do is just put, add ink and alcohol until you till you're happy with the pattern. But you get some that really nice effects. Such a good so, one. so that one's dried out. So I'll just put a little bit more alcohol on there, and it just moves it around. Okay. So I just you just carry on doing that, and then on the, one of the samples I did when it was dry, I went around with a white pen to create the definition. Of yeah, the shape. If, if you wanted yeah. to, and then it just added a few Beautiful. more dots in, in, on there. That's stunning. And so my able assistant just got some towel for me, and I've been told to do this because okay. Ooh, yeah. I have a stamp, and I'm going to ink up a stamp, and I'm going to stamp over the top. Okay, and then you can just over the top of that, and you will see. You should get a nice, a fairly nice image. If you don't, you can go over it again. But mm. what I can do, what, what ink is, should we use if we're so stopping over the? If I don't like that, oh, she doesn't like that. You can just wipe it off. Oh, wow! Oh my goodness! So, but you end up with like and that's a, a, a plastic. So on the plastic, you end up with that. But plastic. if I do the same on the journal art, I think it takes it off completely. Should we use a specific ink pad? What's, what's um, I've used say? stays on. Or stays on. So Thank if you. you watch Paola, because she went through the ink pads, she and did. She's absolutely yeah. brilliant. Because um, these are these are non-porous, so you yeah. need something to do non-porous. So um, archival works on these, mm -hmm. but you, but you do have to wait for it to dry for quite a while. But you, it will dry. But you need. To, but it stays on is ideal. Fantastic little collection. What they're called? T S. Anyway, you get about five of them, don't you? 
Just... Tusaninko, there we go. Maggie's was rich. <laughs> Tusaninko. I can never pronounce it. But you get about five of the different ones in the black and they do okay, different things. That's come out better. Oh, wow. Oh, Fantastic. stamp cleaner, yes. Okay, we'll try, this. We'll, we'll try it with the stamp cleaner. Well, well. Right, so I'll just ink that little bit up. Yeah. And, oh, I've dropped it. Oh, Duh. look at the mess you've made. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Ruined it. So put the stamp cleaner on it. And, and this that is will the... take it off. And it'll probably take it off better than the alcohol, I think, actually. Uh, uh, alcohol. And that, that just cleans it. <gasps> that just uh, does clean it. Wow. So the stamp cleaner is obviously better than the alcohol. The just... That's amazing. It's so forgiving, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we'll try it on here and see what happens on here. Yeah. You need, you need stamp cleaner, not the alcohol. So I knew I would forget something, and that was what I forgot. <laughs> there you go. Wow. So if it was a complete and utter disaster. <laughs> You can, but you can wipe it clean. Like clean. Yeah, so you've got your again. Yeah, it starts again. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, so, so there's a couple of things you can do with it, and you can, obviously you can colour with it. So I've just got this on this corner here. It's got a couple of pencils. What is this? How long does it? But you can see you can colour with it. It takes those colouring pencils so it's well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it? I was so quite that's... shocked by the intensity of colour, actually. Yeah, on plastic. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I really was. So you can sh do your shading with it as well. Go over and do some shading. So that's gentle shading on there. That's lovely. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure it works on the plastic as well. There we go. Fantastic. So much fun to have these different mediums in the journal pack as well. So you can have a little play. So, yeah. So, you know, loads of people, you've got loads of mediums and, and just a chance of using them, really. And what's great, you'll have your jelly plates, you'll have your different mediums at home, and then we can just start using them on these different surfaces. Yeah. And the crowns. We always yeah. think watercolour, we always think cartridge paper, don't and we? Let's go for something different. And what I'd use, well, I'd use uh, the dough and intense inks, so they're the watercolour, watercolour inks. So I've just used a tiny bit of water and I'm spreading it around. So you can get that effect. Fantastic. So I think one was and one wasn't, actually, so. Absolutely brilliant. So you can get that effect as well. So you can lots of medium. So versatile. Yeah, beautiful. And we were just showing this one again here that was stamped on the front and the back, so you get that sense of proportion and depth. And uh, this is with the Duralara as well. And if I show you the back, you can see, yeah. And then this is just with the pencils there that Kay has done. And then that's the plastic, the white plastic as well. Is that with the alcohol inks? That was that was yeah that was um yeah then I stamped it. Um, it's beautiful with. Like a whole lift, I think. It's fantastic. Which is a, yeah, which is a, a, a Ranger project. So, yeah. Beautiful. And I love this jelly yeah. paint. The other I thing love. you can do, which oh. is really nice, because I haven't got a stencil with me, is yeah. that you put the inks on, on your um, Duralar or the um, white clasp plastic. So you put alcohol inks on, and then you just put your stencil on when it's wet. Yeah. Leave it alone overnight. You come back, and you've got a fantastic background yeah absolutely because it moves all around and it, it's absolutely gorgeous so, yeah it makes a lovely back yeah oh, it makes a really fun. nice yeah it makes a really nice background fantastic so. we, all, we all need to get stuck into this this is fantastic <laughs> um what have we all been we've all been half asleep half our lives i think it's just no i've literally just touched the surface but you could yeah i, I could fantastic. i could bore you to death for the rest of the afternoon well, but i wish we haven't got that time <laughs> maggie's ushering her off uh, let's just have the pictures of recap so we can get maggie on 16.99 well if it's exciting Okay, you know, to, to get stuck in and to use it, and the possibilities clearly are, are out there. And then let's get stuck in ourselves. So this will make two journals. You get that elastic binding, you get um, the tape, obviously, for the hinge tape. You get the 10 of the pre-scored watercolour card, 10 of the cartridge paper. You get five of the Duralar and five of the white plastic as well. And obviously those two covers with the spines there to make your two journals, which I think is brilliant. 446418, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. If you just want to go for a straightforward journal in three different sizes, then we've got our grey board here. So I'm holding the 8x8. Eight eight. We've also got the 8x7 uh, eight by, eight by and the 9 by 8.5 so this will make these three elements there if you start your journal making 889949 now in terms of our, our binding tape our arc, our arc uh, um, architect sorry forgive me um, we, what, let's check what colors we've still got remaining told out of the pink any of the green was limited Green's limited, the pearl grey is now limited, I've got the white which is beautiful and the plum red. You're getting two metres of the um, five and you're getting uh, three metres of the 30. 
there in terms of the architect. $9.99, and that's great for your edges, your books, your binding, your hinges, and what have you there. 913-970 in your journal making. Then don't forget our film. Yeah, our matte film. There we go. Make yourself the little ruler. Um, Kay did this in the 9 o'clock show, so that gives you a sense of what it starts as, what it shrinks down to. And if you make a little ruler, you'll get a sense of ratio and proportion. But uh, do it in the oven. Do it with your heat gun. Make your little embellishments, brooches, bits of jewellery, key rings. Um, fabulous. Have fun. Great. 12.99. 1.83571. percent of that has gone. Uh, stamp and then colour and then then shrink and then if you want to add any accents after that you can. Then we've also got it in the beautiful black, gold and silver film as well. Eight of each of these you get. And uh, yeah, that's proven very popular as well. 80% of that has also gone, works in exactly the same way, but you've got the different colorways there. 12.99, We've got our two boxes, the traditional and then the large memory box with the draw and the lift off lid. Um, so this set will make two of these beautiful. So the lid opens out and then our, our traditional one there on the bottom there which you can embellish with all sorts of beautifulness. Um, half the stock has gone of those as well to make those lovely memory boxes. 879754, and that makes both of those £21.98. And then you've got the wording, two that are Christmas themed, two that are generic for memories, for wonderful occasions, uh, journals, photographs, parties, celebrations, yeah. It, it's all covered in there, and you can mix and match those up. Uh, £12.98. We're talking superb quality, and that's why we're at limited stock already. 671901. Happy Hour deal as well, the Dinky Whiz as well. Don't forget that. That happy hour is going to end at 2 o'clock, so please don't miss out on that for all your fa fantastic uh, mini ink pads there. £19.99, £5 off, 412223. And your Christmas credit, you're going to get a £5 uh, Christmas credit to spend tomorrow on an order over £30 in anything you buy in any of these hours. Right, Maggie, what have we left you with there? 15 right. minutes? Yes. So reckon. we're going to do the Architect and the Journal cover, just showing you how Brilliant. to cover it with um, Architect. Fantastic. But just a word about the Architect. As we said before, it's cloth book binding tape, so it doesn't tear, it doesn't rip. It's self-adhesive. Yeah. You can die cut it, you can do all, you can emboss it, you can colour it. So I'm just going to run through two little dies. This is one of our dies that we've had on in the past called the dumbbell oh, okay yeah. and this is another one called the mag pop strip just a heads up we have got them coming back in so we'll bring Phew. them back to Ho Chanda in 2021 when, yeah in 2021 so it's just really to show you how they cut okay the pearl grey in the architect is now sold out so you've still got limited on the green still got the lovely pearly white and that deep plum red yeah okay oh, so it just found my Right, so that's one. Yeah, it's beautiful, that. And that's another. So this is our dumbbell die yeah. here, which I've actually cut with the architect, and it actually shows, like, the little debossed edges. It's re really hard to see, but it's like debossed edges. Yeah, you can see. Can you see them there? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so it's like a faux grain, like a grain. Yeah, grain. yeah. yeah. okay. Um, so that's a really strong closure, and because it's cloth, you know, it's not no, I can't rip it, can't tear it. Unbelievable strength. This is one of our Magpop There we go. Those, those, those okay. magnets, those so fox meat. People yep. say, what's a Magpop? Mag okay, so it's a circle. This came out of Kay's head. Okay, not literally, but the idea came out of Kay's head. But it's fantastic. <laughs> it's on the journals with your Magpop. Um, okay, so there's a deboss side. So the deboss side is there, and it's designed... I could never get the name of these. Numinums, we call them. Yeah, Numinums, neodymium magnets. Okay, so they're designed to fit your uh, magnet in the centre there. Numinums. Okay, so then you can just have a piece of paper just to show you. So you can pop it on there, and your magnet is beautifully secured. Okay, looks very neat. So if you forget, you think, oh, I've forgotten to put my magnets on or anything like that, because that's so neat. Yeah. You can actually use that as a decorative feature, yes. cut it out. You Absolutely. don't have to do it with architect, but cut it out with decorative paper, things like that. But that's what we designed them for, so that um, to work well with our architect. Yeah. So, and when you're this particular closure, any closures that are going to have a lot of um, movement in Wear and them, tear, yeah. use the architect yeah. because it will make it strong. You might need to cut it twice so you can stick it, you know, so you haven't got a sticky side showing. Yeah. Um, that will give it even more strength, but it's a really, really top-notch thing to use. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cover um, 
I'm going to put together yeah. a, a cover. Lovely. Now, traditionally, I'm an, I'm an album traditionalist, so I used to use card, but now I, I've moved into using architect because it's a bit quicker, yeah. as it were. So you'll get two sizes of your architect. You'll get your 30 millimeter and you will get your 50 yeah. millimeter. So first of all, I'm just going to go three sides round just to get a rough idea. Now, when you get your album covers, just make sure before you do this that you've got your covers laid out like that, like that, and like that, and you mark them. So inside cover with an arrow going up your spine and like that. Because oh, okay. otherwise, you can sometimes, you're so engrossed in it, you can end up sticking two covers together and forgetting the spine. So um, it's easy I'm to do. I'm because it sounds exactly something I would do. <laughs> We've all done it. So just put this around here. Just going to stand that one. I think this is a nine by nine one. So this is nine by eight and yes, a half. Yes, the, the, the bigger one. Yeah. Nine by eight and a half. I think. Nine by eight and a half. Is it? Okay. So we're going to start there. Okay. So you, is that in the middle of the tape there? That's in the middle of the tape. Yeah. Okay. So can you see? And I'm a bit wonky, so I shall have to move it. But okay. So I'm just okay. going to push that down. It's good to see this technique, actually, Maggie. The best yeah. way to watch it is, um, again, on YouTube, and Kay's doing it. She's got much steadier hands than I have, so... Because I was going to do dye demonstrations this hour. Oh, well, it all went... So. All went <laughs> you told me, didn't it? Well, you just so. sold out everything so. this morning. OK, so we'll just cut that there, and we'll trim that off. And don't get rid of that piece of tape, because you can use it to cut a magpot, all sorts yes. of things. Yeah. OK? So just take your trusty Teflon tool, just run along the edge and there and then where your corners are I'm going to cut in I can hear the bells in my head she's got a bells on her head yeah uh -huh. I, I made them. Kay wear them she said do I have to I said yes I love the fact you bullied her into I you did will bully be her for Christmas although Kay is not a woman you can bully <laughs> so. okay so that's one little oh. corner there and then this one exactly the same thing you can see where I've snipped there I'm just going to pull that in yeah like that okay and then you've already run that in there so you're going to pull that one just push it down gently do whichever is more comfortable for you I can't lay it flat at the moment because I've got tape yeah that's still sticky there so I'm just going to do it lightly uh -huh. do it the same this side And now, because that one's, I can go down like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna. Okay. And then we're going to repeat the process with the corner. Cut in at an angle. Cut in at an angle. Now you can see here, I've got quite wide wings, as it were. Yeah. So what you can do snip is just snip a bit off there. Okay and there like that and pull it in yeah and if your scissors get them um, gunged up with them um, double-sided tape anything like that you can use some people use furniture polish but you can get you know yeah. the um, nail varnish remover things you just stick your hand in it you've oh, got a sponge to take yeah. the nail varnish off your fingers yeah just get one of those and pop your scissors in and snip well it, I never it clears that. it's really quick and easy now, the dark green as well in the architect has gone now as well, so remaining is the white and the red. White is now limited, what? and red is about 85%. What did the poor old red do to do, do, do everybody? I think the red is beautiful as well. So anyway, but it's 85% gone as well, so first come, first serve, please, on this so, remaining architect. That's that, and that's that. Let's pull that up there. Okay, and you can see you've got a really nice, look at this corner, a really nice, neat corner just there. So what I'll do is I'll just carry on. I'll repeat the same process for the other side. Okay. So I'm going to start the other side. I don't know if you want to talk about anything else. Well, I'll mention the boards that you're using, if that's okay. all right. Yeah, that's fine. Still got the white and the red architect, but 85% uh, of red gone, getting limited now on the white. So please don't miss out on that. But these are the boards uh, Kay is referring to. So you've got um, enough to make three grey board album covers here. Yeah, the 8x8, which is this size here. And uh, we're going through the process of creating this dynamic as it were and then the lovely papers or whatever else you want to put on the front there at the top uh, the 8x7 and the 9x8.5 which I think is the one Kay is using, the one I'm using. Yeah. 
yeah. Three quarters of the stock has gone 11.99 there, 8.89949. The other journal pack as well with the uh, watercolour card, the cartridge paper, the white plastic and up. Oh. 80% of this has gone now as well for this kit. 80% has gone. Everybody's getting excited about using these different substrates. I'm excited. I've never even used them. I've never even heard of them. <laughs> Fantastic. And just the possibilities. We've seen Kate's passion and enthusiasm for, for giving it all a go as well. 1699 And there's lots of YouTube channels as well uh, that uh, Maggie and Kay have put on there for Cool Cats as well. Don't forget the happy hour deal as well. Ten minutes remaining on that. That will go back up to the original price there. So please don't miss out on the uh, Dinky Whiz. Okay, so there we go, 412223, $19.99. I'll be back up to $24.99 at the end of this hour. Right, let's Okay, so we're getting minutes, there. Maggie. That's okay, I'm just going to take my time. So we'll yeah, just no, please do, yeah. Keep going. I had to do speed crafting in the last hour, so. <laughs> Just look, admiring all the other lovely journals you, yes. you've got here. The design team have done an um, amazing just job. I'm looking at well. this lovely big one behind you there. Uh, they've got the large, it's almost like a photo album size. This is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, just sort of, just while Kay's um, just finishing off there, we'll obviously go back. But this, this is just beautiful, isn't that gorgeous? Just the, the, the possibilities there, you know, just stunning. And then the little inserts for using your dies. Yeah, so much fun in terms of putting loads of tutorials from Cool Cats as well. And all of these, just all your inspiration, little inserts there. That's beautiful, as is the smaller ones as well. Look at these, you see, open it out. You just don't know what what goodies are going to be inside. It's so exciting. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? You could do that, actually, with that white plastic, couldn't you, as well? And could, could you use a white, clean pen on the that plastic? Do you know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, you mean like a, yeah, for a white board yeah. marker? Yes, you should do. There's no yeah. reason why you shouldn't do that. Well, yeah. That's the scat. If you were lucky enough to get those, well done. Sorry, that's almost teasing you, isn't it? Beautiful. And you see, this is why you need the white. Look at this. Why you need the white tape, you see? Isn't that beautiful? And you can colour it. You can colour it with yes, alcohol markers to match a particular shade if you match want a it. Page or a shade. Yeah. Oh, this, these are just. Look, there's, 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 there's those. Um, Num num nums. <laughs> num num nums. Neodymiums. Num num nums. Num That's what they're num -num -num -num. As. That's those. Num num nums. See, using your tape there as well. Oh, they're beautiful. Red tape is limited. Quick as you can now, everybody, on that lovely tape. The white tape's limited. Yeah. yeah. Love a num num num. <laughs> Right, we're just having a little. I can't get the end off the tape. So Gotta get the end off the tape. My, my look trusty at assistant is just. Um, Struggling as well, <laughs> but these, are, oh, these, these, are lovely. This is just, you know, putting your lovely papers in there as well. You yes, know. that's just. Thank you. Oh. Sorry, sorry, Jimmy. Just, I know it's a different shape, but again, just once you've assembled, and that's the the, the, the elastic that we've got in that lovely kit as well. Just your cartridge paper thank there. Thank you. Isn't that beautiful? You see, you've got all those other substrates in there as well. So, just really, really. If you've got any favourite papers or photos or yeah, just beautiful. Ah, right then. Okay, right. So this well, is about with, three minutes. This is with the wider tape now. Now, if you'd had the thinner tape in the past, this is your spine cover, spine cover. Yeah. In the past, you'd have your thinner tape, but yeah. you can see there's actually not a huge amount of leeway. No. Between the two, they do stick, and it's strong enough to do yeah. that. But we decided, if having watched put more in people there. using it, yeah. Mm. Okay, so so I've gone all the way round with a bit left over. Right. Okay. That's the white's now sold out. So when you're taking the back off the architect, Kay likes to do it from the back. I like to, I find it easier to do it from the front and sort of pinch the fabric and then pull it that way. Okay. okay. And it is very sticky. So if you have long hair, make sure you tie it back. It's all right. We had somebody in our Facebook group who got a bit entangled with it. Brilliant. And if you have a cat with long hair, don't Keep let the cat away. near it. Yes. So, okay, so we're just going to stick that one on about a third of the way in. Okay. Hope you've got your architects all sold out now. All sold out. All and the then we'll there. take some oh, of the... Oh, that's a good tip, just to keep it... Yeah. Some of the backing. Okay. Yeah. And then we're using... These are our three-eighths of an inch hinge spacer, and you will find these on the website. There's ah. a complete hinge spacer set. But these are designed so you always have precision hinges. Brilliant. They're like L-shaped, so I've popped that there, and then I'm going to lock 
that into place. My oh. spine into place like that. So I know that's, that's exactly the same. And I also know that that's straight and that's straight. Brilliant. Okay, so you hoik that off. Got about a minute, Maggie. Okay. Hoik that off there. And then you go up and over. And you pull that one up. Do you know when we'll see you in 2021, Maggie? Uh, okay. January... 23rd, I think it is. Oh, you think? Fantastic. And hopefully, we will have some Go on. new, new dyes. dyes. New dyes. Yeah, we've already. Oh, that's oh. exciting. We've already had the prototypes back. Really? Uh, we've got some coming back that have, we haven't had in stock for ages that people have oh. asked for. Well, it gives it gives a little tease we've there a moment ago. We've got some additions to packs that people have asked. Oh, so I'm just saying photo there. slots might be one of them, <laughs> Mr. Ford. Save the date. You so, know you want to be there. So hopefully we should have it all then. It's all geared for them. We just have to wait and see what's you know what goes yeah, on what in what the world. In. But well, hopefully it's... hopefully it'll all be okay. So that one exactly the same. You're going to lock in there. Well, like I'm going to say thank you, Maggie, because we, we, we are out of time. But thank you, Kay. Thank you, Maggie. We wish you a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Plenty of tutorials there on the web, though, as well, with cool cats on their YouTubes. Oh, Maggie Speedcraft in there. We'll see them on the 23rd of January. Fabulous. Now, we've got the Colour Me Happy Sentiments with the lovely Phil Martin. Then we'll be looking at the Quilters Trading Post Big Save event. And then the last of the Fabric Freedom One Day Special. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda 
and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hochanda. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I'd like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Welcome. It's lovely to have your company. You are, of course, um, joining us for our second live hour with our lovely Phil. Um, the other hour, I mean, you got about five demos done. It were amazing. I didn't do bad, did I? You didn't do bad didn't at all. Do bad. See, I won't be able to do it again. You know that. <laughs> that was a one-off. Oh, that were a one-off. everybody. Yeah, if they didn't see it, they need to go yeah. on and get it <laughs> on catch up. You'll need to watch it on rewind. <laughs> <laughs> five Just for evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, five <laughs> demos. Well, I might be pushing I it think a bit. It might have been two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is lovely to have you here, our Phil, well, especially because you. we've got some obviously fabulous products, but yeah, really good shows prices. This year as well. These are our last ones this year, yeah. Oh, my you won't word. You not now until the end of January. Wow. Yeah. It just it does feel like ages does, away. Mind you, I've had problems. Not This year, 2020, every time I've come to write it down, I have had no idea what year I'm in. I know. Which it's is just, quite handy because it'll change soon, so that's all right. Well, yeah. You don't need to remember this year, <laughs> exactly. do you? We'll remember it for the wrong reason. Yeah, we will. I'll end up writing it next year, won't <laughs> oh, nah. I? really confused with this year, so confused. Oh, someone, we were doing a show the other day and someone had put 2020 on the card and I thought she'd just put a date of birth twice. Oh. <laughs> no, like Nolly on it's the year. Oh, time for a day off, love. Oh, mate. Yeah. Not a chance. Time Not a chance. It. I know. Not a I chance. Know. Not a chance. Um, right. Before we get into products, I need to remind you about the Christmas thingy, what's it do, da? When you're spending, yeah, Christmas credit. When you're spending today, you will get a Christmas credit put into your account, basically five pounds. So tomorrow, if you're spending 30 pounds or over, that five pounds will come off. It's, it's just nice, isn't it? It's just a fiver in your account, which is rather nice. Tomorrow, if you're spending 30 pounds, you get another fiver, it goes back into your account, so on and so forth. Obviously, they don't all roll together, so it end up where you've got all that. Unfortunately, you have to spend that fiver on that day. But it's nice. It's it's, it's money for money for nothing. Yeah, tune that, isn't it? Yeah. Do you remember the tune? Money for nothing, and your oh, yeah, thing yeah, is for yeah. free. I can remember. That's oh, I can't die Yeah, it was. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, that's when we were young. When we were young. <laughs> oh, I feel. Remember. Remember. Just. <laughs> no, Just. no, I don't. Is that how long we've been doing this? Yeah, yeah. I'm Sure, we started in like his teens, like 18, yeah. I 19. can't really, re I can't really recall. I can't. I found. Do you know what no, I was going through not. photos no, the other day, and I found an old photo. Me and you. I'll have to send it you. Is it the one where you've got? Oh, I can't remember. I've got one where we were at a show. And we've got a green daft. jumper on. Can't That's remember. Quite a nice one. It's it's you a... like you were up to no good. <laughs> It can't be true. And I was an angel, obviously. <laughs> yeah, right. My, the one I found were absolutely opposite way around. Was it? Yeah. Oh. I were an angel. I you, you were proper up to no was good. 
<laughs> might be true that. Might be true. <laughs> I'll dig it out. I'll forward yeah, it. Yeah. Out, might put it on Facebook instead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it is lovely to have Phil's company. Obviously, if there's something you need, check your basket out. Get on the website because, we're, as I say, we have got loads of deals. We'll try and show you as much as we can throughout the hour, but there'll be stuff we absolutely can't show you just because of time. So please get on there. Um, we'll start, obviously, uh, with the fantastic pens. Now, alcohol pens um, which are just such good quality and the thing is you've got a huge array of colours here um, the the fine nib and our fill will show you I'm not touching these because I do not want to make a mess um, I'm too scared not gonna lie but Phil will show you the pens but I mean you have got if I show you the the actual colour chart because if you are collecting these which of course I think nearly everybody will be I mean the colour is the colour colour variance on this yeah, is fantastic absolutely. you've got everything so you need what, what Trudy and I did because obviously these were in development for quite a long time um, sourcing the nib took a long time as well because we wanted the flexible brush but so so Trudy is absolutely amazing with alcohol markers yeah. and like me she's got other brands that we've collected yeah because let's face it some of them are so expensive you have to collect them a bit absolutely. at a time yeah so what I wanted to do was bring a middle of the range so yeah not compromising on the quality yeah but by buying the volume that i did i got a pretty decent price yeah so the nib is what makes these special so when we were putting them together we thought you know you know like when you use i can't say the name but there used to be one that i had a stand of in my shop yeah a spinny thing and yeah people would come in and like oh i can only get three this week yeah, well i didn't yeah, want to yeah. do that yeah i wanted to give you a cohesive set so each one of these is a standalone set in its own right yes. with a workable set of colors yeah. so it doesn't matter to me whether you went for set one and then think do you know what i can't afford set two till February yeah get set two in February because yeah. I'm gonna keep them for as long as the stock run as long as I've got the stock yeah but you can work with it straight away you've got yeah. a skin tone you've got some greys you've got colors in every single one of these sets yeah and more importantly you've got superior quality nibs and superior yes. quality ink yeah and you've got the built-ins. Oh, look at this. Hey, this is showing hey. off. You said they're already on hey, it. Hey, already on it. And hey. then you moved it. <laughs> so, yeah. It's good, if, it's good if it was all ready. And, anyway, so, so this is this is what I wanted. You've got the storage built-in. Because I know that one of the sets of pens I've got has got like 400 and some pens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also know from a crafty point of view that I don't use about 200 of Yes, them. yes, so absolutely. So we've done away with that. We've, we've put together a set of colours. The whole set will give you every colour that we Think that you're likely to use. Yeah, yeah. I used to teach alcohol markers yeah. in days gone by, so I kind of know the colours that are essential. Yeah, and that's what you've got. So I know if you look at it as a full set, it's about 250 quid or something. Yeah, um, which I know is a considered purchase, particularly at this time. So just get one. Yeah, get absolutely. set one. And start start your journey. Yeah, yeah. Because you can use set one. I'll show you. I've got one out. But you can use set one straight away. Yeah. You've got a skin tone in there. You've got some pinks, some blues. You've got some greys. You've got a green in there, you've got the dark red, yeah. so straight away, where you, are we? Oh, there we are. There. Oh, we're on the, oh, 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 hey. Hey, oh, so for You both can tell love. I've not been here for a bit, can't oh, you? Um, but straight away, you've got a set to, yeah. to use, and remember, the, the greys are probably the most yes. important colour that yeah. you're going to use. Yeah. So if you go back onto Trudy's Facebook page, you'll see where she's used greys with reds to yeah. make them into different shades. And, yeah. yeah. I, honestly, uh, the, the, so all the education yourself. is really yeah. handy, and I love the greys. You know, even if you just work with the greys for a picture, it looks yeah. so yeah, good. Absolutely. And you can get so many tones. Yeah, and now, remember, I'm going to bring you replacement nibs as well next yeah. year. Um, because the br the problem with brush nibs is these are not like any brush nibs I've seen yeah. now. I'm 100% honest. I've seen brush nibs on pens before. Some of the pens I've already got that were really expensive yeah. have yeah. brush nibs. They're shorter, they're fatter, and they're not as flexible. Yeah, yeah, Mine yeah. Mine are more flexible, which means you can do the long brush strokes and everything. Yeah. Um, but it does mean the very nature of a brush means you're going to wear it out quicker. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to bring you the spare, the replacement nibs next year. They're going to last Amazing. for ages. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and I've they been are using beautiful. my tester set since June, July. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I haven't, I haven't changed any of mine yet. Excellent. So they're still fine. And, I, and you've seen when I, you've seen when I show you. Yeah, you're flexible. I go like that. Look how yeah. flexible they are. I'm surprised I ain't snapped them. <laughs> so that's how that's how good they are. Yeah, yeah. The lovely and the the floor is beautiful. Now we'll go through the sets for you. So um, set one, and I'm hoping this is set one. 
Uh, let me see. That does that is that actually no? That set one, isn't it? It's, yeah, it does. Set, oh, you can't see it, can you? It I does can't tell see you on the front. It. It'll probably be on the front there, but as I can't. Tells you. Da, 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 da. There yeah, there you go. go. So one. this is set one. Yay! So as Arthur was saying, in this one you've got your black in there, you've got your skin tones, greys in there, and some really nice dark reds. Um, set two again, you have got skin tones, and this is exactly what Phil was saying. In every single one, you're gonna have uh, worker pens. This one you've got more of um, more brights, so the brighter pinks in there, lovely. That's and I can um, see three skin tones green. just looking at the yeah, tops there. straight away. Through Three yeah. skin tones, and obviously you've got so many different skin tones Absolutely. within the whole this range. This is why we try to include like one or two in every in every set, so at least it gets you yes. started. Yeah, absolutely. The next one, you've got some really nice greys in here, and the thing is, within the greys, you've got the warm and then the. Um, the cool greys. I love that, that beautiful blue, absolutely gorgeous and some really nice yellows in there. Um, the next one, set four that we've got for you. Again, you've got your, your lovely uh, skin tones, you've got a nice selection of greys in here, but this one's got some really nice browns. So you've got some good um, earthy tones in there. Uh, so that's set four. Now, sco scooching down to uh, set five down there. So with set five, yeah. that has got some pastels i love the greens in there yeah, as well absolutely, absolutely. so we're absolutely trying to gorgeous. make sure that the majority of the pastels were all in one set yeah so yeah. If, you're, if you're a pastel person this yes. is absolutely the set to go for yeah i like that i like them mind you i'm I very like lucky i've got them <laughs> <laughs> uh, set six you've got um Again, when you look at that one, that's a really nice bright set, isn't it, yeah. when you look at that? So you've got some deep greens in there, you've got the brighter pinks, the brighter reds, brighter blues, so mm. they work actually really well with the pastels. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then, last but not least, um, number seven. See, that there, that does look a lovely pastel, because you've got that lovely green and the So the set seven pink. appeals to me because of all those gorgeous turquoises and blues that's yes. in there. Yeah, because they're my, they're my kind of colours. Yeah. But honestly, it really doesn't matter which one you start with. Start with one, work your way up. Yeah, yeah, That's just do the easiest. Do. Obviously, get your swatch. If you make your swatch, um, then once you've got them, you can see your full colour. Yeah. That's the only way you're going to be able to see the colour properly. Make your swatch. Now, each one of those, uh, two payments, £20, so it's all your choice. Um, if you need any advice, if you're like, oh, which do I want to start with, email in studio at achanda.com, 745245. Now, next, our lovely stamps. Um, and we were chatting a lot about these in the first hour because obviously it's first time in first hour that I've done these live yeah. and I love these when Julia brought these off onto to her chander um, I loved them because as you look at them you see all the detail yeah, and all absolutely. the little twiddly bits absolutely and that was the whole point of these it's a set that you're going to use year in year out you can change how it looks you can shorten some of the sentiments as well so so you can have happy birthday and not use the rest of it and so it just just by masking them off you've got lots and lots of flexibility yeah the best the best way to buy these is obviously in the bundle because you're saving so much particularly yeah. as a freedom member and although it says you're getting uh, 12 stamps you're actually getting a lot more because you can mask off and make them different yes uh, and that was the whole point and i didn't do lots of separate words because then you lose some of the detail in between so I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you how to mask them off shortly. But yeah. I love these. Love the detail. Love how funky they are. Yeah, love that I do. They're modern, but they will also work. But like, I could do one of these for my auntie Sue, and just just by <laughs> changing auntie, auntie Sue, Our auntie just by Sue. changing the colours to like lilacs and purples, I know she'll love it. Yeah. So it's funky, but it'll work for everybody. Yeah, I I really like them. And at the minute, you can't really see the detail. When we get in dead close to one of them, you'll be able to see the detail of the the actual images because they are amazing if I pick one up on the top here and give it a spin for starters obviously the packaging the stamps always look smaller but I can't reach the ones at the front there <laughs> but you can see look at that detail that is I mean they are amazing you can see all the little twiddly bits all the fantastic flourishes can you see the little um, skull head on there the little crown on that one honestly it's like someone has, has doodled on all of the the images then you've got with the whole collection you can mix and match but you've got really um, nice sentiments and not just card making I think with this set it is absolutely beautiful for um, 
you know, for your uh, journaling, for obviously, um, if you're doing your, maybe you're doing your memory books, you know, maybe you're using these for, for um, home decor. I think they're beautiful for that because a lot of them aren't just birthdays, are no, they? No, absolutely not. It's a, it's a complete bundle. So you've got like someone special, which could be absolutely anything. Yeah. You've got on your special day, again, can be absolutely everything. You've got birthday wishes, you've got happy birthday. Um, oh, I can't remember. Create your own destiny. I love that you've one. got live life in full colour, which I absolutely love. Yeah. Have, have a, a fabulous brilliant time. day. Have a fabulous day. It's yeah. a really generic one, so you can use it for everybody. And remember, we all know this that, that I'm going to say masculine cards and teenager cards are the worst ones to do. Yeah. You just never know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These will work. I mean, look at that. That's, That's brilliant. That I card. love this. And the look at that. Are They've all been cut out. Yeah, I haven't done that, obviously. <laughs> That's, that's probably Joanne because she's the only Look one with that. patience to do she that. She put her name on it. But that, I mean, it looks amazing. It does look I amazing, would never yeah. do it, but it looks amazing. It does. And I again, wish I had that it's, patience. I wouldn't. I but again, it's another way. It's another way to utilise them because if the yeah. way I've the way I've designed them, the the letter in the middle has a border around it, right. so it's actually quite easy to cut out. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it does make Not it, that yeah. I'm going to do that, but the choice is there. <laughs> the choice is there if you want to do that. <laughs> and they are, because they're a nice open letter, they're brilliant for yeah. colouring in. Yeah, absolutely. They've oh, got... glittering like I did earlier. Yes, oh, yeah, I, think I, I love I threw that on your side earlier. It's there, love. It's here, love. Yeah, See you, bear oh, with. glittered in. Oh, look. Cheeky so bit of glitter. Glittered. Lovely. So Look, the gap you can in see twinkles. Is, is plenty big enough for you to go in with your quickie yeah. glue pen and your fine glitters. Yeah, and it's all about the 50s. It <laughs> is for us, love. It is yeah. for us, love. Yeah. It is for us next year. Do, do, do. When, when's your, your be August, 31st of August. <gasps> when's I'm, you? I'm two weeks before <laughs> you. I'm 15. Oh my gosh. No, that's not fair. We need to have a joint birthday party. We should do. We should that do would that. That would be fabulous. I don't think we'll be allowing any videos or anything. <laughs> <laughs> photographs not allowed. No, that's another one that won't be on Facebook. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, we'll be ready for a party oh, and all. No. Oh, Hopefully for goodness we'll be sake. Ready yeah. Yeah. Um, right, now then, this is a superb set. You've got a freedom price off this as well. Two payments, £37 <coughs> and £50. You are saving eleven ninety-five. I mean, it is stunning. And you're getting so many stamps. And it's not just the sentiments that you're seeing, because obviously you can mix and match, you can break them up, you can choose um, a different way of using them. Now, 420162, obviously we've got the alphabet that's going to match perfectly with these that we are going to talk about in just a few more moment's time. First of all, however, we are going to talk about that magazine because we have got a really good offer on the magazine as well. And You'll I never would... see it again. Uh, yeah, yeah. One sec. Sorry. <laughs> see you, ladies. The crazy cat girls are going. You oh, as well. Merry Christmas! I Thanks, say crazy darling. cats again. I keep getting your name wrong. <laughs> Cool cats, craft. I keep calling them crazy cats. <laughs> so rude. Happy Christmas, ladies. It's, I, I keep. Oh, I tell you. It I've could re be worse. Renamed them it crazy could be worse. cats. At least you got cats in there. <laughs> okay. She's a girl and she's going to send me some cats. Oh, she's a she lo is. They're lovely. They are lovely. They're lovely they and very clever. Um, right now, this is a good set because I'm going to scoot round to get the papers. So I want, in fact. Do, 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 do. Because when you look at this price, fourteen ninety eight, Phil, how much card do we actually get in this? So that's forty sheets. So but you actually do get forty yeah, sheets. Yeah, it's the same. You know <gasps> me, I don't skimp. So this is this was a this is exclusively designed to go with this box kit. So the only place you'll get it is here, um, and it's the same as my regular. Uh, Paper pipes. Yeah. So 40 sheets, it's two, uh, children's, is it 17, 90? I can't remember. I'll have a look in a minute. Time off, the weight of the paper. Yeah. Um, but it's exactly the same quality as all my other paper pipes. Just because I put it with the magazine don't mean I've gone cheaper and yeah. lighter yeah. paper. Yeah. Uh, so you, you would normally pay 11 99 for that on its own. Uh, it's beautiful. And it's exclusive. It is. It's gorgeous. And it works so well with those stamps. Yeah. Also works really well with your mixed media, you know, for backdrops and yeah. things like that. Yeah. I, lo I really like it. I yeah, just think... Um, 180 GSM, it's love, sorry, 190 GSM, I really like that. Yeah, the the price of the kit. Yeah, I know. You should be, yeah, I that's, know. that is <laughs> amazing. And it's only because, I've told you, we're clearing space, so take yeah. advantage, so, because obviously there won't be any more, because the magazines just do one yes. run. Yes, yes. Uh, so once, once the, 
once the run is done, they don't reprint them, yeah. so this is probably going to be the last chance. Yeah, once the run is done. Yeah, um, and the run is done, nearly done. done. Um, so you've got the beautiful papers. You've also got your stencil. Now look at the price for all of this. You've got the stencil. You've got loads of sentiment stamps there as well that are tucked behind. So you've got tons and tons of sentiment stamps there. You've got the magazine itself, which obviously has loads of um, ideas and inspiration and even more papers in the magazine. Yeah. And the papers, again, are paper you know quality, me, not magazine. None of that shiny stuff in my box no. case. None of that. None of that shiny paper. <laughs> and you've also got some toppers and sentiments and that in there. The, the die that comes with the kit actually yeah. cuts out those toppers. Yeah. Yeah, we like them. <laughs> we'll have that. We like that. Um, beautiful. So there's loads of ideas in the magazine. It obviously comes in a box. So if you are giving this as a gift, it's really handy because it's already wrapped. But then look, <laughs> you've got all the stamps in there. Again, this price is £14.98 for the lot. That's including a, that A4 set of stamps. Yeah, I know. That's ridiculous. I know it is. I know it is. It's Proper bargain. The space. So we've we've just done we've just done box kit number four. This is box kit number three. Uh, there's definitely no box kit number four left, and I do yeah. know that having checked, there's not really many of the three box kit three. Yes. So if yes. you've already got it and you need to restock the papers, this is a really good way to do it because you can gift the other bits. Yeah. If you haven't got it, now is. Definitely, Definitely the time before to do it, yeah. you miss out on it altogether. Now, um, if you do want anything, check out the website. I highly recommend you check out the website for the alphabets. Um, we haven't shown you those live, but we definitely will be because they match with the stamps that we've literally been talking about. Um, you've got the uppercase and you've got the lowercase. Again, you've got that detail with these, which is fantastic. Um, and you've got that really nice um, scroll. And I love, love the open space on these. You can do all sorts with them. But when you get in the alphabet, you've also got the numbers there as well. It's a cracking set to get hold of. Two payments, 20 pounds and 24 pence. 082. 364 is your item number. Now, we've also got the texture stamp. Really like this. I say texture stamp, you're actually really getting six stamps there. You know, you get more. You get nine stamps there. I mean, and that, you've got so many fabulous backgrounds uh, for 14.49. It's cracking, is that? 032-432 is your item number. Now, our lovely Phil. I can see you're all ready. Some work. Time for I you am. to crack on and work. Okay, so I've already I've already done this ahead of time. Okay, uh, you. Because obviously I needed the glossy accents to dry. So I'm going to use the. Uh, we're going to recreate this using the alphabet set. Gorgeous. And then we're going to do so on the actual big stamps. It says with very best wishes. There yeah. isn't one that just says best wishes. So I created that by masking off from the with very best wishes. Wonderful. And I'm going to show you again how to do that. So these have obviously been coloured in with the um, colour radiance alcohol marks. I've actually used four different colours on that. Oh, and when when I start to show you, you'll you'll see how I've done it. Okay. So just showing you how they look when they've got the glossy accents on. Can you see how much the colour pops even more? Yeah, it's really it rich, absolute, isn't it? I, I can't recommend it enough. It's so easy to do, and because these are so forgiving, like here, look on the K where I've gone over a bit. Yeah, really doesn't matter. It just looks like it's part of it. Yeah, yeah, and it yeah. It just looks really, really special. You can actually see all the shading, actually better. Yeah, that with the looks glossy lovely. Accents on. Absolutely beautiful. So we're going to do. We're going to do. I've got K's there. It was making me laugh because <laughs> I was thinking the card I'm doing is an A5 one. So I've done. I was trying to think of four letter names. <laughs> um, and then obviously Carl, my brother, <laughs> Kyle. But I've got loads of flowers to put on. So we do, we're going to do. We're going to do. We're going to go for again. a Kate. Yeah, we're going for K's again. <laughs> so remember um, the alphabet set. The uppercase is larger than the capitals on the sentiments. And that was by design. So can you see how much bigger the oops, put it on the right so you can see. So can you see how much bigger the the B is? Yeah, the a B? lot bigger. And that's because I know that when I'm using these outside of work, yeah. the thing that this is the one I'm telling you to get, you need to get the alphabet, sir. Yeah. 
this is the one that I'm going to use the most because I, I like to do slim cards, DL yeah, cards, yeah, yeah. and I can do names and I can re I can do anybody's yeah. name once yeah. I've got these. These will look lovely on bunting and everything. Oh, absolutely. I'm yeah. going to show these because you've got the uppercase and lowercase, and if I spin those round, you can see the size difference there. And it is, again, it's all about the detail. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful. Can you see when you get in, you can see the actual detail on all of these. And that's the important bit, the work that's gone into that. They're absolutely beautiful. And of course, you do have the numbers as well. So you've got all the numbers at the bottom. You've got your, um, your hashtag. Which was, I know, which was a tricky one, wasn't it? It was, to make it look like it weren't weird and the freaky. <laughs> 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 the real eyes, the real eyes, the, the weird it and non-freaky like, hashtag. It actually looks, looking at it now, it actually looks like it's got legs and arms. <laughs> yeah, it does actually. But you know when you stamp it, it looks really, it looks really funky, really, really fab. I really like that. So I love them. I love them. 40% uh, of the stock has gone there. £40.48. and 48 pence. You do get your two payments. Um, and that is... 20 pounds and 24 pence. Of course it is, Leona. Uh, 082364 is your item number if you'd like to get those. The alphabet is the one. The alphabets are the ones we've got the least stock of. That's all I'm saying. Super. Right, so we're using Memento. And remember, everybody, when I tell you about Mementos with alcohol pens, these are the ones that I judge as being my essentials. Because um, generally we do we stamp in black, but sometimes, like for example, if I wanted to do no lines colouring, which is what Trudy taught me, which I've I've heard of but never done. Yeah. If you use desert sand and then do it second generation, it's so soft you can still see the lines. Yeah. But it's so soft by the time you've coloured it in, you don't actually see the lines. Yes. So if we were yes. doing if we were doing this A, for example. We would be left with colour where it's black, yeah, which yeah. I think is really, really clever. Yes, I like that. So desert that. sand, tuxedo black, grey flannel, London fog, and rich cocoa. Oh, nice selection. They are, and they, I don't know anywhere. They stay in my trolley, <laughs> so I know where they are. So we're going to do this in in tuxedo black, just because it's easier for, for you to see uh, when I'm on TV. So I'm doing it the naughty way. I know. I know. Oh, rebel. I don't normally tell people to do this, but I'm doing it just for smaller it's stamps, so it does make sense, doesn't it? And look how good they fit on my circle yeah, blocks. I don't perfect. know whether there are any circle blocks left on the website, but if there are, you're going to be really lucky because I've yeah. got none. Really? I've got zilch. <laughs> right. So I'll have a little look on the website so if for there those. Are any, no. I like those because of the little grippy <coughs> area in them. I know, mm. and they're perfect for things like this. So what I'm doing is I'm ignoring everything that's around the letter. Excuse my head, everybody. You'll be able to see all my grey. <laughs> we can't see your head. I'm ignoring everything that's around the letter, and I'm just I'm just trying to centralise the letter K. Beautiful. Yeah. Is that one of your dies that we've got on the show as well? It is. It's the double D bossed octagons. And again, I'm not restocking. So once the current stock of the octagons has run out, there won't be any replacements. I'll get them. Yeah, you get them. I'll get them. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, with the um, the double D boss octagons, so you can see there. I mean, again, you've got all of those dies. You've got the magnetic sheets as well. Um, now, these are really good prices. You are saving uh, five pounds there, thirty pounds and ninety nine pence for that one. I love these dies, I feel. I know. I They're know. They've just... been so they've been so popular, but I've restocked like five, six times now, and enough's enough. Yeah. So. so <laughs> Enough's enough. Well, enough's enough because I've, I've got other things coming. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's not so much that I'm too tight to keep restocking, it's the fact that I'm just going to run out of space. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you've got new, and well, it's like we want new stuff, yeah, so it's absolutely. like... Yeah, so, um, so the new the new stuff always matches, goes yeah. with the older stuff. Yeah. You know I always, it's adding to a, a yeah. library, yeah, so... Yeah, so it's just going to add. Um, if you do want those, I mean, you highly recommend getting these. Well, we've still got stock of them. £30.99 pence is your price. 391-520 is your item number. And I have actually, I'll get, I'll get my squares and my rectangles, I'll show you them in a min. Okay, okay. Right, so I'm just doing, I'm just on the last letter. So remember, this is a, this is a new, um, oh, it feels like it's a new memento because it's quite juicy. So I'm just going to give that a second to dry. Now, I've already got my pens out because I'm going to replicate the colours I've done on here. 
because I really like them. Me but it's too. dead easy. You know that colour chart you've got, kid? Yes, indeed, love. Once once you've got your pens at home, whether you've got one set, two sets, three sets, or the whole set, once you colour them in on the chart that yeah. Leone is showing you now, which you're gonna get you're gonna get a blank one for every set. Yeah. You can then think, oh you know what, that pink's lovely with that blue and yeah. that blue is good with that green. And that's exactly how I chose the colours for this. Yeah. Um, and it, you you wanna do that because obviously the the plastic on the lid, it's not gonna show it crisp. Whereas this is the exact colour. Yeah. It might be worth as well. Like if you've got different car stock that you know you work all the time, it might be worth yeah, like doing different swatches for different card as well. Because sometimes it works different on different yeah. cards, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> um, we've got, obviously, we have got our Phil's card, and that is such a good quality card stock. It's, it's beautiful. It's awesome. It's amazing. Mm. And it was, a, it was a job source in this as well. So the, the silky smooth card that we've got for alcohol markers is super, super, super smooth. And it almost feels, have you not got any to show anybody? <laughs> I can't even give you mine. Sorry, I can't. It's, it's... all right, love, don't worry. I, I can show you mine here, love. Let me show you mine here. Because it's really inspirational. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. It's really inspirational. Here it is. <laughs> 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 oh, it's like, it's like a snowman in, here, in, a, in a white, um, in a blaze of blizzardy <laughs> snow in it. <laughs> Thing is, though, it is so, so it super is. smooth. It, it, it's beautiful. It's, it's like glass. It feels yeah. like you're, you're touching glass. And the reason it needs to be that smooth is mm. a to um, to allow the pen to glide over it. Yeah, yeah. But more importantly, what it does is it allows the ink. Can you see? It allows the ink to soak through and the alcohol to evaporate at exactly the right pl uh, pace. Yeah, which yeah. Which then aids blending. So if you're one of those people who's who's ever struggled to blend, yes, this card is actually going to help you do that because yeah. the alcohol doesn't dry too quickly. Yeah, You'll yeah. You'll see because I'm going to do it now. Beautiful. It's a top. It's a it's a really good. Yeah, card, I so. really like working on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right. So as ever with all my. Um, with all my colouring ins, these are these are my swatch. <laughs> I'm lucky because I can just grab myself sheets and sheets of this and I just <laughs> but you can see where I test my colours, look to see yeah. what goes with what. Do you always do that? Do you always, always like test them out always. so you know how it all yeah. builds up? Always because you like here, look, if you look at these pens that I'm actually gonna use the greens don't look different enough to give you a different shade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you actually lay them on the card, then yeah. you will see the difference in the colour. Yeah. It's like you said earlier, it's really difficult. You can't you can't replicate ink in a plastic form. Yeah. You just yeah. you just can't. So I would always do that. Perfect. So slightly different to what so that's your nib look. So slightly different to what uh, to the way Julia's done it, because Julia goes over all of it with a with their lightest colour, yeah, yeah, and then and then adds darker and then blends it together with the lighter colour, and you absolutely can do that because these yes. pens will allow you to. Yeah. But me being me, yeah. I'm going to do this slightly different. Oh, so yes, I might not get. Oh no, I probably won't get all of it done. But so let's let's start with the K. So I'm I'm doing. This is the lightest, and I'm not worrying. Look, about circles or lines yeah. or whatever i'm just putting the color on Perfect. because the card and the pen the quality of the card and the quality of the pen that has actually already started to to dry look uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's no lines in that there's yes. no patches in that and that is the quality of the card and the and the yeah. pens yeah, yeah so that is the first color yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit at the bottom. And just... that beautiful nib. I mean, that nib, it's got that yeah. lovely point to it, so you can really get, I mean, look, it's it just gorgeous. It takes a little gorgeous. bit of practice, but you can get, you can get quite fine. Yeah. Now, I know, I know from talking to people who have already bought all the pens, that actually doing the small details is quite difficult. Yeah. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You literally just use, I'll just, I'll just, I'll do this little wavy thing at the side. So I'm literally just touching the nib. Yeah. Can you see what I'm doing? It's I'm like not dots. trying to brush this on. I'm literally just letting the nib yeah. touch the card. And because oh, yeah. the quality of the ink is so good and the card is not bled out. And it, oh, look yeah. at that for camera work. Hey. It's a good job none of it has bled out, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Hey, if you I were blagging it, <laughs> yeah, we'd be seeing it. <laughs> for that. Oh, uh, for it's a good job. Can, He's in, in fact, focus. There's no soft focus here, oh, kid. Oh, sorry. <laughs>
Can you see, look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spot and these, on. that detail is minute. Yeah. It, so it's minute, just little the, dots. The, That's a really good technique. Yeah, the point of the nib. So just using yeah. the point of the nib. So I'm now going on with my next darkest blue. I will just warn you, these pens are juicy. Right. Um, and I wanted that because I didn't want you to invest in alcohol pens that are going to dry out in six months. Yeah. And then you're going to be coming back to me going, Phil, they've only lasted me six months. Yeah. So these are packed with yes. ink. These yes. are packed. So please don't open them like that. Too over vigorous. Because I've done it. And they've uh, splashed. So just twist it, look, just twist it, but do it away from your work. Right, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> so I'm now doing, I'm now doing a half of what I've done already with the next shade of blue. Lovely. Yeah. So you can see I've left, I've left a white, a white patch in the middle of that. And then I've got to remember which is the lightest green, which is this one, I think. Yeah. So I'm now going green on the tips. Love. I love greens and blues together. I just yeah. love it. They do. They just sit together wonderfully, don't they? So I'm, oh, I'm going over, look. I'm going over. Lovely. And then I'm going over the whole thing with the lightest blue, which is the first Lovely. one I started with. So look at the richness at the edges. I mean, so that's can so... Can you see as that's drying? Yeah. It's actually shading itself yeah. for me. Yeah. So because I... Because I gone over the greens uh, and the darker blues with the same ah, blue, the green, yeah. it's doing it for me. Yeah. So I don't want none of this, I can't use alcohol markers, I can't shade, <laughs> you don't need to. Let the pens yeah. do it for you. Yeah. yeah. That was the whole point of me investing a lot of money yeah. in, in developing these because I, I am a confident colourer but I remember the days where I wasn't. Yes, absolutely. And you know when you colour something and you think, oh, oh, that just looks awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it stops you wanting to do yes. it. So the pens and the card were really important yeah. to me. Are you are you doing anything while I, I carry could on? I can do a little thing. Well, you on, do your, are you doing your ATE? I'm going to do the rest, yeah. Um, right, well, well, our Phil does his ATE. Um, I'll do a quick recap. So first of all, the pens. Now, as Phil says, it is up to you what you're going to go for. It's up to you if you're just going to go for one pack or if you are saving them. Maybe you've already got a couple and you're just building up. And um, the thing is, if you can go for the whole lot, that is amazing because you've got such a fantastic um, colour window here. When you look at all your variants, you know, you've got so many skin tones. You're covered for your florals. You're covered even if you're just doing grayscale work. I, I must admit, I absolutely adore the greys. The greys are essential. Yeah, the they grays are. The greys are your shadows. The greys are your tones. The greys will give you depth. And that is so important. And I love it because when you actually watch people who are colorists, who really know how to use color, and they'll put like gray over something to completely change the tone. Yeah. It's like, oh my word, that is such a cool way of, of using like colour, quite frankly. Watch tutorials, learn loads about your alcohol markers, but invest in a good quality pen. Um, you have got with each pen uh, set, and it is important to point this out, I'm not going to put the lid down off because we've got a monostat, but <laughs> each one, it has got the little lid, and each lid, it will lock and it's got the carry handle, and that is really important because they've all got their own cases, so you don't even need to worry about storage when you first get them. 39 pence 99 pence per set two payments 20 pounds it is up to you where you go set one is the one in the list so people are going like i'll offset one please let's start at the beginning it makes sense it makes sense it's easy isn't it so start with so you know where you're at and um, 745245 we have got the storage bags as well on the show and the little storage bags now oh i oh he says oh look phil scott is crammed for. I've got, I'm, I'm just easy for me because I can just nip to the shop Can't and go, you know what, I'm going to have half a dozen of them. <laughs> I but like these because how many can you fit in one of these? You can, you, that's 24 so that is a full set of pens yeah. in one. You can see you can actually get more in if you wanted to. Yeah. yeah. But when I was doing these the poor factory who made these for me. <laughs> Did you send these I back? Went, I've got them lined look can you see that they're lined? Oh, they yeah. sent to me originally and online, and I'm like, I'm not having none of that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want, I want them lined, darling. You know, darling. What, you know when you're going somewhere, I mean, we've not been able to do it this year, but you know if you're going to workshops or yeah, anything like yeah, that, yeah. and you want to be able to transport them, not in the bulky cases, yes. but in one of these, yeah. they need to be lined and they need to be protecting your pens because they're an investment. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you, So you can easily get one set of pens in each of these. Yeah, and they take up way less room. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah, when you are using these for your storage, look, I mean, already that's, you can see way less room. Uh, really, really handy. You're getting four of those for £19.99. 112652 uh, is your item number. Don't miss out on them. Now, those wonderful sentiments, um, of course, with these big stamps, way bigger than they look like on the actual, um, on the actual packaging. And it's the detail. And Phil's going to show us how to actually use these, you know, to, to mix up the sentiments just by masking the elements off. And all that detail. They are really cool, are these. And the price is fabulous. You are seven, eight pounds. Unless you're a Freedom member, of course. Freedom members, eleven nine five seven plus your postage saving. And you've got your flex. That's 420162 is your item number. Now, we will talk to you about the alphabet because that follows the stamps. But we'll chat about the magazine because obviously this is such a big deal. I mean, that price is sensational. £14.98. You've got all those papers, and the papers are beautiful. I remember when this was launched, because I remember saying you cannot get these papers anywhere else. These papers are exclusive for this magazine kit, and they're beautiful. They're really... Um, Oh, I should have sorted these out, shouldn't I, and put them in order. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm showing you, because I haven't sorted them. I'm, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I should have done that. Um, but, yeah, the, the papers, shall I hold them up so you can see them better? You can't really see them there, can you? Um, the papers are just beautiful. So you have got, within the collection, you have got ten different designs in here, premium papers. I, I don't know if I've shown you each design, because, like I said, I haven't organised them. But they're absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what I've shown you. But, but this, I mean, when you look at that, you have got in there, you've got 40 sheets, 40 A4 sheets for... £14.98, along with stamps, along with a magazine that's crammed full of ideas, along with a stencil, along with the A4 sets of stamps. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal deal. And the magazine itself, it's funny, isn't it, with the magazine kits, because we almost, like, breeze past the magazine. But that's got loads of ideas and inspiration yeah. in as well. Um, obviously, ideas how to use the kit. Now, if you do want to get hold of this, well, we've got it in stock. £14.98 is your Price two one one um, four five three is your item number, um, and again massive saving on that, absolutely incredible. Now next we are going to show you that beautiful alphabet, and the alphabet is just amazing because oh that detail. See when I spin it round. I love these. I just think they're really different and really cool. Like the little A's got the crown on. The little C that's got little wings. My favourite's the Q. Have a look at the Q. Yeah, look at the Q because the Q's waving at you. It's proper cute. Oh, can you see its little hands? <laughs> yeah, you can. Isn't it cute? I really like that. They're not actually hands. They're just little flowery things, but they do look like hands. They're little I'm, I'm going to tell you that. We'll have that one. Really? Yeah. Were they not actually hands without flowers? Oh, they're proper hands they just waving doodles, at you. Aren't they? They're like little hands. Yeah, the we'll N has got the skull with the, like, the flash of lightning on it. The um, M has got the beautiful rose. Honestly, there's so many cool doodles on there. They're well good. And then, of course, you've got all the numbers as well. Are they lush? So you've got the alphabet, big, um, gorgeous letters. And then, of course, you've got the lowercase as well. And with the lowercase, you've still got all that detail. The lovely thing, obviously, is the fact that you have got the ability to personalise whatever you do. So you can make whatever you fancy with these. If I just show you a few finished samples, because have a look how pretty they look. See, and it's like Phil says, you can really, you know, if you're into your, your long cards, look how beautiful. But of course, you can personalise something. So using um, all the sentiments that we've got, and I then inside, that isn't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful? So, mm. so you've gone from me with the blues and greens to something really feminine and pinky yeah. and girly, but doesn't that look pretty? Yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah. And the thing is with these, you know how a lot of times, you know, you've got a stamp message, but you want the, the first letter yeah. to be different? Yeah. They're perfect yeah. for that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And you can see the size difference. So you've got your sentiment, and then, of course, you've got the numbers on there as well and i do i love the funky tag i think that's fabulous you can use them for anything if you if you if you're if you're already a member of our crafting with phil martin and sentimentally yours facebook group yes you will see where lozzy <laughs> who big has, title that 
Aye. That were a big title, know, wasn't well, it? If you're used, it's what you get used to, isn't it? The, the <laughs> titles. <laughs> <laughs> so if, you, if you're a member of that group and you go back and look at some of the photos where the design team have shared what they've made with them, yeah. Lozzie has done loads and loads of little tags and things like that, like, like decor, useful things, where yes. she's, she's made tags for people for gifts. And I think that's just amazing when yeah. you can make your own, especially this day and age where you want things to be unique and yeah. special. Yeah, and obviously you can sell them, can't you? Oh, yeah, So, absolutely. I mean, when you see, obviously this year's been way trickier selling cards because of craft fairs, oh, it, but personalised stuff yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, that is lovely. The col see, if you look at the colours in the middle yeah, there. Yeah, they're really good. They're oranges and yellows yeah. and reds, and that just looks awesome next to it the does. brown paper. It looks a little bit rocky, it doesn't does it, as it, well? It does, it, yeah. yeah. That's one that my sister that, make. Um, not as in rocky, the, but, uh, the, I nearly said butcher, I mean boxer. <laughs> I mean more um, heavyweight rocky. Do you know what I mean? It do, yeah, it does, yeah. <laughs> Rocky I'm just showing you the, the versatility books, of these stamps, because if you can go from the pinky girly one that's, that's got Emily on it, yeah, yeah. and then go to the masculine one that's got the browns and the reds and the oranges and the and the um, brown papers, yeah. that shows you how good these stamps Absolutely. are. Absolutely. And not just for cards. I mean, yeah. that would look lovely framed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you do it, if you do it right, these would look beautiful framed. Um, if you do want your alphabet, now, these have been really popular. Two payments, £20 and £24. 082 364 is your item number. Now, do check out the website. We've got loads of goodies on the website. So many different dies. Uh, please remember all the beautiful uh, double Ds because we've got the rectangles, we've got the squares. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, all row, double Ds. Um, and <laughs> we got the hexagon. We had a little, a little oof in our ear there. Um, so please do not miss out on anything on this show because we have so many beautiful products at silly prices. Um, okay, now, before we go back to our full, we'll quickly tell you about the embossing folders. Now, we have got two different sets of embossing folders. Phil, we're using these in the, uh, the last hour, um, and they're absolutely beautiful. Now... We have got, shall we go there first? That is absolutely beautiful. And you've used these like for flowers and all sorts, haven't you, Phil? Yeah, yeah, and they are a really deep, rich um, embossing folder, aren't they? They are. They're deeper than they were, as you would expect. They're, they're a little bit thicker than the average embossing folder, so that it means that they'll work on just about any kind of cardstock. Um, and obviously, I've used them loads in my backgrounds and everything. Yeah. But yeah, die cut your flowers, chuck them in, and emboss them through, and you it's get a completely anything. different look and a different texture then as well. In fact, uh, look, the one look. that Leone is holding there now for you, the striped elegance, I've actually used on this card that I'm making now, Ooh. and I'll show you when you come back to oh, me. Fabulous. But I've only actually used the stripey bit yeah. just, just to create a striped border. Oh. So, you, so you look at them and you think, well, actually, you can get, you can use yeah. that twice. That, I mean, that is... You can is, feel it, can't you? You were saying how um, deep that is, yeah. honestly. That is amazing. Yeah. So for your letter press you techniques, where you ink your bread, in, in your, yeah, you bring in your... Um, and what's the folder with your brayer is the perfect for that. <laughs> Sorry, Harry, I got carried away I know playing you a tune. Did, love. I know Sorry, you did. Phil. It doesn't take much, does it? Not really. I was standing here grinning away at myself <laughs> playing a cheeky tune <laughs> on, on your you embossing folder. Um, wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh, of happy. course, I can't hang, stand it up. Let me just do this because we have got some lovely finished samples as well. See, have a little look at that. That's lovely. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. So that's that's obviously just run through and then inked over. But look how much it brings the detail yeah. out, as if yeah. it's not detailed in for already. That is stunning. They're absolutely they make the best backgrounds. Um, so that's your first one. So obviously you're getting those two eight by eight embossing folders. These are big embossing folders and a super um, deeply grooved, if that's the word. Uh, zero two two. That's not a word. Uh, five five zero is your item number seventy ninety eight. The next two. So you have got your beautiful flourish there. And then I love the little scallop because that is super cool. In fact, let me just... It's timeless as well. All, yes. all four of these are, are timeless embossing folders. Everybody really needs them in their stash. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you look at them, it's just such an easy background. It's different. Please don't think embossing folders are only for cards. You know, they're absolutely not. For your mixed media, absolutely. for creating backgrounds yeah, for mixed way media. To add texture. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because, I mean, you can be sanding was, back. You can do yeah, all that sorts. Was, that's one of Loz's, I think, where she's brayed over the. Um, flourish one with white ink. Yeah, that looks that lovely. That makes it pop even more. 
Yeah, I love that. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you would like your embossing folders, £17.98 is your price. Don't miss out on those ones. 709-421. Now, that magazine. 70% of the stock has gone. You have not to miss out on this. I mean, it is such a good deal. Um, and obviously, once that has gone, I doubt you're going to be able to find any more, are you? It. I don't even know what's at the shop, but I know. <laughs> I know, because obviously my sister's put the show together, yes. but... Uh, she would have checked, so I know there wouldn't be any more because she would have just put them on. Yeah, yeah. So She'll now is the time to do it. Yeah, check that basket out. No. Um, if there is anything you want, you know what to do. Right, back to you. Five, six film. minutes left. Is that all we've got? Yeah. Oh, gosh. It has gone quick, so I, I might not get this finished. Well, I might do. We'll see. <laughs> Crack so on, I'm just going to show you how to do the glossy accents, because although it's something that we've used for years and years and years, I'm yeah. well aware that not everybody knows what yeah. it is. I'm sure somebody will have it on the website here. So it's just glossy accents. It's basically just a mm. lacquer. Um, I'm, this is absolutely battered. I've shoved so many hat pins and everything in it. You squeeze it and then it comes out the side and everything. So once you've got a proper one at home, you'll be absolutely fine. So I'm just going to show you what I did. So I just, any time, lovely Megan, my ears just said, if there's any time left, it won't be. <laughs> no, so what I did was I just <laughs> squeezed some artwork and followed the, um, followed the shape of the pen, uh, the pen, the letter. And then I did, I'm not squeezing now, I'm just pushing down. And then when that dries, obviously it dries crystal clear. And it dries with that little bit of dimension. Yeah. It does level itself out. It won't be as high as and that. And it's fabulous, isn't it? Because it, it does. Oops. I mean, it's a strong adhesive as well, but it really makes those colours so rich. I know, I used to watch so somebody who uses it. All the, somebody uses it as a, as a as glue. A glue. And I'm like, what a waste. I know, I think and I that. And I like that. I do, I do. It's like, put, your dip, put it <laughs> down, it's good. special. So, so that's what happens when you do that. I'm not going to spend it's any more time It's cracking for gems as well, though, isn't it? You know, yeah. like, if you've got a clear glass yeah. gem, it's cracking. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And some of the dyes that I'm bringing you next year, it's really good on that oh, as well. Oh, I see, I feel we'll wait for them then. Yeah. That's right, exciting. So this is, what I, this is what I was doing when I made when I prepped this card last night. The papers, remember the papers on the show were three for two, so you're only paying for, uh, hang on, have I got that right? Two for three? Three, Whatever. I don't know, you she'll show three, us. But you're paying for two. And yes. I know that the polkas and pinstripes ones are really low, as are the celestial ones that you're holding now. Oh, am I holding them? Um, so I've <laughs> yeah, got me Aurora. 15 sets of papers. I've got Aurora. Aurora, Nebula, and the two the two polka dot ones. Okay, I won't show you more because there's so Listen, many. I've got to make this card. And you've got to make that card. Yeah. Oh, they are beautiful, though. They I are. really like your uh, papers, the, Phil. The, seriously, this is the time to top up on your papers because okay. you're only paying for two. I never do this. Yeah, yeah. And it's only because boxes of papers take space up and I yes. need the room. Yes. So, so take take advantage. Yeah, yeah, papers right. do take. So right, I'm I won't show any more. I'll wait. time to stamp this. So I'm just going to... No, I'm not. Four and a half minutes. Come, you. Phil. I'll put the card together, <laughs> but I'm not going to have time to stamp this again, so I just wanted to show you. Okay. So if you watched the earlier show, you will have seen how I did this. So I put my little uh, octagon on my stamp press. I positioned this where I wanted it, ignoring everything around it. Yeah. But just using the word best. Let me yeah. show you. So I got best where I wanted it. Yeah. Yeah. Then picked it up on my stamping platform, covered the rest with the uh, removable tape. Yeah. Stamped best and then cleaned it and then I did the same with wishes. Yeah, Perfect. so then you so we've gone from with very best wishes and you're looking to think Oh, that might be too big for me that stamp fell. Yeah, well, change it. Yeah, make yeah. it make it work for you. Yeah so, <laughs> Let's yeah, let's get this stuck together. Let me move this because it's just distracting me <laughs> Get your bits out your way. <laughs> more colour, more colour <laughs> swatches. <laughs> I bet you've got thousands I, I of have, them. I've got them all over the place. And then I, I finish colouring something in and forget about it, and then come back to it a few few days later, I think, oh, what colours did I use on that? <laughs> yeah. I should and do what Julia does. She's got a really organised little journal. Of course journal. she has. I bet she's got it in a little journal she and everything, has. It's hasn't very she? very clever. Of course she has. She'll have it numbered and everything. Yeah, Julie's very organised. So I've, I've done the inside to match this car. So we've got, this is the British, uh, the Racing Green oh, car, which is, is on the stunning. website. Uh, it, from one angle, it looks almost black, but it's a really <coughs> yeah, rich it's a, green. It's a beautiful, beautiful rich green. There you go. You can just see yeah. it. Look, really deep green. So when I was doing the letters, um, 
I want to, I want them. Can you, oh, this is the border look that I did yes. with the striped elegance embossing folder. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted a little stripey, a little stripey border. Beautiful. And I've put. No, that's crazy. <laughs> Two and a half minutes. Have you been Was... talking more in this hour? I don't know. I didn't I feel, feel like, like it. Much done. Maybe I was fa babbling a bit more at the beginning, Maybe. talking about photographs. So what I've done, look, is I've put, I've put foam tape just on one half because I want this sticking up. If I don't get a chance to finish it, I'll do it later. Okay, so okay. can you see I've got a little flap oh, yeah. on that side? Yeah. And it means I can now tuck it underneath and make a, like a cascading. Ah. Um, so it's almost like um, a four... Waterfall. Yeah, yeah, I suppose it is, Leone, yeah. Oh. So I can just go two minutes. <laughs> uh, look at my flowers. Oh, look at your look flowers. Look at all them. Oof. They're never going to go on in two minutes. Oh, you can stick a flower on. I can on. stick a couple on. Yeah, you will. We believe in so you, what Phil. This, so the reason I'm showing you this is because if you, because I like to do DL cards. Yeah. And I quite like that we can cascade like this with the alphabet set. Yeah, So if, like you want, if you've got somebody whose name's Richard, for example, you could do that easily on you a DL just, card. just, obviously, you can just cut it down, can't you? Of course you can. Of course, course you can. can. We all know yeah. Richard in our life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not going there. <laughs> right. No. Made me giggle more than I should have, really. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the flowers, look, these are from the sweetheart flowers that are on the show. Oh, they're pretty. And these are just meant to be tucked in the little and which are the sweetheart recesses, ones? yeah. One minute, I'm not going to finish it, but... I'll finish it at some point and stick it on, stick it on the Facebook page. I've got all my leaves and everything, but I'm not going to spoil it by rushing it. And those leaves, remember, I know we haven't, we've got them on the show as well. Please check those out. They're at the bottom of your screen because you haven't, oh, that's so pretty. I love the colour palette. Look at that alphabet. Look Get at the it. alphabet, and See, everybody. I can see that shine. It's it, gorgeous, isn't honestly, it? Honestly, it looks even better. Oh, that is so pretty. From my angle, that looks way better than it's looking on our screen. Yeah, the colours look, the colours look <laughs> Sorry, a bit Joe. strange on the screen. Honestly, the glitter on that looks sensational. That's beautiful. Thank you, love. That's lovely. Thank Please you. check your half, baskets out, everyone. One. 15 seconds. You did it. <laughs> well, I don't well, know. You did five in first one. Half it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Phil. I'll see you at the end of January. So have a good Christmas and what have you. Yes. And I'll see yes. you in January. See you in January, Thank my love. Um, Sliver. Sliver. I'm a nice. All oh, the ladies are in the building. It is the Quilters Trading Post Big Save. Uh, we then got Fabri Freedom, which you want this special, and then on Chanda, we say. <laughs> Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stampin' Sisters from Stamp Haddocks. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. 
On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Welcome to Hachanda's Christmas Credit Event. From Friday the 18th of December at 7am to Wednesday the 22nd of December at 6pm, we will be offering you the opportunity to earn Hachanda Christmas credits. If you are still struggling for last minute gift ideas or just need extra inspiration to help complete your Christmas crafty projects, then please join us and start accumulating your credits. Order any product from our live shows and you will automatically be given a £5 credit to spend against any purchase of £30 or more the following day. And you can do this every day. This means everyone who purchases could save up to a total of £25 each over the course of the event. So, get Christmas 2020 all wrapped up by tuning in to our Christmas credit event from the 18th of December at 7am. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda, you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce, and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. looking forward to this now because a couple of my favorite buddies are here and we're talking about sewing as well so I am very much in a happy place especially since we've got some brand new things to share with you but enough about me dilly and dallying here we've got lovely Emma and Pam how are you doing all the how way you? down there Hello, we're good thank you how are you I'm all right can't, can't hear you down there but it's all it's good it's a long, long, long yeah, distance between away. us away. <laughs> <laughs> now of course we have got the lovely ladies here and they always bring us some amazing deals some wonderful kits and beautiful patterns so if you are a fan of uh, Pam and Emma's and of course quilting trading post then do jump ahead what did I say no it's just like that camera's not on I'm like it oh, is it's <laughs> I thought I said something wrong no, are you no. helping us out Pam what? you're helping us out with the cameras and everything fabulous I love it she's watching yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can't get away with anything when Pam's here now of course um, Pam and Emma work together to bring us some amazing pro um, products wonderful patterns and that's exactly what we're looking at here and this is the first time that we've seen this one and it's kind of a mini me version isn't it of the it larger quilt that we have seen before yeah. so if you're looking at the name and you're thinking but hang on I've seen Emma's Baltimore before well you have seen this on a much larger scale now I've got it to the side of me here and it is absolutely beautiful in fact I'm going to take that pattern down just so you can save it and see how gorgeous this is. Emma, I love this design. I always have done. And they're cute. They are reworked, so they are different, but you will see some similarities between some of the blocks. But, oh, okay. yeah, I just couldn't resist. I had to do them little. Isn't it gorgeous? And it's nice because I've seen a fusion here of kind of quilting and the applique, which we know you guys for so well. Yeah, I, I love a bit of patchwork, and I haven't done it in a while, so I thought I'm going to go to town. So, yeah, you've got a bit of both. We certainly have. And what you've got is a phenomenal price. I mean, you're looking at $17.99, which, of course, is for your pattern. So you're going to be able to introduce your own colours, your own fabrics if you're wanting to, or obviously take guidance from the pattern that you can see there. But look at that price, 
17 pounds and 99 pence now don't forget we are in the midst of our fabulous christmas event so if you're placing an order for this you will automatically get a five pound credit ready for you to use tomorrow how amazing is that because you're only paying 17.99 to start with of course you can see there are all those fabulous blocks featuring within the quilt which of course you can make them up as few or as many as you like it might be a case of that oh you think oh i like that block i've made one of those i'm gonna do lots more of those oh not so cool. keen on that one don't know if i like that one well this is up to you you can obviously use it just as it's directed to create that pattern as you can see there or pick and choose it's your quilt at the end of the day and you are paying just 17 pounds and 99 pence for your pattern absolutely a brilliant value for money and um, that's going to be a popular one because patterns always are when we see the girls here but then of course we've got more to share with you of course we're talking about christmas so we're talking about some wonderful elements for you to take advantage of and this one is a nice one now emma this is a chunky one we've got a lot in here there is there is a lot in there um if i remember rightly because this was last month's new one so i brought it back because it's christmas <laughs> <laughs> i think you've got yeah 12 uh, 12 inch blocks you have you've got a border a corner to go with it and then you've got the ornaments that hang off the um, border if you want to to make a nice sort of runner or whatever yeah there's a lot in there there is a lot that you're going to be learning in here. So, of course, you can see the Baltimore quilt, um, as you can see there, the Christmas version, um, with those gorgeous poinsettias in each of the cornerstones there. Beautiful throughout, as you can see here. But you are learning so much. You've got your patterns in there, your techniques, obviously, um, explained to you. So you've got, when you get to your patterns, just to explain, you've got kind of your broken down pattern sheet, which are your elements. And then, of course, you've got your placement pieces, which you'll be able to see. Of course, you'll learn all of this from the ladies as the our progresses but then you've got your different blocks again absolutely beautiful throughout and there's certain areas that I think you can kind of like that one there although it is part of the the mistletoe cross it doesn't necessarily look as if it's mistletoe no no it's quite subtle that yeah. isn't it yeah so they're not necessarily all Christmas as you say you could use them any time of year um, of course, they all come together beautifully if you're wanting to put them as a quilt. But then, of course, you've got lots of different ways that you can be working with these if you so choose. It really is a bumper guide to uh, creating all sorts of different elements. And, of course, then it all folds together neatly, not like I'm doing it. Um, and then uh, you can pop it away and then create whatever it is that you're wanting to, whether it is a long um, piece or whether it's a square quilt or cushion cover. It's entirely up to you. You can get all of that knowledge. And uh, also, this is like a Christmas tree skirt that we've got here as well yeah it's a christmas christmas tree christmas tree skirt it's a new word or a table topper whichever you like so you've got it hung up there as the oh, um, christmas yes, tree course, skirt yeah. because i've cut the table topper into a tree skirt i love it <laughs> really really pretty i mean look at the designs yeah, that and you've that's got your here. mantle runner Isn't so that's that going on my mantelpiece this weekend Oh, well, I'm not surprised because mm. it's absolutely beautiful. Now, we are busy for this one. Freedom members, you have got a discounted price. It's incredible to think that as a Freedom member, you can get those 15 um, blocks included in there, the borders, the embellishments, and your four projects as patterns for just £22.49. That is a brilliant book to go for. Really weighty project book there, and one that you will refer to time and time again, all year round, not just for Christmas. I can pretty much assure you of that one because there's lots of elements that you'll take from that and piece together and put your own projects together but if you do want something that is definitely a christmas related project then this might be the one for you the holly and the ivory when they are both full grown i believe the uh, the old uh, carol goes oh i used to love singing this that is well. lovely isn't it pretty it goes with the blocks that are in the book okay. but obviously it's separate as well mm -hmm. so you've got the design there that's fitted to the stocking and i thought it was a nice sort of adult version it is mm. absolutely beautiful and I love that. the Christmas rose in it absolutely gorgeous now with the applique pieces um, Pam I mean is this anything for us to be scared of with applique I don't think so I you know there's all sorts of ways to do applique you don't have to do satin stitch you can just straight stitch around it if you want point, or you can yeah. hand stitch it could so indeed it's just cut and stick really it is yeah, yeah. I mean, I sat in stitch that, and, and I'm not as pro as mum is, and I didn't oh, have a problem. It looks amazing. Really right. does. Oh, look, We're going to get right in and look at the stitches now that you said that. Oh, heck. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, and I'm also <laughs> shame here. Oh. Um, 999 again, you've got your comprehensive pattern in there. You've got obviously all the elements explained to you that you need, and of course you've got your uh, pattern, your pattern pieces, everything that you need, all within that for just nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. And definitely a good addition to go in alongside the project book that we saw just a few moments ago. Seven seven one um, six eight zero if you're wanting to get hold of that. But what about fabric? This is something else that we always see Pam and Emma bring to us, and they bring us such beautiful quality and things that you might not have seen before. Now, I will warn you with regard to any of these fabrics that we're sharing with you, when they've gone, they have gone. This is your last opportunity to get hold of any of these, so please do be as quick as you possibly can. I know some of them are proving to be very, very popular. So I'm going to roll my sleeves up and I'm going to go through them and tell you about the first. Now the first set, we've got these two beautiful colour options for you. So you've got your red and green and you've got your um, pink and teal. And of course that relates to the kind of the floral accents as well as the fabrics that feature in within here. So the red and green, rapidly approaching limited stocks. So I'm going to open this one up first of all for you to have a look at. You've got this gorgeous foiling, Emma, in this one. Beautiful. It, oh, aren't they stunning? Gorgeous. I just love them. I have made a quilt for myself out of them. and Oh, beautiful. I'm not surprised. Absolutely mm. gorgeous. Now, these are double-sided. I've only opened it halfway. So I will flip it over so as you can see the other side as well. But you can see you're getting eight really good-sized blocks with regards to these. Of course, adding your sashing if you're wanting to make them a big part, uh, well, a big piece really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. As soon as you start adding in that um, sashing. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they are, unlike the little squares, you can do a lot with these big you ones. Can. You can yeah. do some really nice home That's it. craft. Yeah. It easily turn them into cushion covers. Yeah. Um, this particular option that I've just shown you there, that one is now officially limited in stock. So if you have got that one in your basket, you need to be checking your basket out. As I said, it's kind of getting closer to the season, so we haven't got huge quantities. It has gone now so I'm going to pop that one out of the way and um, so well done you're going to love that one when you get home if you have completed your order on that one this one that I do love this one here with the teal that gorgeous green that you've got in here and you've kind of got different greens featuring because of obviously you've got the overlay of the fur um, with this one yeah beautiful this actually to be honest this is the one I've got my quilt out of this color way what well, it upside down can I turn it around because that's irritating <laughs> me sorry I tend to choose the more I'm a very traditional girl and I like the red and green but this goes actually quite nicely with all my red and green decoration I well this is it quite yeah. impressed. and it's a bit different See, I love that deep tone there. Yeah. Um, yeah, again, it's limited in stock. So again, mm. this is going to go, again, it's just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous throughout. If you are fortunate enough to get this in your basket, please do not leave it too long before checking your baskets out. You know the ruling. What will happen is after 10 minutes, it will fall back into our stock allocation, and there are people that have missed out on these previously. So for me to mention it to them, they will be quick on your heels to get hold of this and get it into their basket. So if you want it and you're wanting to get it home, to you, you have to complete your order. Please do not dilly dally. Dilly dally not. <laughs> I can't emphasise it more. I'm going to pop it back there just for the time being. And also, it has technically sold out, but I don't like the look of that fabric underneath. So I'm going to cover that up there to make it look a little bit prettier. We'll sort that out in a moment. But have a look at these. Now, if you've missed out on those panels, they have both gone now. These are so cute. And we are getting all of these as fat quarters. Yeah. I love these. Yeah, I've just gone through my stock and picked out all the really fun ones. And when you actually lay them out like this, you, you, it's surprising how wide these pieces are. A pack quarter is a fair piece. It's a 20, well, it's just over 20 inches square. So there That's you go. the minimum you're going to get. So, yeah, it's big. I love these. I've not seen these before. I mean, that realistic image that you've got there, your little Santa there. I love it, with all the uh, presents featuring in there. Uh, so choices of, you are going to get all of these. So all six of these coming to you, of course, perfect for your larger projects, perfect for you to chop into. And a nice range of colours, traditionals, reds and greens, and your lighter tones as well. Yeah, I thought, do I ma make them all matchy-matchy? No, let's have a fun selection. All things you can make your little crafty bits and pieces out of. Well, perfect for your little fabric gift bags and things like yeah. that. Yeah, I like to match my patterns to my people that I'm giving them to. Yes. So not everybody's a different personality in my family. Oh, well, <laughs> this one would definitely be for me with your, your kind of tumbling penguins because yeah. that is literally me. Yeah, I'm yeah. All, all over the place. But I have to say, if you are looking for a beautiful print, have a look at this one at the bottom here. Yes, well, this is gorgeous. Nice. A really whimsical look of the little birds in winter time in their little houses on the roofs there absolutely beautiful but you are getting all of those for just 21 pounds and 49 pence absolutely beautiful 
Love it. Yeah, if you're wanting these ones, 745120. But again, the stock that we've got is it. So if you're liking them, get them in your baskets. Check those baskets out as soon as you possibly can. Now, if you are looking at making some Christmas blocks, maybe not necessarily for this Christmas, but I know that a lot of people kind of get into the season because they're kind of, it's Christmas time, so they like yeah. to make a start on projects for next Christmas. That's how I think of it. I was yeah. thinking about this. Should I not take Christmas? No, it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> and then actually, if you wanted to do these and you've got this, I don't know how quick these are going to get to you, but these do not take long. These are quite quick projects in this one. And I think the thing is, 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 like I say, you don't necessarily want to be sewing for Christmas in the middle of July, do you? You know, It's not no. in the right mindset. No, that's yeah. the problem. So yeah. you can do a little bit of this now, do a little bit at the end of next year, whatever you want. And I love it. I and mean, they're nice projects between Christmas and New Year as well to create. Because, yeah. well, quite often most of us leave our decorations up until Twelfth Night or at least until New Year. Easter. So you have got that little interim period between Christmas and New Year, maybe to do a little, little few Christmas makes that can be tucked away, ready to come out next year. And uh, again, using one of those quilt blocks, popping it into a little gift bag, really clever idea. But of course, quilt blocks perfect to put together to make a little Christmas quilt. So again, you could be getting started with these. Maybe make a few this side of Christmas or this side of the um, 2021 and then add to them during the course of next year. I mean, think about it. You've got 12 months really, haven't you? You do. To make maybe yeah. a block a month or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, that would work really well. The other thing is these are really good for any little ones who are beginning. Yes. And yeah. I always found after Christmas I wanted to do stuff. I just wanted yeah. presents to play with and yes. to do. So this would be great when you're still in that Christmassy mood with the little ones you want to learn sewing. Definitely. Perfect. I don't know which one's my favourite. I do like the little <laughs> Rudolph at the top. That seems to be most people's favourite. Yeah. Very cute. Very I cute. like them all. But then you're learning about piecing as well because you've got a few traditional quilt blocks in there as well as your applique. So it's a nice yeah. little set to, to learn about the different elements, I suppose. It is, yeah. There's nothing overly complicated in there. So it is really good for beginners. Wonderful. There you go. Now, if you fancy getting hold of this set of patterns, again, seventeen ninety nine. Again, incredibly affordable, and again, generating that five pounds credit ready for you to use tomorrow. So it all adds up, doesn't it? If you fancy getting hold of those, then the details are there on your screen. But we're moving on. Moving on to a lovely quilt. Um, well, this one's actually a kit. So this is a kit. Ooh. We sold out of this last month, and I've managed okay. to eke some more. So anybody who missed out, here you go. Well, it's going quick already, so yeah, you have to be quick. And I'm guessing with this one, it's the stock that we've got, that's it now. That's all of it for this year until I can get more yeah. stock. Because of course yeah. those Christmas fabrics, yeah, the, the, what's on the shelf really is pretty much it now, isn't it? Until next Christmas and start looking at new designs and ideas. But very traditional stars within here, you can see your gorgeous red there with your little apples featuring there. Very traditional style there again with the gorgeous little baubles. Lots of greens, modern twists with the polka dots as you can see there. And a gorgeous little bit of glittery fabric in there as well. Now put them all together following the guidelines of your log cabin wreath. And there you go. Isn't that beautiful? Really nice design. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, what was that update? Half the stock has gone, my goodness. Wow. Wow, lots of you jumping ahead. It's a good way to shop, to be honest, in the hours like this one. So, 230-961, £24.99. Definitely one to check out if you have got that one in your basket. Do not miss out on that one. Oh, the next one is so cute. <laughs> this is so cute. Little furry Rudolphs. Now, these are adorable. They're kind of where Rudolph becomes... Well, it's almost... If Rudolph was in the nativity, this is what he'd look like, because he'd be a sheep, wouldn't he? He would, wouldn't he? Yeah, a <laughs> fluffy sheep, yeah. Oh, look at his face. You don't put the nose on, and he would be a sheep. He would, an yeah. Well, antlers, yeah. But yeah. I love it. I love the furry uh, fabric in here. Really good sizes on. Are these a hand-sewn project? Yeah, and the glue gun would make it a lot easier as well. Oh, so get tip, out yeah. your crafty yeah. supplies for this one. Aren't they adorable? And you're going to be able to make these. Um, now, within the kit, obviously you've got the, the um, elements there. How, um, looking at one of these, is it, that you're creating with the kit? You're going to get one of those, yeah. You've obviously got the pattern and you can make more. The pieces oh are cut out in felt with freezer paper, so you've got a sheet of freezer paper with the patterns printed on them for you because it just makes it easier. And oh, okay. those can be reused as well. So all you'll need is your fur and your felt and bits and pieces again, but you've got all your pattern and, and everything to make more. 
I love it. And of course, you've got all the instructions there. Um, as you can see, everything laid out. So, of course, adding your own fabric could be making even more of these. Um, explains to you what you've got within your kit on the back there. But of course, you can replenish that and make more of these if you're wanting to. And at $9.99, I think that's a fabulous little project, again, to be doing between Christmas and New Year, potentially. So, uh, 346124. Adorable. Love We've it. We've made all different Beautiful. coloured ones for our trees. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, the family have got yeah. some, haven't they? Yeah. I think they're brilliant. They are Love fab. Yeah. Real personalities. Now, of course, we saw earlier on the smaller Emma, um, well, not the smaller Emma, the <laughs> smaller it's a one small quilt. <laughs> Same size, Emma. Um, and this is obviously the original. This is the larger version. Um, and this is absolutely beautiful. Again, you've got all the elements in here. And I remember you bringing this out because obviously the, the bag it can feature just one of those blocks. It doesn't have to be the whole quilt. Yeah, absolutely. Any one of the blocks that you want to make, you've got a pattern to make a bag with it. Love it. And again, the beautiful applique is a certain style to this applique that you instantly think a quilt as trading post. Again, everything that you need. If you've ever gone for any of the patterns from the ladies, you will know how this is put together. Same idea where you will have your pattern pieces for your applique, and then you'll have your layout pattern alongside it. And then, of course, your colour illustration, the full photograph showing you how it comes together. Now, this particular block, you'll be able to see it in the finished quilt. Here you go. You can see it up in the top corner there. Um, and absolutely beautiful alongside all of the others there. Um, and again, beautiful if you bring them together, but equally beautiful if you do want to just use them individually as a cushion cover as a, a block to go in um, a bag even appliqueing onto clothing backs of leather jacket yeah. and not leather jackets denim jackets denim and things jacket. like that it looks amazing really good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely beautiful there you go so if you fancy getting hold of that guide then the details are there 116330 now this is not going to be any surprise to you guys but if you are shopping and you're placing a call um, to make your order you could well find yourself in a queue system at the moment because that's what's happening we're getting very busy on those phone lines so do bear with us. We'll get to you as soon as we possibly can. But if you can shop online, it might be the best way of shopping, especially when stock is becoming so vulnerable as it has been during this hour. And I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything because everything is so fabulous. But of course, I've got a fabulous Pam here um, and Emma as well. And we're going to be uh, chatting about uh, well, which project are we starting with? We're going to start with my mini Baltimore quilt pattern because it's new. Good so I'm choice. Really excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> So, I've got my copy here, um, this is my production copy, I'll show you mum, it's got all my notes in it, but what I wanted to show you, Hayley's already shown us the layout, so I'll just go through that quickly again. So for each block, you've got your finished block to look at to give you an idea of colours, positions, or what your block's going to look like. You've also got, you're broken down to trace, how many of each, of each piece is, and also a number for when you're sticking them down and there's your, your sticking down version. So we're going to start with the tracing and I'm just going to show you what I've done there rather than watch me trace them all. I've traced out each piece onto my, my sticky stuff as I call it. I've used a heat and bond light, um, there's lots of other versions. So this is your fusible webbing. You'll notice I've got all my numbers and I've got as many pieces as it says to trace. So for instance this little one here, piece four, trace eight. So I've done those. Um, what I need to do now is to separate them out because these are not all going to go obviously on the same fabric so for instance my big flower number one if i separate that out i'm going to trim off excess but not up to the lines just outside the lines i've got my fabrics and what i've cho chosen to do instead of going with the same colors as i've got in the book i've chosen all blues and creams and and whites so i'm going in a different way this time um, and i'm going to go with this one i think if I get it right, or was I going to do the other one? Which one was I going to do? This one. I'll just do this one. I'll do this one, Mum. Yeah, yeah this one. Doesn't matter. No, no. We'll do this one. Okay, pop it down, paper side up, drawing pencil side so you can see it. You stick it the other way, that will stick to the back of your eye. And I think everybody's done that at least once, haven't they? You've done it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why, why wool it gets it off the eye? Why wool gets off the eye? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, quick press down doesn't need a lot of ironing just so that you can see it and it starts to just curl up a little bit that's great okay so can't see anything on the front but you can see it on the back and just to trim it out it is obvious so for anybody who's not done this before I thought I'd show you I cut my excess fabric out of the way so I find it easier to move and we're just going to cut around this shape cutting's not my favorite as a lefty when I grew up, when scissors were all right-handed scissors, you couldn't mm. get left-handed left scissors when I was a kid. 
But I having a freezer to... paper on the back, the stability makes it much easier to cut that fabric. It's so down. much easier. Mm. It's not floppy yes. like fabric is usually. Mm. So, yeah, I like the... That's one of the reasons why I like the fusible webbing um, variety of or style of plique. This is as easy as paper craft up until you oh, get yeah. the machine out. So yeah. you don't have to, you know, do it like that with a machine. Well, so. this is it. I mean, with the plique, it's literally like you are sticking the fabric stand, just exactly. holding them in place with stitches. Yes. One thing I will point out, and I haven't got it with me today, but you can actually stick these fabric pieces with this glue onto paper. So if you wanted to make a card oh, yeah, oh, yeah. with Beautiful. these shapes, mm. you can do this with this style. This, this, once we've peeled off the paper off the back, you can either flick it like mum does, she flicks it to yeah. separate it. I peel it, so it's similar. Okay. Or a new technique that I found, pop your nail right on the edge, push it down and that separates. So it's anything to break the seal really? Anything, yeah. this is it. Some people flick it with their scissors or pins. I don't like that, I don't want to rip or tear any of my well, fabric. You can't really reuse it if you tear it, can you? Yeah, mm. I don't want to just upset my fabric, so that's how I do it. Anyway, yeah, make sure it's shiny though when you pull the paper off, if it yeah. isn't. I don't know if you can see the shine there. I can't one. see what you're seeing. Oh, maybe. there. Oh, yes, you can see a shine. Yeah. There you go. Are we all excited by that? Shall I another 10 minutes on that bit? Come on, now. Stop that? messing. <laughs> all right, I'll do something else. <laughs> <laughs> Just be naughty. So now we're going to get our placement pattern. We're going to pretend I've cut out all of those little pieces. I'm going to get my background fabric. You'll notice this isn't a plain one. I quite like a patterned background. I'll this is. In a minute. Yeah, shush, Mum. This is. Um, see-through enough that I can see the pattern through it. It's bigger than I need it to be. I like to cut them bigger. This will be a six and a half inch finished piece before we put it together into a quilt, but I've okay. cut it bigger. Now I can see through and I know I've got a position that that was piece one, so I know that that goes in the middle where number one is. Mm -hmm. You can do it this two different ways. You can either pop your paper, your um, book away and do it piece by piece. Okay, it on. Or you can position all your pieces and then pull it away. I like to take my book out from underneath when it's in a book. But yeah. you can iron it onto the book. It will just make your pages just kind of... Yeah, there it goes. It just folds up a little bit, but it doesn't matter. It will flatten out again. Now, this block has actually got some um, stems in it. So I'm going to use a fabric marker. I could have used my pencil, it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to mark those in. We're going to st stitch over the top of them. Okay. So you don't need to erase them afterwards, but you don't want to make them too thick. Okay, so there we go. Lovely. And we're going to pretend we've stuck all these pieces down. Mm -hmm. There we go. So that's all that is, until we've got all the rest of the pieces on. Now I've got a different block here that I've actually gone through one of the others, and I've stuck all the pieces down oh, and it's all wow. ready to go. There you go. So even with just those three colours, cream, sort of a beigey cream and blue, we've still got a really nice effect. That is beautiful. Just tracing, cutting and sticking and you've yeah. got something that looks lovely. That's it. And there any you. tips on the type of fabrics to use? I mean, we're looking at cotton fabrics, I'm guessing, but the size of the print, does that matter? Well, uh, no. It's up to you. If you it's use your a, choice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. If you mm. use a really big print, you're not really going to see much of it. So if you okay. want it printed, choose a smaller print fabric. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got a bigger print, then you can kind of fussy stick so your position pieces. position where you want it to go. Yeah, got to you. see if you want to bring any elements out. I could okay. have pulled these little pieces out so that you could see them right in the middle of the spot. But yeah. I like a bit of randomness about my work, so I didn't do that. You <laughs> could use silk or polyester fabric for the applique you can because I've done it and yes I mean they used to in the past the ladies True. used to use any fabric yes yeah but, um, cotton is often easiest that's the cotton is easiest because you've got to get the stitches through multiple layers yeah. so you don't want to add too much bulk too quickly I'm guessing oh not thick stuff no, no. silk and polyester is anything okay, of a normal yeah velvet you can do but it can be a bit thick. Mm. Yeah. The other thing is when you're sticking your pieces or your sticky stuff onto the back of your fabric, remember that if you're using a different style fabric, anything that's man-made, you'll melt. need to bring your temperature down. Yeah, of but course. the fusible webbing will still stick because to be honest, fusible webbing tells you to stick it on a really cool temperature. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I always use my, it on my iron's we... always set on the highest so it's <laughs> fine. Right, so you'll see I popped some stitch and tear on the back, papery stuff. This is the key to having nice flat neat satin stitch isn't it yeah don't try and do it without because no. it just crumples up and looks horrible yeah okay so i've just got enough to cover the applique i can just see see through it with the light i can i don't know if you could 
and I'm going to pin it right in the corners as far away from the shapes as you can and I like to pin it all four corners this because it holds it flatter when you're sewing when you've got it pinned on like that take your pins out as soon as you can when you've got some stitching in it though because it can stick onto your jump or your top and it can mess up your pre <laughs> That's a good point, yes. Yeah. Have you got the pins caught on your clothes? I well? have, yes. <laughs> <laughs> then what you do is you pass it over to your mum to do all the satin stitch. It's really good. I love that. it. Mm. Yeah, when it comes to satin stitch, Pat, any hints and tips you can give us with this? Oh, well, with the satin stitch, yes, I'm going to do that now. Now, when you set your machine up for satin stitch, I usually use um, a two and a half inch wide stitch for the width of the um, satin stitch, but this is two because these are oh, which which thing you got? Because these are um, smaller pieces, so we need a smaller width. But it's always the same length of stitch, and it depends on your machine. So you have to try it out. Don't make them too close together, or you'll get it bunching, and then so you get So they kind lumps. of stitch on top of each other yeah. then. Right. So you can do it quite far apart, and it still looks really good. We've had those come into the shop. Um, with applique done like that, and they do look good. Even zigzag can look yeah, quite good. Yeah, zigzag can look good what too. What about a bit of free motion work? I mean, could you do that with almost like that sketchy or doodly look to them? Or you can, you're, but shaking I'm not your going you're shaking to. your head at me. That's yeah, a big no, no. no. You can, you can <laughs> but not me. I won't do it's that. Not your so style. I'm not going to teach no. you that. Mum's very neat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I do do free motion work, but not with this. No, no, no. problem. I let the machine do the work, you know, and pull it along, and then I don't have to. That's a good, that's a good, t good thing to say, yeah, do yeah. like that. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> I've got an open toe foot, you don't need a bar across, it tells you all these things in the pattern as well. Yeah, okay. it does, yeah. So I've looked to see which side of the foot the needle's on, so I know which way it's going to go. If it goes the wrong way, you're going to have to start again, but that's okay. I've done that plenty of times. Now... Off you go, keep the needle sort of to the edge of the applique. Okay. And then when you get to a, um, a bend, you can just turn it by putting the needle on the outside of the curve. There you go. I'm doing it very slow. I don't go as slow as this at home. So am I right in thinking that the majority of the stitch is on the applique piece? Most of the stitch that you're stitching is yes. on the, the applique Most piece? Most of it on the applique yeah. piece. Yeah. Okay. With the thread that you choose, if you if you don't, if you get more of the stitch onto the background fabric, you'll see the background fabric come through. So right. it's best to get yeah. your stitches on top of the, the applique fabric. Okay. And you can. Um, the other thing is, the other really important thing is for doing satin stitch is you don't hold it here. Don't hold it back. Let the machine pull the fabric through because that's what it's there for, that's what the feed dogs are there for, to feed. And so if you're going to pull it and push it, then they don't get a chance to feed it and then you have a problem. So you're kind of guiding it more so than yeah. telling it where you're to go. Steering. Yeah, you're steering. Yeah, you're steering, I like that. Oh, you don't have to pedal. No. <laughs> I will show you how to do a three-point turn when we get to the... Oh, well, uh, lovely, I love it all. Um, yeah. Incidentally, if you are looking at placing your order on the phone lines, the phone queues have disappeared now, so now is the time for you to get on and place your order. Excellent. Oh, going the bend. Yeah. Look, and you can go around the bend, are you, Pam? Sorry? You're going around the bend, are you? Mm, yeah, I have to go around the bend. <laughs> She's been around the bend for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> now, I went round the outside, and when I stopped, I stopped on the outside, didn't I, there? Yes. Right, well, when you get down to this bit here, uh -huh. right, see that? Right. Now, that's the outside of the curve. It's on the other side. So when you turn it, the stitches come towards you. You can't see them very well because they're very dark blue, aren't they? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Emma told me to do the dark blue one. Well, so, that's oh. another tip, is that if you want to, if you're new at this, oh, choose yeah. a, th a thread that matches your fabric as close as possible, because if you make a mistake it won't show if you want to do something dramatic then choose a thread that either stands out completely or is it at least a tone different and then that will look quite fancy mm. but it's a lot harder if you're not very practiced so it's a good a good thing to start with is a is a matching color and is it a good idea perhaps to do a bit of a practice right, now, piece? I don't know what happened there yes but I think the, I think the um, top thread got caught so it's pulled the thread up from underneath but you can soon unpick that just slide your unpicker um, along the back and pull it out but I'm not going to okay yeah because there's white bits on the um, on the top on the flower it doesn't matter but you can always go over the top of it as well can't you 
Oh yeah, you can go yeah. over it again. Yeah, I've we, done that before as well. We were just saying practice piece. Yeah, Hayley, definitely. Oh yes, definitely do a practice. Do more than one practice piece. Just do it until you feel happy with what you've done. Okay. If you use a heart shape, tells you in the book about that. Oh, it's got okay. all it's the a good elements. One to start it's got with. the curves and it's got the points both ways. Yes, so you can get has. used to it. Yeah, I think we pop that in almost all of our applique patterns. Let me see if I've got it in this one. And it's oh, a, I didn't put it in this it's one. It's a oh. very nice thing to learn how to do as well. And you do it really quickly. I mean, once you start and you have a bit of practice, it, um, it doesn't take long to get really good at it. Now, I think I've found the exact page that you're talking about there, Emma. Oh, in there the, it is. the front of the, the one that we're looking at here, which is the... We'll show you this one in a few moments. Yeah, so this is the, that's the, the one. Baltimore, um, Christmas Baltimore quilt with the applique patterns and projects in there. As Emma quite rightly said, um, when you're getting started, just try out those tips and techniques. And as Pam said, a heart shape is the perfect one to go for. Now, while Pam's just continuing with her applique, um, I'm just going to show you that within the book, but I will show you this book in the, um, kind of more detail in just a few moments. But that is exactly what Emma was referring to. So if you are going for the, um, the details on your screen this is what you're going to be getting the book that I've got down at the front here because of course we're talking about this fabulous quilt to the side of um, me here really nice size as you can see working with lovely size six inch blocks again and just step that down just for a few moments so as you can see how gorgeous this design is so you're going to be learning applique again those hearts that we just touched off within the pattern book you're going to be able to master those you've also got some actual quilted blocks here so these ones put together with your half square and your quarter square triangles in fact you're learning a lot of the fundamentals within that one piece because you're learning about how to put your triangles together there but also how to put your little squares together for your little corners and then on these blocks here you're taking your base square as we saw just a few moments ago and putting your applique on top and this is where we see that fusion of quilt and applique coming together so well with quilters trading posts it's something that when you look at a quilt like this this could be hanging up and instantly you know who has brought that design to us because it's the style it's that signature style and of course what that signature style means is that you can replicate this in the comfort of your own home using the wonderful patterns and guides that the ladies bring to us so with this one you've got all your full instructions in there as you can see how to piece together your fabulous blocks and how to do all that gorgeous applique work of course you can put them all together to create your quilt but what you could do if you wanted to is take them as individual um, elements once you've learned to master those techniques there's nothing stopping you doing those on a large larger scale and perhaps making those into panels to go on bags and cushions and things like that but for 17.99 I think that is phenomenal value for money I mean look how beautiful that is if you only make that quilt and nothing more from that book then that is 17.99 well spent um, at 496.567 if you fancy getting hold of that one but if you get bitten by that quilters trading post bug you will definitely want the next book because this one you are getting loads in there you're only paying 24.99 and this is a really weighty book i mean there you can see loads and loads of pages of inspiration in there um, and what you are going to learn is how to create the individual blocks to make the larger version of the baltimore quilt so you've got your different blocks here 12 for different blocks as you can see there could be that you are thinking maybe for next christmas and you're creating a block um, a month put it all together Together. I mean you've got a little bit of a head start obviously you're going to piece all those pieces together put your sashing in place and by this time next year you will have a beautiful quilt ready for Christmas now when you are working with their books you will recognize this regularly over and over uh, again you will have a broken down pattern sheet now what this is is where you've got all your applique pieces this is where you're going to cut on the line using the technique that Emma just taught us makes it nice and easy working it with your freezer paper and that will give you those pieces ready for you to go and then of course as Emma showed us you can take that lovely pattern lay it underneath your lighter tone fabric and that will give you your guide your guide as to where you're going to put all those pieces um, and then obviously you are going to um, press them in place I can't get hold of the page underneath there we go that's the one I was trying to get hold of and that will give you your layout so then you start doing your satin stitch bringing that design together and what you will also have is your fabulous uh, pa um, pattern this is the next one with the um, robin wreath but showing you how it should look when it all comes together or giving you an, a guide because obviously you will work with different fabrics here so get a slightly different result but either way whichever way you are working with this this is the kind of result you can get absolutely beautiful and you've got your 15 um, style uh, uh, kind of applique pieces in there loads of embellishments and of course four projects to boot as well so there you go £22.49 and pence if you're a freedom member that is brilliant value for me and I love this mantle piece um, piece that you've got here that's going to be uh, in Emma's home I think you said didn't it you? will it fits my mantle 
mantelpiece nicely. It, you, the instructions tell you how to make it to the size of your mantelpiece. Oh, My okay. mantelpiece is really long. Okay. <laughs> I had so much applique to do all in one go. So, you know, if you've got a long uh, mantelpiece, that's great. If you've got a short one, you're lucky. <laughs> I love it. I think it was quite a one. one. Um, now, talking of smaller projects, how about making Christmas stockings? Now, you might find it a little bit tight to get them done in time for Christmas this year, but to be honest, you'd be making a head start for next, couldn't you? And this time we're looking at the holly and the ivy. And again, all those applique pieces giving you that gorgeous style. And again, the booklet itself will give you all the information that you need, the dimensions, the pattern, the layout. And also, it'll tell you all the ingredients that you need, because it's not just about those fabrics, it's about the fundamental like your lining fabric because you are making an actual project up with this one so 9.99 for you to get hold of that pattern You're going to incorporate your own fabrics with this one but what a result when you've put it together it's going to look amazing 771680 if you fancy getting hold of that but then fabrics well the ladies have bought some beautiful fabrics these you're going to get all of them the fat quarters really good size pieces and you are going to get all six of them for 21 pounds and 49 pence they are rapidly approaching limited stock though and as we had with the panels earlier on once that stock has been um, ordered and exhausted that's it we cannot get any more of these they are beautiful quality and I've, I've not seen these fabrics before and um, we see lots of Christmas fabrics come and go here at Chanda but these there's something beautiful about this I love this here you've got your good list and your, um, your good boys and girls now ooh, lots of short names there. i can't see any haley's in there so i could be in trouble i don't uh, think there's got... a name or either yeah mm. oh we've got fred pat ned paul meg oh meg here's all right oh kate as well you're all right katie um but yeah the rest of us looks like we're on the other list so uh, yeah oh well never mind <laughs> maybe next year <laughs> now of course you've got your fabulous traditional Santa. So this is the Santa that I I can kind of relate to from growing up for the the era that yeah. uh, kind of the, the 70s and the yeah. that kind of uh, print that you've got there, absolutely beautiful. And then of course you've got the quirkiness of the little penguins, who maybe more the current day, and that whimsical nature that you've got with those gorgeous Just little birds featuring there. Absolutely beautiful, each and every one of those. You're going to love them. Seven four five one two zero. But please do not leave it too long before you get hold of that one, because as I say, once the stock's gone. That is it. Is this the last show that we've got with you today, ladies? You, you've got another one tonight? Yeah, we're back at seven. Ooh, but not with those. Well, it's probably just as well, to be honest, because I don't think they're going to be here anywhere. Um, so, yeah, if you want them, now is the time to get hold of them. Now, can I show you this? This is beautiful. Now, the pattern book that we're sharing with you, um, your Christmas blocks collection, it's showing you all these wonderful blocks that you can see here. Again, a mixture of your traditional quilting with a mixture of your fabulous applique there. Perfect for the season. And of course, you could be using these and adapting them throughout the year. The quilted blocks, to be honest, there's nothing specific about Christmas unless you're using your Christmas fabrics. Obviously, things like your reindeer, your Santa, your gingerbread man, the stocking and the tree, those are things that are synonymous with Christmas. But to be honest, you can be making those up throughout the year ready for next Christmas and the beauty is you can put them all together as you can see there in the quilt or just take them as individuals and just use them as little panels little blocks within your projects and I think that's a lovely idea as a gift bag isn't it cute yeah so sweet so sweet um, and again you've got all those different patterns and projects featuring in there so the quilt the bag this little runner with your jingle bells on there, these are all included as those projects. Yes, those are the projects in the book. Aren't they yeah. gorgeous? Something Love a bit it. different, that one. There you go, and these could be like little mug rugs and all sorts. They could, actually, yeah. yeah, anything you want to use them for. Perfect. 17 99 again. Such affordable prices for these patterns. So, yeah, if you're wanting to get hold of that one, you are going to learn how to create your nine different um, uh, blocks with this one, your patchwork blocks. And then, of course, you've got your applique in there as well. Um, so 782095 if you fancy getting hold of those. Now, the next item that we've got is actually a kit, but it is limited in stock. And this is where you're going to be able to create that fabulous poinsettia wreath. And you've got a little bit of log cabin going on with this one. So instantly, when we start talking about log cabin, that's a perfect one for new newbies to quilting it is and this is a nice individual um us uh, individual it's a different kind of log cabin as yes. well because you've got some diagonal points on there so it's a little bit more interesting as well as being a good beginner well this is it so maybe yeah. you've cracked the a traditional uh, log cabin but you don't feel as if you're ready to go on to anything too adventurous or maybe it's one that you just fancy revisiting i think it's a really nice idea to do it with those points on there um and uh, again gorgeous colored fabrics now you are going to get the fabric that's going to allow you to do obviously your your blocks for the top just need to add in your wadding and your backing. Holding and backing, yeah, and your strips are cut for you, you'll just need to cross cut them. So some of your cutting's done. 
on it. You're well on your way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Now, 230 961 2499, again, very, very affordable. Another set that we've got for you that's going to be a very affordable price for you to get involved with is your fabulous little Rudolph ornaments. And these are cute. It's his little nose, I think. It really does make his personality. <laughs> now, you, with your um, kit, you are going to get your instructions and all your elements that you're going to need to create one little Rudolph, as you can see here. But of course, you can go for multiples if you're wanting to. And they're just so, so adorable. You've got your fabulous little kind of gold thread that you're going to be able to use. But I suppose you don't have to use them that way. You could have them almost as table settings, couldn't you, oh, really? Yeah, you could, couldn't you? Yeah. Really oh, sweet. Oh, look, look at great. that face. It's adorable. Um, 999-346-124. And again, whether you are using them for this Christmas or thinking ahead to next, I think you've got a really cute project to get your teeth stuck into there. Um, so if you want to know, it's 346124. And then finally, that beautiful quilt that we've been referring to. This one, you've got your applique patterns and projects in here. You've got 12 beautiful blocks that you're going to learn how to create with the gorgeous applique designs. But then you have got projects that you don't necessarily have to make your quilt with. So if you want to make your table runner, if you want to make a cushion front or indeed the back that you can see there, then you can do that quite quickly just using one of those chosen blocks. Absolutely beautiful. 19.99. Again, this is a project book for the whole year. You will find yourself going to this time and time again for sure. The details are there. 116-330 if you fancy getting hold of it. Beautiful. And only using little little pieces of fabric. Yeah, little yeah. bits. You don't need a vast amount. Bring for all your scraps. It's also it's like making something from nothing, which my partner says I do very well. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. We'll take that. We'll take that. I'll take it as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> what are we up to next? Well, Mum's done her satin stitch around her flower. So it's all done. Okay. What I thought I'd show you next is how you can use these blocks in other other things so one of the things that we had on the counter down there was the gift bag that I did um, last month so I took one of the Christmas blocks and put it on the gift bag you can also jazz up all sorts of things so I've got one of my one of my old but very clean tea towels there and That's I've got a nice idea yeah mm. I'm gonna do this I'm gonna make myself some Christmas ones I think in the next few Aww. days with the Christmas blocks but this is for my kitchen normally so there's the block there's no reason why you can't put it on onto a tea towel. Anything that you can put under your machine to sew that you can iron the pieces onto that will take the ironing should be fine, don't you think? Mm, yeah. 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 Okay. So we are going to put stitch and tear on the back. Although it's quite thick, stitch and tear just gives you a nice flat surface. Mum will be saying, oh, no, I wouldn't do that, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I've never, I've never appliqued onto a tea towel before, so this I, is going I'm to be admit, I don't think I ever have, but it no. looks good, no, doesn't it? Especially if it do it in a minute if it doesn't work. She says <laughs> this, but she has appliqued onto a hand towel, so she can't say anything did else. I? You did. You put some shells on from one of our shell patterns. Oh, and of course, the little, um, the little mm -hmm. piece that's being worked on at the moment, I've got it, I've just been kind of doing a bit of an eye spy trying to find it in the quilt, <laughs> and it's down at the bottom here. Yeah. Those hey, gorgeous little tulips. Can't see. Can see? Let me just move that out of the way there. There you go. <laughs> It's that there gorgeous it is. one there. Isn't it cute? These are not Beautiful. Christmas. Beautiful. No. Oh, these are not Christmas. No, these are mini Baltimore ones. Oh. Love it. Yeah, it's a little tulip block there. Hmm. Okay, so here you go, Mum. Let's let's see how it does because she's not done this before. I thought I'd make Ooh, a, try it. a bit of fun, eh? Is this oh. what they call on the job training? Yeah. <laughs> Right, well, mm -hmm. she's going to do a leaf, aren't you? You're going to do a three-point turn I'm on your leaf. I'm going to do a three-point turn. Yeah, I think that's going the right way. That's going the right way. Yeah, so I'm stuck it in the right. Don't ever start on a corner. Always okay. make sure you start on somewhere where you can join it up easy. Yeah, I like to, if there's a straight or a straightish side, that's where I start because you have got to start and stop. So you now, want a nice easy piece. Emma's not got the the um, um, stitch and tear on properly on that. She needs a bigger piece. So don't don't skimp on the. That's you told, Emma. Rude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you should have put a bigger bit in there. Well, my, my answer That's is right. I don't have a light box and there's no windows. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Right, right, just so to give you ladies right a time in. check, we've got about 10 minutes left. Great. So we're fine. Okay. I'm going to do 2.5 on this again because this is quite a big leaf and I like 2.5. It's easier to do a slightly wider stitch. So, righty-o, so you come down, whiz down, you can go faster when you're doing this. And of course, like down that, to that, the corner. Like Emma said, a nice straight edge. You can see there just how easy it is to get started. So we're whizzing down to the corner now i'm getting to the corner now you go a bit slow when you get to the corner outside of the curve give it a turn come into the corner that's a one point turn that's your two point turn 
That's your three point turn. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then you whiz back down the other side. So completely in the opposite direction. No problem now. at all. You don't even have to narrow it. Um, when they're a very narrow point, you have to go down a bit. You have to change gear. On that turn, I didn't need to change gear. You mean just... you make the stitch narrower? Yeah. Ah, OK. Yeah. yeah. I didn't need to go down on the width of the stitch. <laughs> no, I don't like fiddling about with that. So no. if I can keep my stitch width the same all the way through, and you can on that. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Right, there's my scissors. I'll whiz down to the other one and do the other end. Now, do we have to consider the thread that we're working with? Yes. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. You can use whatever you fancy, but oh, we like, like machine embroidery yeah. thread. Like a rayon thread with that gorgeous we shimmer like in there. We like polyester the best. Oh, OK, yeah. We I use know. polyester because with it's satin stronger. stitch, you, the polyester's a stronger thread. Rayon's yes. a little bit weaker. However, if you've got rayon, use it. Yeah. Rayon's a bit fine. shinier, so it's yes. a little bit prettier in a way. Yes. Yes. But I do use, I use polyester for my um, pre-motion um, embroidery yes. because it does shred. Yes. If you use rayon on that, yeah, but for I'm this I do like, stitch, I do like using the polyester, especially yeah. if it's something that you're going to be washing and using a lot because it's yeah. got the durability. Yeah, it's stronger. However, when I can't find the colour in my polyester, oh, I haven't got so it's many. Whatever. I use cotton. Yes, and yeah, it looks nice. just as nice. Lovely. Yeah. Just not got that sheen. You just have to be a bit careful not to um, have the the stitch too narrow, too close together. I mean that way, short. Okay. Yeah. Um, because then it'll clump because cotton's thicker than. Yes. Embroidery thread. Yeah. yeah. You just Good try point. that. Yes, yeah. Right, yeah. There we go. So that's stitching through my lovely tea towel quite yeah. fine. It has been a nice like, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The corner again, so I'm Another doing a three few point turns. turn. Always stop on the outside of the curve. And at the, on one. one point. Two. Two. And then. We're gonna we're gonna need another one on this one. There we are. It's like me more, on my driving lessons. More point turns it's a very on this narrow one. road this one. Yeah. It might be a four pointer. <laughs> when I took my driving test, I think I did a forty-five point turn before he just said, you know what, let's forget this then. <laughs> <laughs> I failed. <laughs> and I did a few a few tests, didn't you? Do? I did a few tests. Oh me as well. Yeah. I kind of collected them. Yeah. <laughs> Right, there oh, you go. Oh, look at that. Okay, t neat that looks now. And oh, it's not difficult. Fabulous. Honestly, it's not difficult. You just have to have a go and you, you have to relax when you do it. Don't try and make the machine. Just let it pull it through and do it for you. So do you tell us get a thumbs up now then, Pam? They do. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Fine. Works fine. No problem. Mm -hmm. She's just got to finish this now so it can go in my kitchen, haven't you? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. So I yeah. do a lot of work for Emma. I mean, Emma stuck all the pieces down on that mantle runner, but I did the satin stitch. I did, you? Oh, yeah. I did that's point out. I did, yes. I yeah, it to, is yes. teamwork, yes. yes. I love it. Now, is it OK if I show everybody the pattern book clip from where you've just been working? Yeah, yeah go right. for it. Yeah. Because this is a gorgeous design. And that's just one of the designs that you saw there with the tulip elements in there. Of course, when you put the blocks together, you could put them together and make this fabulous quilt that we've got to the side of us here. But I think you'll agree that using those individual elements that we just saw with the tea towel, very effective as well. Again, it's a nice way of learning how to do your quilts um, because, of course, you've got your variety of different quilt blocks featuring in here. So you can see you're going to learn how to do your construction with regards to your quilt blocks, but you're also going to have the fun of learning how to do your applique as well, as you can see there. This is one of my favourites with the gorgeous little birds on there. I mean, if you were making something as a wedding gift to somebody, just imagine creating something like that and maybe hand embroidering their little initials in there, maybe just as one small project. But all of those blocks are featured featured within the pattern there and of course a very affordable price at 17.99 means that you will get that on its way to you and you can get cracking with this the moment it arrives 496567 now of course there's lots of other patterns and kits available on the website um, but we've only got probably about five minutes left but I think there's something that you wanted to show us as a quick demo was there um um, oh, I don't know. Perhaps um, I got that wrong. No. Oh, oh no. Perhaps that wasn't right then. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. I can talk for five minutes. Oh, she's a good one. <laughs> now, don't come up forget. With don't book. forget. The ladies are going to be back with us at six o'clock this evening. So we've got lots more to come from them. So do make sure you tune in then. Um, whether all the items that we've been chatting about will be on the website at that stage. I know it's completely different products, but. This is the opportunity for you to check out those baskets. I know lots of you got goodies in there. So if you're wanting your mini Baltimore quilt pattern, then the details are there. £17.99, 496567.
but if you fancy a project book to really get your teeth stuck into then this next one is perfect for you and you've got a freedom members discounted price on this one nice chunky book this one um so you've got a similar sort of style looking at the larger quilt that we were looking at earlier on but then you've got individual elements things like the gorgeous baubles here which you could put just three of the baubles on there with that gorgeous foliage and berries on there or if you prefer or alongside it you could be making this fabulous mantle runner that we've got down at the front which is continuing that design you can just imagine this across the the top of an adam style fireplace looking absolutely beautiful 22 pounds and 49 pence will get you that book and within the book you have got 15 festive um, applique blocks you've also got the border you've got your embellishments your patterns and your four projects including elements like this which could be quite easy to sit on your table as a centerpiece or you could take advantage of the hole in the center there and put your Christmas tree in place there and throughout here you will have everything that you need your tuition um, telling you about the best foot to use and why you use an open toe applique foot how to do those different areas of your uh, machine and um, applique including the kind of your innies and your outies and your three-point turns as we've been learning and then of course all those beautiful blocks and projects throughout here it really is a fabulous one um, to go for and as I say it is one of those ones you'll be using time and time I and mean, if you've got a wedding again you could just take the certain elements like the wedding um, bells there and use them they don't have to be Christmas projects but they are going to be projects that you will revisit I am sure time and time again so if you fancy getting hold of this one just for 22 pounds and 49 pence as a freedom member and don't forget if you're placing an order for anything during this hour you will also generate that five pounds credit that will automatically come off your order tomorrow if you're placing an order for something else tomorrow it's part of our Christmas event that kicked off I think it kicked off last night I think if I remember Remember rightly or this morning anyway and um, the 681924 you'll be able to find out more about that on the website and this next item is another item that again it could be generating that five bank pound credit this one is the holly in the ivy stocking and again it's a pattern so again you've got all the tuition that you need all the guidance the pattern pieces the information of how to construct it but what a beautiful project and again I mean that Christmas rose looks amazing sat in the center there of that holly um, that holly the ivy stocking as you can see there gorgeous 771680 as you can see lots of beautiful work there 999 very affordable now the fat quarters I'm surprised we've still got these left, to be honest. They are extremely limited in stock, so uh, it could be a case of that they're in people's baskets. They might not be there if you're watching a repeat of the show. So, uh, yeah, take advantage while you can, because these, it's a case of that once they've gone, they've gone. There aren't any more stocks of these, so if you are watching on repeat, you might be fortunate. But you are going to get all six of these. Really good size pieces. Again, I'm going to open one of these up to show you. Um, when you see them all laid out like this, I mean, they are amazing to see the but they are good sized pieces so cushion covers projects like that I mean this would be lovely to do a bit of free motion work on potentially with that one as well so again all six of these pieces coming to you please don't think you've got to choose oh no we wouldn't make you choose because they're all too gorgeous so again they're 21 pounds and 49 pence another pattern book for you to consider is this one here with those lovely Christmas blocks and this kind of mini blocks again you've got a series of quilted blocks in a variety of different guises but you've also got your applique as well and they're all coming together in this wonderful book as you can see here so on there it's showing you all the different items and then of course you've got them as individual pieces that you could be using just as individual projects as well it's entirely up to you Ladies, I have had a fabulous hour. Always love working oh, with you too. You. And you're back at seven o'clock, so I should certainly be watching that show. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yes. um, so I'm not going to wish you Merry Christmas just yet because I'll be able to do it later on. So you wait, wait. Are you with us? Are you with us for that one? Uh, no, I no, won't yeah. be. No, but I'll be watching. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Our lovely Paula have got that show for later on. One day special final call you. Last chance to see the one day special live before we bring you a big save event followed by a brand new launch. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. 
Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons, and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on Achanda. Hello, welcome to the last hour of our fantastic one a day special with the lovely Hayley. She's down there. Oh, she's down. I'm she's up. She's down. Now. She's back. There she is. May I am on the floor? Uh, can you see her? No. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, we can. She's here. Uh, sorry, right. Yes. We have got some fantastic uh, one day specials. Some already sold out this morning and overnight and last night. And then we've also got some fantastic hidden extras, haven't we, Hayley? Yes, we have. So yeah. everything uh, that's on today's show is based around an extra wide width fabric, and by that we mean. Um, uh, either a 150 or 160 centimetres. Most of your traditional quilting cottons, you'll find are a 45 or 44, 45 inch width. So that's about 110, 112 centimetres. So these ones are double 
that width. Uh, well, sorry, not double that width. Well, You're kind of getting half as much again. again yeah. Yes, is the best way to think about it. So usually you get 45, you're getting half as much again. Perfect. So we've got um, four different options left. We've got a grey, black, yellow and the teal. And that's, that's being beautifully demonstrated slash <laughs> dance that by Fee. I don't know what I was doing, to be honest. <laughs> sort of dance is it because you're missing your panto? So you've yeah. got to get it out. Yeah. <laughs> you've got to let it out in here. Yeah. <laughs> just, 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 oh, no, just you sort haven't. of seeps out in little bits, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so this is our lovely teal option. So that was, uh, I love I love this teal colour because we sold out of the, uh, the teal multi last night. Yes, yes. Teal multi has gone. So this is your teal option. A lot of these have got mixtures of geometrics and uh, florals in there. So I would be tempted to kind of put all the geometric ones together and use them in one project and then all the other ones, the kind of florals and things, I'll put, maybe put them in a, a secondary project. Beautiful. So there's your teal. My favourite's come up now, the yellows. I know, you really love this one, I don't you? I do love this one because it's sunshiny and it's bright and, and it makes me happy. Apparently, um, Paolo was telling us it's the Pantone colour of the air for 2021. The colour? Mm. Is it really yellow? Yes. The sort of okra colour? That kind of, yellow. of um, musty yellow. Yeah. yeah, it's the colour for... Oh. It's the Pantone colour of the year. Pantone colour of the year. Oh, no, I thought yeah. it was... <laughs> not Pantone. pantomime, not Panto. No. Pantone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> love that. I love this one. We like this one because it's not quite symmetric spots, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's a really nice one. Um, I think it's called Bilby, this one. Bilby, that's it, yeah. Um, and it's like, almost like a teardrop rather than a, yeah. a complete circle. And it's not in that really regular pattern that you sometimes find with the spots and dots. It's a little bit more random. So if you're a beginner as a quilter, this one's a lot more forgiving than working with your dots and spots. And I adore this one, the honeycombs. Yeah, it's like an elongated uh, honeycomb. Honeycombs. It's very, very nice. And then we've got it on the lovely boxed cubes as well. And well, that then... one depends what, how you look at it, because sometimes oh. it can look like cubes. Sometimes you can see kind of little Diamonds. stars within them. Yeah. Like six-pointed stars. So there's, there's lots of different things you can see within that one. Oh, yeah. And depends on how you cut it. Yeah. I think it depends on what you see with that one. And then... I just that keep one, of star that one I think, looks more like the stars, because obviously the, the solid white dots are more in the centre. And you get all of those for £24.48. Then we've got our black and our sort of charcoal greys as well, haven't we? So Where we're if you think earlier. about these as kind of £5 per, or, yes, £5 per half metre, mm. and you get up for each £5, you're getting that extra, because you'd expect to pay £5 per half metre for a good quilting cotton, uh, just a normal 45 inch width, but you're getting an extra 50% on that because you're getting that extra wide width. And we've got the beautiful paisleys in this one. So we started with that geometric one. I know you're doing your nine block pattern earlier. So I've got two of those just about sewn together now. Um, and just so you can see the difference of uh, how you work with those geometrics and how cutting them correctly is uh, it's really important to kind of help you get the most out of them. And then we've also got these other element, other ones in there as well, which are a little bit more relaxed if you're, you know... Not, yeah, this you know. one's uh, called the flare pattern. Yeah. And um, all of these, which we'll come to in a minute, you can get as big two-metre pieces. So if you want to back your quilt in something coordinating, then you can get pieces that will coordinate with all of the one-day special options as a two-metre piece. And this one's a very forgiving one as well. Yeah. Because, again, it's just that little bit away from the plane. And, and it's got that kind of almost uh, hessian-type wide width. It looks like a tweed from afar, doesn't yeah, it? It's got kind of, as if it's got quite a wide weave or even like a um, yeah. kind of feel to it as well. So really, really nice option, this one. And really forgiving when you're kind of stitching with it because they all have um, little kind of wobbly bits on. So you can not quite follow the lines and you can get away with it a bit more. Lovely. And then the last colour. Um, We've got that almost, almost like, uh, those are like silvery dove greys, aren't they? Very gentle colours, very forgiving and again, easy going. Uh, if, you, if you're mixing and matching up and don't necessarily want whites or creams, a lovely softness to that. That, that and the yellows are beautiful. You've got the stars there as well. The larger pattern of what we keep calling the star or I keep calling star anise. You've got that flare pattern again in that gentle dove grey. And then you've got that, that, whether you see stars or whether you see sort of the 3D cubes there as well. So. 
There are our ones still remaining, £24.48. Like Hayley said, you're getting that extra wide bit there of 160 centimetres, 111788. Now, do have a look at the website because I've got loads of happy hour deals. I'll try and get through as much as I can uh, throughout the hour. We've got that fabric waffle weave, um, half a, half a metre pick and mix because we've got those in the rolls. Yeah. See that? You've got it it's on the jelly rolls, rolls as well, or the yeah. Swiss rolls. So it's a really good idea to have a look at that in combination with those because then you're going to be able to mix and match those together perfectly. Yes, so have a little look. We've got our lovely Jungle Freedom uh, Safari set of four fat quarters there. I'll show you those. That's a happy hour deal as well. Now, s something you were loving is the polymix yes um th tell us about these because i might have missed these earlier <laughs> yes well we might have missed both you and paula dressing up in them earlier. <laughs> yeah paula had a crack as well <laughs> did she, did she yeah, yeah. around as well you had a good go at them didn't you paula you had a good dress up um, <laughs> <laughs> so what you've got here is you've got your poly cotton fabric so it's a it's a combined thread 60% so cotton 40% polyester what that polyester does for you is it makes it much easier to manage so easier to wash easier to dry easier to iron yeah um, and what I would recommend is if you're going to work these with uh, a cotton same you're going to do your cotton quilt front but you want something big that you're going to be able to do in one piece to back it with this is a really excellent option to back it with because it's yeah. absolutely huge in terms of kind of real sizes, because we were trying to give you an idea of, it's very easy to, for us to say, oh, it's four and a half meters, but, but or whatever size it is, five meters by 2.44. But I think unless you can kind of visualize that in a size, it's quite difficult to understand how much that means. So in real terms, uh, a king size duvet is 220 centimeters by 230 centimeters. So effectively, you would have two backings for two king size duvet covers and then some leftover on the top. <laughs> you, you've got like some parachute exercise here. With this. Look at this. I don't know if you can get my other floor, but she is across the studio. Don't be talking to me about safe distancing because she is at least five seven meters, meters away. Five meters away. Look, <laughs> look, I can cover the whole screen. I can, it's like a parachute. It's huge. <laughs> Honestly, so, yeah, just... it's a huge piece of fabric, really, really soft, really, really easy to work with, and a really uh, good, cost-effective option to either back quilts or for your linings, uh, your backings, all of those bits that maybe you're not going to be as bothered about being... <laughs> you're just wafting it about I am, because I want to show everybody how much there is. There's just loads. <laughs> There's just loads. Yeah, you done? So on a lovely can, wafty dime. Can, can you do the numbers though as well? Yeah, I can. Three, four, six, eight, three, six. <laughs> now we've got it in the red, as you can see, which I love. I'm just going to form a corner here. I can say at a distance from my lovely Kirsty because she's like miles away anyway. Um, then we've got it in the black. Yeah. So you've got black. You've got ivory and you've got white as well. So the ivory one is on the bottom of that stack there. So that is the one that's like that, just cr slightly creamy off white colour. Then you've got the black on the top and the white on the very, very top. Exactly. <laughs> Tremendous. Great, great value for 1999. 346836, the black, the white, or the ivory. They were so busy earlier. And I can. Yeah, um, we made sure we've got tons of stock on these because yeah. these are always popular. And I think when people realise they can back such a large piece yes. in one piece, yeah. and I mean, that's enough to back two king size yes. quilts. And then you'll still have some left over. Exactly. That is a phenomenal deal. And thinking about it, because we like to kind of compare everything back to that normal kind of 45 inch width bolt that you're familiar with. So if you think about it in those terms, those bolts are 112 centimeters wide. So effectively, wow. you've got double the width yeah. and a bit more because double the width would be 224 centimeters. You've got 244. So it's double the width plus a little extra bit yeah. and then times five meters and then so, a motorway of length basically yes. so it's equivalent if you are looking for an equivalency on that normal 45 inch bolt which i've got a piece of fabric that's the same width as that here so that's your normal 45 inch width of fabric that i've got there that piece of poly cotton there that you've got will be double that and then five meters long so effectively it's equivalent to 10 meters worth of your normal size wow. normal width cotton 
Wow, amazing. And it feels beautiful and soft. So even if you like Hayley said, doing your backings or your borders or just new backings of cushions, anything, uh, just a brilliant investment. 346836. Let's look at some happy hours because they will end at five o'clock. And I know hayley has got lots of fantastic material to show you as well. Now, this is my first one. It's those beautiful little sort of pair it's blenders yeah um, so they've got a mottled background and you're getting the kind of companion pair here you're right. getting the spots and the ones with the little kind of bleached out floral style print there Pretty. are loads of different colors yeah. in these so that's the olive green olive. You've got the light. light green, you've got the light blue, you've got the sky yeah. blue. Yeah, you've got you've got so <laughs> many different options in here. The best option is to have a look on the web for on these web. because um, and they're lovely companion pairs. So you're getting two half meters, so a meter in total mm -hmm. of quilting weight cotton, and at nine ninety nine. Bargain. That is pretty good. Fantastic. Nine pounds ninety nine six five five nine six five. Another one is the fat quarter roll as well, which we've got. So, um, yeah, we've seen ooh. this reasonably recently. Now, this one, oh, although is. they are cotton, they're not quilting cotton. They're, they're a, um, a slightly different way. I, when I first felt these, f thought they were viscose because they are so super soft. Wow. And they're all uh, black and white checks. So really, really nice uh, option, this one, just for something a little bit different. I like those. I'm just obviously, just thinking placemats, they're just really lovely. Oh, you uh, could easily placemat those up. Yeah, gorgeous. 9 99 With all your newfound sewing skills. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> 662242, it's ever growing, thanks to Hodgehander. <laughs> um, then we've got the honeycomb bees. Oh, I'm looking so forward to this seeing this. This is one we, um, I think we've had on uh, at least once before. And this one's brilliant for your English paper piecing as well, because you could easily fussy cut those elements out. And it comes in three Aww. different colours. You've got some flowery material today on the show that I think might sort of yeah, blend could, in could with Yeah, could coordinate those. with that. I know yeah. exactly which one I mean. That's the blue yeah. sandstone. You've got peach and purple, Beautiful. and then the first one oh. is denim and pink. That's the cutest. They ask me favourite. Nine ninety. <laughs> How much is that of each of those? What, what, what are those we're getting? Oh, it's a meter. It's a full oh, meter. meter piece, oh, and that's poplin. a poplin weight fabric. But it is Gorgeous. one of those extra wide width ones. It's fifty six inches mm. wide, which is about a hundred and forty four ish centimeters. Wow. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad Hayley knows that. Uh, 949152. Just can't do that conversion in the head. I just can't. Um, now, we have got some fantastic uh, fabrics as well that would work in harmony. Yeah, so a lot of these will yeah. coordinate with the one day specials. Yeah. Um, there are some different ones in there as well, um, but you've got an, a nice mix here. Now, we've there are loads of options on the website. So the, the flare one, which is like the kind of offset. Uh, a woven check one you've seen already mm -hmm. and you can find all of the variations on the website but these ones kind of have that kind of sketchy doodly tattooy mm. feel to them and remember these are all this extra wide width and that extra wide width means if you are dressmaking with these then two it's very unusual to get a pattern with uh, on the widest width takes more than about two meters. So if you're just doing a top, or you're just doing a, a, a pretty straightforward dress. Obviously, if you're doing something massively floaty, yeah. then yes, it might need a bit more. But a lot of these will um, work for quite a lot of the patterns that you'll see. And Fantastic. that one's a really easy to sew with as a beginner because yeah. it doesn't really matter so much about the pattern match with no. that. You can kind of get away with quite a lot. So you've got a corally colour there and a more of a fuchsia pink there. Very pretty. Like that a lot. And then we've got, what, what are these ones called, Hayley? Um, these are uh, Mica or Mika. We haven't Mike decided. Yeah. So you can go whichever way you feel on them. But again, um, work, like you said, with like, the... almost like a terrazzo pattern. You know, where you've got all the broken up bits and then you kind of uh, stick them all back together. Oh, yeah, terrazzo, so you, I love that word. No, I never heard no, of that. No, okay, terrazzo. well, it's a bit like that. It's a bit like that. You'll have seen it. Um, sometimes it's done with pottery, sometimes yeah. it's done with oh, resin yes, bits, yes. where it's I all kind of, all the little cuts like, are kind mosaic, of snapped up and then yeah. uh, kind of moulded all irregular. together. So, yeah, terrazzo. it's it's got that very much kind of feel to it. And the grey one that you've got there with the yellow bits in, all three of those first one-day specials, it would work beautifully it with. It most certainly would. Terrazzo. I like that. I like that word. It's nice. <laughs> It's a new word. It's a new word. Well, okay. I had one from Julie this morning. What was it? The, uh, you collect stamps. Oh, I've forgotten already. Philatelist. 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 And terrazzo is there that kind go. of pattern. Yes. I know what you meant. I was thinking the opposite of mosaic. It's more irregular, isn't yes. it? It's yes. It's more just kind of ju jumbled up, crushed up bits yeah. and shoved in there. Terrazzo and, you'll see and flat um, Like the floor tiles. You can get the kind of floor yeah. tiles and things that have yeah. got this kind of pattern. 
terrazzo. All together, yeah. so you get that little kind of flesh. Yeah, terrazzo. And then our lovely little drops there uh, that Hayley was talking about. Uh, well, the, not the Bilbo, that's, uh, that's Bilby. Um, the Bilby, Bilbo, that's a character out of, um, yeah. Here we go. And we've got it in the mint, and you can see that lovely okra and a, a sort of a terracotta colour there as well. Let me just get those in shot. Gorgeous. £21.98, 037-231. Uh, let's find out about becoming a Freedom Club member, and then we'll hear straight from Hayley. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Absolutely well worth it. £5.97, a limited uh, delivery there for the month and you can opt in and opt out. Don't forget the Christmas credit event as well. Buying anything today up until the 22nd of December when it ends, you will get a £5 credit uh, to spend the next day and uh, you can get another credit then the next day. You can't roll over your credits, but uh, by purchasing anything in these hours now, you'll get a £5 credit to spend tomorrow. Now, another happy hour deal are my flower fairies. These are gorgeous. I'm going straight for all my yellow because I like that. Look at this. It made me happy. <laughs> Is that your Oh, is it yellow? It just makes me happy, yeah. yeah. I do like it, yeah. <laughs> so these are really cute. These jumper. are one of the Fabric Freedom charm packs. So yeah. you're getting all the fabrics in the collection. They always do their collections in uh, fabrics sets of five. Yeah. So you're getting 42 in the pack, which means you get um, uh, far, no eight of most of them and then two extras. Oh, okay. If I don't know what. Uh, <laughs> so this one's lecturers. all fairies, butterflies, nice small patterns, and lots of them where they're not necessarily uh, a really straightforward repeat. That one's a straightforward repeat, yeah. but a lot of the others you can kind of twist and turn them upside down as well if you want. So that's our one colour option, and then we've got them in the lovely little gentle greens, but you've got the pinks in there as well. Again, same designs, just in different... Uh, Colourways, butterflies. So maybe if you've got a, a young person who yeah. is getting a sewing machine for Christmas, oh, charm idea. packs a really good place to what start fun. because everything yeah. is pre-cut for you and you can just get kind of stuck straight in. And the pastels there. Beautiful pastels here. Let's look at something again. And I quite great. like that one because it's quite nice soft colours. It's yeah. quite kind of grey and quite understated in it comparison is. to some of the brighter ones in the other ones. Yeah. Beautiful, very g gently understated, and very, 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 uh, very, very, very pretty. Gorgeous. Uh, Nine ninety nine. Well, oh, how many are we get in those little squares? Forty two. Forty two. Of course it is. And it's that's a, uh, works out. Uh, I like to do my equivalencies yeah. to your your um, your full piece of fabric. It's about I think it's one point uh, one. Like 1.1 and a bit metres. So if you were to lay it out as a normal kind of rolled yeah. piece of fabric, wow. that's how much it equivalent uh, fabric is. And that you'd usually be paying about 14, 14, maybe 15, 16 pounds for. It's a little bit over a metre. Um, but then you've got the convenience of it all being chopped up for you. Exactly. Which makes your life a lot easier. Beautiful. All pinked at the edges there. Beautiful. 999 Happy hour deal until the end of this hour. Let's see some tapestry, Hayley. Are you doing your numbers, popular. though? Oh, well, yeah. Okay, thanks. Of course, well, yeah. <laughs> we do me numbers. Yeah, I will. I've do. not done. The, I've not done the course. That's fine. Not done the course, Fiona. <laughs> so, um, these have been beautiful. We've been working with these throughout the day and showing you kind of different techniques that you can use with them. So this is your zigzag option. These are on a pick and mix, so you pick any two. Now, if you want to go for the same one twice, you'll get a full meter of it. So the tapestries are much heavier weight fabric. So these are brilliant for bags. Brilliant for home furnishings. I mean, if you've got a set of, um, let's say, your normal dining chairs where the seat pad comes out, um, I would say with a metre, assuming they're a kind of regu fairly regular size seat pad, you should be able to get six dining chairs done with this. If they're slightly bigger, you may just get your, your four out, but you're getting a metre and a half wide 
oh, just under a metre and a half wide, 147 centimetres by 50 centimetres each. And again, if you want to order them as two, then you absolutely can. So that is your zigzag. This is your zigzag patchwork. So this one's very similar colours to the zigzag, so you could easily work those together yeah. if you wanted to. And then we've got Aztec, which this one we were thinking rugs. Oh, we? yes. And, these are great um, for upholstery, aren't they? You said. Yeah, perfect for upholstery. I mean, you could even cover a chair or a cushion, mm. footstools, all of yeah. that. I mean, they're a really nice heavy weight. But what I would do if you were going to do a rug is just bind those edges yeah. to obviously uh, protect the edges and stop them from fraying mm -hmm. and also protect the edge of your rug and then back it with something uh, like if it's going to go on a carpet I would use a hessian mm -hmm. just to help it give it a little bit of friction stop it slipping if it's going to go on a hard floor then something like uh, a non-slip backing yeah or even um, doing it with a hessian but then adding some little dots of silicon yeah. you know like silicon sealant for the bathroom yeah uh, little dots everywhere just make sure you let that cure completely I would say at least 48 hours before you put it down on your floor because if it's not fully uh, gone off Lovage. It's going to stick to your floor. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is Peruvian tribal. Yeah. Very, very nice. Very. This one kind of feels more scarfy to me, mm. but like big, chunky winter yeah. scarf. So again, you could just bind those edges and away you go. What I probably wouldn't do with these is kind of double rolled hem, which is what you would sometimes do with some things to finish them off. Yeah. Because then you've got three layers and with yeah, it being quite thick. thick in the first instance, mm. that starts to get quite chunky. Mm. So the next one we've got is Harlequin. And I like the way these kind of fade in and out of each other, so you haven't mm. got those really stark joints, but so many colours in there. I mean, that's, that's a hard thing to do because you've got so many colours within mm. a, a woven pattern as well. It's very, very difficult to do that. And then the next one we've got are the chevrons. And all of these, because they're woven, the colour goes all the way through. So you do find that sometimes the backs are kind of... A completely different colour to the front, but you still get the same pattern running through. Yeah, so if beautiful. maybe you had, you know, more more green in your kitchen and you wanted to do those as your kitchen chairs, you absolutely could turn these over. They're as good on the back as they are on the front. And then this one is the ge is it geometric stripes? Ah, good guessing today. Um, and this is the one we've been doing demonstrations with because it kind of with that stripe effect, it lends itself really well to the techniques we've been doing where we've been fraying them. Mm -hmm. And then this one, I think this is my favourite favourite. Yeah. So it's tribal monochrome, and this one's absolutely brilliant because if you could just see it turned there, you can have it either way up this one. So I think if you were, it's, it's a lot softer actually. Mm. I think it's because there's only two colours in it. Yeah. It just seems a little bit oh, lighter right, okay. and a lot softer. So if you were going to do kind of a nice chine, chunky winter scarf, mm -hmm. I'd say this would be the one to go for because all you would need to do is just bind those edges. So a little bit of um, not necessarily bias binding because bias binding will stretch. Just a normal black cotton binding round uh, either edge, and then you're done all done you can leave the bottoms because the salve edge is there they're not going to fray they're not going to kind of come apart on you but as long as you bind up to that edge so mm. that you secured it then you can leave that bottom edge as um as your kind of raw edge on your scarf so oh it fell off sad face so <laughs> sad <laughs> face <laughs> this is this inca yeah, oh, it's, it's, it's the last hour but i've got it I've got it now. <laughs> <laughs> this one I think is my favourite for using back to front because it um, looks fantastic right way around, but I quite like the colours you get on the mm, back. Very and rich. even kind of mix and match and using the two together because you can always flip it over. Yeah. Um, it's things like carpet bags are brilliant with this oh, yeah. as well. You know, the kind of really big old fashioned uh, the ones with the clip frames in. Yeah. Brilliant in these. And then we've got vintage, which is the one with oh, the I love cars the vintage. in. The wrong way up. No, Very right distinguished. Way up. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> that would so, be so good for so many people. All your kind of vintage bikes and vintage mm. cars in there. And then we've got two lots of owls. So this is our first set. These are the perching owls because mm -hmm. they're on their little twigs. And then we have Owl Over the Place, which I need to do this way up, because it's the wrong way up. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Can you spot the grumpy one? Yes, it's him. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's him. The grumpy one. He's got the same eyebrows as that uh, Muppet. 
You know, he'd read yes, the news. Yes, the, the ones that used to sit in the little balcony. Oh, and no, not grumpy. Waldorf and Statler, but the one who'd read the news. He was grey and sort of big oh, feathers. Oh, the, like, eagle one. Yes, yes. Yes, I know exactly which one you mean. So, uh, <laughs> that is all of my fabrics. Folk. Fiona, please do the numbers. And they are <laughs> all there on the screen for 366034. And uh, pick and mix any three. And Hades did say they would be cut on uh, one continuous if you wanted to say order two of one and then another one that was over half or three of all the one uh, as well. 366034. £12.95 for three. Two. two, sorry, two, but still. <laughs> two, sorry, yes. So if you want a continuous, you want, you know, the full metre, it can yes. be cut on the full metre. If you want that third one, you have to order twice. <laughs> right, Hayley. Do you want to keep oh, digging? Oh, deals, yes, yeah. Um, keep digging, Fiona, keep digging. I know, I know. It's having a lovely time. I forget I'm supposed to be doing something. Now, <laughs> so, the waffle weave. I yes. put these here deliberately. We've, we've got a bit of, uh, we've got two different items yeah. here. So the um, the rolls that you've seen at the back, we've had them throughout the day. Yes. But actually, we've got a pick and mix on this hour, which is the same fabric. So That's we thought it was a here. really uh, sensible thing to do, to put them all together. Yes. So you could see them together and then work out that, oh, well, actually, I could go for a little bit of extra this or I could mm. go for a little bit of extra that. And I think Kirsty's almost put them out in the colours that oh. they are in the bundles. Oh, really? So you spot that, that Kirsty. Is accident or...? Yeah, because if you wow. have a look, those first kind of four or five that yeah. you've got, they're all in the blue bundle, which is um, yes. height, uh, letter B, yeah. if you're going to go for either the rolls. So that's all of the colours that are in that roll. She's actually put them... She's good, isn't she? She is good. She's not she's just good, a pretty face, like Kirsty. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then the next batch that she's put out, they're all the ones that are in option A, which is the pinky purple option. So, yep, yeah, up to there. Yeah. There we go. And then the last set, so you need to keep those last two from that one. Yeah. So you need to keep the purple and the red. This one's here. And then add all those other ones. The pur and the pink, actually. And purple, the pink red, as and well. the pink. Uh, well, that yeah, yeah. pink. Yeah. Oh, no purple in it. So we need to take the purple. No purple. Move the purple. Naughty purple. Ignore these, the purple. These. Just ruined it. Just ruined it. And then I've also got a sort of spares. A, some spares. Yeah. <laughs> Backups. Yeah. <laughs> a sort of a yellow and a cream there as well. They're all um, half meters, aren't they? And again, you can pick any two. And is it the same thing if you know if you wanted a meter of the one it, there? Hayley? It is. Yes. So um, if you've got a project in mind and you're thinking, oh well, you know the rolls are perfect for my sashings or my borders or my edgings, and then you want to add in those extra pieces then absolutely you can and then you've got kind of everything you need to, to get cracking there and uh, maybe just add a couple of feature fabrics in. Fabulous. 999-434-983, pick any two. And actually those uh, little, uh, the, the longer strip rolls there, the jelly babies there, A, B and C options that we showed you, they're on the website as well. So we've got all the different colours there, dusky plum, sky blue, lemon and the cream with the extras there that you haven't got in those... Uh, and they are all quilting weight cotton as well, quilting they're all 100% cotton. Yeah. cotton. That's because I think it's uh, good to explain which ones are which, because the next one that I've got is actually a poplin weight cotton, so that's slightly different. Right. Fabulous. So the waffle weaves, uh, we have got them on the screen right now. Two and a half inches and uh, 44 inches wide. So, big ones. On the bottom of the screen, 27.99902207, and then my smaller ones here are 16.99 each. 812.491. A, B, C. Just to help you there. Uh, okay. Oh, the A is the pink one. Is it? But I thought I thought this was A because it was laid out like that. No, A is the B. pink one. Oh, do you know what? B is the blue one. A, A B, C. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's kind of got the greeny in it. Yeah. Yeah, but that's then it's that's A, that's B. Yeah, I think it's it's laid out like that because some of the colours overlap between oh, A and C, and then you're never going to get that the right way around. So A B C. <laughs> there we go. We get there in the end eventually. We've only got an hour together, folks, and then it's uh, it's all over. Well, uh, <laughs> till six o'clock in terms of um, the fantastic one special, but these happy hour deals as well. Don't forget six o'clock, five, five o'clock they will end. Right, Christmas cheer. Let's have yes. some Christmas cheer, so, Hayley. Christmas cheer, in, not in terms of designs on the fabric, just as, in terms of prices on the fabric. So um, there are four different kind of pattern options. So we're going to go through the pattern options and just show you the colours for each. These are all um, extra wide as well. So these are a 58 and a half inch wide fabric, which is 40, 147 centimetres on these ones. So what you've got is you've got your pink and lilac. 
So pink is the background. The first colour is always the background. The second colour is always whatever the feature fabric, uh, feature kind of flower is. So that's your pink and lilac. That's your uh, white and lilac. Excellent, good guessing. This one is brick and teal, but I will say, compared to the teal that we've got in the one day special, I would say this is more of a turquoisey blue on here. And brick is that kind of terracotta red background colour. And then the last one we've got is the sky and pink. Oh, I could have guessed that. <laughs> I could have guessed that one. <laughs> and these are pick any three meters. So you're getting a full meter of each and it's pick any three. But you don't just pick from the four that I've shown you. There are different designs as well. So the next one is why show why so show sheepish. Why so sheepish? And uh, you've got the is it lilac or lavender? lilac and the dusky pink as well so these ones are super cute i can totally see pajamas being made out of these they're beautiful i love those just make me smile <laughs> they're just gorgeous and then the next one is the woodland animals oh, the animals so i've got four different colorways in this one there's the middle one there you go so the more you look at these the more kind of animals you'll be able to pick out from them so you've got your badgers owls foxes uh, mice in there, rabbits in there, hares in there, all sorts of different creatures. And brilliant for English paper piecing these because you could easily kind of fussy cut the individual elements out and then add those to, you know, different um, pieces if you wished. So this is a great option mm -hmm. that I've got here. Yeah. The next one that I've got is the sky blue. There's two blues in this. So this one is the sky blue. I think this one might be my favourite. The sky blue. You see, I like that dusky grey one before. Oh, you like the grey like. one? Yeah. Mm. Was it I think it's the colour of the rabbits. I'm not sure I like the pink rabbits on that one. Oh. I think I like, prefer the colour of the rabbits on this one. The next one we've got, the other blue, is chambray. That's nice. I like that one. And then the final one is uh, cream. There you go. They're all beautiful. So that is all of those oh. ones. And then the last pattern that we've got to show you is the bikes and there's three color options in this one you've got they've all got little balloons on them as well so there's little bikes with yeah. little balloons Happy tied biking. onto the handle they're tied onto the seat <laughs> or flowers in the hand baskets they're very very sweet and i think this one might be quite nice as a kind of border or, or an edging because i think they're kind of small enough yes. that you could still get enough bikes in there yeah. to have some interest rather than just a, a plain one plain. so you've got the blue the dusky pink and the, I think they've called it off-white, off this white. one. But it, I would say it's c closer towards an ivory, that one. Gorgeous. And pick any three there for £19.97, 100% cotton, one metre by 58 and a half inches wide there. 937-512 for your Christmas cheer. Have a little look on the web. Another happy hour deal again. There's so many and they're going to end at five o'clock. Um, three different colourways here. And um, I'm, I'm going to show you this one so we can see the patterns because there's a very gentle white print on, for instance, the white on the cream. Yes. And what looks that like a... you would call a paste print. Yeah, so paste what print. usually happens is if you print on fabric, uh, you use a darker ink and you go onto a lighter fabric. But this way around, what they've actually done is um, taken a white ink, which is quite a difficult thing to do often to get it to kind of cover properly. And because they've gone with the really soft colours here, they've gone with the beiges and the creams and the whites as their background fabric, then they're a really subtle um, kind of addition to them. So it's when you tilt them forward, you can kind of see those patterns popping out a little bit more. And you're getting four fat quarters in each, and the apparently the Prints may vary. You will get um, four nice ones that are all paste prints, so they will be very similar to these, but the actual little pattern that will be on them may vary. But you'll get four different ones. So if you've got four fat quarters there, you could easily work a little project together from them. Indeed. I'm just showing you that one because it's easier just to see the pattern under the glare of the studio lights. You can, you can definitely you know, see it's, it when you've got them in your hands. It's sometimes it's easier to see these when they're actually flat. Yeah. Because um, the, it, it is a, the studio lights do make it slightly more difficult to see these, but they are quite subtle. And they're a really nice alternative to a plane. Yeah. You can see that on top one is very gentle, but you can see it there, can't you? So in terms of colours, there is it uh, the white, the yes, cream? Yes, beige, beige, cream and white. So you've beige, got all the neutral colours, because these Useful. are a really good stash builder. Yeah. So the cream's at the front, the white's the one you've got there, and then the beige is the one to... Oh, the left? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On TV, yeah.
Love it. I don't oh, okay. know. See the white on the white there. Beautiful, but great. Four fat quarters That's 9 99 That's the thing that fills me with fear the most about hey. being on the television the is the fact the that I don't know my left from right. <laughs> well, it could be your right, uh, it could be the TV exactly. left. Exactly. So either who way who you're going to get it right. At some exactly. point, well, I suppose at some point you're going to be right, because it's either my right or the telly right. So depends on your point of view. Exactly. Nine 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 four two six nine zero for each of them. Again, a happy hour deal until the end of the hour. Okay. <laughs> they just they just see me off camera going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just looking at my hands going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's got L tattooed on that one. Honestly, I don't know how. I, I mean, I, I am actually a very good driver, um, but it's when people tell me to turn left, I'm like, which left? <laughs> Where? Where we going? <laughs> just goes around the circles. Yeah, not not very good at that. No. When the sat like the sat nav tells you to turn left, after you. <laughs> <laughs> Never been any good at that. Don't know why. Maths, oh, fine. Left yeah, or right. You're... General sense of direction. Yeah. Fine. Like if you told me to get to to over there. Yeah. Fine. But if you told me to turn left, then turn right, then no idea. No idea. No idea. Just it doesn't compute. That's okay. At all. You've got a brilliant brain for measurements and got, fabrics and all other things. I do exactly. other things. It's fine. So, <laughs> this is the Dakar fabric, and I think this one is super cute because oh, yeah. you've got a huge PC. You've got a meter by 160 wide, and um, there's four different color options in it. This is the green option. Mm -hmm. And I think all of these are super cute because you've got your little kind of black and white animals. So if you've got things like your colouring pens and things like yeah. that, you could easily kind of add feature bits to all of these or colour them in <laughs> and have a little bit of fun with them. Yeah. So that is your green option. This one. Mm. Now, it's called um, Silver Grey, but I think it's a little bit more of a taupey Yes. Color on this one. Yeah, there is a so just bear in mind there's a little bit more of a, a beige kind of color, isn't there? Yes, to that one. And then the next one is Ice Flow, which is this bluey grey one. And then the last one, the final one, is is it sulfur? I like that one. So that's that kind of mustardy yellow mm. again as well. So can you do me some numbers please, Fiona? I can, darling. Six Thanks. seven two six four four ten ninety nine. In the green, the silver grey, the ice flow, or the sulphur. I love that uh, yellow, I think, is perfect with the one day special. Now, the happy hour deal, and I'm just holding up a big quilt because, um, yeah, so these ones, this, this beautiful border there that you can see has been made out of one of my little happy hour deals that I've got on the table. So, so this so is the jungle safari Jungle option. safari. Because uh, you can very much doubt you can see over the top there to read anything. <laughs> <laughs> just about, just about. So, There's Molly. There are three oh, different yeah. colour options and you're getting your zebra print, your giraffe print, your bananas and your tropical leaves in the each of them. Bananas. And all of the um, colour options do kind of match with each other. So they do come as little collections. So um, that's the, oh, I think that's the pink option that's yeah. on the top of there. The blue option we've just seen on the top of your previous quilt. And then the yellow option is the last one on there. So yeah. you can kind of, you've, you've got them in their little coordinating collections and they all kind of are designed to work with each other. There we go. So there is our lovely zebra and that lovely branch leaf and the bananas. That's your pink there on that first quilt. That's the blue that I've just shown you on that second quilt there. Isn't that beautiful? It's such fun. Love these. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, four fat quarters as well. That's such a good colour. Pops. Again, if you've got a youngster, yeah. maybe who's just learning to sew, these are all quilting weight cotton. Mm. And this is a really nice, a fat quarter is a nice size to start to sew with as well because there are so many patterns available online that are based around fat quarters. Oh, that four fat quarters is a really nice um, way to start as well. And they're fun. They're they fun. are fun. They, they really are, are gorgeous. I uh, love those. Absolutely love them. Nine ninety nine, twelve pounds saving. Again, a happy hour deal until the end of the hour. Two zero one eight two one. Maybe you've got those full fortnight coming up now with them at home, and uh, you can get them uh, doing doing a bit of sewing, which is certainly part of my plan. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> you Definitely. finished your quilt yet? Uh, no, no, it's work in progress with our shop. Oh, well, did you do one every day? Off. <laughs> Not quite, but Not I'm trying quite. to. But I, I've been busy. I was sewing okay. a lot for the panto. I'll let, I'll let you off. I was doing a lot, but I'll let you uh, off. I'm, I'm going to send photos. Oh, you do that. I would like to see these photos. <laughs> be interesting, but you know, give it a go. You've got to give these things a go. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> so, uh, what I've got is I've got the tapestry patterns, and these are the cute kittens or perfect puppies, is what we've got. So, these ah. two kittens, you can have two puppies. Oh, there you go. Or you can decide to have kind of one of each. So it's pick any two from them. So you can have double kittens, double puppies, or you can choose one of each. 
Uh, Fiona, please, will you do me some numbers? 1099 229303. <laughs> Go for two pups, two putty cats, or a pup and a putty cat. There you go, 1099. Thanks. Yeah, fantastic. And they're, they're a lovely weight, aren't they? As yeah, well? they're another tapestry one, so they're, they're a nice thick one, so great for bags and upholstery and things. And that's the size of your panel there. There you go. So you can see it's perfect for like a little tote bag or something like that. See, All buy... you need to do is put some put some handles on. Yeah, so I, I'd, I'd be tempted to forget the puppy one and give them a little red nose each. Or maybe a little <laughs> Santa hat. They can oh, be Chrissy, yes, you could absolutely then? sew hand, Santa hats yeah. onto them. I've got a Santa hat for Frank. I'm going to try and put it on him tomorrow. Seriously? Who would, yeah. you, would you? Oh, my God. That, oh, yeah, I'd there'll like be some Instagram see. posts tomorrow. You wait and see. <laughs> 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 oh, brilliant, brilliant. We'll wait to see that one. There'll be, there'll be a video of Matt trying to... <laughs> Facebook Live. What, like, filming me what, trying to get a hat onto Frank. I <laughs> know, <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's easier than that. Just take <laughs> peas with you. Take oh. a handful of peas, you're like, come on, Frank. <laughs> What's a pea? Um, so is he getting a Christmas present, our Frank? Is that uh, his present, oh, hat, oh. or a spoonful of peas? I think I might make him some kind of pea cake that they oh. can eat. They like peas, I think do they? They, would, they love peas. Peas and sweet corn. You don't oh. feed, feed ducks bread. No. No, nope. peas and sweet corn. Peas. Apparently they like grapes as well, but I've never tried them on grapes. Mm, there we go. So I might get them grapes for a treat. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, Christmas like... treat. There's some grapes. <laughs> we'll try it. We'll all be trying it out now. Watching day walk. <laughs> grapes and peas and sweet corn. Um, <laughs> don't forget, this is very busy as well. Very, very busy indeed. Just And then we'll go straight back to our Hayley. Um, just tremendous. Should we open up the black one? Oh! The only reason I'm just not doing the white and the cream, which I know is probably the most popular, simply because I don't want to get it all mucky. Um, <laughs> you can't avoid oh, getting it on the floor. The red is the most popular, well, it apparently. it might be because it's near Christmas time and people are thinking giant tablecloths. Yeah, that's su such a good colour, isn't giant it? Giant tablecloths. And with it being a polycotton, um, you'll find that stains will come out of this better. So if you are going to do it yeah. just as a big tablecloth, and um, then you'll find that the stains will come out of this better than they will of just cotton because that little bit of polyester in the mix of the fibers just really helps with uh, just looking after it basically <laughs> here they come <laughs> this there is we go. excellent this is this <laughs> you've covered that and whole set and this it's is still going off she's right it's, uh, actually our lovely Kirsty's the other yes, side so there is no i mean this is a solution to social distancing just put a massive piece of fabric between everybody then they can't get close enough to each other <laughs> God, i mean that's at the ground and i'm stretching way above me here. it is huge yeah it's fact, a ginormous piece and keep, 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 keep um, just to get that kind of into your mind perspective wise it's equivalent to um two backings of king size duvets Unbelievable. so that's 230 centimeters by 220 centimeters plus you're still going to have a chunk wow. left over so that's kind of an i to give you an idea of size and putting that is equivalency for your um, normal 45 inch width that's your normal 45 inch width that I've got here so you're gonna get that length again and then you're gonna get five meters of it so equivalent to 10 meters Phenomenal. of fabric in your normal 45 inch width uh, fabrics gorgeous stack up I mean you know you're gonna use that white and the cream the red is luscious I love that idea of you know your tablecloth Working with you know some other elements on it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, or just something oh, across the middle you or could, the edges. You, know, you could just applique some elements on yeah, it, hem exactly. the edges, and you've got instant tablecloth. I mean, for the that price that that is, you could do your tablecloth, and you could even sew people's names into the tablecloth oh. for where they sit oh, because it's genius. that good value. Yeah. That you know you could. Ideally, it's going to be the same people you have at Christmas dinner every year. Yeah. But if it isn't. You know, just stick nameplates on. If it is the same people every year, and they do tend, you'll find they do tend to sit in the same place mm -hmm. every year as well. Give me a hint you know, that, that you don't want them there by not putting the name yes, in. Yes, exactly. I don't want to sit next to you. I'll put you over there. So your name in. <laughs> <laughs> the spirit of Christmas is with us. Uh, yes, oh, and then you've got the plan. There's a bit panto back. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, just, just getting into the feel of it, getting into the swing of it. Uh, maybe, maybe make those blackout blinds. Not in, not in. There we go. Uh, so 1999, 346836. Quick VT about the Christmas credit. Oh, and what's then Christmas we... credit? Well, well, you get five quid if you if you buy. Should we anything. find out by watching the VT? Let's, let's. Okay.
Welcome to Hachanda's Christmas Credit Event. From Friday the 18th of December at 7am to Wednesday the 22nd of December at 6pm, we will be offering you the opportunity to earn Hachanda Christmas credits. If you are still struggling for last minute gift ideas or just need extra inspiration to help complete your Christmas crafty projects, then please join us and start accumulating your credits. Order any product from our live shows and you will automatically be given a £5 credit to spend against any purchase of £30 or more the following day. And you can do this every day. This means everyone who purchases could save up to a total of £25 each over the course of the event. So, get Christmas 2020 all wrapped up by tuning in to our Christmas credit event from the 18th of December at 7am. Yes, five pounds to spend tomorrow on any order over thirty pounds, and you can do that each day. But you just can't roll over the fivers. But that's okay because you could have the equivalent over twenty-five pounds. Then uh, five pounds a day uh, ends on the twenty-second. Right, we've got the one-day special. All of these are your extra large uh, half meters because you've got that one hundred and sixty centimeters wide, and you're getting all five of these in the beautiful colorways. We've still got these lovely soft grays and the cubes, the play there. It was no, the flare, sorry, the flare. Almost looks like Star We were doing to me. Um, charades through the, the, the plastic screen that we have in between <laughs> yeah, us yesterday. Scott screen. and I were doing charades. <laughs> the stars, and then we've got like the smaller uh, Star We do there. like to mess on, do Scott and I. Oh, cheeky, cheeky, <laughs> cheeky, cheeky chips, the two of you. Uh, then we've got the, uh, the flare in the dark grey, and then that lovely, lovely charcoal sort of Pewter that's colour. the bilby uh, pattern. The bilby, think, that's that? right. The one that's like the offset spot. makeup sponges. Yes. This little tubular peppery Oh, things. okay. I yeah. know what you mean. That's what I see. And then the paisley's there as well. And then that sharp geometric shape that Hayley was working with in her nine block. And then my favourite, the yellows with your, uh, again, the, 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 I keep calling it star anise. I know that's not the name, but um, the cubes, the little honeycombs there, the makeup tulips and then the big star <laughs> I just please do not look for any of these names on the internet they Fiona not is exist. blatantly making it up yes <laughs> and then we got the teal <laughs> the large star anise the cubes the Japanese fans and the small star anise they are not called that I just can't remember the teal do you remember, I mean anybody... there is a lot of fabric to remember I mean I, I'm yeah, doing the same hour every time and it's hard for me to remember so how you remember from running between different ones I do not know uh, indeed. I'm you not just sure don't, I ever you just did make know. It up. You've got quite a good memory. I'm not sure I ever did know some of them anyway. Uh, £24.48, <laughs> That is your one day special, and that price will revert back to £37.48 at 6 o'clock. Hayley, I believe you want to talk about interfacing. I do. It's it's not the kind of sexiest, most exciting looking thing, but it is very, very useful. So what interfacing is, it's a kind of, depends on the, the weight that you go for, but you can get um, lots of different weights of this. And what it does is it's a, a kind of, a, how was the best way to describe it? It's um, it's almost like a, a quite a thin fabric, yes. but then it's got glue on the other side. So what you do is you take a piece of fabric that you want to work with and you iron this on, and what it does is it just stiffens it up a little yeah, bit. Stabilizes Not so it, it's of. completely rigid, no. it just stiffens it up a little bit. Now, if you're working with something like um, you make a bag pattern and you're not wanting to put a really heavy wadding or, or batting or something really stiff in there, mm. but you are wanting something to just stiffen the fabric up a little bit, this is a really nice option to go for. If you're dressmaking and you're doing kind of cuffs, uh, collars, oh, that yeah. kind of thing, um, lapels on jackets where you yeah. need them to be, have a little bit, keep the shape, have a little bit more rigidity, mm -hmm. that's a really good option for it as well. And also when you're doing things like uh, your free motion and lots of um, quilting on top of a, a quite a small area. Yes. It's often quite a good idea to back it with a little bit of interfacing to stop everything sliding about yeah. too much as well. Lovely. So really, really useful thing to have. And you're getting one meter by uh, 150 centimeters. Big, so it's a nice there. big chunk. You'll be using this for a long, long time. 10.99, 590, 455.
for a good price there. We've also got another happy hour deal. I'm sorry it's taking so long, but hopefully you will shop in ahead on the web. I know you talked about these earlier, Hayley, with Paola. Yes, yeah. so we did very briefly talk about them with Paola. Now, um, let me go and find Peepy Scott, because he's got a very similar fabric <laughs> on the back of him. <laughs> so um, this is uh, some of the fabrics. I think we had a few of these within the previous one day special that we did uh, at the beginning of the month. Ooh, and oh. these are a great option if perhaps you um, haven't got uh, a, a solid color that will match really well yeah because these have like within the reds there's three or four different reds i think there's oh, that's more lovely. than that even i think on the, on the little um salve edges on the side it'll tell you how many little dots it's there are little, like, the but i'm sure there saw. are th on the little green one that's on the top can you see just on the edge See where there's a salvage go there was on the, the purple other side. One here, for instance, I've purple got one. There you go. Five. There you go. Five dots. Five different colours within there. And what that means is, because there's that kind of um, movement of colour through it, you'll find it a lot easier for it to match with kind of more random fabrics because there's so many colours of purple running through there. So you're not looking for that really stark match. It's just an alternative to a plain that's just got that little bit more interest to it and it helps you to match a bit better because you ha you're not looking for a precise solid colour match. I love it. It sort of reminds me of sort of distant clouds in different colourways. Some beautiful colours, aren't there? I mean, there's some about. stunning colours in there. <gasps> and this one's a pick and mix. You can pick pick any three from this ah. one, which means that if you've got a particular project in mind, you can go for those ones. But if you're just looking to build your stash because it's on a happy hour price, then I'd probably say greys, really yeah. good option to go for, like the one you've got there. Yeah. And there's a couple of different greys within there. Um, or your greens are a really good one to go for as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. There's some beaut There are, without a question of a doubt, some really beautiful colours in there, that lovely sage olive, olive colour there as well. Some beautiful, beautiful colours in there. Have a little look on the web. That is, again is a um, happy hour deal. The one that's just on the floor uh, oh, beside so your foot there. A coral that, peach, yeah. That kind of corally peachy colour. Now, we um, were making a little house with um, Scott and what I did was actually I used the back of that piece of fabric just to create a because um, Scott wasn't that tanned so just to create a little a little peeping Scott <laughs> I've used the back of that fabric to create a kind of skin tone color <laughs> are you ready Jimmy are you ready for the reveal Ooh. <laughs> Ooh there Peepy he is. Scott. he's like being the neighborhood watch he's just peeping <laughs> out the bottom of, he's like hanging over the bottom of the window like that I don't know whether does he really do that is he a nosy neighbor no. No? No. I don't think we can be bothered to be nosy. Do you know what I mean? We're just, just <laughs> You're not in enough, get, are you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Too busy just getting on your own. But, to be uh, yeah, don't be afraid of using the kind of the backs of these as well, if you want to. If it's art quilting and you're looking for, you know, something to kind of be the right colour and what is on the front might be a little bit bright, then don't be afraid of fl uh, flipping it over because no, once it's in and it's sewn in, you wouldn't know that that was actually the back rather than the front. Yeah. So you can uh, have a little bit of a play with these as well. It looks very happy, whatever he's up to. Yeah, he's peeping um, on the neighbours. <laughs> Peepy uh, <laughs> Peepy Scott. Peepy Scott. <laughs> there we go. A new name for him. Fourteen ninety nine <laughs> seven seven five nine nine two. Pick any three of those half meters. Fantastic. They're all there on the website, and you can really see those colourways there as well. Fantastic, fantastic colours. Beautiful, rich saturation of those colours there. If you're going for some of those brightest, like the fuchsia and the and the map. Mappet. What? What's that? Mappet? Mappet. That's a new word on me. That's a new one on me. Never heard of it. Map Mappet. 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 Purple, I'd say, but there you go. Me pat? Me pat? Purple. What was that word you taught me earlier about some um, little Terrazzo. mosaic bits? Terrazzo. 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 I think so. Yeah. Terrazzo. Okay. <laughs> You've got your nine block there. Yeah, that ah, we'll do this very quickly because I know we've not got a lot of time left. So we'll do this super, super quick. So um, when you're working with those geometric fabrics, it is worth spending a little bit of time when you're cutting things out, cutting to the pattern rather than cutting to your fabric. Because if you cut to your fabric, like I've done on this one here, you can see, um, you can see just things starting to slide out a bit. Now that's not my sewing of the blocks. It's actually just the pattern on the fabrics not being cut straight. And especially with the geometrics, make sure you get them the right way around. Unless that's a look that you're going for. This one, all the patterns have been cut very carefully, so all the lines are straight. So that's going to look a lot neater and a lot better. 
um, but that is all just down to a little bit of practice and a little bit of time spent when you're cutting out so you can see it can make a big difference in the kind of neatness of your finished block indeed and Hayley so, showed us that the eight o'clock show didn't you this yes, morning yes we did with the iron and, and um, position. i've got some of the strips that i've cut out as well and this really illustrates quite nicely what the difference it makes as well so if i have this one along here you can see it just kind of wibbles in and out a little mm. bit and then you're starting to see those little stars coming in along the bottom whereas the top one that's been cut dead straight Fantastic. with a pair of scissors and you What's can see how much it runs out by if I compare that end to that end there. When are you back with us, Hayley, my darling? Uh, Christmas Eve. Fantastic. Look forward oh, to actually, it. Actually, 21st, then Christmas Eve. 21st, then Christmas Eve. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for all your hard work. <laughs> thank you for your one-day special. We'll see Hayley on the 21st. Don't forget to check out your baskets and those happy hour deals. Ooh, it's time for the Hachanda big save. Then we've got All and Create Big Save one day special launch and then we will see the Quilters Trading Post Big Save Hour once more. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have coloring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. 
We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Julie Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Well, is it good evening? I, well, yeah, I think it is. From five o'clock, anyway. Well, yeah, I'll say good evening. Or hello. Hello, it's Willis Committal. Anyway, uh, now if you're just joining us here, and of course, uh, oh, apparently I sounded posh. Oh, hello, darling. How are you doing? That's not really posh, is it? Anyway, I'm very posh in Spanish, that's it. Uh, right. <laughs> rough as it comes in English. Anyway, let's get back to the business because uh, now we are running, of course, the Hochanda Christmas credit, which means any purchase that you make during the hour, well, you will be credited five pounds to your account to spend tomorrow on any purchases of 30 pounds or more. So it doesn't matter in which show, it doesn't matter what product it is, you have got that credit if you check out your baskets. And this is Hochanda's big save. This hour, we have got amazing savings. We are talking about well look at that 33 pound saving and you're spending 14 pounds and 99 pence which is way over a half price it's what 65 percent is well i was close enough so 65 and it's actually close to 70 percent of the price i'm impressed with my non-existent maths anyway you have got here a set of six dies. Now, they are from the Studio Light, so you know the quality, you know the style, you know the versatility. And, of course, you have got the amazing, beautiful, versatile kind of... They are four, I believe they are kind of four dies in each set, so you can layer them. So if I turn them around, I'm going to show them, like the tea time, for instance. You can see how they layer. So you can see how you can die cut them out of different color cardstock and create that depth and detail by layering like the, the, that. You don't need to use them all in conjunctions. You can take just a simpler one. But, of course, when you layer them, you give that depth. Also... You know, for instance, the birds, there is some that cut into the card, the inner ones, the smaller ones. So those ones you can cut apertures out of your cards or mini albums. If you are doing memory books, you can cut them into the card. Like you can see the dragonfly, fly, uh, dragonfly, not dragonfly. Do they have dragonflies exist? Anyway, moving on, dragonflies, you have got, that you can cut it into the card and then create that aperture, or you have got the outer one will cut it out of it. So you are getting all six sets, so you have got six sets containing four dice, so you have got 24 dice in total, and you can see there we have got the Celebrate, Tea Time, Dragonfly, Bird, Love, and birds on a brunch. This is the bird, and of course the birds on a brunch is the one that is the circular one. It's kind of, you can almost mix and match and tell a story, so you could have the bird on its own, no, you can have the bird on its own, then love comes in, and then there's two birds in it. Um, do you say it's a storytelling there? Anyway, 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price, and of course it would work fabulously for Valentine's. Valentine's is coming, Get those hearts in, get them, and then you make beautiful decorations. Also, I'm thinking these ones would make lovely decorations for uh, kind of the tree, the Christmas tree, but also I'm thinking about doing decorations to put all year round for the home. So, you know when the 
the door hangers you don't have to do so you could have them with ribbon on every door and kind of one is like in the kitchen is tea time and the you know bedroom is love and in the kind of maybe you have got a dragon flies maybe you have got a nice living room so you can have them and then of course you can have celebrate for maybe uh, the playroom so that could work really well nearly 20 percent of the stock has gone if you wanted to go for it remember we are just four minutes in and already 20 percent of the stock has gone zero five six a five one three look at that amazing saving of 33 pounds you're just paying 14 pounds and 99 pence and it doesn't matter that this is Hotanga's big save you still will be credited if you check out your baskets today a five pound voucher to spend tomorrow and whenever any purchases over 30 pounds 30 pounds or more now this is also very busy uh, well you may know me from in a previous uh, crafting life and I have got a few of them uh, these scissors and I have to say they are some of my favorites I use mine for ribbon baker's wine I adore them they're sturdy they have got that titanium coating which means of course that they are more durable they stay sharp and also is what well, tonic words, uh, not mine, but uh, in the industry of cutting blades, the, you cannot say that it's non-stick, but you can say that you can, there is less, um, how you call it, less, um, the sticky stuff adheres itself less to titanium coating. That's how they word it. It's a little bit, but of course, that means that your scissors, if you are using it for your red liner tape, it's less likely that it will get gun cupped. So that's what is a perfect way of using it for, again, your double sided tape and your red liner tape. You're getting a set of three. And this is the sort of thing that I would have one in the, you know, that, that drawer that everybody has. It exists in almost every single household. And it's a messy, you know, the household one, the one, the kitchen, the, the, one, the one they have a little bit of everything. Keep one of batteries, bulbs, you know, a little bit of elastic, a little bit of menus, you know, a little bit of a pens that don't write. Well, have a pair of scissors there because trust me, it's a household item and do write with a permanent marker here. It's like, you know, bits and bobs. Then I will write another one that's like saying paper. And then the other one, I would leave it plain. So I would know the plain one is for ribbon and fabric and embroidery. So that detail, because the paper tends to, you know, I will say it, it's, it's even the best quality scissors, they will get blunt, um, quicker cutting paper than they will with fabric. That doesn't mean that these ones will, because I have been using them for age, like about four years. Um, and it's still, you know, they are sharp as of the first day that I got them. However, it's better to keep one for fabric, one for uh, odd jobs, and one for paper crafting. Hence why it's perfect to have three of them. 12 pounds and 97 pence is the price, but already a third of the stock has gone. You have got a better than half price because you're saving 17 pounds there and you're just paying 12 pounds and 97 pence 771 429 is your item number plus it has got a really lovely uh, rubberized handle so it's nice and soft to your fingers moving on to the paper pads now the paper pads are always a great gift now here you have got the softer pastel tones it's an eight by eight set uh, and you're getting a duo which means two of each uh, two two absolutely identical and you i actually did some cards with those ones and it was really fun to fussy cut around them and put some glossy accents on the cherry put some kind of maybe texture over the uh, kind of ice cream and that make it even more lusciously scrumptious uh, that Sunday and look at that plain papers as well so we can then put those elements in there and you can see how a little bit of lace those beautiful softer colors you have got the plainer ones the more elaborate <gasps> look at that you have got 20 designs two of each I have, oh, three or oh, three of each sorry I apologize uh, and I, I did hear three and I I thought I said three, but my mouth and my brain aren't connected. Anyway, so we have got here, look, that would work really well with uh, glossy accents again to give that liquid, that glass, and of course a little bit of glitter as our Meg in my ear is saying, just like she wants all the glitter, all the glitter, but she can, and our director, Joe, he, you can have a little bit of pink and a little bit of flowers, and of course a little bit of 
ice cream. Oh, look at that. Oh, the flex. And you know what? You are not paying. You are getting one for the. For, you are getting two for the price of one. Also, this is calorie, calorie free. You know, well, unless you eat it. I don't know if paper. You cannot eat paper. Let me. You know, it's a lot of fiber. Too much fiber. You know, but. Um, it's not really. A, <laughs> like, everybody's looking at me. It's like, what are you saying? It's Christmas. Yeah, you can indulge with your real food, and you can indulge with real crafting as well. And getting these bargains here, and then of course, nine ninety eight. You're paying. Oh, look at that. Mm. And then, of course, you are getting the chipper, which is always handy, to be honest, to have it. But you can see that. No, absolutely. No, my director is laughing at me. It's like, oh, you know, chipper. It's like, oh, actually, it is. Because it makes, actually, a perfect substance. And you are getting two of them. So it could be the cover and the back cover of your book. So that could be it. Uh, right, see? Uh, right, you are getting them both for uh, half the price. Basically, 9.98 is what you are paying. You are saving, well, it's better than half price because the, the saving is 10 pounds. 501.029 is your item number for them. Now, one of my favorites for this hour, absolutely stunning, Caravel. Now we have got next Caravel, and also we have got the amazing, beautiful artwork uh, from Bridget Coatson. She is an amazing designer. Uh, she's just incredibly, and she's beautiful, and she's so talented, and she's so kind. Um, I met her once in, in Paper World in, in Frankfurt, and she's just like one of these people that has got like leaves an impression on you about her kindness and her grace, and her artwork reflects perfectly that as well. Now, of course, this is. A beautiful stamp. Uh, it has got a washy element uh, to it. So basically, what it is, it's a single stamp, and of course, it's white, it's rubber, but it comes clean from mounted, so it will adhere itself automatically to your acrylic blocks or uh, the stamping platform. And of course, talking about the stamping platforms, we do have got one coming in. Oh, it has sold out. Oh, so I'll show it. Oh, it's a really cool one because it's a smaller, smaller version. It's a seven by nine. Nine ninety nine is the price. What a bargain! You are saving five fifteen pounds. But I might be using it if I have got time to do a little demo. Uh, you know, this is a good reason to shop ahead, check out those baskets, see what you like amazing bargains and remember whatever you buy you are going to get a five pounds credit to your account to spend tomorrow over uh, spending over 30 pounds or more getting back to the caravel uh cling of stamp it is beautiful can you start imagine stamping it into black and then just coloring just certain uh, certain flowers it is beautiful isn't it also stamp this into like maybe some masking tape and then make your own washi stamp it with a stays on archival let it dry completely and then trim those lines and then you have made your own personal washi tape you can color it in with permanent markers as well it is a fabulous fabulous stamp remember 10 pounds and 99 pence with that saving it's a caravel it's a boutique stamp and an amazing beautifully de detailed stamp as well 236-658 is your item number for them incredibly busy hours so please shop ahead check out those baskets there are queues on the phone so if you have got access to the internet the hotchanda.com will be the fastest and easiest way to order or download our Hochanda app from your app store or uh, Google whatever it's called the other one I don't know I'm just just one way I do watch Hochanda through that and I have done a quick you know one or two purchases through it anyway moving on through um yeah we don't talk about it we don't talk about how much money the presenters have spent here as well Anyway, uh, it's a kind of a, the secret uh, club uh, that we don't talk about. A Studio Light favorites. We have got a set of four stamp sets, Tropical Jungle Collection, 67 stamps in total. Now, here we have got, and you can see in here, that it's beautiful, fresh, vibrant, happy images. Look at this, that most loth. I mean, she's, she or he is. I don't know why I went, she is happy. Um, oh, I know why I... Why I I know why I'd say was she because in Spanish is a spa is feminine the animal yeah then we have got I think or oh, is it oh which one is this oh I I just forgot the word I had it in my brain uh, anyway moving on to the next one uh, they said we have got this oh 
We have got the perfect tropical jungle patterns, perfect for backgrounds. Now, uh, apparently, steroidos, lots, no, so I got, had the, the wrong name for the sloth then. Yeah, mm, steroidos, oh, I don't know. It, mm. I don't know. Yeah. No. <laughs> We're trying to figure it out. So my producer is trying to say it in her uh, beautiful northern accent. I have not a clue what she's saying, uh, to be honest. Um, she could say anything. She could say, tell me all sorts of bad stuff. And I would be like, oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> anyway, the one looks very good is those backgrounds because those backgrounds layer. Those backgrounds are perfect to kind of add detail for the animals. That kind of grounds them, gives that layered look. Then you are also getting the gorgeous look at the tropical jungle you are getting here. The look, oh, and look at the lion, the tiger. The, oh, the giraffe is a tall one. That's like our jo our, pro our director is a very tall guy. So that's the giraffe. Uh, I'm probably the sloth. Uh, and Meg is probably the koala. She's, she's so cuddly. Or not the la Yeah, that's it. And then, of course, we have gone there. The gorgeous uh, backgrounds is there, and as well the words in the air. And then the last set that we have got is, of course, those gorgeous hibiscus, the palm tree, the beautiful foliage in there. And of course, we have got the upside down elements. Uh, and then, of course, we have got the bananas in there as well. Bananas for you. That's why it is. All right, hang on there. And that's a message for everybody who is struggling at the minute. Eleven pounds and ninety. Six pence is your price. You are saving twenty-eight pounds. Four seven eight four five one is your item number. Then now remember that amazing saving. Well, that amazing saving. You know what you wanted. Check out your baskets. There is no warranty. There's going to be extra. There's going to be enough stuff for everybody out there. So why not check out your baskets? And you know you're getting it all. Right. Moving on to another amazing brand that we have got here at um, at Hochanda. Right. They, of course, it is Harfal Creations. Now Harfal Creations. Now I need to tell you that this is an amazing bargain. It is. You are save you are paying one third of the price, so two thirds of the price. It is an amazing, an amazing bargain. However, I need to tell you that contents will be vary. So but you know what? Heartfelt creations, if you like the style, you know what you're gonna get. You are gonna get incredible quality, versatile, and you know what? Every single set coordinates with every other set. You can mix and match. You can put, of course, you could put the uh, tulips within the haven of daydreams. You could maybe, you will, maybe you will get the cherry pansy. That will work. There is always flowers. There's always flowers. Maybe into the branches, the birds. You know, you have got scenes, and of course, the stamps. I'm not going to get them out, but you, if you can put them like this, you can see them perfectly that you have got cling foam mount in there and of course red rubber deeply edge and look at that shot right you can see there the deep edge there and of course that will mean that you will get incredibly uh, precision stamping 9.99 is your price it's 18 pounds saving again that is means that you have got almost two-thirds of the price 358057 is your item number now this empty part it's because that's where it should be this, but of course it's sold out. So we have had already a sellout. If you want it, please do check out your baskets and that way will, you will get it. Otherwise you will miss out on this beautiful, beautiful product. Right. Now, of course, we do have got more bargains. So have a look on the website if you want to, or if you want, stay here and watch and then check out your baskets on the side. Now, we have got the little birdie. We have got decoupage pages, papers. They are already limited. If you want it, please do check out your baskets. Incredibly busy. Please, please, please check out your baskets. Now, decoupage paper is like this. It's very, very thin. That's what it's meant to be because the equipage paper needs to be pliable, needs to be molded into the cornices, the corners and crevices of the, uh, the furniture that you are decoupaging. You, you know those beautiful uh, boxes that Love Lunch brings us with all those gorgeous, you know, beautiful details? Well, you can cover them up with these papers. You can do a decoupage, you can do a patchwork. And of course, it has got that con Completely beautiful vintage look in here. 
Look at those gorgeous uh, butterflies as well. Look how everything works. So you're getting eight designs and you are getting four of each design. So 32 sheets in total for 13 pounds and 98 pence. Now you are saving, uh, oh, well they are technically sold out. So please, now if you have it in your basket, do check out them because otherwise you will miss out. Do I, I'm just putting them aside because this has gone. I was gonna do a little demo, but you know what? I'm sorry, I'm not going to do, have time to do the demo. Well, I'm going to have time, but I'm not going to have product because you are buying a head and, and I you know, had so many plan demos planned. Well, not so many, but a couple. But anyway, maybe one, two. Two, three, three actually. Three. Anyway, uh, moving on to, I, I adore this stamp set. I this I said, and I forgot to send the video, didn't I? Uh, right, uh, because, now this is probably my all-time favorite die from Karen Bernstein. My, or, yeah, top, top two, top two. Because um, this is phenomenal. It's, it, it's so wow. Now, what it does is it comes in, and when you open it, you, it folds completely flat right and when you open it it twists and falls and all that comes up like it's just like suddenly you have a dimension you have got like this explosion of little images now in my one and the one that i did a card for the birthday of one of our directors and uh it was for our holly and she is a phenomenal fan of scary movies so what i did and this is for personal use only i had like little tiny uh, pictures of that reference to movies and yeah, i took her picture as well and i put some like title on it and uh, kind of i made her face at the title of a movie a very famous screaming movie basically and of course when she opened it it had all those scary movies staring at her and of course her own face which uh, as beautiful as it is it might have put her off for a little bit because it was just kind of a little bit but you can see it that you can personalize you can create those very very specific memories you have got a tiny instant frame for an instant frame. you have got even here the die to create those four clips so if you look at this this and where is it that bit here look at that what they create so they fall completely flat, but it actually looks like a, a gorilla clip. Doesn't it? It's, 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 isn't it just clever? And of course the paints as well, they are absolutely flat. Die cut them after mirror, mirror cards and glossy black cards. They look so amazing. And of course you have got all the elements. And what I love about Karen, you can tell that she's, um, a civil engineer by trade so she has got all the allowances all the kind of incredible mechanisms but she also is a crafter so she's a crafter that she knows that for instance like well we'd rather have two instant frames we'd rather have got two of this because we want to mo um, do, you know do multiples and then also there's an empty space so let's put a smile die in either word die there so it's all those little details that tell you that it's a crafter now also the other thing that you have got here is a step-by-step -step instructions now karen is an amazing educator so she has got a youtube channel full of every single die that she has got, she has got tutorials in there. However, here, you, uh, straight away, I always do one thing, is I get the die, look at the instructions, like I did, follow, the, follow them, and you know what, they follow to perfection. So, you have got the YouTube content that she that provides, so you have got all that all, always there, but also you have it printed into the packaging. It even tells you exactly what, you know, the die shapes that you have got, so if you are missing one, you will know that you're missing one and which one to look for. You also have got, for instance, other dies that have been included in the making of this card, so all the knowledge is packed in the packaging. Uh, right, if you want it, 285238 is your item number and you have got a £7 saving, you're just paying £19.99. pence. It takes really not long at all to, to assemble. It's one of those ones that generally is so easy to put it and so complicated to figure out how it's done in, for somebody who does, hasn't put it together. Right, we have got more dies and these ones are creolized. Now, these ones are a patchwork uh, and you are getting patchworks number three, die set of 13 dies in total. Now, this is really cool, isn't it? Because you have got an outer die and you can see that the, the 
it, the blade is right on the inside and then you have got a double stitch detail well a single stitch side inside and outside so every mat and layer that you are going to create you are going to have that aperture element and that take away or topper element think about die cutting it out of different color card and creating like a piecing of pay different papers think about maybe you have got the main base so that could be the card base and then you have got then the mat are here and that could be the mats in different colors and then you have got the inner one which could be pattern paper now for instance the one day special that is coming up is uh, of course Alan create and Leona's going to show you us through but imagine stamping into white card those beautiful random stamps or maybe you have gone for the heartfelt creations and just stamp it and then you die cut all those different elements into it and then you mount them you can create inwards or outwards it's out uh, depending how you use them you can create like a window or actually a pretty like some form pad so it stands out it's a lot of different possibilities 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price you're saving five pounds six seven seven two two six is your item number then we have got some the our sunflower dye here from uh they are individual so let's not this that's one uh, now of course the sunflower number two die you are getting seven dies and of course from Elizabeth craft designs now this collection I have had a lot of fun I mean it does take a little bit of time to put them together if you want to follow as she tells you to me I'm a little bit for Bravo and you know what I do I use that as a stencil I use this as little flowers but if you want to do something that is pretty hearty hearty oh shouldn't have a started Horticulturally, horticulturally, yeah, um, uh, correct. Uh, why, why, why do I choose to say these words when I cannot pronounce them in English? Ah, oh, see, in my brain never ceases to amaze me. Anyway, so in a bad way. Uh, right, so you have got the both flowers in here. So I would use them randomly. Like I would use them for creating apertures and then using as, as of course, like kind of a stencils. I would use them as these flowers as they are. If you want to make proper sunflowers, then use them and follow the image in the front to create the perfect flower sunflowers from Elizabeth Craft Designs you know the quality and you know that you are getting a bargain because you're saving four pounds and you're just paying 9.99 736-587 is your item number then we have got the window so if you want to the window can be like this looking out or the window looking in so it depends it's up to you so whether you want to put a scene you know if you wanted to kind of put in the window that kind of is looking out uh, so you could have a landscape or looking in like this so you have got maybe a christmas tree or you can have the curtains or you can have friends saying hello uh it's up to you what you put it in i don't know how i would do it i think i'm looking in or looking out i like i sometimes i like to look out but i also mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway, it could be either way. I don't know. Thirteen pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. You're saving five pounds. Eight one two four six eight is your item number. Is this, is this that like I was kind of thinking you could do a scene with a little Christmas tree or you could have a like you know an engagement couple there and you can do like a romantic kiss there are so many variations on that theme but we are going to give me a pan set of five assorted dyes boy girl right so you can boy girl so as you can see there you have got also the hearts and the coffee lover I do like the coffee lover but I also love absolutely love those hearts as well they are absolutely lovely aren't they and the boy girl is one single die but you the words themselves you die cut them and they come out so you have got the interesting to uh, do there you could do them for your uh, newborns uh, of course our our Mary um, uh, just told me that she became a grandmother recently so uh, a little girl so that you could do for her little girl there or maybe somebody we know as well had a little boy so that could be another again for a little boy or somebody who really likes coffee or depends on coffee so Leone, Krusty, Ami and I think Megan as well that she likes uh, so likes coffee. I think our director is more of a tea boy in 14, <laughs> 14 pounds and 93 pence is your price for that and you're saving five pounds and fifty pence six zero six three seven three he, he apparently makes the teas for everybody uh right uh let's moving on to uh moving on to stencils
Oh, oh, this is I. There's some 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 reports in my ear that apparently uh, the director hasn't made. He's he's not a very good tea boy. No, he hasn't produced a tea for. Anyway, uh, right, so we have got an amazing, beautiful uh, stencils in there. Uh, the things that go in my ear, if I could tell you half of it. Right, uh, for 842636 is the item number four. The amazing, amazing little birdie set, a set of two, uh, 14 by 14 cent inches. Now, you have got the Blooming Grace and the Classy Lace. So, I mean, Blooming Grace and classy i don't know which one i'm gonna yeah i have got so i mean it's not it's not kirsty i'm sorted I'm sorted okay that works uh you can see it that is blooming beautiful isn't it oh i kirsty is getting a, a proper large yeah yeah okay 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 Okay. I mean, can I, I can hide behind it. <laughs> Apparently, that's much better. There, we can see there. That's one of them. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then, where is the other one? I cannot see it. There it is. Yeah. They're like, uh, like, it's like, go bigger, Kirsty. Go big. But there it is. And she's trying to look for one. Oh, look at that. Anyway. Right. Oh, I'm gonna put it behind me because. But can I say something now? This is really good. No, that's a really good thing because imagine that. Okay, so this is a very large piece of card. So don't think that it's a piece of card. Think about that. This is a piece of wall. Uh, the, the wall. You know, you have. You know, you have got a plain wall, and then you want to decorate it. So these larger stencils. See, Kirsty had it all in her plan. He thought it, he thought about it. So you could use them. And how much easier it is to fill the larger area? Maybe you have about a kitchen, and the kitchen, the tiles are a little bit, mm, you know, maybe you have a kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just, I say that because currently in the house that I'm currently have, well, living in has got the tiniest kitchen that is not really a kitchen but if you have got a kitchen with a you know the splash you know tiling and it's a little bit you want to bring some color why don't you just use these amazing uh stencils and of course you bring some pattern into it but also if you went for the one that's the previous well the one that's special that is still available there uh, there was the polish sheeting um that is uh, five meters so it's a massive piece of fabric and you want to add some pattern and it's it's amazing. So you could spray paint with a dye base, uh, dye, dye sprays for fabric that they exist. And that would mean because you can then do them. And I have done that with amazing results. But you need large patterns like this. Otherwise, it doesn't really work. Right? If you want to go for this set, well, you are saving seven pounds, 16 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 842636 is your item number. Just need to go downstairs uh, one second. It's just because it bothers me, this big piece of paper. I don't want to step over it. Otherwise, I would have to be like there. Right. Oh, these ones are ready and limited stock. Please do check out your baskets. Please uh, check out your baskets. £17.94 is your prize. You are saving £12. Please, 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 if you want it, check out your baskets. Remember that the baskets auto refresh themselves or empty themselves every 10 minutes. So if you put that a few minutes ago, well, you don't have long before they bounce back and somebody else can check out those baskets and get it. And you will miss out. Do you want to miss out on them? Is your, oh, well, they sold out. So well done to those ones who were fast and got them uh, what their heart desired. Uh, 042325 is your item number. You are saving £12, but they are sold out. Well, there's other ways to save here at Hochanda. And here's Leone to tell us more about freedom. Have you heard of Hochanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. 
Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. I love becoming part of the official uh, Hachanda family. And it's a little bit weird because Leon is over there uh, getting ready for the one day special at 6 p.m. And then I see her here and it's like, I, I'm seeing double and I haven't had, you know, the drink. I mean, I have had water, but not the other type of drink. Anyway, moving on. Uh, now, very busy this hour, so please do shop ahead or go or go back to items because remember, we already had had uh, two sellouts and we are probably will have another one uh, very soon. So please do ch uh, check out your baskets. One item that is very busy is, of course, the set of six uh, dies. They are. Well, they're not six dies, they are six sets of dies. So you are getting actually 24 uh, stamp, uh, dies in total. You are getting six dies. Six, uh, my maths are correct. Uh, yeah, four dies in each set. So times six, six times four is 24, isn't it? Yes, yes, apparently, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Anyway, 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Now, you know that you have got in this one that counts out of the card. So you have got six dies that cut out of the card. And then you have got uh, three times six is uh, 18. <laughs> My maths. Uh, 18 dies that cut into the card. So you can mix and match and layer them, creating those scenes that where you have got that intricate detail that you travel inwards. You kind of have got that element, but you can layer them the other way around if you wanted to. It's just a slightly different way of doing things. This works really well if you have got car stock that is, for instance, say teal, but a deep teal, then you have got like a soft, a lighter teal, then you have got an uh, turquoise, and then you have got an aqua cars. That means that you're kind of building up those layers perfectly tonally as well. You are getting love, well, not real love, but you're getting a dye set that is called love. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, otherwise really, like everybody would be at 14 pounds and 99 pence and you're getting love and tea time, and you're getting a dragonfly. No, that's the dye. That's the dye we're talking about, the love dye. But you can use it on its own, and you can use it, of course, with those elements into it. Remember that it cuts apertures, so it will cut into the card. And you could do like a gate, no, um, a zigzag card, so you have got the bigger one on the very front, then they cut, they cut it into the center end of it, and so on and so forth. What I would recommend when you do that is, of course, you die cut first the outer one, then you place your die for the second one, make sure that it's aligned from it, put it low tack tape and then run it through the die cutting machine. And of course then you have one uh, in here, you have got celebrate tea, uh, tea time, then you have got the dragonfly which has got that gorgeous kind of chrysanthemum or water lily uh, dye in here in the center. And of course, the outer dye that you will cut it out of the card is that perfect postage stamp. Then you are getting two birds in a branch, uh, in, a, yeah, in a branch, and then you are getting the single birds as well. So you are getting both of them uh, in this set. Well, you are getting all six of them, in fact. And look at that saving, 33 pounds saving, 14 pounds and 99 pence is what you're saving. So you are getting, well, almost 70% of the price. It is phenomenal. And that's why it's very busy. And of course, there's no, you know, second class kind of type of quality of dice. No, this is a studio light, top of the range. A 0565183 is your item number. Now, the scissors are very busy and half the stock has already gone. Well, you know, Tonic Studios is a very, very famous company that has got very good tools. Uh, I should know it. I have used them very for many a year. Uh, this pair, precisely, this model is one of those ones that I have got a few pairs because I do really like them. Now, you have got, it's a five inch, the five inch is from top to the from the tip to the bottom of the handle right and the blade itself is a little bit shorter than this but of course you have got the sturdiness now if you look here can you see that metal edge the metal blade kind of goes inwards here and you have it all throughout you have got uh, you have got as well the um the titanium co coating as well it's perfect for needlework oh no can I put it closer to my mic so you can hear? Uh, 
That's really pleasing, isn't it? It's just like... I mean, if, so, if you are just tuning out to Hochanda and you just see this shot and then you hear, you're thinking, what is she doing? What is she doing? But if you're a crafter, uh, you know the quality in your scissors is it's important because it equals to the enjoyment of cutting. Fussy cutting is fun as long as you have got the right tools, as long as it doesn't hurt your hands, as long as it feels comfortable. And having a rubber handle means that it's much softer on your hands. You don't have hard plastic touching your skin and rubbing against your skin. You have got, of course, that perfect placement for your fingers as well. And you have got a titanium coating. <laughs> Titanium coating for uh, the blades here. So, of course, that means that the sticky stuff won't, won't attach itself as much. Uh, right, so we have got double-sided tape here. <laughs> and look at that. So, completely clean blades. The sticky, you know, can you see? They come off completely. The sticky stuff stays out of the blades. And that's what you want. Right, uh, now, uh, and that makes a lot of sense to go for them. And having a trio means that you can have one for your soft crafting, for your fabrics, for your ribbons, and then you can have one for uh, the paper crafting and one for that cupboard or that drawer that you know you have at home. And if you don't have it at home, that mixed bag of drawer, well, what's the secret of not having one of them? Because I think the whole world needs to know. Anyway, £12.97 is the price. You are saving £17, 771 for tonight. Please, if you want to check out your baskets, do not mess out on gorgeous scissors that have got that noise when you cut them. And of course, they are, uh, they, they give you that cutting action up to the very top of the tip. So you want to have that for sharpening, uh, of course, sharp cutting as well. And maybe, who knows, maybe you want to fussy cut these beautiful designs. Uh, now, of course, we have got here the, from Honey Suckle, so yummy, 8 by 8 paper pad. Now, you are getting 60 sheets in total, and you're getting two packs. So you are getting two for the price of one. And, of course, that means that, if, for instance, if you have got a... Cr oh, I know. You know how now we cannot meet up, so you know, with our friends to craft. Well, maybe you could send one to your friend, keep one and craft along and using Skype or Zoom or something like that. And you could say, well, can we use this? Can we do it? Oh, look at what I have done. So that could be a lovely present. Maybe you have got a little one, maybe like me, I have got a, my niece. Well, I'm not, I, I am a little one, but I have got a niece who is, um, uh, is far away. Uh, and she loves to craft. She absolutely adores crafting. And this could be, again, she could have one of the packs and I will have the other one. So she will have exactly the same as Tia Paula, which by the way, Tia means um, auntie in Spanish. So that's good. And then, yeah, I did remember that word. Yeah, that's, that's correct. Um, you know, <laughs> to be fair, I was talking to my my niece yesterday, so she 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 freshened my mind, refreshed my mind about that word here. Right, we have got here, and this is maybe for my sister if she wants a cocktail. You know, like we could craft with her as well and have a cocktail in the bitch. Um, right, and then. Right, can I say something? Uh, now the way that I pronounce, beach. It's a little bit different, so if yeah, that's what the word that I meant. The sand, the sea, that's what I meant. <laughs> and then, of course, we have got the gorgeous pattern. <laughs> and then, of course, we have got the gorgeous jewels on the background in here. Um, true story in Spanish or in Italian or, uh, you know, we don't have long vowels, so it's just short. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, like, Leonie had to tell me once life on air is sheet. Anyway, moving on from that subject, <laughs> I get, I, you know, give me a shovel and I make the biggest hole in the world. <laughs> right. right, we have got 60 sheets, uh, you are getting in each, you are getting two packs, 9.98 is your price, you are saving 10 pounds, 5.01.029 is your item number. And of course, right, moving on swiftly.
So please. Right, we're moving on to Caravel. Now we have got Caravel. We have got the gorgeous, beautiful artwork from, of uh, course, uh, Bridget Quipson. Now, of course, this is one single stamp that delivers that kind of contrasting washi tape effect. It's beautiful artwork. She has got such color in her uh, beautiful uh, designs, in her drawings. Also, I see like a lino cutting style in here. I can see the depth of some details. I can see the black and white intertwined doing a contrast, doing the positive and the negative. There is so much detail in there. I think in stamp and emboss with um, black embossing powder and then throw in sprays, uh, spritzes of different colors, some of them with a the sparkle so it glistens. What about the stamping into something that is self-adhesive and then you can bring in a glitters in certain areas. Trim it down as to make proper washing. Remember it's, it's white rubber clink foam mounted, ready to be used, ready to, of course, oh, I think that will work really well with triple embossing powder, because then you can do it in gold, in embossing powder in gold, melt it, and then use a uh, versifying clear or versifying black ink, ink it up and stamp into it, so then you'll have the relief and the deboss elements into it. It's really it's a good technique for this sort of a stamps, and of course, being white rubber, you can do it. 236658 is your item number 10 pounds and 99 pence is your price you're saving four pounds fabulous fabulous stamp from Carabao, which is an amazing uh, company now we have got stamps here and we are going into tropical jungle who knew that you know we could travel well we can't really travel can we but we can take our imaginations through the form of stamps here now we have got the friendliest sloths and of course oh this there is a, is it a toucan that is in there mm. I mean, this token is also quite, it's, you know, that face, what is it? The face of somebody who knows a lot and it's like, mm, mm, a smirk, a smirk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's a smirk, yeah. I think he's just like, yeah, yeah, I know. And then this is like, he's like, oh, I'm so excited. Christmas is next week. Uh, and I can touch this can touch this. Uh, then of course you have got those amazing uh, cactus as well, the pineapple. You know, I would like to have the, the uh, pineapple maybe over the uh, sloth as well. Not on top of my head. No, that would be too much. Although, you know, if it worked for Carmen Miranda, maybe it would work for me. Although probably the pineapple would be taller than me, so maybe it's a little bit, no. Uh, right, anyway, moving on from that subject. Uh, we have got, of course, borders in here. We have got words, but then we are getting also, it's not a choice of, uh, you would be inclined to think that you are getting just one set. But no, you actually are getting all four sets for eleven pounds and ninety-six pence. And if you like some tiger print, we, there is some tiger print. We know one of our producers is very fond of certain programs with tigers and kings. Anyway, moving on to the next one, we have got the wild, wild for you, roar. Uh, and of course, I love, this is me be, being be, very bewildered by everything, and the sloth, oh, look at that, and the giraffe, and you make me relax. Uh, and then of course, we have got the giraffe, which is our joy. Then we have got, moving on to the flowers, and the palm trees, and the upside down monkeys. We have got, of course, congrats. And these are really lovely. If you like to color in, they are nice, clean areas to color in. Look at the bananas. They are smiling. Look at them. They are so together. That's so, so cute. That's so cute. Anyway, I love that when you discover hidden messages. And of course, I love the coconuts in the palm tree as well. They're, you know, you could do so much with those balls. Anyway, for £11.96 is your price. So, 478451 is your item number. Right, moving on to. We have got the scissors here. Now, the scissors are, have been so busy. Now, they are five inch scissors. Now, you are getting three pairs in total. 12 pounds and 97 pence is your price. 17 pounds saving. It, they are incredibly busy. If you want yours, please do check out your baskets. Now, remember, oh, even, even if I could. Oh, I love it. Now, we are going to get some cards. Let me. Um, Okay, so I'll put, don't cut my hair, but although it needs a haircut, so. Oh, 
and you can see that it cuts up to the very tip look at that now the other thing i like about them and i'm going to put them side but as you can see them can you see if i come closer we can see that the blades themselves are quite thin now that's what you want because if you have wider uh, wider ones what they do is leave a very ugly mark whether these ones don't you can see there that it has got a very clean uh, to the very 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 and there it is but, or shall i turn it around here a little bit better probably there so it's a really clean uh, to the very very end now 70 percent of the stock and it was the very largest stock uh, has gone if you want your 12 pounds and 97 pence you're saving 17 pounds which makes it better way better than half price uh now if you want it 771429 right moving on to well heartfelt creations you know the quality red rubber red red rubber rather rubble uh red rubber deeply etched Cling foam mounted. Now, these contents may vary. So you may get the tulips, uh, tulip time and haven of daily dreams. You may get tweed cherry blossoms or others, but you are going to get, you know that the value is in the full you know in the stamp set you are going to get amazing stamps cling foam mounted they are the same kind of area and also you know that everything mixes and matches in Harfeld. Nikki Harley who comes in and demonstrates for uh, Harfeld, she always kind of mixes and matches because everything blends seamlessly everything works in very similar way but everything offers a slightly variation so of course, this is just two stamp sets. Now, if there are some times that you have got dies that will cut them out, but of course, if you don't have them, you can always fussy cut them with your tonic scissors. Uh, right, so save as you are saving 18 pounds, you are paying 9.99, which, if you ask me, is a bargain because you are, you know, it's almost. No, it's almost no. It's yeah, yeah. It's almost uh, two, you know two thirds of the price. Three five eight uh, zero five seven is your item number. Now we are moving on to a Karen Burnson dice and here now Karen Burnson is actually a close friend of mine. She's an incredible, uh, incredibly talented designer and civil engineer. Now she was a paper crafter as a hobby and then one day kind of she started des designing all these projects and all these albums and then people are starting asking to do to workshops and I think it was 2000, I'm trying to remember if it was 2006, 2005, 2008, um, the other sort of time where I attended one of her workshops and it was really really mind-blowing of what you could, she could do then of course she became a signature designer for a dye companies and then she became her own boss becoming like Hamburson with Riley and company now this is a phenomenal dye the way that it kind of it falls completely flat it looks extremely complicated but it's uber easy I mean the, and this is the thing as well with this one you don't need to use all the decorative elements that it has got in here. Uh, when I had to choose a dye for our Holly's 30th uh, birthday, uh, I kind of thought this is perfect because I can put little pictures in there. You could do that with maybe a card with the pictures of the whole family. It's, it's one of those ones that also if you're maybe doing memory albums, it will work phenomenally well. 90 pounds and 99 pence is the price. You're saving seven pounds, 285, 238 is your item number. Creolize, uh, Creolize, uh, patchworks, the eyes are you are getting uh, 13 eyes, it's a stitch in one in the inner, a stitch in the outer, you are getting that kind of base card and then all the patchwork and layering there. 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price, you are saving 5 pounds, 677226, but I wouldn't wait because they are limited to stock. If you want it, uh, of course, check out your baskets, that's the only way to get them. And remember, the baskets have to refresh themselves every 10 minutes. So you, if you put it about five minutes ago, well, you only have got five minutes to check them out before somebody else grabs them. Or also remember that you are going to, we have got the Hochanda's Christmas credit event, which means that if you spend anything on this show or anything during the day, you are going to get a five pounds credit to spend tomorrow on every, any purchase of 30 pounds or more. Oh, well, those scissors are buzzers. There is a lot of scissors scissors uh, going out now if you want yours well do you get grab them uh, 12 pounds and 97 pence is your price you're saving 17 pounds and of course let's do some scissors let's get them in action look at that look at that can i do this for, for until the end of the show 
Look at that. Look at that. But can you see as well how thin those elements, how fringe? Look. Can I do it again? Okay. I'm just. I'll say one thing. These scissors should have an, uh, something that said, oh, be careful. They are addictive. Once you start cutting, uh, then you will want to be cutting and more and more and more. Uh, but again, they are really amazing. Of course, you have got the, oh, apparently I need to cut more. Uh, I need to be cutting more. Oh, that's all they want me to do, to just get my scissors in action. And then, of course, you can see them. Now. Oh, look at that. Ah. Oh. Anyway, uh, you, you, if you want them, please do check out your baskets. Better than half price. Uh, now there is lots more. Of course, you can find it on the website, including those gourmet pan stamp uh, dies. You have got, of course, the Studio Light favorites. You have got the Studio Light's favorite set of stamps. They're heartfelt which are absolutely stunning. Don't forget the canvas and dies. Don't forget the beautiful large stencils. Don't forget those caravel stamp. And don't forget that we have had so, uh, a couple of sellouts already. Well, probably we'll have uh, two or three more uh, in the next couple of minutes. So please check out your baskets now. Of course, thank you for your company because uh, it's been a pleasure to have your company. But after the break, we have got a brunt of a brand new one day special. It is our Leone. But do not check. At do not forget to check out your baskets because, of course, you are going to get that credit. It doesn't matter which item for to spend tomorrow. And with that, I'm going to leave you for one hour with Leone and I'll create beautiful stamps one day special. <music> break and there is of course a new one day special with Alan Create and Leona next after that there is of course a quilter's trading post with Pam and Emma and later on another look at the one day special oh I'm magical <laughs> Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Hayley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. 
We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Artist Shows on Achanda. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hello there and welcome. It's six o'clock. We have got a brand new one day special for you, but better than that, we have got savings galore across everything we are bringing you with this show. We are busy before we've even come to air because lots of you have already started checking out the website. And that's a good way of shopping because we have got so much to share with you. There is no way we are going to be able to cover everything during this hour. We will certainly do our best to keep you updated on things like to um, the quantities and stock that are becoming vulnerable and more and more so. But it is going absolutely crazy already. Of course, we're talking all and create. So we know we're talking about fabulous quirky artwork, stamps with personality, stencils that you can be able to use over and over again in loads of different ways. But of course, we have got a fabulous deal for you, kind of being your one day special with your main focus. Now, you've got two different bundles that we're going to be bringing to you in a few moments, just waiting for those details to pop up in your screen. But then we have a bumper bundle where you can get hold of both of these. So this is something that's definitely worth thinking about. And as I say, have a little look. We've got all sorts of quirky characters that are going to work alongside these. Lots of vintage looks, lots of kind of mixed media looks, loads and loads that you are going to be able to work with and things that are going to cross pollinate in the way that All and Create do so, so well. Details are on your screen there. You are looking at a one day special for just £37.98. It gets even better though. Freedom members, it's discounted down to £34.18. And, and of course, we have got our Christmas event. That means if you're placing an order for anything in this hour, even if it's a one day special on that Freedom members discounted price, you will get a fiver credit ready for you to use tomorrow on anything. So uh, of course, do check out the terms and conditions. I'll tell you about that as the hour progresses. But please don't expect me to demonstrate during this hour because it's all in crate. So we've got fabulous Leone. Can't wait to see what you've got planned for us. Boom, thank Thank you, as you go out, I'll wait and then come in, pass the screen. <laughs> Thank you, our lovely Hayley. Um, yeah, all and create, you need to get ahead because I know it's already been busy and we have so many beautiful stamps. Now, as Hayley said, the one day special, it's almost like we've got tons of one day specials, truth be known, because of the deals. And this is a set I haven't worked with, so I'm really, really chuffed that I can bring you um, stamps that I haven't used so this is our fantastic ocean wonder and then we've got the orchid cluster now if i spin that round have a look at that it is by the fabulous papasha papasha is amazing i love her her work is amazing um, and please check her out on instagram because her actual crafting work is just fantastic i love it because as usual it's papasha so you've got that mixture of the the sentiment the wording the different sayings and um, the different script
it in with the actual main imagery. And it's very different is this one, as you know, Bipasha brings us a lot of really unusual um, artwork. You've got the, the body there and then of course the fish head and it's just so realistic. You've got the shells, you've got the lovely little crab at the bottom there. Um, the little is that a lobster? Is it a prawn? I don't know. I don't know. It'll be a prawn, won't it? It's a little prawn, is that? It's a little prawn. Hello, little prawn. Um, so really, really fabulous. And the words, you are my coral reef in glowing hues. How fabulous. And then you've got be endless as the ocean and timeless as the tides. Advice from the ocean. Be, um, be sure of yourself. See what she's done there. Um, absolutely gorgeous. So that's your first set of stamps, lots of stamps. I mean, and really different. Very cool indeed. You've then got uh, the beautiful orchids. Now, the lovely thing about these, utterly different, but obviously the way you use them, they can tie in together. Then you'll notice that um, when you look at that, it, it's kind of, again, it's got the Papasha look to it, but it looks a little bit different for Papasha. But what you've got, you've still got, can you see the, the writing? She entwines the writing within her beautiful designs. I love that. I think it looks really, really interesting. Absolutely beautiful. Now you're saving here, especially if you're a Freedom member, um, £8.80, £34.18. Um, obviously, absolutely beautiful. Now that's, um, I'll just show, I'll show you these in a second, shouldn't I, really? But I'll show you coloured in ones first. Don't they look fabulous? They just burst into life. And look at that, because look at the detail. Phenomenal. Oh, I love these. Okay, so that's your first option, okay? Obviously, that's your saving. £34.18. pence. Your second option now, I must admit. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. Now, we'll just take these off, because I know I'll end up knocking everything over. Um, but this is absolutely beautiful. I'll push it forward as well, because I'm not room. Um, so, your first one, his, look at him. Oh, man, I love this set of stamps. Um, this is actually by the wonderful Olga. Now, this really sings to my heart, because you've got so many beautiful stamps. That one at the top is phenomenal. This is the alchemist. So you've got him there, and I mean, he's fabulous, isn't he? You know, he looks like your, your mad scientist. He's got all the, that stamp, that is seriously cool. You've got all the jars, you've got all the wonderful sort of mo uh, portions. Um, yeah, look, this, this is such a cool set of stamps. A favorite that, favorite, love it. Uh, so you've got that one now in this bundle as well. Look at this, because this is fabulous and when you look at that isn't that different i'll spin it round for you then again this is by the mighty olga look at that for cool you've got kind of the splats there you've got the the kind of skull there which has got that kind of dark scary look but it's amazing it's absolutely amazing and that background stamp is phenomenal that one there beautiful oh i love these these are seriously cool now Again, your price, £34.18, pence. if you are a Freedom member. Um, can I show you these ones again? I'll just show you those two again. I mean, don't buy anything yet, though, because I've got a big bundle, which, obviously, I should have said earlier. But look at them. Isn't he fabulous? Oh, the colouring in on that one is phenomenal. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So cool. I mean, that skull looks fabulous. Oh, I wish I could colour in like that. OK, so... If you want all of them, remember, it should be £34.18 £34 for Freedom members. However, if you want everything, so if you want the two big A4 size stamps and then the two A5 stamps, I mean, all together, I'm not sure how many stamps we've got all together. There's so many stamps on each one. Look at your price. So... Your savings are carried, the savings are carried over. So Freedom members, that's £17.50 and pence carried over. You're then saving another £9.50 on top of that. So that is on top of that. Because already, I mean, those savings, incredible. And you've got your Flexi. That is three payments, £22.16. and pence. So all those savings carried forward and then extra savings put on top. Let me show you some of the finished samples. And these have all been done by the design team 
who are fabulous. Um, that's from Debbie, and I love that. And when you look at that, just colouring in, using your beautiful background stamps, which look amazing. I'll just show you a couple because obviously there's so many incredible finished samples. Then obviously with something like this, because it is so different, there's so many things you can do with it. You will absolutely love playing with this collection. You will love it. Now, oh, let me show you that one. Because that skull is amazing. Look at that. I love that. Um, okay, if you would love to get hold of this, 562-855 is your item number. Love it. There's so many beautiful finished samples. Now, we've also got, not only have we got amazing deals, but we've also got a happy hour for you. Now, this is fantastic because you've got some really cool background stamps. Please remember with the happy hour deals, these are literally available for this hour at that price. You're saving £12 there if you want to get hold of that one. I love these. I've dug a couple of these out for my um, my demonstration. Uh, but yeah, that is cool. That price, £12 saving for this hour. Please, please make sure you don't miss out on them deals. 337-582 is your item number. Now, because we've got so much on the shows, we will try to mix up every single hour. We'll try um, to mix up what we're going to show you every single hour. And we'll obviously bring lots of stamps in. So we'll try and show you what we've got on the show. Because I know going through the website can be quite laborious. So obviously we'll, we'll try to do that as we go along. But in this hour, look at these. I mean, the detail of this stamp is phenomenal. This is beautiful. Look at that. The stunning, it's absolutely stunning by Papasha again. And that, I adore how so uh, refined those lines are. It's just elegant, absolutely stunning. This is a kind of stamp you literally just want to stamp and colour in. Maybe do a bit of fussy cutting and a bit of decoupage. But that is beautiful. 20% of the stock has already gone here. You are saving £10 on this bundle. The next one, ah oh, man, you can so tell. Uh, Bipasha's work because when you look at that look at that detail that is exquisite isn't it oh I love these that is just so cool and again you've got all that beautiful script hidden within the stamp so Bipasha um lovely lovely detail and then the last one have a look at this that is so cool. And I love, I love him. Isn't that brilliant? Is that not the best octopus you've ever seen? You've got the octopus, you've got that beautiful, beautiful seahorse and then the whale. You see, I think, I mean, I find them all quite magical. You know, the, the seahorses are ridiculously magical. They don't look like they should be real. The, the octopus are so clever and whales. I mean, they're such phenomenal creatures, aren't they? That is Cool, absolutely cool. Okay, this bundle is flying. I am not surprised. It's beautiful and it's different. I mean, it's all and create. This is what we know and love from all and create. We know that we're going to get something really unique and phenomenal. They definitely are trendsetters. You definitely get other companies who have seen all and create stuff and been inspired. Um, and they just. <laughs> Um, and they just bring us something, um, just something that's either easy to work with. I mean, look at that. That is, that is such a beautiful, beautiful image, but it's easy. But obviously, you can really get carried away because you can start layering. You can start creating some beautiful, really big designs. I mean, that is phenomenal. Yeah, I love these. Team, thank you ever so much. That's Kelly. That was Debbie. When I remember, I'll try and name you, gang, because I forget. Um, Debbie was... Whoops, I'm dropping your cards, ladies. And then Joe Rice did that one. Um, we've got loads of finished samples. I will put the ones you've seen at the bottom, so every time you'll see some different finished samples. If you want that, you need to be checking out your basket. That is so busy. Um, two payments, 21 £21.99, 603160. Next. Oh, this is cool. 
proper love this. Um, and I haven't used this before either. So we're well chuffed that I've got hold of these. I love my job. I love my job. I've got these to play with. I know I'm showing off, aren't I? But, oh, man, these are cool. Um, so you've got, first of all, you've got your background stamps. Let me spin these round for you so you can actually see. So you've got that. I love that. I love that. That is well cool. I love this one. Look. I mean, how brilliant are these? Look at him. Hello, Mr. Crow. Hello. Hello, Mr. Crow. And look at him. He's just... I'm late. I'm very late. Oh, I just adore it. And look, I mean, how well does this go with our fabulous, um, you know, our one-day special man with all his potions, the alchemist, done it. I mean, that absolutely goes hand in hand. Um, yeah, I love, love this collection. I'm just going to pop that there for now. Let me show you the, um, the, the cards that have been coloured in because look at the detail of these. These ones are dead easy to cut out. So obviously fantastic, um, for, for layering. Love that. That is such a cool stamp. Oh, easy. He goes with Alchemist as well. And obviously, potions hello would you like some potion um <laughs> the cup of home brew um let me just and look at that oh danger look aren't they fab absolutely fab look 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 he's well cool in here oh i love him look at that Joe Rice, and then that one's Janet. Love that that Janet's done, just black and white. Are we glossy accents? That looks so cool. It kind of, you kind of want to make um, like wallpaper out of that. Well, I would. I think that's ace. Okay, really like these. £32.95 is your price. You're saving £7. Just 20% of the stock has already gone. Um, that is 825464. Remember, if you are um, spending over £60, you've already got your Flexi basket. Obviously, if you're getting any item that's got Flexi, you can split any other item into your Flexi. Flexi, Flexi. If you are part of a Chand of Freedom, not only do you get a deal with our one day special, but you don't pay any postage on any anything it's always worth being part of a chand of freedom now background stamps background stamps are essential um you build these up you start collecting these and the lovely thing is they they just add layers they add texture they add drama your splatters can't get enough splatters I mean, that is such a good stamp. So you've got your splatters. This one's a gorgeous stamp. I really like that. It's just such a good uh, pattern builder. This one, obviously, essential, isn't it? You've got your create, your art, your draw in there, which I absolutely love. And then the last one, this is a good stamp. I really love that one because you can just use little bits out of that one. Seriously cool stamps. Now, £31.96 is your price. Again, that is busy there. That is 513 uh, Some more background stamps. And these, again, they're all really good, solid background stamps and different. I mean, I love that. See, in my life, you can't have too many circles, but that's a bit different because it's more, um, it's almost barbed wire but with, with little dots on it. And I love the numbers in it. Whereas this one, I love the, the circles in that because it's almost like splatty, isn't it? And I, I, yeah, I really like that. And then now we've, I'm got, well, I've dug out the mask that that goes with. I love that you've got a mask that blends with that. That is such a cool stamp as well. Now only, um, 11.97, you've got a 12 pound saving with that. That's amazing. You're absolutely um, saving more than you're spending. That's 273541. And then last uh, little bundle that I'm going to talk to you about. And again, well cool because you've got your background stamps. It almost looks like netting but doesn't. And then you've got the splats and the numbers. Um, that one, it's got that real crackle sort of glaze look to it, which is really handy. I mean, that's just a, a go-to background stamp, isn't it? Your lovely flowers. This matches one of your stencils as well, which is really cool. And then the last one, I must admit, that is one of my favourites again. I love that. I, I, I like the script on the top. 
I think that is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, another really good saving. £16 saving. Saving more than you're spending yet again on that bundle. 690109 is your item number. Now, check the website out. It is all on Crate. We've got so many incredible um, designers. I mean, all on Crate have designers all around the world and they're seriously talented. So please check your baskets out. Um, so many beautiful, beautiful designs and I love it when we have these big saves with All and Crate because you know you are going to get some phenomenal deals. If you do want to see something and we haven't shown you yet, email in studio at chanda.com. Uh, we'll have a little rummage and we'll see if we can find it and show it. Obviously, there's loads of bits we haven't shown you, like washi tape, etc. So please do have a little look because, um, because everything's fabulous. Um, now, obviously... Um, I'll try and get some at finish. You know me, I never finish one demonstration, but I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is use one of the one-day special. I'm going to use my favourite because I absolutely adore it. I've already um, stamped and cut out some of these elements. So the one I want to stamp is that because I love this. So this is just showing you how good the stamp stamps before I actually go on to do the demonstration because it's like, you know what, let's have a little play before I actually do any work. And do you know, I'm doing it already. I'm going rummaging already. Before I even start doing anything, I'm rummaging. I promised myself I wouldn't do this and I've just broken my whole promise because what I thought were right, backgrounds that you've already created, literally gone off paste. I haven't even started demonstrating I've gone off paste. But so say you've already got a background that you've already started. Okay. So I love this. I love that background. I think it's really quite um strong. I'm hoping I can fit my skull in there, but let's have a little look see. And this is why I adore all and create stamps because I can take that background which I love. I think it's quite dramatic. It's got a lot of black in it which I always love. It's like oh black paint. Um so if I put this on here Let's have a little look, see, and take my stamp. Now, what I love about these stamps. So this one, this one is your skull. So if I pop that there, I want to see that, but then I want it to sort of drift into that background. Literally completely gone off piste, folks. This isn't what I were going to do, but it's okay. So... I'm going to take black ink because obviously I want this to pop. I want it to be really strong. So I'm going to use my Versafine Clear. I love using my Versafine Clear because it's a really rich ink. So you get a really, really dark impression. And obviously, it's a Versafine. When you look at that stamp, there is so much detail on that. I mean, that is stunning. Oh, I like these a lot. So now, when I stamp it, I'm using my stamping platform just in case it's not as rich as I want it. See, because I'm going on acrylic paint, not quite, and it's not even, so it's not as rich as I want it. So I, I want this to pop. So I'm going to go in again on the solid areas and re-stamp. Okay, and that's obviously the beauty of using your stamping platform. So go in again and look. You start getting, can you see, look at that eye start popping out, which I absolutely love. So you've got that. I mean, what you could do is then cut that eye out and actually uh, decoupage that, which I think would look fabulous. So you've got him, okay? But then look, I love how, do you know... I drive myself mad because I go, I have this idea, right? I've cut loads of bits out so I can do this and I can do that. And then literally within three seconds, I've gone off on a tangent. I, 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 do you know, I make it work for myself. Isn't it mad? I have, I have all these bits cut out. And then look. Because what I want to do is build this up. The beautiful thing with this, you build it, I'm building it up on a background that already exists. But 
imagine then imagine them bringing in other elements so i'm going to bring this here look i'll bring that there like that so all i'm doing is building up on a pre-existing background i adore doing this because these stamps work you know on a, a background like this you can see it you can see that all these elements will layer beautifully if you want anything to pop even more then obviously you cut it out and you put it over the top as soon as you put it over yeah, the top it brings it out yeah done it just really does, the yeah. other thing obviously that's amazing with um with these stamps and i will pop another one I, i'm popping another one in because i have to use this stamp i just love 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 that <laughs> stamp that is so cool at the minute i'm only using that one set of stamps and that is your one day special it's such a seriously cool one day special i'm gonna have it layering like this 10% of this alchemist one has gone. Oh, I'm not yeah, surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised you either. And it's nice as well because you've got different sizes of stamps within that stamp plate. Yeah, I'd, honestly. Th this is one of those mm -hmm. that it's like, oh my gosh. It's just phenomenal. I'm changing to blue. Oh, I love that stamp because it's got the moons, the different wane in the, of the, the moon and all your different sort of... Um, your innies and your outy moons. Your innies and the outy moons. <laughs> I don't know which one's waxing and which me one's neither. waning. I <laughs> mean, neither. Who's the win? <laughs> but I look at that. See, already you start building up, and you see you've got your your um your gorgeous light bulb. So you can actually then take your light bulb again if you want it to yes. to pop. Yeah. You bring your light bulb on there, or you have one light bulb in the back. You bring another one at the front there. How cool does that look? And that is just a That's couple fabulous. of stamps. Yeah, it just shows you. It's all about that background. Yeah, it is um, as well. Right. I will. This is this is just me playing. Shall I get? Shall I pop <laughs> Are we that gonna away? We're going to start demonstrating in a minute. <laughs> I Isn't love that it. ridiculous? I love it. She gets so distracted. It's amazing. So distracted. Now, I'm going to distract you guys for a moment because you have found this stamp, and I don't blame you. Adding this one into your basket, it's a big stamp. But of course, we know from All and Create not to be afraid of those big stamps. It's an A4 stamp plate, but look at the price on your screen. You have got a saving of this one, bringing it down to eighteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Now, of course, at twenty-four. We will have seen this previously um, and lots of you will have taken advantage of these so it is one of those ones that yes you may well have already taken advantage of but sometimes what happens is because if it's a larger stamp and obviously the larger price point we kind of have a, to have a think about it more so but this is almost like a collection of stamps within an A4 plate because you don't have to use it in its entirety you'll often see Leone or see Abs do this when they actually come with these larger stamps and just stamp out certain areas so it could be that you're just thinking of the butterfly using the butterfly but have you noticed the bottom part of the butterfly there having the clock face which is why when you've got the clock face over here that is tying that in obviously the circular motion that you've got down at the bottom here is being echoed up at the top here the script the kind of ledger book effect that you've got there little sentiments just tucked away like time flies really really clever construction of these and it can take layer upon layer for these actual stamps to come to fruition but of course when you're stamping them out you'll see those different elements and of course you can spotlight certain elements you can highlight them you can decoupage I mean seeing that from that demonstration from Leone just there just showed you how incredible it can be to really kind of draw the eye into a particular area with regards to these ones now this has proved to be a popular one you're saving six pounds on this one looking at 18 pounds and 99 pence 815790 one thing I will ask my producer Katie we've got extended delivery on this one is this across the board or is it just this particular one fair enough so it's just this particular one it's extended delivery of seven days but to be honest it is worth worth every one of those days wait because when you get it back you will use this in so many ways maybe as a complete background maybe then stamping out certain elements and that kind of highlighting picking out the areas you are going to gain so much interest from this one stamp alone it is phenomenal you are loving this one and of course it's going to coordinate with many other things that we see from all and create because that's what they do cross pollinating to perfection absolutely beautiful so if you fancy this one then there you go the details are there on your screen there um 18 pounds and 99 pence now i've got to show you another one which is called the voyager which is an a5 stamp plate it's gonna be interesting if i manage to keep up with this because these are flying out now this is an a5 stamp plate but what you've got within this one is a series of different stamps 
absolutely beautiful i love the botanicals that get brought into um the all and create um, stamp range look at that that beautiful peony there and i love this because you kind of got the delicacy and the beauty of the flowers with the strength of the angular elements that you've got within this stamp here so much content within here absolutely love it of course over here you've got that kind of compass for the voyager of course that's going to work with the one day special you've got those um, elements of the sea with the fish and the, the prawn and all those different elements so if you have gone for the one day special i would consider adding this one in alongside then you've got little things like your sentiments 50 50 chance of me getting it upside down there you go do not try to fit in you are meant to stand out that is a brilliant phrase i mean that is something that i think we could all take a little bit of a, a kind of strength from loads and loads of content what's the one over there a reach for the stars oh yes and again of course you've got that kind of uh, voyager and that um that kind of uh, uh going off on a trip all those different things all kind of come in with these fabulous stamps and again building up those designs over and over again this one is just 12 pounds and 99 pence i mean how a voyager and um, how uh, sorry okay i was just reading and trying to talk at the same time which is not good not good but uh, i mean how affordable is that 12.99 and another one of olga's artwork stamps there so of course working so well with other things that she's brought to us previously even down to little tiny elements like the corner stamp there there is nothing that has been left out of this stamp plate every little piece has been covered and made into a usable stamp six stamps there 12.99 can't believe you're paying a little over two pound per stamp there amazing um, and of course it's going to work with other things that you've got things like the washi tape i was looking at some of the stamps earlier on that leone was showing us and you'll see where the elements cross pollinate whether it is kind of the big x that we saw on the set with the crow um, it featuring in there whether it's the circles whether it's the script you will see little elements spots and splatters and all sorts that cross pollinate between all the different stencils the stamps and so on now here you can see you've got some um, three different washi tapes coming together the, wa um, the fragments mother nature and horticulture layers different colors different sets there is a lot for you to look at so do have a delve around on that website um, and of course do make sure you are checking before you check out your basket numbers we've seen these feature quite significantly again circles brilliant set again and another set of three for 11 pounds and 25 pence and finally just one more thing that i need to share with you but we put back and see and this time it's a set of four now this is interesting because you've got your plane in this one and what this means it can become whatever you want it to be which i think is brilliant so you can use any of those stamps that we've just looked at and create your own washi tape to work alongside brilliantly and you can see there two and a half inches 25 mil um, you can see they're absolutely brilliant for you to work with so yeah if you're wanting to get hold of these please please do so not two and a half inches an inch wide isn't it two and a half and um, 25 mil um at 13 pounds and 98 pence i'm arguing with myself zero three four one four four guaranteed to win that argument though leone on time <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> what right. are you up to um well actually you know how i decided to, i'm messing with this i've decided i might as well keep on with this okay yeah. because i like it and i thought this is the kind of thing that because it allows you so much possibilities so mm -hmm. i thought yeah let's carry on so we've got the one day special going on there let's bring in for before I, I sort of do anything else one of our stencils now we have got some cool stencils on the show this one is that I, I love this if you are new to all and create you might not have seen this because this is a really old stencil oh, right, okay. from the um from the collections what i love about all and create is the fact that they might have brought these stencils out years ago but they're still strong you know they will not go out of fashion i mean look at these designs oh that's a these tribal are one isn't it on the website yeah. so do not miss out on these um in fact have you got them there to i haven't got that one i've I'm got that one um oh that one you have yeah got that yeah. one that was the one and i like this because it hasn't got that harsh edge yeah it's lovely that yeah. i love that stencil yeah. it's great on your gel plates yeah, and anything that's got that kind of sphere that circle that yeah. splodge that's got around nature to it yeah i uh, both of these for 9.99 that's good. no way oh my goodness now the mandala well let's see i love that i, love I mean that. look at that yeah, that is beautiful. beautiful and there you've almost got like a sunrise or a sunset haven't you again the circles coming in there the stars as well really good um stencil that one is lots of content in that one and of course the two of them coming together for less than a tenner that is phenomenal value um 013754 so if you want in those those ones are your rotor vit vitae vitae is that how you say it? and broken circles <laughs> 
Sounds oh, good. That's about right. Yeah. That's why I do numbers and not words. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, I do, it's funny, isn't it? Because yeah, half the time it's like, yeah, I don't know what that says. No, <laughs> so I'm going to take one of the stencils. Um, I adore this. I've always loved this. I'm just using um, gesso, actually. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of gesso through here. I shouldn't be working on my black cardstock. That's silly because I don't want to work on there. Um, so just pop him. There you go. My gesso through. Now, the reason I'm using my gesso through this is to break up some of that oh, background. Yeah. And it's to break up some of the black. Because I want to layer on top of it, um, this is beautiful for just breaking up those elements. It's interesting, isn't it? Because obviously this was just random. It was just a random background that was going off piste. But I, this is why I adore that. You know, that's cleaning brushes and cleaning stuff. But all of a sudden, because of the way you can layer it, it becomes an art piece. I have cut his eye out and I've, put, I've popped his eye on, put a bit of glitter there. It almost looks like a camera lens Yeah, there. it does, doesn't yeah. it? And what I do with that is absolutely put my gel medium on that, yeah. so I will uh, put gel on that. And can I just say as well, that there's a big area of black on that image there, so if anybody's ever made a mistake in this yeah. like, a strong area that you're trying to do something with, straight away that stencil's broken it? it down. Yeah, it works really well, doesn't it? And I love it because all my stamps have, have gone into the background now because yeah. of the stencil. It's it's just so interesting. Obviously, you know me, when you've got a dirty stencil, you know you have to use your card to clean your stencil because otherwise you're wasting um, good products. So I know I always do this, but I'm never going to stop. So just taking that, cleaning my stencil off on my cardstock. Sometimes you get a decent print, sometimes it's nothing, but sometimes you get a good print. I like that That's tiny nice, little yeah. bit. I think that looks lovely. Um, but that isn't too dirty, actually. Uh, pop that to one side. So just bring this on again now. So um, what I've got is, have a little look at this. So look at him. I love this stamp. Now, he comes obviously with the um, the little rabbit and um, more. <laughs> oh, and the lovely little um, jars, you know, of the like the poison, which is fabulous. I love him though. I just think I he's so did different. You, did I ever tell you my sister used to have an imaginary crow as a friend when she was growing no, up? Yeah. Did she? Now, I don't know whether she could actually see him or whether he, I mean, he, we thought that it was just imaginary, but yeah. Oh, that's well called crow. So, yeah, crows. How fabulous. interesting. I love, yeah, I yeah. like crows. And this one's a nice one because you could interchange his hat, couldn't you? Yes. Put that hat on something else. Yes. I think it's the alchemist hat on top yes. of him. Yes. He's very alchemist, very steampunk, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. Absolutely superb. Uh, so I've literally just stamped him in black. I'm not going to stamp him again just because of time, really, because I know me, I, I won't get to finish one because I faff. So I'm going to bring him in. I put 3D form on this one because I want um, I want a bit of, of dimension. I'm going to pop another tiny bit of 3D form in the centre there for a little bit more dimension. Just bringing him round like that. And he is going to sit about there. So again, I'm covering elements up, but I'm not bothered. You know, this is all about your layers. I will emphasise him later with a drop shadow. I'm then going to bring in the flowers. Now, this is actually from the orchid. Now, that is so beautiful. Obviously, with this, you want that to pop. You want some colour on this. If you don't have colour on it, when you put it onto that background, it's just going to get lost in the background. So let's have a little look, see. Let's bring in a little bit of paint for this one. And I will bring in, let me get a little paintbrush. There we go. We've got cues on the phones now, folks, as well. Um, the stamp that Leone's working with has come from the One Day Special. The details are on your screen. But can I very quickly as well mention that set with the crow in there? This has been flying out. 30% of the stock has gone. Of course, you are going to get your five stamp plates in here, seven stamps in total. So you're going to get that fabulous crow that you're going to be able to use in so many different ways. Fabulous character. This is one of the ones that I think works brilliantly with the washi tape, that big X that you've got on there, the words, the symbols, all of those you will see represented many times on stamps and stencils from all and create the lotions and potions oh what would you put in one of those bottles Ooh, now and then of course you've got your character there uh, uh, now is it, it's late or i'm late i forgot i'm late but you see i like the idea of taking that hat and put it onto the crow or yeah. vice versa or the alchemist yeah. have those big bunny ears coming out the top of his yeah, hat yeah that'd be cool yeah, loads of fun and then this one this is such a useful stamp to have you can get 
some amazing results with that. And of course, there are stencils that are going to coordinate with that one as well. So you are getting all five of these coming to you. And I can't believe that we are able to bring this to you for £32.95. And, and you will still generate that £5 credit ready for you to use tomorrow as well. Because, of course, it's all part of our fabulous event that we've got going on. Um, 825464. And just very, very quickly, while I've got your attention, the Red Baron. This is an A4 stamp plate. Incredibly busy for this one. It's an A4 stamp plate, but made up of two very large stamps, as you can see. Absolutely love this one. I love this one. It's almost like a skyline, but when you look closer, it's made up of aeroplanes and different elements. So brilliant look. It reminds me of the gherkin in London there. You can see that. Um, and then you've got the postcard. I mean, this is such a useful one. Whether you are doing something that's got a vintage nature to it or you are incorporating colour and quirkiness, then you have got a lovely set there with those two, as you can see. £18.99. pence. Great saving of £6 on those ones. So if you've seen these before and wish that you could have got hold of them, now is the best time because now is when you've got that saving. 506832. We are so busy, Leon. I think people have just been waiting for these shows. Oh, see, this is a time to, to sort of stock up on favourites, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it is, I think, we all uncreate because there's that many beautiful stamps. You know, it is, you must have so many on wish lists. So now it's like, yeah, we're having that one, having that one. So it is um, it is a wonderful time to stock up. Now, I'm not colouring this as detailed as I'd like, because I think it's beautiful. But I am kind of rushing with my paints because um, I just want to get some, some colour on. Uh, the paints I'm using, I've actually got a show on Monday. Oh, and okay. these are from the show on Monday. So do, um, do check that out on Monday. Um, and really nice colour actually first time Gorgeous. I've used them which it's is amazing when lovely. you look at these I mean these are kind of your pretty pretty stamps aren't yes. they although they don't have to be absolutely but all coming from the same company yeah 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 and that's and all I'm using them with the sort of darker images yeah and that, that's that again that's what I love about it that everything will blend you know that you can use everything together and it looks good you don't have to just think well I can only use the you know the darker sort of mm -hmm. spooky ones mix them up with your florals and i think all and create they have made us a lot braver like that you know mixing up the images and not just the images but really getting our you know your rummage and see what buttons have you got and bits of wire and bits yeah. of fabric and you know mix all your different elements in now with a little flower what i will do is just clean my paintbrush off and I'll bring in a little bit of the yellow. I'm rubbish because I have no idea what colour orchids are. This is my... What, yeah, I think they can be any colour. Crafter's colour, license. They're the what? Crafter's license. They yeah. can be whatever colour you want. Because I'm... This is my... I, that is the one thing that I'm... That annoys me about myself. You know, <laughs> that I have to look at colours of stuff. Otherwise, I have no idea. I mean, that has still got green on it. So my orchid has now gone really mucky and horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually aiming for it being really pretty. And instead, because I still had green on it, I've now got a really mucky, poor, dirty orchid. That wasn't what <laughs> oh, I was aiming for. You and your for. dirty orchid. Me and my dirty orchid. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, oh, yeah, it's going to be really pretty and I'll have the dark crow. But actually, no. It's going to be really dirty. <laughs> Talk about actually all being dark. Even when I try and, it, try and make it all pretty, it's like, oh, gone dark again. <laughs> there we go. So just putting yellow in the centre there, just letting that blend out, bringing a little bit of pink in with my dirty water brush and just bringing that on the outside. And, of course, you can... And I like that, because the yellow's fabulous, dried yeah. really quick and acted as a bit of a resist. I must admit, I've no idea. I'm using my scraps of card as well, because I'm being quite... Oh, I really like that. That looks good, yeah. And that's nice, do not it? I'll do the same again there. So, bring in the yellow. And because the yellow's drying that quick, when I go over with the pink, it's um, it's acting as a... Like the yellow's a resist in the pink. It's... Um, it looks really quite effective. It's a beautiful bright yellow as well. Mm, I love the green as well. Yeah, I like that green. I wanted some a really strong colour because mm. obviously I've got those dark images. So I thought something quite strong over the top would look really pretty. I've watered down the pink so it's not as intense. These acrylic paints? Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah, they are. They're nice, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I like them. They are. Um, 
Let me give you a, cry, a, a, a little flash. Creative, Creative news. news. Mm. So, yeah, coming up on Monday. I know, I've got, I've got that on Monday, and then I've got... Um, Oh, I've got cool stamps on Wednesday as well, so I've got loads of goodies coming up. But I'm well, I'm really liking that. Mm. I think that's quite fabulous. Very so, effective. So, just popping those colours. Obviously, I would mess about with this. I'd mess about with the colours, making it darker, getting, you know, faffing about, getting um, more intensity in those. But I will, I will leave it a little bit, not faff quite as much. <laughs> Because if I finish something, it would actually be quite nice because I never finish a demonstration. Well, you've probably got about eight minutes or so to finish something, if that's any help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it is hilarious. All that cutting out and stuff I did for the actual thing I was going to do, and I absolutely... You'll still have that this time tomorrow. Yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> um, now, a bit me being me, I'm not going to waste the paint. We've already... We're working on a background that um, I created from, you know, cleaning up last time. So something like this, use it. So get a stencil. So for instance, off on tangents again. So for instance, take your paintbrush, scoop up some of the, the paint, okay? So going in with that paint. Oh, I should have done that. Doesn't matter. Nice, isn't it? Mm. Go over with the white that I forgot to use. Bring your stencil in. Why not put the yellow over the top? I'm not using my stencil brush because I'm just being quick. I'm just rushing because I'm is only this cleaning. the tribal um, stencil as Yes, well? the tribal stencil is beautiful. It's one of those uh, that, that, you know, the background stamps, background mm. stamps matches the stencil. And again, it's got the crosses from the washi tape and everything comes yes, together. Yes, done it just. It just, they are fabulous. The way everything works together. And I'm hoping I won't have lost too much detail. And I know I'm getting a bit of mud now, but that's fine. Lost no detail whatsoever. Like that is cleaning. And, and and this is why I love doing something like that, having your stencils mm -hmm. next to you. Because if you've got your stencils next to you and some scrap, just have loads of scrap paper. And you've got your scrap paper. So it means you'll never waste anything. And the, the project, uh -uh, the project I'm working on is only one of these. You know, it's only me cleaning. Nice. Didn't know they were colour on that, so that's cool. So Pop that to one side for now. Again, let's bring this one in. And I'll just give this a spritz and clean okay. this. Can I just very quickly Indeed show you? you? Now, we've got a couple of things now. Are we going in with the A4 to start with? Because this is brilliant. I love this one. This one, um, I mean, we see those light bulbs appear so often, don't we, within oh, the range wow. from all and create. I love this one. So many elements with this stamp plate that can work again with all the different elements. The crow, you've got the bird cage there. Obviously, it's one of those things that we regularly see the bird cage. Birds should be outside their cages. But I love that. You could almost have the crow sitting on there majestically. The um, different phrases that you've got in here, the uh, fabulous little cards that you've got there with the card. Um, then, of course, you've got things like your little light bulbs again fe um, featuring here, the circuit board, the script, all of this coming together. But again, it's a large stamp. So again, you don't have to use it in its entirety. Just use certain areas if you're wanting to pick out little elements. But so much of this is going to work with other things that you've got within your stash. Again, a brilliant saving. Again, $24.99 was the original price. It might have been out of your, your kind of pocket at that time. You might not have ever seen this particular stamp. But this is what All and Crate do so, so well is build up those layers for you to accent and highlight and highlight certain areas so 943348 but then there's other areas where they bring us stamps and this is the thing that I love because they've got stamps that have got a practical nature so if you're into your art journals or your planners then they will bring you little stamps like this that you could be using within your your monthly journal to kind of say set aside that particular afternoon as a craft afternoon or using them just to illustrate different things um, whichever way you want to use them creative writing Getting you um, kind of focused on a particular area, as you can see. That pen that you've got there, the amount of times I've seen it, nibs and pens being used as the abdomens on butterflies, they look absolutely incredible. You've got that stamp there, you've got the word creative there, little envelopes, little splodges, all sorts there. Make your mark. What a fabulous phrase there. 
absolutely brilliant and again phenomenal value for me a better than half price deal 11 pounds and 98 pence for both of these you'd usually be paying around 12 pounds for each of them but it's a phenomenal deal and these are really useful stamps to have in your stash 257 394 if you fancy getting hold of those color outside the lines that's a good phrase as well isn't it tracy evans um featuring with the art as the artist on both of those as well like those and they got a fabulous selection of artists. Oh, gosh, yeah. You know, that's, I think, what makes All and Create another reason they're so special, because they've got so many incredible mm -hmm. artists. Now, all I'm doing here, I'm not going to finish this, but just to show you, um, I've used my black ink, but I want it even more intense. Okay. So I'm literally just going over some of the lines, not all of them, just some of the lines with my black paint, and that will really intensify that gorgeous crow image. And I just think that it suits it. You know, you want that image to stand out. You want that image to be really strong. You can see where I've gone in with the paint. It looks much better. He's a proper gentleman it crow, isn't, isn't he? He's fabulous. <laughs> like his eyebrow, you have to emphasize his <laughs> eyebrow. His lovely beady eye. Make sure you emphasize that. So I'm not going to do the full thing, but I'd absolutely do the full thing. Go through and, you know, make that into something phenomenal. And again, I'm using the black paint from my collection. So if I bring in now um, the... Let me just dry my finger. If I bring in now my wonderful orchid, because look, as soon as you bring in the wow. orchid, pop. And I love this because it, I, that just makes such a difference, yeah. doesn't it? It just looks so cool. And that is just popped on. I mean, I could, and I have got, actually, look, I'm not going to put the flamingo on as well, mm -hmm. but the flamingo would look fabulous. So, pop in the, uh, that's the thing. Once you start layering up, seriously, you get so carried away because everything goes. I am, I will. I've decided I will cut another orchid out and I'm going to decoupage another oh, yeah, orchid nice, on. Yeah. Definitely. I won't for now, but after, after, I will. But um, it, as you put these together, and obviously because I've gone and gone off paste within three seconds, <laughs> um, as you put them together, you change your mind. They, they grow up, don't they? They become their own little beast. Putting it on with 3D foam means I can move it as well so I can change it. I adore this already. Fabulous. I adore it. And then let's just bring on one of the um, one of the other elements that I've cut out. So what I've cut out, I've cut out some of the fantastic light bulbs. Now I've got my light bulb in the background there, but I actually want to pop one of my light bulbs coming down here. Now what that does straight away, Way, it makes him pop because when I take that out yeah he falls into the background mm. so if I were trying to put a drop shadow here I've got loads of black there so a drop shadow isn't gonna work mm -hmm. but if I bring that in that yeah. will work it's a decoration isn't yes it? Yeah. it brings it off your background let's put a little bit of color on there so what I'll do with that I'll give it um, that kind of yellow glow from like you know the the old light bulbs with those horrible sort of yellow glows that you used to have obviously i'm watering this down as well so i'm just gonna get wee, my little old water brush this is hopefully a cleaner one and i'll just water that down and pop a little bit of the yellow in there this yellow has obviously become one of my favorites really <laughs> quick i love yellow so there we go. Yellow's such a... It is, isn't it? It's a happy colour. But you've got that lovely yellow glow. Fabulous. From there. And then a bit stronger. And again, this has come element. from that Alchemist set. You've got loads of light bulbs within that set. It is such a good set. And the one you showed before, that background, yes. I must admit, when I was trying to decide what to do, I dug that out because I thought, oh, my word, that goes so well with Alchemist. You know, and... I, there's so many that, that go together yeah. beautifully. Um, I'm going to use, now this is a really nice blue. It's like a, a beautiful sort of bluey grey. So I'm going to pop that on, on here because I just think that will look really pretty with this. Oh so my goodness, it's down to the last colors. four minutes of the hour. How did that happen? Do you know, done it go fast. And I think because we've got so many deals, I mean, we have not shown you half of the stamps oh, no, there's loads. that we have got. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. All and Create Back Catalogue, though, is amazing. 
They have been, you know, I don't, I can't remember. Our oh, abs, if you watch, how many years have you been going now? I, I was just remember. about to say that because they've got it's a lot, lot, haven't they? Gosh, it, I'm sure they've just had a birthday, haven't they? Or, or we are rubbish, aren't we? <laughs> But of course they will oh, have had their be. birthday of when the company was formed, but then of course they've probably yes. got her Chanda birthday as well yeah, when you're they right. joined us. I mean, considering I were working it, I should remember. <laughs> but if, it's, if it helps you, Abs, I've no idea how old I am half the time. <laughs> so, I mean, I'd, I'd like to say I should remember, but I know I haven't got a chance. I'm going in with the black. The black is just emphasising those shadows. And obviously I'm uh, putting paint, I'm taking the excess paint off on my hand. That allows you to blend it. Um, the card I've stamped on doesn't like blending, but that's fine. It's okay. Because I'm, I'm working kind of fast, so it doesn't actually matter that my card doesn't want to blend. And then I'll just pop, because I want a few shadows on this bulb. So just round the edges of your bulb, bringing in a tiny bit of black. So it's, it's basically almost a grey, and that will just help create your shadows on it. Because even though, I, obviously, I want it to be a bulb, I want it to be nice and bright, but it can't be too clean. You know, you can't have it too sort of fresh, not on a card like this with Mr. Crow. 